There were people gathered below, all excited, looking at the guy on the bridge who was about to jump off it. The ambulance was delayed. The guy looked down and wondered if he was the reason they were all gathered there and worried about him. He hoped it wasn't for him because they were all the same. He remembered how everyone had laughed at him and made fun of him. From the beginning he was alone, and to him this sight was disgusting. Suddenly he received messages from those who had bullied him. They were looking for him. The messages gave him confidence. At the same time, a guy on a bicycle passed by and noticed him. He started yelling at him to calm down and get down from there. The guy was sick of school life, but what about his family, his relatives? The relatives would feel bad if he did this, to which the guy smiled and cried, for they were all dead. He jumped, decided that if he quickly chugged the water, death would be less agonizing. Already underwater, he continued to feel the suffering. The icy water made his lungs feel like they were bursting, but that was okay because it was the last sensations of his life, and his mom was already waiting for him there. An unknown girl was watching all this from above and was amused by what was happening. He was pulled out and rescued. People and kids from school crowded around him, but he didn't understand how they knew about him and the incident. Everyone was whispering and wondering what had happened to him that he decided to jump into the river, and he was thinking that he couldn't even die properly. When he left the hospital, he decided to take a walk in the narrow streets near the hospital. He wanted to be somewhere quiet. Suddenly, the same girl who had been watching his actions appeared in front of him. It was Sierra, the Grim Reaper. He wasn't surprised. At least he didn't look surprised. She smiled at him. Not only was he not surprised, he was also pleased, for he thought she had come to take his life. But that was not why she was there. She was interested in him and she offered to make him a deal with her. Sierra offered to use the afterlife ticket in exchange for his life. If he used it, he could borrow power from the dead meaning that the abilities of the best people on earth could temporarily become his. He wasn't interested in that. But after all, he wanted to die so he could meet his mom. Besides, her soul is still in this world and she can't find him. Why did he decide to give up? As he continued on his way, he came across some bullies who were bullying a kitten. He thought about how much trash there is in this world. He told them to let the kitten go because they could strangle it. They were surprised, but only laughed and asked if it was his cat. Of course it wasn't his cat, but even he has a family and he had already called the police. Naturally, they got angry and one of them, without thinking, hit him in the stomach. He fell down, curled up in pain. So they decided to show him a couple more tricks. The three of them started beating him up. They taught him a lesson. Because you can't buy such skills for any money, it was funny to them. Why weak creatures like kittens should suffer and die. There was no regret left in the world and every time he thought about it, he wished he could have died then. He wanted his mom. Memories of that ill-fated day surfaced in his mind as they drowned and his mother tried to put a vest on her son, bleeding. Her last words were, I love you, Kyung Ho. And at that moment, she was smiling. She let go of his hand and went down. He cried, screamed, called out to her, but she was no longer responding. He was brought out of his thoughts by that very kitten. He called it to him and it was coming towards him. That's what he thought, but he was going to his mom, who was no longer alive. Those guys laughed at the fact that the kitten had no family now either and got ready to leave. He got so angry at them that he decided to accept Sierra's offer. The agreement immediately went into effect. He called out to the boys and stopped them. That weakling couldn't fend off a single blow. Who did he think he was? And what was that pose? The guys laughed. They attacked him, but they couldn't hit him once. What's more, he was able to answer them. Then their chief thought he was faking it before and invited him to a match where everything would be fair. Without speaking, he threw a punch, which Kyung fought back and hit back. He flew off to the side. His friends couldn't understand how Kyung was able to take down the boxing champion with such a punch. He had borrowed strength from Muhammad Ali, the king of boxing, and of course he had straightened everyone out. Sierra wondered how he felt after using the ticket. But it didn't matter to him. He had one goal to find his mom. He needed to find someone who could see the souls of the dead. A person who uses afterlife tickets once they meet such a person, they will be able to see them themselves. By borrowing power from the dead, it can be used within an hour. The cost? One hour is one year of life. How many years was he willing to spend on this case? A year? No. He was willing to give his whole life. One year would be enough. The agreement was made. Keon woke up and realized it wasn't all a dream and started to remember yesterday. Sierra was showing him that she was giving him an afterlife ticket. A huge list with famous personalities opened up. The ticket would open up all sorts of possibilities. It could be used at any time and the effect would be instantaneous if you specified the conditions in the ticket itself. By tearing the ticket, the abilities are sealed. The effect of one ticket is equal to one hour. One ticket he had already used, she gave him another and promised to bring the rest later. As a bonus, she gave him a pendant and said it would glow when he met his mother's soul. Keon wondered how he could find someone who could see the souls of the dead. She told him to look for the glowing amethyst and she would keep an eye on him. She would keep an eye on him? He hid the pendant inside his shirt. 
Kyung decided to go to school. His classmates laughed when they saw him. He decided to come to school. They drew on his desk and filled the space under the desk with earth and trash. Here we go again. At recess, one of his classmates wanted to try out his nunchakus on Kyung, hitting him on the back with all his might. Kyung threatened him that if he didn't stop, he would get an appropriate response. He hit him again and Kyung remembered that he couldn't use the ticket now. He has to set the conditions for the ticket first, and he didn't want to waste it, so he apologized to him saying that he confused him with his friend. Later he pondered how he could find someone with powers. There must be someone who knows. No choice, he'd have to touch everyone and ask directly, otherwise it was a waste of time. The girls were first. He made up a silly excuse to get them to agree to give his hand, but as soon as he realized they didn't have it in them, he left to look further. It was very agonizing to check out every person he met, but he had a whole year ahead of him, he wasn't going to give up. How long would the search take? This many students was too much. He couldn't find the man with the amethyst without a ticket. He waited for her to bring him more tickets. While thinking about all this, he heard someone talking outside the school walls. It was the guys who were bullying him. They were picking on the girl, and at first he wanted to help her, but he changed his mind. It was none of his business. He turned around and walked away, continuing to think about the search. Unfortunately, one of the guys noticed him. He grabbed him and led him to the others. They were looking for him, for he had to answer for what had happened this morning when he had been rude to one of the guys in class. The bullies were trying to get Kyung to talk. Where had his morning confidence gone? They mocked him. All Kyung could think was that if he had just one more ticket, he'd have them all in a heartbeat. They pulled down his pants betting on what color his underwear was. They were laughing. He almost pulled out a ticket but stopped at the last moment. Still, finding his mom was more important. One of the guys started beating him up. He was disgusted that Kyung was acting like nothing had happened. Suddenly, he didn't like the anger Kyung looked at him with and asked the guys to give him nunchucks. The reason they were bullying and hitting Kyung was because they were in a bad mood. He thought back to all his suffering and thought about how they only relied on their feelings without thinking about the feelings of others. But he continued to be patient. He didn't use the only ticket. They kept laughing at him and he didn't even shed a tear. When Lee Kyung Ho was about to leave, they threw insults and taunts at him, calling him useless. But all of this was not important to him. The main thing was to find a person who could see spirits. Suddenly one of the guys saw a pendant hanging around his neck. He ripped it off of Kyung's neck. He wondered why he hadn't told them he had something valuable. Kyung politely asked for it back and said that the pendant had no value. But they were kind of bored to give it back to him for nothing. That guy asked his guys to give him a tetra pack from his backpack. He handed him a carton of expired milk with cigarette butts floating in it. Kyung had to drink it to get the pendant back. It was disgusting, but he drank it all down without a drop. Once again, they were bored, and so the same guy picked up the nunchucks and was going to cheer himself and the other guys up. Of course, he didn't give him anything back. He threw the pendant on the floor and started kicking it until he broke it, because he realized that it actually meant a lot to him since he even drank the stale milk. Everyone started laughing and pushing Kyung Ho again. This was the last straw for him and he tore up the ticket. Gaining strength, he threw the guy a few meters away, right at the feet of the guys. He became Bruce Lee, the founder of Jit Kung Do. He wanted to blow the whole thing off because he had more important things to do than messing around with them. What made them laugh was when he threatened to finish them off. They all ran at him at once to beat the crap out of him, thinking that he would then become more compliant. He beat off one after another with great speed. The girls sitting there were amused, but in a flash it stopped being funny and they froze in place. One of the main ones decided to attack from the back, but Kyung was able to dodge and hit him back. He punched him for a long time, smashing his nose, and now he gave him the final blow. The fight was over. Everyone was lying on the floor, shivering and unable to move. He went up to the light-colored fellow again and told him not to dare to kick out any more money, threaten or beat anyone. And if he saw it, he would tear off every useless limb. The answer, okay, was the best option for the guy right now. That's what he answered. Kyung turned around and saw the girls in their company, who were scared out of their wits by what was happening. They were scared that the same fate awaited them and decided that they needed to run away from there. He dealt with everyone. Probably what Kyung experienced was satisfaction. But how much did it matter that he was satisfied? After all, he couldn't help himself and spend another ticket on those scum, and that was something he was very upset about. He didn't even know when he would get the rest of the tickets. What to do now, he didn't understand. Suddenly he saw the girl they were going to take the money from. What was she doing? Kyung walked up to her. She showed him a ring with a purple stone. It was very important to her. She thanked him for saving her and promised that she would thank him properly the next time she saw him. But now she had to leave. A special ring? Sierra told him to look for the man with the shining amethyst. Maybe it's the one, he thought. Next he heard strange scraps of phrases of her conversation and ran after her. But Kyung didn't catch up with her. She had already gotten into a car and drove away. Kyung thought he had found the person he needed. 
the person who can see spirits. Kyung told Chira that the necklace was broken. She was surprised and asked him to give it to her to fix it. What a relief it was for Kyung that it could be fixed. And afterward, she pulled out a stack of tickets and held them out to him. There have been a hundred of them. She'd given them to him sooner than he'd anticipated. Now it was time for him to go. As he was running down the street to meet a girl from school, he accidentally bumped into the girl, and it caused her ice cream to fall out of her hands. He apologized for this, handed her the money for the ice cream, and ran on. Finally, he ran into her. They sat down at a cafe, and Kyung told her that he wanted to find and see his mother, so he needed her help. She smiled broadly and agreed to do her best because, she said, she really could see spirits. Told him to look at his hand where the ring was and told him about its telekinetic power. Kyung was happy to hear all this as she suddenly slapped him across the face. She apologized and explained to him that she had no choice because there was a vengeful spirit trying to attach itself to Kyung, and if it did, Kyung would suffer for years. The same girl they had run into a while ago walked by. She caught the moment of impact and thought he had been rejected. Kyung thanked the girl, but she said it was no big deal and there was no need to thank her. This business has been handled by her family for generations. She studies during the day and takes orders at night. She called Kyung special because she really wanted to help him, and he thanked her. Suddenly, she started talking about how delicious the parfait at this cafe were, and Kyung immediately rushed to buy them. It was a little expensive for him, but he was willing to do anything for her to help him. He needed physical contact with her and also wondered what the perfume looked like. But Kyung didn't want to touch her just like that, so she wouldn't think he was harassing her, so he had to proceed carefully. However, when he approached the table, he found that she had disappeared. Kyung quickly realized that she was being chased and was in danger. He ran after her to help her. He ran after them with all his legs and ran past that girl again. There were so many people around and he lost sight of them, trying to push his way through the crowd. Realizing that he wouldn't be able to catch up with them with mere strength, he decided to use one of the tickets. He became Silvio Carter, a high jump athlete and after climbed to the roof. This is serious. Needing to find her faster, he ran around the roof and looked around. As soon as he spotted her, he jumped down, and by a ridiculous coincidence, down below he met the same girl again, who was squatting and happy with her creation. She had tried very hard, spent a lot of time on it, and finally it was done. It was a house made out of a cardboard box. He jumped right on top of that box. Kyung didn't understand why she was doing such silly things, it was kindergarten to him. When he realized he had met her again, he apologized and promised to make it up to her. He needed to get this over with quickly and find that girl and her stalkers. Completely fixing it didn't work. So the girl got angry with him, and they got into an argument. At the same time, she was talking to someone and it was very strange. But he didn't pay much attention to it. It was more important to find that girl now. So he decided to pay her again for the damage she had caused, and move on. The whole thing was pissing her off. She didn't understand why he kept trying to get away. He smiled, apologized, and said he just had to leave. To which she overreacted and made Keon very angry. He snapped at her and said that the box looked like trash and that she herself was crazy. She didn't want to hear anything else. She wanted him out of there as soon as possible. He forgot about the girl seeing spirits because of this crazy woman. He needed to find her soon and ran on. Suddenly, he was stopped by a man. He was looking for the same girl and called her a fraud. He needed to know what was connecting them. Kyung didn't understand what was going on. The man explained to him that she was only pretending to see spirits. The man stopped doubting him when he saw the look on his face. Kyung felt like a fool, because if he had touched her, he would have recognized her immediately. Kyung felt pathetic and wasted precious time and went back to the very beginning. Walking down the street, he once again met that girl. She was walking by and talking to someone again. At some point hearing her lines, he wondered if maybe, maybe she's not a crazy weirdo talking to herself. Could it be that this same sparkling amethyst actually exists? Grabbing her hand, he saw spirits everywhere and realized he had found her. The girl who could see them? The fact that he did this didn't please her at all. She wasn't in the mood, and she warned him that she would get really angry if he continued to bully her. Kyung realized that she felt that way because of what had happened. And now that he had taken her hand, she must have gotten even more angry. He didn't know what to say to her at all. He said he was aware that she could see spirits which made her blush and reply that he was talking nonsense. She started to remember how long ago the guys around her found out about it, didn't believe her and called her crazy. Kyung began to guess that she didn't want others to know about it. She turned around and wanted to leave, but Kyung grabbed her sleeve to stop her and talk. She asked him to let her go because just recently he called her crazy too, and she hates that more than anything. He apologized. It was a mistake because he really had something to talk to her about. But she yelled at him and told him not to follow her, claimed she couldn't see anyone. Just as suddenly, she stopped when she saw two guys in suits coming from around the corner. One of them turned around and they walked in their direction. She hid behind a wall, 
crouched down and asked Keon to cover her until they left. They had already left, but she kept sitting on the stairs and looking around. Finally, she stood up and headed up the stairs. As she came up, he asked her where she was going. She was annoyed that because she had asked him to help her, now she couldn't ask him to leave. Walking without looking back, he continued to follow her. They went downstairs to some abandoned place that had a strange atmosphere. He noticed that she went to some box, and so he started to question her about why she needed all this stuff. Kyung asked if the box and canned tuna was for the cat. She didn't want to talk to him. After reluctantly answering an agreement to his question, she added that she didn't want to help him with anything. He really needed her help. So he told her that he really just wanted to get a little closer to her. He didn't want her to run away right away after all. And she was only thinking about one thing. What was the reason why that spirit still hadn't calmed down? Kyung wanted to help her. And to be helpful to her, he found information on the internet that cats like to play with grass. She tried using his advice. And at the same time, he kept reading that if that didn't work, you could try using a plastic bag. Cats love that sound. If that doesn't work either, you could try giving cat leaves. He offered to go out and buy some. Now she used the leaves, but that didn't help either. Couldn't the spirit still find peace? Kyung thought that this cat was very cranky and that maybe he could help if he saw it, but he can't do that without touching her. The situation was very frustrating for both her and Kyung, and at that moment, she fixed her hair and the thought of touching her hair crossed Kyung's mind. And so he touched a strand because hair is also a part of the body. Suddenly, he saw a huge and scary monster looming over them. He immediately pulled his hand away and recoiled. He couldn't understand what it was, for it was very different from the cats he knew. It looked more like an attempt to make the monster find peace. She went towards the spirit, and it in turn reacted violently to this, and began to aggress out of fear. Kyung tried to stop her. He shouted to her that it could be dangerous. Why is she doing this? The spirit is very evil right now. But she replied that all these spirits, they only look dangerous on the surface, but they really aren't. She asked the spirit if he was the cat that the master had abandoned. Seeing how the spirit got annoyed as she got closer, she realized that it must really hate humans. And when she got very close, she found a paint can with a small kitten in it. She went over to it and took it out of the can. How very angry she became at those who had done this. She was beyond angry, holding this little kitten in her arms that was covered in paint. She was wiping the paint off him and crying. She couldn't wipe the paint off with just her sleeve, and Kyung realized this and told her that water would help, and he would run out to get it now. He ran off and she finally realized that the spirit was angry about what had happened to the kitten. She was thinking about who could have done such a thing when suddenly she heard voices from upstairs. Some man was cursing at the guys in front of him. It turned out that one of these guys was using this kitten as bait to catch a guy who had beaten up one of his gang. The man was very harsh with them. He said they had mold instead of brains, and that maybe he should just drown them in paint like this kitten. They apologized to him, and that's when this girl stood in front of them. So they're the hooligans who drowned the kitten in paint. Compared to him, she looked like a child and so he told her to find somewhere else to play. She didn't want him to walk away from her questions. It was them, after all. And what did they think this kitten's mother looked like if they could see her now? Of course, they didn't even think about it. The kitten he'd drowned in a can of paint? He laughed, because she was so cute he couldn't even hit her. But she could, and with all her might, she slapped him, which was very unexpected for that guy. Don't laugh. Did he know how angry that kitten's mother was about what he'd done? She was expecting him to apologize. The leader of that guy's gang, hearing what she said to him, walked right up to her and asked her to say it again. She hit him again. He's deaf, she told him to apologize. And if he didn't want to do it, she would make him. He grabbed her by her blouse and pulled her to him. What a brave girl. He pretended he didn't understand what he had to apologize for. She started screaming for him to let her go, tried to pull away. He asked her again, or did she not want to leave this place? He raised his hand at her. Just as suddenly a bottle flew into his face, but he managed to dodge it. Turned around to see who did it. What the hell was that guy doing? Kyung asked to let her go. The guys realized that the guy they wanted to catch was standing in front of them. They got excited and nervous. So he was the one who made you suffer? Shui Ho Jing seemed to have learned how to fight, but he's still useless. Huh. And at the same time, he was already on his way to meet him. The guys had warned him that he could fight too, and to stay alert when a fight started. The fact that they wanted to hurt her made Keon very angry, and he was going to show them that they had the wrong guy. He reached for the tickets as he suddenly realized that the tickets were gone somewhere. He didn't have time to do anything when the man had already punched him in the stomach. He thought that Kyung was completely fearless. Should he make today his last day? Called him trash and punched him again. Kyung remembered that he definitely still had one more ticket on him and finally found it. Apparently, the ticket had fallen out of his pocket. Meanwhile, one of the guys grabbed that girl's arm. She yelled at him to get his hands off. Those pigs! If only he could use the ticket! 
He almost reached for it, but the ringleader stepped on his hand. The ringleader wondered why Kyung kept wrinkling his nose like that. Was he trying to find a way to prolong his life? But Kyung smiled and told him that he had already found what he was looking for. The girl was starting to get annoyed. She wanted to go back as soon as possible. The guy who was holding her asked what she was mumbling. Suddenly, she yelled out that she was here. It was pretty loud. It sounded like she had lost her mind. The guy wanted to help her wake up and took a swing at her. Suddenly, more than ten bodyguards appeared around. They surrounded them all. He told the chairman that they had found her, that they were sorry, and they would take her straight to him immediately. The ringleader, upon seeing them, yelled about who they were, whether they knew who he was. Suddenly, one of the bodyguards grabbed him, ordered him to shut up, and if he didn't comply, he would die. Kyung thought to himself that this man was incredibly strong since he was able to lift this guy with that kind of physique. The girl ordered them to stop and just take them to the police station. What was she supposed to do now? There was no way she could wipe off the paint, and the kitten didn't seem to move anymore. The bodyguard realized she looked like that because of the kitten. He asked her to give it to him because he worked at a veterinary clinic. He started to check the kitten and she silently watched and waited to see what he had to say. Unfortunately, there were no clinics nearby. The bodyguard was sorry to say this, but it seemed to him that the kitten would no longer survive. Just as suddenly, it suddenly became very chilly. The bodyguard informed his mistress that the weather was deteriorating and they should leave quickly. She was very sad and cried. Just at that time, Kyung came up. He touched her hair again and saw the spirit that was screaming frantically. It was really getting colder. It was such a strong spirit that even ordinary people could feel it. He tore up the ticket and walked over to the kitten. He knew it was really stupid but he felt he had to do something to save this kitten. The girl ordered him to stop, because doing so would only make his mom even angrier. Suddenly she stopped and saw another spirit in front of her. It was a grown man. It was James Harriet, the great veterinarian. She couldn't understand what was wrong with her. It was the first time she had ever seen a spirit like this one. She thought she wasn't feeling well. Kyung gave the kitten CPR and heart massage. The kitten breathed and started meowing. Mommy's spirit calmed down got happy and came to the kitten and started licking it. Kyung smiled and was very happy that he was able to help him. Amazingly, he was able to bring the kitten back to life, and the kitten's mom, she calmed down. The joyful spirit went to heaven and the boys watched. Rest in peace, spirit of the cat. The girl approached Kyung from behind. Kyung beat her to it, saying that she didn't need to thank him since he really wanted to help him. However, that wasn't what she wanted to say. If he knew he needed to do something like this, why didn't he do it sooner? She shouted at him. Did he want to get beaten up? He doesn't even know how to fight. This was the first time she had ever seen a weakling like him. She asked one of the bodyguards to give her a band-aid. The band-aid looked too childish and now she was angry at the bodyguard too. But he knew it was her favorite. That's why he gave it to her. She then walked over to Kion and stuck it on his face. The bodyguard reminded her that she shouldn't sneak out of the house. Mr. Chairman was very angry when he found out about it. She replied to him that she was coming back. After that, he approached Kyung and handed him a business card told him to go to his hospital, get treated, and contact him for medical help. Kyung took the business card. She left. Kyung tried to stop her but suddenly remembered that she said she wouldn't help him and so, stopped. Suddenly the girl turned around and said her name, Han Jae Young, and said that they would see each other again as soon as she got the chance. Kyung was happy to know that this girl was the daughter of the CEO of Xi'an Group. With such a huge house, it wouldn't be hard to figure out where she lived just by having an address. He had heard that they wouldn't let her leave the house. And even the bodyguards don't allow acquaintances to meet her. If they catch him, they must think he's a thief. And it's all over if he gets caught by the police. He needed to meet Han Che Young faster. He tore up the ticket and used his strength again. To jump the huge fence, he had to use the strength of Derek Hersey, the god of climbing. At first, he thought it would be quite easy. However, he saw a huge number of bodyguards. He counted about 18. He didn't understand why they needed so many bodyguards here. He was frustrated. He didn't know how he could get through them. And after all, it was his only option to meet her. It seemed that because of their numbers, it was impossible to get through there. And Kyung was sure that they were just as strong as the ones he had met recently, maybe even stronger. What was he to do? There were so many of them. Suddenly an idea popped into his head. The chairman was angry because they couldn't keep track of one girl with so many bodyguards. It was Han Che Young's father, Han Tae Yop. His employee answered him that he understood, and the chairman continued to swear. He had become overly sensitive because of the fucking crazy killer. At that moment, he got a call from his daughter. He called her an angel. He wanted to know why she called him. Maybe she wanted some goodies. But she just yelled into the phone that she didn't need any security. She was already suffocating with so many bodyguards around her 24 sevenths. There could be no compromise, for her father had chosen her bodyguards unconditionally. 
She felt he should have chosen someone thin, not talkative and short. Father hung up the phone. It annoyed her so much. She pounded her fists on the bed. The maid offered her something to eat, but she refused. What should they have done? After all, Jae Young hasn't eaten anything, which is too bad since she's not allowed to leave the house. She looks pale and thin. She has to take care of her health. Perhaps the young lady needs to faint so that Mr. Chairman will finally understand her. Her father thought about how he couldn't leave his daughter in such a state. He shouldn't have let her go out on weekends, even with bodyguards. But wouldn't that be too cruel to the young lady? No. Until he catches the killer, she is forbidden to leave the house. He asked his secretary of state if he would allow his daughter to go outside after the kidnapping. 31. To which secretary of state Park replied to him that he was sorry he was so slow-witted. It's been almost 10 years and the fucking murderer managed to escape even after the police caught him. Since Che Young didn't remember what happened that day, the Secretary of State assured the chairman that if he continued to keep the lady in the house without explaining the reason, she would start hating him one day. But he had no other choice. He did not want to remind her again of this terrible trauma. The chairman asked if there were any candidates at the moment who had claimed to be the bodyguard the Secretary of State had his eye on. And there was one. Chian Mu Do's heir, Choi Bayom. He had no shortcomings in his fighting skills and was very talented. He even defeated all the members of the Vipers. Vipers? One? The chairman asked what was the reason for this. After all, the Vipers were a huge organization. It was because those guys wouldn't lend him a cigarette. To go against the whole organization over such bullshit? He thought he'd already met all the crazies on his way. Puck replied that his wrestling skills are great. It was also good for them, because they could observe how a crazy killer would react to a crazy like him. The chairman wanted to see it for himself. He left the office to go there and test their skills. And the Secretary of State reread a message on his phone that said someone was asking him to convince the CEO of something, and then the plan would go smoothly. In the evening, he called Choi Biom. He asked him to kidnap a girl named Han Che Young. The man answered him that the price would be high, but money wasn't a problem for Park. But there are a lot of guards in the house, which makes kidnapping a bit difficult. But regarding the guards, the Secretary of State had one good idea. Interview for the role of the girl's bodyguard. The mansion alone has a dozen bodyguards. Kidnapping her head-on would be impossible. While he was thinking about how to kidnap her, someone sat down next to him. And it was Kyung. They both had the same thought that they just had to become one of the bodyguards. Because there were many adult applicants at the interview, the atmosphere was very unusual, and it put a lot of pressure on Kyung. The second test would be a physical ability assessment. The operator asked the applicants to choose a weight they could lift. Kyung knew that using the ticket, it wouldn't be hard to pass and began to think about who he should choose. Some guys started discussing that because this kid had also applied. They would now have to wait longer, and they were sure he was going to fail. One of the guys wished they were in the same group. He would have turned him into a rice cake in 10 seconds. Kyung realized they were talking about him, but decided not to focus on their chatter. He had a weightlifting test waiting for him, and for that he was calm. He lifted an 80-pound barbell and received a grade of A, and those watching him were shocked. Apparently that was his limit. He couldn't lift such a heavy weight as professional lifters do. His body wasn't adapted to something like that. But anyway, even so, it should be enough for them not to ignore him and see him as a worthy opponent. At this moment, he saw the barbell being lifted by Choi Biom, grade plus A. He lifted 175 kilograms. Yes, apparently all those who applied to be bodyguards turn out to be monsters. The next test will be sparring. It starts in 30 minutes. This was the time they were given to prepare and rest. Choi Biom was thinking about how bored he was and how he was surrounded by weaklings. Suddenly he noticed Lee Kyung Ho. All of his punches were hitting vital points. He was different from the others, but he was in group A and Choi was in group B and because of that, it would be impossible to fight him. However, he was a joyful outlet for fun, so he poured water on him. Choi thought that would be enough to make him angry. He thought he was too hot and needed to cool down a bit. He couldn't wait to see how strong he was. But Kyung didn't react to that in any way. He told him that it was okay and he really was hot. Choi realized that Kyung was trying to hide his anger, but the desire to fight him didn't go away. He pretended to leave for lunch. Kyung couldn't understand why he'd poured water on him, but he decided to be safe so he wouldn't regret it later. He needs to hold back, even when he's annoyed, so he doesn't get out of there early. Choi, while passing by the guise of Group B, heard one of them referring to Group B as wimps. He provoked a fight with him because he wanted to spar with Kyung so badly. It was time for the sparring. The cameraman repeated several times to get them into the ring, but all the candidates from Group B had disappeared. By then, Choi had already interrupted everyone. That should have been enough to fight Kyung. Choi got in the ring and asked how much longer he had to wait, to which the cameraman replied that something must have happened and he needed to wait a little longer. 
Later, the operator apologized for the wait and announced the start of the one-on-one -on -one sparring. Kyung was glad for the start. He thought that since he's in a different group, he won't fight this monster. Lee Kyung Ho and Choi Byom. Because every candidate in Group B except Choi Byom had given up, they took people from the other group. Choi decided to give him a head start to balance out the sparring. Choi told Kyung that he wasn't allowed to give up for the next one minute, and that was the last thing he had to offer. Since he was professionally trained to fight, he was on a whole different level compared to the bullies that Kyung had fought before. He couldn't even use the power of the dead to its fullest extent, as he had only been able to lift 80 kilograms previously. But actually, there might be a chance to defeat him. Choi warned Kyung that he was tired of waiting, and if he didn't hit him in the next 10 seconds, he would do it himself. He threw just one punch and the man went down. Kyung couldn't understand what happened. Why did he fell after one punch? And the winner was Lee Kyung Ho. He used the power of Cheon Mudo's founder, Lee So Hyup. His hobby was to make his students fight the target with one punch. Kyung Ho's opponent was defeated. The number of people who look down on him is decreasing, but it seems like all these guys are becoming more and more wary of me. How was he supposed to know that if he used this ticket, this test would be so easy? Meanwhile, the Secretary of State was watching him. This guy is the only one who defeated Choi Byom. He suddenly got in the way of his plan and made him very angry. He had to find out who it was. The final third test will be an interview directly with the chairman himself. Ten minutes will be given to prepare. The interview will last 15 minutes. The guy sitting across from him asked if he knew what they were going to ask him in the interview. Kyung replied that he didn't know. Could he really act so carefree when he didn't know anything? The guy thought he had at least some information, seeing how calm he was but Kyung didn't know anything. Guy continued to ponder how difficult the questions could be, looking at the facial expressions of those candidates coming out of the interview room. Not a single one, not a single one, had walked out of that room with a smile on his face. Because of this, some of the remaining candidates are so nervous about the interview. There's so much pay for that, after all. Kyung didn't know that qualifications were also paid for and was very surprised. The guy asked him if he really came here knowing nothing at all. Hundreds or maybe thousands of people like him had failed because they didn't do any investigation beforehand. Did Kyung really think it would be easy to pass? 12. Everyone here is risking their lives just to pass this test. Kyung should have paid attention to this matter. It would have been advice to him from an adult. Kyung answered him that he thought the interview should be very difficult and thanked him for his concern. This time he chose the power of the expert bodyguard Robert de Stewart Farrow. How can there be no one who is qualified enough? resented the chairman. What is Choi Byom's number? The worker wanted to answer something but didn't have time. He called out candidate number 21. The chairman asked him to hurry up because they didn't have much time. Kyung entered the office and said hello. He was short in stature and looked like a small gnome with a baby face. He was invited to sit down. No matter what anyone said or thought, he absolutely had to stay here. They were about to refuse him when they suddenly looked at his test results. I wonder if he looks like a dwarf just because he's wearing that costume. Number 21. His scores were amazing, even when the bodyguard test should be really difficult. Of course, he wouldn't be able to get less than a perfect score because he had used the strength of Zhang Dong Ho, the chief security officer of Chong Wa Dai. The chairman was surprised that there was another talented person besides Choi Byom. Suddenly, he noticed that he took first place in the sparring. One of the workers was about to say exactly that when he was interrupted, that Choi Byom was defeated by Lee Kyung Ho in sparring. The chairman couldn't believe what he heard. It was unbelievable. The chairman felt bad for judging him solely on his looks. He didn't know that Kyung was really a qualified person. As stated earlier in the recruitment notice, it wasn't like a normal bodyguard job. He warned him that he might face a life-threatening situation by becoming one. The chairman asked, knowing this, if Kyung was confident that he could risk his life protecting what was necessary. Kyung replied that he was ready. Kyung said he wasn't afraid of anything and would do his best to protect whatever he needed to protect if he was chosen to be one of them. The chairman smiled. Someone knocked on the cabinet. The chairman said to come in if it was something urgent. He relayed to the chairman that after he managed to knock Choi Beom down, he had made inquiries about him, and all the information in the document about Kyung, including his age, was fabricated information. The document says that he is 24, however, he is actually 17. Hmm, the same age as Che Young. He also suspected that he got a perfect score on the written and other tests because he cheated. Even if he really has the ability to become a bodyguard, it's still dangerous to have someone like this suspect. The chairman asked Kyung if he would mind asking him some questions to test him. He should know all the answers to the chairman's questions if he hasn't cheated during previous tests. Kyung replied that he understood, and that if the questions were related to bodyguards, he could easily answer them. The chairman asked him what the two most important goals of a bodyguard were. The employee advised the chairman not to ask such easy questions, 
but he asked him to stay out of the way. Kyung couldn't understand why no matter how hard he tried, nothing came to his mind. After all, in the time he had been taking the exam, he could answer all the questions. The chairman decided to ask him a couple more questions. He continued, and Kyung couldn't understand why he couldn't remember anything. Kyung couldn't understand what those English words meant. Was the man whose power he used really a foreigner? This was something he should have known, having been ranked first in the exam. The chairman couldn't understand how he was able to score 100 points on the test if he doesn't even know the basic terminology. That's right, because back then, Kyung was using the abilities of a Korean bodyguard, so he doesn't know any information about other countries. The chairman explained that the result he got on the first test wouldn't make sense if he said he cheated on it. But Kyung replied that he had not cheated. Then why were the questions the chairman asked from the same first test he was able to pass, but he can't answer them now? Kyung was speechless. This was a complete failure, and there was no guarantee that they would be able to meet Che Young on the street again. He only had a year left, and he would just die without meeting his mom. Did Kyung really think the chairman would believe in him and trust him to be his daughter's bodyguard, considering all the information about him was fabricated? Based on that, a candidate whose identity is not clear is never accepted as a bodyguard. He was sorry, but he asked him to leave right now. Kyung was very frustrated because there were so many things he wanted to hear and say, but it would take much longer than he thought. Che Young burst into the office. She was outraged that he hung up on her. I mean, she had asked him to fire all the bodyguards as her birthday present. I mean, she had told him over a hundred times that she hated bodyguards. She had no privacy, and she didn't understand why he ignored her words. Her father told her he understood how she felt but he had already said his answer and told her to go home before he got angry. When she saw Kian, she recognized him immediately, and he was the one she wanted to be her bodyguard. Good afternoon. Are you the new bodyguard? You look young, amazing. All the other bodyguards are in their 30s. How old are you? Uh, 20, I think? No, I'm 17. He's arrived at his new job. Getting this asshole as my bodyguard is done. Starting today, this is my room. This house is really luxurious. Now I don't have to go to school and I can finally find my mom. Still, I screwed up at the end, but thanks to her, I was accepted. Sir, it's dangerous to hire a man who lies about his age and has a questionable knowledge like him. Lee Kyung Ho, 17 years old, kicked out of high school. Other than Choi Biom fainting from one punch, there's nothing suspicious about him. He's just an ordinary kid. Ji Young knows of 27 instances where she was followed everywhere by suspicious people. All of them were not exactly ordinary people. They were very attentive. Even with a slight movement on our part, they would notice it and immediately start running away. That's what makes it impossible to catch them. Then what about this kid? He's young. No one's going to think of him as a bodyguard, making these bad guys think they can easily get close. I was never going to pick something that could put Che Young in a risky situation, but those bastards are acting so calculating. And if they're going to keep doing this, I have to catch and destroy them all, one way or another. Kyung looked for her all over the house. Since this house is so big, it was hard to find her. I've already lost track of how many rooms there are. Han Jae Young, wait, wait for me. Stop here. What are you doing? I wanted to, don't call her Han Chi Young, call her young lady. I'm sorry. I just wanted to greet the young lady. Who are you to just go and greet her? She doesn't need to have anything personal with her bodyguard. A recruit whose identity is not clear cannot be around a young lady. Pardon me? First, I'm going to give you some moral instruction. Follow me. So scary, and moral precepts? What's he talking about? In front of him was Kang Yan Man, the second team leader. You say you're a bodyguard? E, yes. Why do I feel like I might die after receiving such moral guidance? Nice to meet you. He hugged him. That's how men should greet each other. Look at him, he's so small. Kang young man, don't get too attached to this guy. He's not just here to greet us. And kid, I still don't see you as a qualified bodyguard. Maybe you got in because the brass wanted it that way. And I also can't understand why they'd pick a kid like you for something like this. If you want to be put as an equal to another bodyguard, first hone your skills. Lee Di Sayok, the first team leader. You don't have to be frivolous in a job like this. Right, Shine? Shine Doswell. He nodded. See, there are three people who share the same opinion. Lee Di Sayok, you shouldn't talk to that kid like that, and he's a good person. Take this, rookie. All right, this pen has a GPS. All bodyguards have them. You should always have this on you, so we can track you immediately when you're in an urgent or critical situation. Thank you. By the way, when can I see the young lady? Why do you keep doing such useless things? You'll only be allowed to move when you're ordered to. And for at least one month, you will be under my supervision. Okay. Someone started banging on the door very vigorously. What a tense atmosphere. I'm too scared to say anything, Kyung thought. I thought it would be over once I became her bodyguard, but it's getting harder. There was a young lady knocking on the door who really wanted to go to the park. 
At this time, Secretary Park was tearing up a picture of Choi Byung, mentally insulting him. In the end, I decided to indulge the president's predilections, but because of his foolish act, someone suddenly called him from an unknown number. Yes, yes, tell me. Is it true, and what was the result? I'm sorry, but it failed. This time, there's a John Doe who knocked out a client with one punch. But this time, we have people worthy of our trust. I certainly won't let you down. So what's the deadline? We start immediately. I'm looking forward to it. Suddenly, the thought of tearing up the ticket crossed Kyung's mind. As he tore it up, he once again saw in front of him a list of all the people whose powers he could use. Then, he decided to try to restore it, and he succeeded. Oh, he had recovered. I see, if you don't summon a soul, the ticket reverts to its original state. But if you think about it, the previous soul didn't know anything about Korea. So the ticket didn't recover. We should check it out. At 9 o'clock, about 500 meters. At 6 o'clock, about 20 meters. Found it. So I can find tickets if I concentrate. Now I need to reread the rules I know. Rule number 7. The user can find tickets without worrying about losing it. That's great. Now I'll try again. What's this jerk doing? He's walking back and forth like an asshole. Eh? I can't believe I'm watching this jerk walk around. I have a lot of souls that can help me. Is there really no way out? And then she realized she could use Kyung to do it. Uncle Lee Seok, I have a headache. I want to go for a walk. Young lady, are you feeling better? No, I want to take a longer walk. Hey, good to see you. He extended his hand to him. But Lee Seok wasn't in a welcoming mood. And instead of just saying hello, he tossed it over his shoulder. Don't approach the young lady so recklessly. Ji Young stood in front of him. Hey, what are you doing? Miss, I haven't accepted him into the team yet. He's actually my friend. We've known each other since we were 10 years old. Stop being so rude to my friend. It's been years since we were kids. Since kindergarten. She put her hand over his mouth before he could say anything. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't know you were a friend of the young lady. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. We have a lot to talk about. I'm going out. I'm sorry, but a bodyguard must accompany you on your walk. Really? But Kyung Ho is my friend. Please, let me go for a walk. Then I'll have to accompany you for your safety. Just this once. Do you want to eavesdrop on what we talk about? Do you think you'll feel better if you know all our personal stories? How far are you going to go? He gave them 20 minutes. Hmm. So she doesn't hate me. That's good. Kyung thought. How can I get rid of him? Thought Ji Young. He's weak, but he's not dumb if he made it to the interview. I just need him to be caught a little off guard. Exactly. I can charm him with my beauty. And then I can put him to sleep with a sleep spray. Look, why did you lie? Or I can't remember. We're not really friends, are we? That's right. I lied to him. I just wanted to be alone. With you. I don't care. By the way, why are there so many bodyguards here? What? It didn't work? I can't believe it didn't work. What am I gonna do? You're gonna have to wait a little while to use the spray. You're not a celebrity, so why are there so many bodyguards here? What's the reason? Uh, bodyguards? I've never told anyone about this. I shouldn't tell you the truth, but I'll tell you because you're special. Physically, I've been weak since childhood. I'm fully recovered now. But I've lost most of my childhood memories. And you must have heard about the killer who's after me. Yeah. I guess I have. I think the bad guys are after me because of my memories. Because I remember something important. She didn't really know the truth. She just made it up. But I felt it the last time you saved me when I was in danger. I'm a princess in danger. And you? She moved closer to him and took his hands. You're my prince who saved me. God, I'm so embarrassed. I hope he falls for it. Crazy girl. She must have seen a princess movie last night, Kyung thought. No way. I'm not a prince. I'm a bodyguard. Jeez, how did that asshole even get through the interview? What happened? Nothing, he's so stupid. Should I tell her I'm still my mother's soul? Oh, I'm getting dizzy, my blood pressure's rising. Hmm, what's he dreaming about? As she was walking, and thinking about how her beauty was worth billions of dollars, but he wasn't buying it, she stepped on a sewer, and her heel got stuck in it. She was already falling, but Kyung caught her in time. You okay? Yeah, it helped me again. It's no big deal. I'm your bodyguard, it just happened. I want to thank you for your help. Can you close your eyes? Uh, why close your eyes? Just close your eyes. I want to thank you. Don't get me wrong. No way, she's... What should I do? I've never kissed anyone before. Should I stick out my lips? Here's your present. She sprayed him with sleep spray. Kyung sobbed and fell to the ground. I'm sorry. Everything I said earlier was a game. Sweet dreams. Putting on her cap, she turned around and left. I don't care how many bodyguards there are. We're always ready. Just give me the signal and we'll get started. Okay. The target's name. Han Ji Young. Ji Yeon was happy. Yay, I'm free, finally. Wait, I'm still not ready. Lee Siok found him sleeping on the floor, picked him up and grabbed him by his shirt. He slapped him to wake him up. Where's the young lady? She, oh shit, she put me to sleep with some kind of spray and ran away. What? He grabbed a walkie-talkie and told all the bodyguards it had been 20 minutes since the young lady ran away. Everyone immediately started looking for her. 
Young lady, please come out. Stop hiding. Lee Siok found a small hole in the wall. Sir, I think the young lady escaped through the hole in the wall. There's an emergency. All bodyguards gather in the garden. One of the bodyguards stepped aside to write a message. The message was for Secretary of State Park, saying that she had escaped from the house without being caught by the bodyguards. Hmm? She ran away again? All the bodyguards were gathered in the courtyard. Lee Siok broadcasted that the young lady escaped again because of my carelessness. She escaped about 20, 30 minutes ago. I want you to check all the places she might have looked. Each team leader will be assigned a separate area. That's it. Let's go. Sir, since I'm responsible for this, can I help with the search? Kyung asked. You said you're the new bodyguard? I made the mistake of trusting you. If anything happens to the young lady, you'll die. This is Lee D. Siak over. Check all places in the city, especially the most hidden ones. God, I've made a terrible mistake. I'd like to help search too, but I don't know what's going on. If I go out there, I'm just gonna get in the way. What have I done? What if something happens to her? What's the point of having these powers? Ever since I got them, I've been in more and more trouble. Wait a minute, I can do this. In a sparring match between two guys, the guy in the blue kimono won. Get rid of him. Next. The next guy got the same way and broke the guy's arm. The guy started screaming and he told him to stop doing that before he threw him again. Target's gone. Got it. She ran out of the house 30 minutes ago. Get your guys ready. Where is she? I'll call you as soon as I find out where she is. I'm on my way. All right, I'm on my way. Guys, get ready to move out. What's the situation? You checked the restaurants? We did. No sign of the young lady. Uh, okay. Where'd she go? We've only searched half the neighborhoods. Unlike last time, I have more men to find her faster. The chairman told me to keep the kidnapping a secret. I have no choice but to say it before anything happens. Increase the search area. Search everywhere. I want you guys to move as fast as you can. It's really dangerous for her to be outside for more than an hour. Check the movie theater, the coffee shop, the abandoned dog protection center. Check all those places and get back to me as soon as possible. Checking was in full swing. Yes, I found you. It's been three hours since she ran away and we still can't find her. It's too dangerous for her to be alone for that long. I hope she's safe. Bad thoughts went through Lee Siok's head as if she was no longer alive. There's no time to think about that. She's fine. We'll find her no matter what. We need to focus. He got a picture of Ji Yeon on his phone. I sent him the picture. This time, I chose the strength of cybersecurity agent Ernest Chapman. It's okay. The quickest way was to check the assigned locations for the bodyguards. I can feed them information and support from here. This is a picture from the security cameras. Who the hell sent it? The kidnapper? No. It's one of the bodyguards. I'll find out who it was later. We need to find the young lady first. Lee Siok informed all the bodyguards that she's currently at Sky Park. Hmm, Sky Park. Everyone, proceed to Sky Park. When you get there, report back to me. You may not know this, but your mother's soul is right here. She was really worried about you. Ji Young was talking to the bird. I did another good deed. Now it's time for another ice cream. And there was already a tail behind her. Two guys were chasing her. Target found. Who the hell are those guys? Kyung noticed the guys on the camera. Where are the bodyguards? At this rate, she'll be kidnapped. The radio said the bodyguards are in traffic. No way. She'll be kidnapped for sure. I gotta do something on my own. I can't believe we're stuck in traffic at some point. Even if we somehow get through the traffic, it's gonna take more than 10 minutes. I hope she doesn't leave the park. Sir, I checked out the traffic jam. It's because there's been an accident, so the road is blocked. What? What about the other roads? The car that was in the accident is standing in the middle of the intersection. Who's sending these pictures? Oh, what? Another image? They sent him a picture of a car being chased. Meanwhile, Ji Yan was enjoying the atmosphere. The new three-layer ice cream. I've always wanted to try it. Someone attacked her from behind and cut off her oxygen with a handkerchief. The ice cream fell out of her hands. The girl's been kidnapped. Do something now, or I'll go after those bastards. If anything happens to her, none of you will be forgiven, do you understand? Two more hours? I have to go now. All the bodyguards were stuck in traffic. Lee Siok didn't know what to do. Meanwhile, someone flew by. It was Kyung. ETA five minutes. Meanwhile, the kidnappers were already taking Ji Yan somewhere. It's driving me crazy. I only joined them for the money. I shouldn't have agreed. Will this plan even work? We won't get caught, right? We're almost done working. Shut up and just follow me. What? You're still getting there? Yes, sir, we're very sorry. At that moment, the chairman received a message on his phone from Kyung. Check all the CCTV cameras in the area. Great. Now I can count on them to chase the kidnappers. One of the employees found them. She was abducted in Sky Park five minutes ago. Judging by their location, they're near the supermarket. Give me my car. I'm gonna bust all these bastards' heads in. Sir, please stop. Leave it to the bodyguard. Let me go. What are the bodyguards doing now? They're stuck in traffic from a car accident, sir. Enough of your excuses. 
Give her back to me right now. Sir, what are you going to do? We're gonna be stuck in traffic for over 40 minutes. We have to find another way. Shit! The accident can't be a coincidence. It's ridiculous. Suddenly he saw his co-workers on motorcycles. They pointed him to a motorcycle store. Sir, we're tracking down criminals. Yes, and hurry up. Get the color of the vehicle, license plate number, and location. They were immediately given the license plate number and color of the van the girl was in, as well as the location they had been to recently. Kyung had already found them. They were standing at a gas station. He was watching. Hey, mister, stop that right now. This is a gas station. You can't smoke cigarettes here. Are you crazy? He put out his cigarette, but it wasn't that simple. He hit him several times. I know this is a non-smoking place, so why are you making a fuss? Brother, we might get in trouble. Should we go? Didn't I tell you? If you whine again, I'll kill you. Look at him, poor, weak, useless. Even if he calls the police, I won't be afraid. I'll have to wait before I act. It seems they left her alone. Including the three people in the car? There are only five? Oh, it's true, I found her. And don't forget, I'm the reason you're making money. Yes, I'm sorry, please forgive me. What do you do for a living? Kidnapping girls? I'm here to bring ji Yan back. Kidnapping, assault. You guys are crazy. I'll take you to the police. But unfortunately, after tearing up the ticket, he realized he can't pick another soul if he's already used one. Chae Young speaking, how did you know her name? Meanwhile, he had already beaten up Kyung. He was lying on the ground. As the guy continued to beat up Kyung, Kyung was sure that other bodyguards would be coming here soon. I need to buy some time somehow. Yeah, it looks like the dead guy has enough strength left to grab my leg. We've had enough fun already. Let's go. Are you really so pathetic that you make money kidnapping girls? I've never seen anyone as pathetic as you. You're even more pathetic than the guy you attacked earlier. Getting angry, the guy walked back to Kyung. He wanted to crush him and did so. Shit! We wasted too much time on that bastard. Hurry up! Meanwhile, Kyung was left lying unconscious on the pavement. Sir! I found them! I don't know why, but they were near the gas station. The bodyguards were informed that the kidnapper's car passed the Dong Kmart intersection a minute ago. Why are they still there? Have they been at the gas station all this time? I can catch up with them! I got them! I'll deal with them now. He managed to break the back window of the car. When he saw his partner next to him, he asked him to move to the other side. But as it turned out, it wasn't his partner. And as he got closer to Lee Siok, he put a metal pipe in the wheel of the motorcycle. The motorcycle flipped over and flew off in the opposite direction from their direction. He managed to stay on his feet, moreover. As the car at that moment stopped due to the traffic light, he managed to throw the handle with the GPS navigator broken window. They drove off. And just at that moment, his partners pulled up. What happened to the kidnappers? Now we got a deputy, guys. Take a look. Oh, the tracker. Lee D. Sayok. Take my bike and follow them. And we'll follow you. They're still around. We can still catch them. Go straight to the overpass and turn left after 200 meters. Are you sure? Just drive. Trust me. They broke through the fence. They flew off the top of the road and flew down. The bodyguard who wasn't driving was about to jump. And he did. He made it. He broke the front window. He grabbed the steering wheel and he confused the driver. And he lost control. Next, the car slammed into a pole. Sir, Kang Young Man's team has caught the kidnappers. Bring them all to me. Shane caught one of the kidnappers. Where is she? I did what I was told. She's not in the car. I'll tell you everything, so don't hurt me. Oh shit, the young lady really isn't in the car. Where the hell did you find her? Where's the young lady? Please, don't hit me. I'll tell you everything. We switched cars, and the other car took a different route. How did you guys know we were following you? And when did you change cars? We met one of the bodyguards. We listened to your movements through his earpiece. A bodyguard? Don't lie. None of the bodyguards got to you that fast, except us. Please believe me, I'm telling the truth. Please believe me. Did you catch him? Bring him to me. I need to ask him some questions in person. Why did they kidnap her? Sir, we have a problem. I don't want to hear anymore. Bring that bastard and my daughter here. Sir, the kidnappers have changed cars, but don't worry, we'll find her. Shit. It's because of my earpiece. They must have escaped from the bodyguards, but there's still hope. I put the ticket in his pants. The car shouldn't have gone far. Maybe I can still track them down. I'm the only one who can save her. Brother. What? I thought it was impossible to kidnap her because of the number of bodyguards. How many spies do we have among them? I only know two or three. There's one who keeps an eye on everything that goes on. What? It must be someone who's been working there for a while. They've kept security so high for so long, they haven't even noticed the spies among them. Without spies, it wouldn't be possible. Is that why the pay is higher? Yes, there's a chance we'll fail. But if we succeed, We'll all enjoy the money for the rest of our lives. While he was following them, the ticket expired. Kyung fell to the ground. Shit, I'm out of time. Now is not the time to sit idly by. If only I could recognize their target. That's right. I heard them talking about an old factory. Fortunately, there's only one factory nearby. It'll take some time by car. 
but I can get there faster with shortcuts. I don't know how many people are after her, but I'll stop them. Yes, sir. What's taking so long? I'm sorry, we're almost there. We got a little distracted. Be there in five minutes. He's annoying. Drive faster. Suddenly, they saw the same guy he beat up earlier standing in front of them. That crazy punk? How did he even follow us, brother? What should I do? Run him over. Are you sure? Are you sure? Just do it. We're late. Damn bastard! Why doesn't he move out of the way? It's the only thing we can do. But I can't kill him. Oh my god, hit the brakes. We're going too fast to stop. I'm not afraid of dying anymore. He didn't even try to avoid it. Crazy. After informing the chief, he ordered to bring him in too. Fine, put that asshole in the car. The other side will take care of him. But why isn't he bleeding? Wasn't that a hard hit? Suddenly, they're all stunned. The dead man had come back to life. Turn off the car, I'm taking Han Jae Young back. He used the strength of Brandon Lee, the stuntman son of martial arts master Bruce Lee. He acted like the car ran over him right before it hit him. How the hell did he do that? Doesn't matter. He was probably just lucky. Brother, he's so persistent. He's been following us since the gas station. Let me take care of him. That's right, you're supposed to be quiet when your eldest comes to you. I can't believe someone like you is a bodyguard. Kyung punched him many times, took him down one or two times and he fell to the ground. That can't be true, he took him down in a few blows. Four more, Kyung thought. At that moment, two more guys came over. Brother, we killed those who were chasing us. Where are the other two? The police are investigating the accident. Two more, six in total. So these guys were the cause of the accident on the road. Now guys, don't waste time, take him down. He knocked our guy out in a couple blows. I already reported him dead. So I don't care what you do to him. Everybody standing there went at him. He fought back one by one and then he struck back, quickly and very professionally. At one point he got distracted and one of the guys hit him from behind with an iron pipe. Iron bats, one more hit and I'm gonna pass out. I'm not the type to forgive someone easily if they kill my men. Don't worry, it'll be over soon. Suddenly Kyung started running away and the guys ran after him. Catch him! When he got to the car, he jumped in through the window. Throw that rat out of the car! While he was talking, Kyung flew out the other side and kicked one of the guys in the face. The other guy wanted to hit him from behind again, but he failed because Kyung had his back to the car door. He hit everyone back, and when it was the ringleader's turn, he started beating him more furiously than the others. Finally, all the enemies were defeated. Some howled in pain and some lay unconscious. Whoever hired these guys tried to call them. There's no answer. Leave a message after the beep. What the hell took them so long? There was a man waiting for them at the factory with a scarred face, a mangled eye, wearing a suit. While they were weak or unconscious, Kyung tied them all up. Where's your boss? Where is he? Answer me. But the man remained silent. Why don't you answer? He continued beating him. A memory came back to this guy. Brother, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. The problem is that the meeting place was revealed. After saying that, the man cut his cheek in half. Hey, what are you doing here? I told you to be there in five minutes. Eh? Did he single-handedly take care of everyone? That kid? You took them all down by yourself? Kyung flew at him with his fists. Hmm. A punch instead of an answer? Then I'll do the same, okay? He tried to hit him, but it didn't work. Kyung swung at him really hard. Capoeira? Kyung was throwing many punches in a row with great speed, but the man was very strong. Suddenly, at some point, the man punched him in the face. It was very sudden, and Kyung flew aside. I'm sure the punches were perfect. Is that how it could be? Obviously his muscles must be sore after those punches. Is it because of the weight difference? I'll have to beat him another way. It's the soul of a non-professional, but it knows martial arts. He's used to fighting in places like this, Ken thought. Then, Ken's helmet was under his feet, and he kicked it away like a soccer ball right in his face. You really think that trick is going to work? The trick did work, and Keon even managed to land a few punches, however. The man punched him again, right in the solar plexus, and Kyung began to gasp. This guy, he's intentionally acting like this. The moment I lower my defenses, he aims for my jaw. He's immature, but experienced. He doesn't even care about our weight difference. I've never seen anyone like him. You are young now, but in a few years you will be very strong. He grabbed him by the hair and lifted him up. Where did you train in martial arts? Even if I answer, what do I get in return? Depends on your answer. Money, strength, respect? Ha! I don't need any of those things. I just want the girl you kidnapped. What? Yeah, I guess I overestimated you. Die. He grabbed him by the shirt and was about to throw him over his shoulder. Suddenly someone called him, he got distracted, and Kyung was left hanging in the air. Hi! I'm at a disadvantage. I can't beat him in a place like this. Have you arrived yet? Where are you? Wait a minute, Kyung thought. He felt the man relax his hand a little. He immediately took advantage of the moment, lashed out and knocked the phone out of his hands. The phone went flying, swirling in the air, and Kyung tried to catch it. He did. He could hear their location. 
the construction site across from the A-wing. He hung up the phone and looked at the man. He smirked. No, no, bring him back. He went to meet him and held out his hand, but Kyung in the same second smashed it to pieces. What do you need it for? Now I'm the only one who knows where it is? You bastard! I'll give you death! Come back here! But Kyung ran like hell. You can't run now, I'll torture you to death. Escape? Kyung smirked again. Come on, try it! I lured you here. For a couple of tricks. I have a very big advantage here. Tricks? I'm not letting you go, you little punk. You want to make an action movie before you die? I'll kill you here tonight. He surpasses me in strength, speed, and skill. I can't fight him head on. We have to use that soul to the max. The man thought the man wanted to escape. And before he could even realize it, Kyung was behind him. He started beating him with an iron pipe. What? What the hell? How did his fist suddenly become so heavy? And he threw one of his most powerful punches again. I can't win if I don't play fair. He threw sand right into his eyes. Huh? I'm the lucky one. Once I catch you, you'll die. But suddenly Kyung disappeared from sight again. Where are you, rat? He tried to figure out where he was hiding. Suddenly from behind him he heard a bucket fall. A huge number of buckets started falling on him from all sides. Stop fooling around. Come out now. Suddenly he realized that Ken was flying at him from above with a huge tank. It's over, asshole. You. I'm not gonna forgive you anymore. I thought I was gonna let you go. But you've crossed the line. As soon as I take this off you, I'm gonna rip your limbs out. I've already reached my limit. I'll have to aim where he's hurt. Just a little more. I'm finally out of it. No matter what, I'm going to smash your head in. But before he could do anything, Kyung had already kicked him in the stomach with his foot and that kick was decisive. Finally, he fell down and couldn't fight anymore. Yeah, I guess he won't die from that. Did I lose? The name Kang Jin Mok for five years in judo has been considered unbeatable. He started to remember when one of the guys defeated him. A lot of people had been waiting for this for years. He lost in front of a huge number of spectators. A guy came up to him to help him up, told him the match was good, and thanked him. At this point, he got very angry and stood up and proceeded to beat the guy up. He had never felt anything like that before. It was then that he realized that the sport wasn't for him. He realized that he doesn't want to win. He just wants to make the other man crawl on the floor. Suddenly, he stood up and grabbed Kyun's sleeve, which was very unexpected. I finally caught you. I'll make you a cripple for the rest of your life. What? Didn't I tell you I have the advantage here? Do you really think I lured you here for no reason? He threw it with all his might. Hmm. With just one blow. That's because he's Bruce Lee's son. I'm almost done with what I came here for. It's time to call it a day and come back. Now he had to find the customer. Mr. Chairman, are you really in a position where you can act so decisively? Could it be that your age is making you senile? Should I cut off one or two of your daughter's fingers and let her go? Fingers? Who are you bastard? I'll search the whole country to find you. The whole country is also included in the whole world. I'll take my money from the client and leave the country. What? The chairman got sick and grabbed his heart. Sir, calm down. I'll get 30 billion won from the client. What can you give me? I can give you more. Please let my daughter go. My daughter is all I have, please. It doesn't matter. I'll just kill her. He laughed his heart out. That decrepit old man. I'm finally free of the burden of being his secretary. He didn't even realize I was a spy. Keep looking for your daughter for the rest of your life. He continued to laugh at the top of his voice. He heard a noise, as if someone was coming up. Well, he was here at last. But it wasn't him. It was Kyung. Wait, you're the new bodyguard. Before he could say anything, Kyung had already punched him in the face. Why did you kidnap Han Jae Young? Aren't you going to answer? Answer me, you bastard. I saw you when I did the interview. You're already finished. Then answer me. Because of people like you, she can't even go outside. Say something. Oh shit, he passed out. Okay, now. Well, I'll leave the rest to the bodyguards. Who's gonna believe I tracked down, got here, and defeated nine kidnappers on my own? I'm pretty sure I can't keep the existence of the tickets a secret anymore. The moment people find out about this, I'm sure it will be a nightmare. What am I gonna do? Where the hell could they be going? Just as suddenly, another text message arrived on his phone. The message stated that all the kidnappers had been neutralized near the abandoned factory 142-2. Han Che Young was safe. But who is this? Where am I? Am I on someone's back? I can't even move because of the chloroform. How do I get out of here? Where the hell is he taking me? A eh? Bodyguard? I've been rescued? My hands aren't tied. We have a lot of bodyguards, so they must have rescued me. I thought Dad was overprotective because nothing serious had happened to me so far. He tried so hard to keep me safe at home. There were a lot of bodyguards there. Miss, it's dangerous for you to go out alone in a place like this. I know you guys are trying to scare me. But Miss, we're telling the truth. I know my father told you not to let me out, didn't he? Don't lie, I knew my dad would do that. I didn't know I was really being hunted. I mocked all the bodyguards without knowing anything. I'm so ashamed. But wait a minute. 
I've seen this hair color before. I can't remember. I'm so ashamed I can't even look at it. I'll pretend to be unconscious until I get home. I won't leave my room for a week, so let's not talk for a while. Are you awake? That voice sounds like that asshole. Hey, do you know how hard it was to save you from kidnappers? Everyone in your house is going crazy. You escaped and dozens of bodyguards searched the whole town looking for you. The kidnappers made a fuss too. Although it's my fault too. So be sure to apologize to them properly instead of making excuses. Suddenly she cried. Why are you crying? Come on, there's no need to cry. Did I scare you? I'm not angry with you. It's because of me. Your face, it's broken. I didn't know. It was a shame to stay at home for years, but... Uh, I had no friends. I thought dad was trying to be overprotective and lied to me. You thought he kept you in the house for years and that the kidnappers were lying and it annoyed you so you kept running away from home. He tapped her lightly on the head. Dozens of bodyguards scared just because you thought it was all a lie? What are you, an idiot? I'm sorry. It's not a big deal. If someone hasn't been outside for years, anyone would want to run away from home. It's not your fault. If I were you, I'd do the same thing. If I had something I wanted to do but couldn't, I'd be desperate to do it. Without giving up hope and without giving up. I know that feeling better than anyone else. Then let's do it together. But I'll be your bodyguard and keep you away from the kidnappers who are coming for you. I won't let them touch you. What? You'll give me my freedom? Yes, but there's one thing I want you to do. I want you to find my mother's soul. What? You got him? The bodyguard had the secretary by the scruff of the neck. Get out, you bastard! His real name is Jung Jung Jin. He changes his name every time he joins a spy group. Mr. Chairman, please forgive me. Bastard, let me through. I'll kill that bastard. Sir, please stop. Mr. Chairman, many people are watching. Let me lock him in the basement. Take him away now. My daughter, where is she? Father, it's my fault. She thought he was going to hit her, but he came over and hugged her. Does it hurt anywhere? You must have been scared, right? It's your father's fault. Your father should have been there for you instead of locking you in the house. Daddy, I'm sorry. I'll listen to you. No, your father is more sorry. Meanwhile, some guy was following them, codenamed Black Mamba. Hello? The spy failed. He's been caught. The spy who joined the company as a secretary? He got caught? He's so useless that I even forgot his code name. Codename Anna. Anaconda. I worked so long and hard on this plan to fail because of that jerk. I have to report. Be careful. The other snakes are on the move too. Other snakes? There were others near us? There are many others besides us. Codename Love and Salmusa are undercover. You're going to come yourself, aren't you? That's the most information I can give you. That reminds me. I've heard there's a backup that helps us snakes when we're in danger. Also, make sure he doesn't open his mouth. Copy that. I will see to it that this task is accomplished. Please stop. I don't know anything. Sir, I checked his cell phone and detained the rest of his comrades. Why were you after my daughter? Is it a client? I did it for the money. I don't know anything else except that the money was transferred. I never saw their faces, only phone calls from a hidden number. Mr. Chairman, I really told you everything I know. But he continued to be beaten. Stop. Your words will decide how long you live. I'll ask you again. Who ordered you to do this? But I really don't know. I'm willing to bet my life on it. Don't lie to me. Who told you to do it? Answer me. Why are you following my daughter who hasn't left home in years? Memories came back to my mind. The guy gave me an address where he could pick up his money. But how can I do that? I don't know how you're going to do it. But I do know that if you say anything unnecessary, you'll be punished just as you were in the old days. Every one of your limbs will be tied with a rope to a horse. And when the horses run, you will be torn to pieces. Now that I've told you all the information about the job, not only yours, but the lives of your friends and relatives are in our hands. Don't ever say anything. Tough guy, I'll make you a deal. If you give me their names, I'll guarantee your protection. I'll also give you money to live abroad. No matter how much they threaten you, I can save you from them all. Just tell him the name, and he'll protect me if he would take care of me and my family? So you'll do it? What's his name? Sir, there's no need to worry. Besides, Black Mamba has been in contact with other snakes. He can be trusted, sir. I really don't know his name. Don't give him a sip of water until he tells the truth. Yes, sir. Miss Anna, I have a picture of this man. Bring it here. Hmm, I know that face. Is he the successor to that weird martial arts guy? Sounds like a lot of fun. Choi Byom, Chun Mudo's successor. Now that I'm here, what should I do? Hey, I forgot to bring my lighter. Give me yours. He abruptly snatched the cigarette from his hands and threw it on the floor. Step aside. You're in my way. Are you the dog I was supposed to meet? I've already been paid, so I'll have to play my part. Bring me my secretary or I'll kill you. What? You'll kill me. That's pathetic. Haven't you heard of Chion Mudo or Choi Bayom? No, I've never heard of them. Then I'll have to beat it on your face. He tried to hit him, but he dodged the punch. Huh, trying to dodge? The guy punched him back and he flew sideways. Oh, he's strong. Anyway, I won't lose. There's no need to use all your strength. 
You still want to go on? No, I just remembered something important. What's your name, by the way? Black Mamba, I don't have a name. I'll remember it. So were you able to find any useful information? They had tattoos of snakes on their arms. There's a possibility that different organizations are working together. Other than that, we searched for 30 minutes and found nothing else. Damn them. That's an aside. You didn't do anything to save Zhang Yan, right? Yes, that's right. She was already saved by the time I arrived. Then who saved her? I heard from Zhang Yan that she didn't see him either. Sir, the person who saved young miss wasn't me. In fact, because the ID was hidden, the identity of the sender was anonymous. Identity? You received a message from this anonymous person? Yeah, that's right. He played a big role in this rescue operation. Who the hell could that be? Hey, look over there. Is that the new guy? Yeah, I had the day off, but because of this punk, I had to go to work. More than ten people had to go to work. Kyung stood up and apologized to them. Go to hell. He's bruised. He shouldn't be injured by a team leader. Apparently it was for neglecting his duty. He deserved it. Eh, it feels like all the bodyguards hate me now. Shine appeared in front of him with a cup in his hands. Kyung apologized to him as well. He didn't even say anything, but why? You don't even want to talk to me? But instead of words, Shine held out a band-aid to him. Uh, thank you. Well, I guess not everyone hates me. Suddenly someone called out to him, that voice. We should at least say goodbye before we go. Your last goodbye. I couldn't cover for you because you made this mess. The chairman wants to see you. Shit. I can't tell him about the existence of the tickets, so what should I tell him? I should have asked Jae Young to apologize to the president, even though she doesn't know any other bodyguards. Mr. President? Yes, come in. Hello, Mr. President. The president sat down on the chair in front of him. Don't panic. Maybe the chairman summoned me for another reason. What do you think I called you for? Kyung mumbled something in response. Me, for security. Really? Were you doing your role as a bodyguard then? No, Kyung replied. Bodyguards protect their companion and keep an eye on them. Isn't that the basis of security to minimize the risk? Kyung remained silent. I heard that because of you, my daughter was able to go outside. You have a vague idea why I called you here, right? What should I do? Should I tell him the whole truth now? I can't avoid this discussion without telling him about the tickets. Can the chairman be trusted? What if he tries to seize them with bad intentions? That's right. I shouldn't trust people. I have to hide the truth about the tickets until the very end. Let's try to justify ourselves somehow. Well, why don't you answer me? You don't even know what you did wrong? I know I'm the one to blame this time. I was very irresponsible. I will take my punishment accordingly, but I want to continue working as a bodyguard. I have a very good reason. I asked you what you did wrong. I got a young miss kidnapped, sir. You're making a fool of me right now. I almost killed you because I didn't know you saved her life. Are you an idiot? Why don't you say anything when I give you a chance to speak for yourself? Why do you keep it a secret that you saved her? But how did you... The chairman turned on the tape on the TV. There was a moment on the tape where he was standing right in front of the kidnapper's car as they tried to run him down. If I hadn't seen that video, I would have cut you up, becoming the dumbest father in the world. The crime of trying to make me look stupid is your fault. But how did he find out? I told him because my father was going to shoot you. You're my daughter's savior. It's a sin in itself not to know. You were going to keep it a secret until the very end? Well, I, uh... It's okay. If you want to keep it a secret, I won't ask again. Who else could have protected my daughter by blocking the road in the car? I'm so grateful you're here. Tell me what you want. I'll give you anything, as long as it's within my means. You're a savior, don't you have anything you want to achieve? Anything? Yes, that's right, anything you want. Then I have a favor to ask of you. Please allow young miss and I to, uh, go to school together. What? The chairman was puzzled. Really? Ji Yan couldn't believe what she heard. She was happy. The driver brought them to school. The first day, the teenagers looked at them with envy. Wow, they even have their own driver. Young lady, we're almost there. Please get out. We'll only accompany you to this location. I'll pick you up after school. Okay. Hey, wait, let's go together. Lee Kyung Ho, I still don't understand the chairman's decision to let you be the only bodyguard. But if anything happens to the young lady, I'll tear you apart. I understand. Why did the chairman entrust this job to him? But since her savior is here, I can rest easy. Wow, there are so many teenagers my age here. She was literally glowing with happiness. Lee Kyung Ho, look, look, it's a school, a school. I know. I've only seen her in dramas. It's amazing. She's so excited. Well, I don't blame her. But actually, I'm really glad dad let her go to school because he said no at first. Chairman, we're working hard to find the culprit. It's still dangerous to send a young lady to school. Yes, it's dangerous, but he remembered his conversation with Kyung. Sir, could you do me a favor? I want the young lady to help me with something. I'll repay you for it. What do you mean, pay you back? I'll catch the rest of your enemies. 
Does this school have anything to do with catching enemies? I heard you've hired dozens of bodyguards over the past few years to keep the young ladies safe from kidnappers. I know the enemy is very cautious, so it's hard to catch them by the tail. Do you want to lure them into the school? No, and I've already thought about it. But after this situation, I've decided that under no circumstances will I ever do that. I'm not going to create another situation that puts her in danger. Don't you get it yet? Now the enemies are starting to attack from within. We can no longer guarantee the young lady's safety inside the building. How long are you going to keep her locked up? Or are you saying that the young lady will have to live in captivity until she dies? That's the wrong decision in this situation. I know that too. But the school has a lot of eyes, so the enemies can't move freely. It won't be a problem if you just keep an eye on the classroom and protect the young lady. Then what if she encounters danger? What will you do? I realize that you don't trust me because I didn't tell you how I came out to the kidnappers. And I realize that I'm too young to be trusted and that I may seem unreliable. Even so, I'm not afraid to die. If any situation happens where a young lady is in danger, I will risk my life to protect her. You will risk your life to protect her. It seems like you have many secrets, but this is the first time I've heard words that seem trustworthy. Silence, silence in the classroom. We have two new transfer students today, the teacher said. Briefly introduce yourselves and take a seat. My name is Han Che Young. I'm 17 years old. Nice to meet you. My name is Lee Kyung Ho. Let's get along. I brought you two desks. Have a seat. The kids in the class started to whisper to each other. At recess, some girls came up to her and started asking her all kinds of questions. If you're good at singing, please join our music club. No, she's more suited for the radio club. Try both clubs. Ji Young got nervous. She felt dizzy from so many people. Is this what a school should be like? Han Ji Young, let's go. Teacher's calling us. Yay, I'm saved. The guy sitting at the last desk, Lee Jun Ho, thought she might be good for something. They went up to the roof. Ji Young said tiredly that she had never talked to anyone so much. It's so hard to be on the same page with them. By the way, there's no one here. Did teacher call us up to the roof? No. I don't have much time, so I just want to find my mom. Why? Why don't we take our time and find her? No, we can't. Okay, studying isn't fun anyway. I want to get this over with too. Have you ever met a soul like this? God, your mom's really pretty. But no, I don't remember one. You sure? Are you sure? What do you mean? Of course I'm sure. Actually, even if I can see souls, it's not easy for me to find them. I don't know where she is, so I can't call her. No, wait, wait. No way. If all the dead souls are still in Korea, aren't there hundreds of millions of people in Korea? There aren't that many souls. There are souls who stay because they feel good in this world. And there are souls who stay because they have a long-standing attachment to this world. With the exception of these two categories, the rest seem to go to the afterlife. Hmm, even so, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. Maybe you should ask the other souls. Showing the picture to those souls? Just as suddenly a few guys burst onto the roof? Wow, first day of transfer. You've been a slave for a long time and now you're dating? That's bullying, right? They all laughed. It's not a date. God, I feel worse than a bully. Face to face, ah ha 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 ha. If he was alone, he'd be a legend. I'm sorry, but we should get going. We'll leave first. What is it? You said you wanted to get along with us? What's wrong with you? Red, you should be working with us. I'm gonna make a lot of money off you. Ha ha ha. I'll give you 10 seconds. Get rid of that shrimp. Is this jackass gonna last 10 seconds? I'm not sure. Ah ha ha ha. Lee Kyung Ho. You copied Jit Kune Do this morning. Try using this one inch punch. What should we do? Those high school students are bullies, right? I guess so. It's funny, look how excited she is. If anyone sees her like that, they'll be shocked, ah ha 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 ha. They're real gangsters with guns and drugs, aren't they? It's not that bad, just common hooligans. What are you whispering about? Are you trying my patience? You want me to make you wet your pants? What are you talking about, son of a dog? I think you're the only one who wants to be beaten. How rude. And here I was trying to be nice. You must have a bolt in your pants to talk to me like that. What? You talk like you have one. You guys are bullies. Don't you know how strong he is, huh? He's beaten up several people by himself. If you don't want him to beat you up, get the hell out of here. Who's gonna believe that? Pfft. Beaten up? Would he be the one getting beaten up here? Ha 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 ha. So what's it gonna be? Go ahead. Try to beat us all up. Ha ha. Kyung Ho, they're coming. Do something. This is a waste of tickets. I need to scare them so they won't bother us anymore. But before I can tear up the ticket, they've already grabbed it and plopped it on the floor. By the way, the more I look at you, the cuter you look. How about hanging out with us after school? Over my dead body. Let me go. What kind of force is this? I can't move. Shit, I don't want to look weak in front of these guys. There's another guy on the roof. The bell rang. But you didn't show up, so I get it. The atmosphere at school is bad, so you better not cause trouble or you'll be expelled. Student Council President Park Hyun-soo. Let's go, guys. You're both lucky. 
I don't think you'll have a peaceful life as a transferred student. I really could kill you. The bell is rung. Let's go quickly. And don't mess with gangsters. It's dangerous. Thank you. How annoying. At best, they're just following orders. I thought they were dealers and had guns. You've been watching too many American movies. You speak English well. I watch them with subtitles. No, I don't know English. Didn't you see them talking to me? Why didn't you beat them up? You caught all the kidnappers yourself. Why didn't you do the same with these hooligans? It's not that simple. I just got lucky. Oh, I'm so unlucky. Kill it. Kill it. You're my bodyguard. You can't accept defeat. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you can't understand that because you grew up in a house with too many guards. I hate them. If this happens again, I'm calling my dad. Suddenly, she noticed that someone had taken a picture of her from below. Let's see. Looks good, doesn't it? Did you take a picture? Give me your phone, asshole. No, a real man wouldn't do that. I took it because I like the scenery. If I call the police, you're a dead man. Get rid of the picture while I'm talking. No, you're a screenwriter. Crazy. Do you have proof? Get rid of it now. Do me a favor. Let's play one game of soccer and then I'll delete the picture. Ha! Bastard! He grabbed it, but then he realized the fact that there were too many guys who wanted to play soccer too. He couldn't just take the phone away from him. If you're gonna do it, do it. If you're not going to do it, I'm not going to give you the phone. Make up your mind. I can't. I'll call the police. Wait, do you know how to play soccer? What, you want me to bet on it? No, we don't know what they're gonna do. Better call the police. I thought if it got to my dad, maybe he wouldn't let me go to school anymore. What a bastard. A lot of kids gathered at the stadium. Some even turned on the live broadcast. Some started betting. I'm sorry, I was just trying to borrow your girlfriend for a while, but you played on my nerves. You do realize you're gonna be crippled here and this isn't a fight, right? Don't whine when you break a bone. Well, then I'll use that information. Game on. When I was a kid, I used to play soccer. I have to trust the two forwards up front. Those two look experienced in soccer. I don't think it's risky if I just pass the ball to one of those two. One of the guys passed him the ball. That's great. I haven't lost any skills from my childhood. Junho immediately took the ball from him. Kyung ran after him, but he couldn't keep up. Junho was playing pretty well. The students watching them were cheering. Scoring the first goal in just a minute. That's amazing. Did you see that? It feels like a bunch of comedians are playing there. Ji Young was really worried about him. You're going to win, right? How can we win with four players? Don't worry, we can still win. They only scored one goal. Trust me, we'll definitely win. But unfortunately, still after that, the game didn't change in any way. What a boring match. Is he just going to keep scoring on them? It looks like kids playing against adults. If the two guys who said to trust them lied, opponents scored seven goals in 20 minutes. The other team is very good at soccer. If I tell the chairman they took a picture of her, they'll be dragged into the basement and tortured. And then, they won't let her into the school anymore because she's very dear to the chairman. You just can't beat them without a ticket. Back to square one. I must use the soul of a professional soccer player. Ha ha ha, what's that jerk doing? Hasn't he given up yet? I don't need a team anymore. I'll win this game by myself. Those two strikers are just scary. My teammates are behind me and there's no opponent. All that's left is the goalkeeper. I'll break the game starting with this goal. But suddenly one of his teammates stopped him from scoring. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, I did it by mistake. I thought you were a competitor. Suddenly he realized that all the players were fake. Everyone was just messing with him. I don't want to watch this game. It's not a six on six game. It's just me on this team, right? I'm going to step back. I need a drink. Ji Young came over to him. It's probably best if I tell my dad. I don't think you can win. You suffer all the time. You don't have to. I'll show you a trick and the score will be eight. Nine. If I win, I'll send her picture to everyone, okay? While Jun Ho was talking, Kyung took the ball away from him. How dare you? Did he hide his skills? This is a whole different level of play. Even those who are preparing to become professionals don't play like this. Even if I approach him, I just can't do anything. I'll just kick and score a goal. Wait, what? He tricked me? Kreef's turn? The goalkeeper missed the shot and the ball flew into the goal. Everyone was shocked. Why are you frozen? Can we get on with it? We don't have much time. He used the power of Johan Cruyff, the best player in soccer. Didn't he have eight goals left to score? The game continued. Fifteen minutes into the second half, the score was eight, six. Everyone sat silently watching the game. It seemed as if an adult was playing with children. The difference in skills was staggering. Ji Young noticed that it was exactly like back then. The soul was by Kyung's side. How strange. He keeps appearing and then disappearing. Oops, I have to delete the message I sent to my father. Her father read the message and thought something had happened to her. No matter how close the school is, there are a lot of uneducated students. Ji Young sent a text message. I was joking. Haha, <laughs> what's going on? Why is he better all of a sudden? I can't be worse than him. Is it all because I looked down on him? How did he score six goals so quickly? Now the students were laughing at Jun Ho. He was good at soccer, but now he just messed up. Ha ha ha. 
It was coming from him. You should have been cheering for me, assholes. I can't lose. How did I stoop to this level of soccer? Do you know what a jerk I've become trying to look good in front of my gangster friends? No, no, I can't show them my puny self. After I got this soul ability, I can see my surroundings more clearly. This guy's reaction is much slower than before, but I'm sure that actually he's not really tired or slow. It's me who has gotten better. My eyes follow the ball, but now all my nerves and attention are focused on the students watching me. More than the fact that I can't pick up the ball, I don't want to be a loser in the classroom. If it's that important to me, then I have to knock it down. He didn't succeed, though. What? Rainbow? If you can't even stop one person and reach the time break, then don't even dream of showing up to school again. Stop him somehow. It's eight. Seven, right? Now it's eight. Eight. Everyone started cheering and laughing. Now, it's time for the last goal. Let's stop fooling around and get it over with. Has he given up already? Why is he standing like a statue? He was actually very angry and ran after him out of spite. After catching up with him, he threw himself at his feet. Now that it has come to this, I will spare no effort to break his leg, to preserve my dignity. But at that moment, the ball flew right into his head. Blood splattered in different directions. Kyung broke his nose. The weight of this ball is 450 grams. After the soccer player hits the ball, the speed of the ball reaches 100 kilometers per H. And then, when continuously hitting the soccer ball, it becomes a very frightening weapon. Spare me. It's my fault. I took a picture. I'll delete them all immediately. I don't want to fight anymore. I was the only one who was wrong. Give me your phone. I'll give it to you. There were six pictures on the phone, and you took a lot of pictures, you dirty bastard. He threw the phone and kicked it right into the wall. My phone. Consider yourself lucky. Next time I'll blow your head off. I, uh, I got it. It's over. Let's go. Wait for me. Eight goals in 20 minutes. The video of the soccer match with Lee Kyung Ho shocked all the students at Ryushun High. Wow, that was an original fight. So that's how openly they fight in school. Ha 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 ha. And then the video spread to the school's strongest gangsters. It spread very quickly. Only 27,000 won? Those brats sure have their wallets out these days, don't they? We're so upset now. Don't you want to invest in us? We're supposed to help each other, aren't we friends? It's not that big of a deal. Look at this, Jun Jin Oh. It's a video of a transfer student. Show it to me. Is this your new talent? And it's only his first day of school. If we all attack him tomorrow, we can kick his ass. So let's do it tomorrow. We? You want us to clean up after you? Stop getting so hung up on us. I'm sick of it. You get beat up for the first time and you come here begging for help? Don't ever say we again. From now on, you're going to sit among them, you understand? But I'll take care of the transfer student. Bring him here tomorrow afternoon. At this moment, Sierra was watching them. I think you can come in. Hurry up. Get undressed. You got injured while playing soccer today. I couldn't say anything. So, I'll help you treat your wounds. Ugh, I almost got it all wrong. Stop fooling around. Hurry up. My shoulders are getting stiff. You have so many bruises. Does it hurt? Yes, I'm sorry. I know you didn't go to the nurse to help you treat your wounds, so I'm going to help you myself. Don't get me wrong. By the way, I was wondering how you did that. You mean soccer? Yeah, and what you did to the cat. You're a good fighter, but you look like a total wuss. You also said you had good experience as a bodyguard. There's nothing you can't do. Oh, you mean that? She can already see souls. Maybe I should tell her about the soul tickets. I guess you could if she... You're a genius, aren't you? Yeah, amazing. What happened today is a secret. Don't tell my dad. If he finds out, he won't let me go to school anymore. Of course I'll keep it a secret. My God, why is this shelf so high? Give it to me. I'll put it down. She dropped the first aid kit out of surprise and he caught it. You have a lot of money. Buy another dresser. Why would you keep a medicine cabinet in a place like this? Why are you so quiet? You scared me. She elbowed him in the face. Just at that moment, her father was on his way to her room. My daughter, I'm coming in. Father, wait. Hide. Where? That's it. You can come in now. What have you been doing? Me? Just packing. Oh my god, you cleaned your own room. My daughter's growing up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So how do you feel about school after all these years? It's been really cool. Your dad's still worried about you. I should send you to a prestigious school where you can make good friends. No, this one's fine with me. I like it. And it's close to home. Okay, it's still dangerous outside, so after school, come home, okay? Yes. Suddenly, Kyung hiccuped. Jae Young got angry and confused. What's that sound under your bed? The chairman looked under the bed and... You're hiding down there, aren't you? Let's talk in my basement. That's what Kyung introduced. Shit, I hope he doesn't notice me. I'll be thrown out if I get caught. Suddenly, Jae Young started screaming loudly. Father, I'm dying. My stomach hurts. Call the nurse. Are you okay? I'm sick. My stomach hurts. I'll get the nurse. Stay here. It would have been a disaster if I'd been caught there. I'd be fired right away, right? Yeah, right. Thank my acting skills. Thanks for helping me out. By the way, if I skip school, your dad will be the first to know, right? 
Yeah, if you disappear for a minute, he'll send bodyguards. Then, uh, why don't you say you're sick and leave early? And how do we do that? Follow me, I'll show you. I have an idea, let's go. It's only been a week since your transfer, but you already want to leave early. If you want to leave early, go to the nurse and get a confirmation letter. How annoying. You're going to get me in trouble now. So far, everything's going according to plan. You know how to do makeup, right? Of course, it's my specialty. Is that all we have to do? Yeah, you sure look sick. Look at that. All right, that's enough. Wait, let's take a shortcut. When I didn't want to go to school, I'd find a way to get out early. You've done this before? No, it's my first time with makeup. Nurses are good at catching us in a lie. Just pretend to be as sick as you can, okay? Yes, acting is my specialty. A guy came out of the nurse's office looking like a zombie. Dr. Yang, genius at catching lies. It's gonna be okay. If we don't try, we won't know. That's right, they went into the office. It's been a while. What, how, why are you here? There's a serious story behind this. She smiled. Wait outside, what's going on? I'll be back in five, no, ten minutes. I locked the door. What are you doing here? Is it okay to sit here quietly while everyone sees you? Didn't you say that if they found out you existed as a grim reaper, you'd be finished? You're worrying needlessly. Sit down. Let's talk. I'm sorry. I know this person. I'll talk to her for a while. Hurry up. I haven't had time until now as I've been very busy, but now I've been caught giving you tickets. Go and ask them if you have any questions. Then why did you come here? And where did you get those clothes? Isn't that funny? She pulled him to her by his tie. Why do you keep talking to me like that? Do you want to die? I'm sorry. I didn't think. Now I'll think twice. Beware in the future. I'm 500 years older than you anyway. Okay, I'll remember. So people can see you now? I think Han Jae Young saw you. Won't you get in trouble if people see you? You're curious about everything. I can show them myself and I can also make myself invisible to them. It's up to me. Even if they see me, I can still erase their memories later. I can also erase all their memories if they see me as a grim reaper. Then where did you get those clothes? No. You stole them, didn't you? Curious. Want me to show you how? What are those two doing in there? Let me see. What? What the hell? What are you doing in there with the curtains closed? Stealing? Why would I do that? She showed him how she can change outfits in a second. Don't forget, I am God. Now your curiosity is satisfied? That's right. She's a reaper. She's beyond my common sense. Oh, right. I didn't tell her about the tickets. I need to keep that in. Tickets? A secret? I don't care if you tell her. No. Does that sound more interesting? Of course I don't recommend it. Know that you're gonna have to pay for this. Because humans are more selfish than any other living thing. They're greedy. Yeah, that's why there's so much garbage. It's an exchange with the underworld, so it's been around for a while. But it's so brief that it's nothing to worry about. In fact, I'm interested in what you're doing. I came here because I thought it would take a year to find the soul you're looking for. Talking about souls is taboo, so I can't tell you anything except that your mother's soul is in this world. I'll see if I can find the other soul involved. Thank you, why are you helping me? I don't know, we'll find out later. Thank God she said she'd help me find the soul involved. I just need to stop by some places my mom might have visited. I'm glad someone I know works here. It'll help us get out of class earlier. She snorted in response. Is something wrong? I'm sorry for kicking you out the door. We were talking about something serious with this person. Who is she? I'm sure she became a nurse to seduce children. She's weird. Stay away from her. I don't think so. She's not weird. There's something weird about her. I'm sure of it. She's not as pretty as I am. Hmm. Annoying. Why is she so upset? Suddenly he heard someone's dialogue from outside. Some girl was holding a guy by his shirt and yelling, You did this. If you say so, provide proof. Aren't those uniforms from our school? We need to stop them. Wait a minute. We shouldn't meddle in other people's business. We don't even know what the situation is. Come on, just ignore them. What are you talking about? It's obvious those three guys are picking on her. And you're the strongest in the school. You can only stop them with words. She thinks I'm some kind of human weapon, doesn't she? I'm nothing without a ticket. I just get my ass kicked. I don't want to waste tickets on these freaks. Why are you guys picking on her? What the hell? Are you her friend? Do I have to be her friend to stop this? You don't know her? Then you want to be like her? Can't you two just have a normal conversation? If you guys don't stop, I'm going to kick your asses. I'll say this politely. He raised his hand at her. But Kyung was already in front of her and took the blow. I've seen you somewhere. Wait a minute. Isn't that the transfer student? Who? The kid who beat up Lee Jun Ho like a dog at the soccer game yesterday. Yeah, I watched it ten times yesterday. You did? What? They think I'm strong, so I can handle them without a soul. If you don't want to get smashed like yesterday's pussy, then get out of here. I can do whatever I want since we're not in school. What are we supposed to do now? What are you talking about? Just beat him up. That's great. Lee Jun Ho just asked me to beat him up. He attacked him with an iron pipe. 
Shit, it's too late to use the ticket. Strangely enough, he deflected the punch. What happened? I dodged. Come on, let's attack together. He just accidentally missed it. To hell with you. Let's go. Why is his fist so slow? It's not that fast compared to those gangsters. That's the skill. It's the soul. Muhammad Ali, I didn't even use the ticket. Everyone standing there and Kyung was shocked at what was happening. I almost fainted. Did he box? Let's attack together. The guys ran at him. But he was able to deflect all the punches and even hit back. How could he be so strong? Why was I able to use those soul techniques so suddenly? Was it because I was fighting those bandits? Or was my body moving reflexively? An inch-long punch. I only roughly remember how to use it. Those soul reflex skills. But I do remember how to do it. Let's experiment on you guys. What? He used different techniques in a fight and beat up these guys. They're weak, so it's pretty useless to use them for testing, but, uh, I guess from now on, I can win fights without wasting soul tickets. As expected from my bodyguard, I wish you had beaten them sooner. I know. Wake up, wake up, tell me. Shit, unconscious. She didn't even thank me. Don't think it's a great achievement that you beat us. He'll come after you. If he comes here, you'll die. Who's coming? Someone's targeting you? It's because of last night's match. That's right, asshole. Kim Shung Wan, Lee Byung Yoon, and Jun Jin. Oh, all of them will come after you. Don't think you can beat them all up. They're real monsters. What do you think? Can you beat them or not? You think you're a monster too just by beating us? You don't know how scary those guys are. Lee Byung Yoon, he's hard to beat even with a group. He's a good fighter, but he's recently started learning boxing. He's close to perfection. He hates to lose, so he trains day and night. Kim Seung Bang, he's a crazy guy who has even been to a juvenile prison. He beat a guy to a pulp. His fighting style is quite normal, but if he grabs a weapon, you can expect someone to die. Rumor has it that he's never lost a fight when he's picked up a weapon. He speaks so proudly as if he's talking about himself. It's not even about him. And finally, the last one. He's such a monster that even adults seem like children in front of him. Talent, genius, strong. Even that's not enough to describe him. He doesn't like to be talked about. There was a fight between school gangs. According to witnesses, he took care of all of them himself. It was a fight, even though it was 12 against 1. He is number 1 when it comes to rankings in this region. Chung Jin. Oh, number 1 in history. Don't tell him about what I told you. Who should he keep it a secret from? Chung Jin. Oh. Hey, I know you're awake. Get up already. Huh. How did you know? The sound of your breathing. He spit the candy on the floor and told him to eat it, and then he wouldn't hurt him. The guy immediately went for the candy, but the other guy pushed him away and grabbed the candy from him. I ate it. It's delicious. He really ate it. And he attacked the other guy and punched him in the face. I always have to get it into your heads, you guys. You bastards keep fighting. Then you get beaten up and then you yell my name. Oh, right. I almost forgot why I came here. I came here to kill the new transfer student, but I changed my mind. Come on, it's our first meeting. First meeting? That's great. Let's experiment on you. Experiment on me? It'll be fun. Once you're looked down upon, you're prey for all three years. At school, bullies were the object of fear. But now it's different. Jokwondo's right fist punch. Attack and defense at the same time, making every next punch faster and faster. When you become Bruce Lee, his feelings become yours. Suddenly he hit him back and Kyung didn't have time to dodge. What? Instant counterattack? I feel like I got hit by a rock. Don't worry, that guy's not strong. I realized that after I got hit. When I become him, I don't think about how to use his abilities effectively. It was like that, because it felt natural to me. It was as if I had already swung a thousand times. Jolkwondo technique isn't the only thing I have to focus on, but my opponent's movement. Will he try again? Can't he see the difference in strength? He instantly moved closer to Kyung. I don't like your style. He tried to hit him, but Kyung counterattacked. However, he failed because he dodged. How can he only fight with his left hand? What's the difference? I thought I could win without a problem. Was it a mistake? Have you ever used Jolkwondo? You're just a rookie who's showing off. You look like a monkey dancing. You're such a kid. You learn how to fight by watching video tutorials? If you're going to learn a real martial art, learn it right. I can't move my body. I can't win. You made a mistake contacting us. You're trash. Look at your hands. You ever hit a punching bag? Stop showing off. Make an effort. Garbage. You're not worth my time. Officer, over here. The fight was here? Kyung thought a lot about what Jun Jin Oh told him. Effort? What effort? I'll only live for one year. If I use the ticket, I'll make the same mistake someday. Once I go to school, I'll use the ticket and call him and deal with everyone else. I still have a lot of tickets. That's with the ticket. What then? Without a ticket, I'm useless? You sold your life, but can you stand in front of them? No. In the past, I was helpless. With the power of the ticket, I've gained abilities. I only have one year left, but even though I have the abilities of the greatest people, I still won't be left alone by the bullies. I need to learn a couple more techniques. I have a good feeling I'll be fine. Two days. I'll master that inch punch in two days. 
Ji Yan was skipping down the hallway and humming a song. Lee Kyung Ho. Yep. Where did you go again? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to the nurse's station. What's that supposed to mean? Why are you mad? I'm not mad, you're mad. You're mad. It's because I don't trust her. She's not weird. I'll be there for five minutes. You can wait for me here. I can't come here with her. I think it's best to keep it a secret. But where's Sarah? Did you leave something here? Hey, did you get beat up? Do you always get beat up when I give you a ticket? Well, uh, the tickets weren't very good. It's totally up to you. Just as suddenly she noticed that Ji Young was peeking at them. How cute, she thought. Why is it so gloomy in here? I don't like it. You don't? I don't know. It's kind of nice. She snapped her fingers and the space began to change. The room changes and the wound doesn't hurt anymore. Shall we get down to business? You're here for your mother's soul, right? Yeah, what happened to her? I have more interesting information I found where her soul is. Then, it took me a while to find her. Shouldn't you do something for me? Money? What do I have to do for you? The cost of this information will be very high for you. I want to be paid for it. How? I'll do anything. Yeah, squeeze harder. There's no one in this world who will take care of me. Is that the best you can do? Try harder. I'm afraid someone might be peeking. Is it a secret? I'm sure she said try harder. I'll fulfill your wish. Hey. Oh, that's a bit much. I almost blew your head off. Anyway, here. Take it. You can meet me if you go near the Piano Academy. But there's an evil spirit there, so be careful. The evil spirit is associated with my mother's soul. Is she sulking again? But where the hell are you? I thought you said it was around here somewhere. Just as suddenly, Ji Young grabbed him by his shirt and pulled him back. Which one? He was dumbfounded when he saw something strange in front of him. Thank you. Be careful. There's an evil spirit here. There's an evil spirit? Is it the same evil spirit that Sarah saw? He was in his thoughts. Why are you holding my hand? Thought Ji Young. I don't know if it's here. Suddenly he saw before him the image of a very scary zombie-like spirit. He recoiled and fell to the ground. Oh my god. Be careful. It's an evil spirit with a lot of grudges. Anyone can get hurt here if they're not careful. Got it. Oh, by the way, we have to find her soul first, right? No, I need your help because I need you to release this evil spirit. Last time you said you didn't need help. How can I release the spirit? Haha. <laughs> Look, a newspaper. It's the Azure Piano Academy, right? Look. A student named Lee Hee Young jumped off the roof when she was studying in this academy, but when asked by the students why she committed suicide, no one gave an answer. Does the evil spirit belong to Lee Hee Young? I think so, that's what the newspaper said. The girl came up behind them and hit Kyung on the head with a broom. You don't have to hit me like that out of the blue. Do you want to get hit back? Ryu Sheung, go dogs, why are you hanging around here? Get out of here, I'll send you all to the police station. What are you talking about? We didn't do anything, apologize. Shut up! Why did you dogs come to the Piano Academy? There's no evidence left to destroy. Get lost. What evidence is there anyway? No, more importantly, don't you remember? Don't you remember what happened? Don't you remember that someone saved you a few days ago? What are you talking about? How about an apology and a thank you? Get out of my way. I can't do this to Ryu Sung Go's dogs. Wait a minute. Ouch. She's gone. Leave her alone. If I see her again, she might get mad and try to beat me up. I won't leave it like that. Why not? I won't beat her up. It's okay. Let's forget it. Ji Young held out a newspaper to him. Take a look at this. What is it? A junior high school student protesting in the middle of heavy rain. Lee Hee Young is protesting in front of the police station to call for a reinvestigation into her sister's death. It's her. That's why she's protecting this place. It's time for practice. All set. He's practicing this late? What's he trying to do? He's wasting his time. So pathetic. It's a waste of energy that will eventually tire him out. He needs to train his muscles to practice these techniques. He's just mindlessly hitting the sandbag. Damn it. It's been four days. This one-inch punch is hard to master even if I know what it is. I'll still use one ticket. I should just give up. Stop showing off. Make an effort. Garbage. He remembered his words again. No. It's a matter of my pride. It's a waste of time to use tickets on a bunch of bullies. Chun Jin. Oh, beat me up without a ticket. Bruce Lee, Brandon Lee. When I used their souls, I could feel it working. Let's try it again. Press your feet. Accelerate your body. Move your upper body and shoulders, speeding up your arm. And finally, at the tip of your fist, maximize the acceleration. He hit it, and the punching bag flew off. Hell yeah, that's it. Now it's convenient to leave school anytime you want. I knew it. What happened to your arm? Did you fight again? Oh, you mean that? It's nothing special. I hurt myself practicing. You should be more careful. It was definitely a hard one-inch punch. It was so strong that my wrist couldn't take it. It still hurts. It took me days to learn how to do it, even though I knew how to do it. I couldn't do it on my own. What happened to your arm? Oh, I hurt my arm practicing. I'm sorry you hurt yourself while working, and yet you still haven't gotten your paycheck. Yeah, but I want to help. But if you hurt your hand, who's going to guard young miss at school? 
think of the consequences before you do anything. I'm sorry. People like you who do ignorant exercises just injure their body and don't gain skills. You're still the same as before. You're a burden. From now on, every night at 10 o'clock, come to the gym where you usually work out. I beg your pardon? It's fun to watch you work out alone. From now on, I'll train you and make you more useful. Have you seen how a middle school student with short hair always comes often? Yes, that's right. It's very similar. Thank you. Did you ask the spirits? Yeah, I asked them if they saw a spirit last night. He saw her at the piano in Glimmer Park. Then can I ask the spirits about mom's soul? Oh, they wouldn't tell me that information about the soul, as it's taboo for them. All I can ask is what's still alive. But I don't think there is any limit to the information I can get from souls. I hope the evil spirit will help you. Come with me. Yeah, I said I couldn't tell you anything about souls, but all the souls. There. It's Lee He Yu, right? Did you think of a way to contact He Yo? Do you have any thoughts? Of course. I found something that girls like. People won't change their minds with things like that. He's a fool. If I leave him with her, he won't progress. It'll be difficult. Oh, who's that? Get in here. Videotape me when I start playing the piano and people start gathering. Got it. Count on us. Oh, it's you? I haven't seen you at the Piano Academy in a while. What happened? You're always the same as always. You never answer. Don't bother me. Get out of here. Who is it? And you know what? You don't play the piano very well. I can't even watch you play. Let's just smoke while there's no one around. If they start gathering, we can't smoke because of my public profile. Look at her staring at me. Let me show you how to get a crowd of people together. She started playing a beautiful tune. Black Key Etude, composé Chopin. He Ju. I'm practicing the composition of Etude 10 number 5. Listen carefully. Did you learn something new? Teach me too. I will, but I'll play for you first. Wow, I want to try it too. Play it like that? She plays this song so perfectly. She's a genius. She's still here. You're so much like your sister. Do you want to learn from me? My sister was a much better pianist than you. That's right. He Young was good. But maybe she realized she had reached the limit of her talent. Shut up, you don't even know how to play properly. You only know how to imitate someone. Anyone can play better than you. The people watching started to get indignant. How good are you if you can criticize her? Just apologize. If you can't play, just get out of here. Don't say anyone can play. Show us your skills. We don't even know who you are. Don't be so hard on her. Let's give her a chance to show how good she is so I don't disappoint you. How did this happen? She's in trouble. Who's he yo or that blonde? Hi yo, of course. He Yo's sister is dead, so she hasn't acted in a while. People will think she's just trash. Something had to be done. So she sat down at the piano. Now it'll be easy to humiliate her. Put her on live. That's what I thought, and I already did. Good for you. I've always only played with my sister. I don't know how I play this. I've never played by myself. I'm so mad at my sister for being ignored, and even more angry that I can't do anything about it. Just stop and get out of here. Now she's going to look at everyone and say she doesn't feel well. What kind of stupid performance is that? I've been practicing with her. It's hard to do it alone. You've been playing with her? Oh, I didn't realize you were here. Pretend you didn't hear. Lee Kyung Ho, the spirit told me that the song they played was the one they played with her sister. Did it? Do I need to help? It seems like they're broadcasting right now. I can't. I'll have to use my ticket to make a good impression. Composition Etude 10 number 5, but whose is it? Beethoven, Mozart, Chopin? Who should I choose? But she must know how to play well. Should I waste a ticket? I can't bear it. Han Ji Young, let's take Hee Yo and run away. But before he could even notice, she was already sitting next to her at the piano. She sat down next to her and started playing. You said you were practicing with your sister. I'll help you. Let's play slowly. Memories of playing with her sister came flooding back and it motivated her. She started playing. I'm not playing alone. He Young is supporting me. She's doing well on her own. Everyone watching and even the blonde stood with their mouths open. On the live broadcast, positive comments began to pour in. I don't know a lot of things about music, but this is good music. Everyone started to praise her. Some even started applauding. She has talent! People were shouting. I guess you can do anything if you have talent. I can't say she's a good pianist since I've heard her all my life. I was just worried about you. That's why I came here to watch. Greedy little sister. Would you play it like that yourself? You're right. She should apologize and get out of here. She just doesn't get enough attention. People were talking. Hey, auntie. What did you just say? Don't lie. You're not even close to her sister. Quickly apologize to us. What do you know about Heiju? Heiju got mad because you insulted her dead sister. What? I don't know what you're talking about. You're lying. How can you not know if it was in your school and in the newspaper? No, it's... I have a bad memory, but... That's disgusting. You're awful. People are all over her. What? No more excuses? I don't think you're anything. You're either a broken man or a man with nothing in his head. Did you say you'd put it on YouTube? I'll spread it. It's horrible that people make money this way. 
The girl got very embarrassed, cried and ran away. You're making such a fuss because you want to solve this case? Yes, but you can't do it alone. Uh-huh. I don't understand why you want to help her. Get away from her. Leave her alone. Haiju, are you telling me that what's in the paper is true? Yes, you can tell me about your sister. I'll help you in any way I can. Back then, I spent every day with my sister. She was very good at the piano, so I wanted to learn too. Are you sure you've never played before? Uh-huh. Then let's become the best pianist in Korea together. We can do it together. But, hey, I learned something. Haiju, sorry, let's not do it today. She was going somewhere. I started spending less and less time playing the piano with my sister. She started wearing only revealing clothes. She started hanging out with bad company. And after a month of this lifestyle, my sister developed strange symptoms and she threw herself off the roof of the school. I immediately ran to the police, but they closed the investigation saying it was suicide. This case is related to students at our school, right? Yes, I'm sure. Did you hear anything when you transferred to this school? We transferred last week, so I didn't know anything. What am I supposed to do now? The police were slow, that means they've been bribed. So what do we do now? I have an idea. You didn't bring the money? You want me to find it myself? No, I have nothing. You have to pay for the academy every month. And you didn't bring the money? The newcomers lately have been looking at me like a bank. I'm telling you. I don't know what's going on. My mom said she'll pay for the academy no matter what. What? Mom? He said his mom pays for the academy. Well then, take off your shoes. No, don't do that. Please leave me alone. They're killing me. Lee Jun-ho, I think he's well fed. He pretended he didn't have any money and hid it in his socks. We collected a lot of money from him. Lucky him. You're my toy now. From now on, you'll help me in class. Do you know Lee Hee Young? She's from my school. Who else is there? What the hell are you doing? Wait a minute. Aren't you a transfer student? Oh, long time no see. How's your face? You bastard. I'm gonna kill you today. Guys, call our guys. Tell them to move. I'm on it. So you know her? You guys are in the same class, aren't you? Yeah, I know her, asshole. I'll send you to the same place I sent her. I just called my guys. But Kyung already kicked him in the groin. Let's just get this over with, shall we? So, do you know Lee Hee Young? Damn parrot! Do you realize what's going on? Our guys are on their way here. You called the guys? That's good. Call anyone who knows Hee Young. What? Why is he so sure? Didn't they say that bastard's a wimp? There's nothing to worry about. He's weak. I've heard all about him. I heard it by accident, so I don't think many people know it. You'll figure it out. That kid, okay, if you're so sure. He's just bluffing. He's not the type to give up easily. Try this. But Kyung knocked the iron pipe out of his hands and even managed to hit him. Are you okay? That asshole tried to- I let my guard down, be careful. Comparing him to the team leader, even fighting with high school students feels different. Lee Kyung Ho, listen. The most important thing in a fight is the basics. You can't do anything with unrefined techniques. Muhammad Ali's move. It's all about quality and not using unrefined skills. It's too early to use the power of the soul. When you master reflexes, strength, speed, and martial arts skills, you have to push them to the limit. But remember that the weight class of your opponents matters. I have experience fighting. It doesn't matter what school they are from. I care about what they've accomplished. And what I need to focus on right now is the fight. You're only good at dodging. After saying that, Kyung punched him in the face with his fist while dodging at the same time. They're all the same. If you strike while they're distracted, you can easily defeat them. I need to push this momentum. I... This is a good chance to see how far I've been able to push my abilities. That's good. That's enough. Suddenly, he noticed someone coming. You're from our school, right? If you don't stop, everyone present will receive 20 penalty points. Wait. Transferred? What are you doing here? President, I'm having an unfinished conversation with them. But the only ones who got, uh, those hooligans? Transferred. Hold on. My men are on their way. Don't even think about running away. They're from Chun Jino's gang. And they're all very close friends. This is going to be a big problem. I can't let that happen. I'll call someone. Hello, sir. Yes, I'm almost home. I called to ask you something. Did the school board decide to expel a third grader for school violence? Oh, he was expelled because it's bad for the school's reputation. That'll be all. Thank you. What are you doing? Did you hear that? These days, not everything is solved with fists. If you don't want to be expelled, calm down and leave. Okay. Hey, there's something else I need to ask them. I wanted to know about the Lee Hee Young investigation. I thought it had something to do with them. Hee Young, where did you come from? I knew her in the past. That's right. Is that why you beat them up? Uh-huh. Actually, I looked into her case, too. And I don't think it was just suicide. Violence doesn't give you any answers. I'll figure it out somehow, so just wait. Oh, thank you. Do it as soon as you can. By the way, where's that girl you were with? Looks like she left already. You mean Che Young? She left for a while. She was behind the fence and the spirit was telling her what was going on. Okay, I understand you. 
Tell Jae Young to go back to school. I'd like to meet her. Okay, I will. Kyung Ho, where have you been? I was with the spirits. No one's coming. Are you like a danger detector? You get a sense of alarm when something's wrong, and there was a strange man looking down on them. You're giving him useful information. I can use your findings. I tried to catch the man who was hanging around the mansion last night, and this is what happened. I grabbed his arm for a second, and lo and behold. Also, he has a tattoo of a snake on his wrist. It's the same as the kidnappers. Either he's the kidnapper, or they're accomplices. Did you miss him? Can you describe him? His face was covered with hair, so I couldn't get a good look at him. His hands were tied with some kind of cloth. But that didn't stop him from being agile and looking like a retard. Is he a psychopath? The main clue is the snake tattoo. Besides, his fighting skills aren't that good. At least he's probably not a leader. Did you get any information? No, but our school's student council president said he'll keep investigating too. If he finds out anything, he'll let me know. I see. It's going pretty smoothly. I was able to keep the ticket and did my job. Look over there. I think he's looking at us. What are you gonna do? Nothing. From now on, no one is allowed to act alone. If you see him, run immediately. Well, I finally found you. You did? Is he talking about us? He's got that disgusting lick on his face. It's annoying. Let's get out of here. Wait, why? It's a tattoo. Yes, I'm sure he's from that group. But is he alone or are the others sitting in ambush? Kyung clenched the ticket in his hands. Just as suddenly this crazy man rushed towards them. Kyung kicked some tanks and they all flew at him. And Kyung at that moment grabbed Jae Young's hand and they ran. He's from that organization that kidnapped you that time. What? How did he know where we are? Where did he get that information from? It doesn't matter. Maybe they ambushed us. We don't know where or when they'll kidnap her again. We need to go somewhere public. Safety first. He turned around to see how far they'd gotten, and the madman was already standing in front of him. You want to play catch up? Too sudden. He didn't get a chance to hit him before he attacked him. Shit, he's not kidding. He caught me right away. He's not like those guys. Why are his hands tied? They're really tight. Jong Yan, it's not safe here. Run to a public place. You can escape. How can I just run away? I'll take care of him now. She attacked him with sleep spray. But it didn't work. He stopped her with one hand. Don't you think it would be better to run away? You may be rich, but you have less brains than a chicken. No, thanks for opening up for a punch. Kyung used a one-inch punch with all his might, and the man flew off. They ran again. Gotta figure out if he's alone. We have to do something so she can escape. What am I supposed to do? He's not like the men I've met before. Even with his hands tied, his reflexes and reactions are good. Not only that, what worries me most is that his skills are designed to kill. I don't know how strong he is, but he's dangerous. Sir, we've assembled all the bodyguards. All right. Attention, everyone. I've gathered you here because there's something you need to know. You should have known sooner about what happened. Yesterday outside the mansion, I ran into a man, and he had a tattoo of a snake on his wrist. He was too strong for me. He was learning forbidden skills. If you see someone with such a tattoo, don't act alone. Unless you're the leader of the group, avoid confrontation. He'll kill you if you confront him. Damn it, dead end. Han Ji Young, where is she? Jae Young? You must be mistaken. She went somewhere else. Han Jae Young has her own ways of running away from people like you. There's nothing to regret. So you. Yes, you got caught. I don't know what's going on. If you think about it, your hands are tied. You were held somewhere and you escaped? If that's the case, at least you're not acting in a group. You're a. You little asshole. How dare you! The chase was over. He ran at him furiously, but Kyung kicked him in the head. Is that the best you can do, you bastard? Huh? If you don't want to die, run. Looks like I'm catching up now. He used the power of South Korea's street knight, Yoo Sang Soon. The guy was holding the photo in his hands. He looks scared. He had a beef with the foreign mafia, and now they've got a grudge against him. He can take on a mob gang alone. Mafia? But what's even more interesting? He doesn't want any compensation. He wants his victims to fear him. He killed 23 people, three of them mafia. You're saying he's useful? His skills are good enough that he can infiltrate a mafia base and kill the boss single-handedly. In terms of strength, he's no weaker than the jaw group leader. How could that kid hit me? How me? Even team leaders aren't at this level. What is he? No, it doesn't matter. I underestimated him. He's a bodyguard, right? Maybe even one of the leaders. I'm not going to spare you. I will torture you until I kill you. After several attempts at attacking him failed, Kyung took him down again. Oh my god. He's sick. He's on a completely different level from the leaders. Speed, skills, reflexes. Everything is on a different level. Is he definitely a high school student? I can't believe there's someone stronger than me. I haven't felt this lousy in a long time. Maybe it's just me being crazy. I've spent my life fighting. Maybe God gave him a talent. Is he laughing? What's wrong with him? I have the advantage now. Is he crazy? Something's wrong. I can't get rid of him unless he does something. 
That's weird. No matter how much I beat him up, he keeps smiling. Did it work? Is he giving up? I can't believe I did something like that. Why are you laughing? Did you call for backup? No, it's just a lot of fun. Why are you laughing? To give me what I want. You want to tie my hands? Yeah, we heard you were involved with the mafia. In Korea, it's too much trouble to kill people like you. How much will you pay me? 100 million? 1 billion? 10 billion won? Don't you care who you kill? We have people from high society. I have 30 billion, but money doesn't work, does it? Yeah, you know me well. I enjoy killing. It'd be easier if you needed the money. That's why I've done a lot of background checks. Everyone you killed, you tortured for a long time. They were all tortured for long periods of time. One of them had a dying face full of fear. You live to instill fear in people and you take pleasure in it. You're a complete psychopath. But the interesting thing is this. You only killed the strong, not the weak. It was weird terrorizing the strong. It's fun. But I get tired of the same pattern every time. I'll help you. Have fun. But I have one condition. You obey every order we give you and you live with your hands cuffed. Handcuffed? Because of my impulsive impulses to kill? Okay, I'm getting tired of the same pattern anyway. I'll play you guys. I don't know what's going on with him, but it's weird that his hands are tied. He's out of his mind. I can't let this go on much longer. Kyung wanted to hit him, but missed because he jumped on top of him. Damn, he went upstairs so fast. What's he up to? Wait a minute. Did he strap his hands together? Don't tell me it's iron. He's crazy. The code name is Salmosa. Let's play for real, okay? Now he looked like a total lunatic. He jumped straight at Kyung. Kyung dodged his attacks, attacked him, but he got up. And he's pretty strong. His speed increased noticeably. This is fun. I haven't met anyone more fun than him. I fought a lot of people, but he's different. When I fought Muay Thai fighters, when I fought the Mafia, all the strong systematically train in some form of martial arts. To be able to fight on par with someone like that, a person's natural instincts have to be alive. But he's an animal. It's been a year since I last fought using my hands. The warm-up is over. I'm interested in you. You're the strongest man I've ever met. So I'm curious. Will you beg me for mercy like all those other men? Will you make the same blank, hopeless face like a Muay Thai fighter? Or will you burst into tears like a mobster? Before I killed them? I can't imagine what your face will be like. That's why I'm really curious. Are you done warming up? I'm getting tired of listening to you. The soul needs some time to get used to the body. Kyung kept beating him, and he kept saying he was having fun. Says the man who's on the verge of death. You're crazy. I'll be done with you soon. Finished? Shouldn't the one who's strongest give orders? But it looks like you're getting tired and want to finish it quickly. Your strength is going down. You're sweating a lot. You're running out of strength, am I right? Who are you? And why are you still standing on your feet? Isn't this interesting? I'm from a place where you could die just walking down the street. The fighting only stopped when someone died. There, it's all trash. In places where there's no police and no law. And we're in Korea. You and I grew up in different environments. I agree, you're strong, but now I see your limit. Remember that. That's what you have to learn. I can't believe he's using the chain like that. I didn't notice much. He's been on the run for a long time, so he must have been almost out of it. We should finish him off as soon as possible. He swung the chain at him. Kyung managed to dodge. The lock hit the wall and broke it. What? If it hits me, I'll die instantly. He started twisting the chain in different directions, and Kyung decided he needed to increase the distance. Now I understand. He feels pain. He can't run. He'll have to be patient for a while. The chains act as a cover for his weakness. Stop running. Oh, dead end. How unlucky. This will be a challenge for you. Dodging my chains in this alley. Throwing in the chains once again, it hit him in the arm. What? You broke your arm? Keeping your distance with the chains. You were trying to pressure me by keeping your distance, weren't you? Before he could realize it, he let his guard down, and Kyung pulled him to him with the same chain. I'll pull you to me. He grabbed the chain with that hand. This guy. Is that fear? I didn't see it. After beating him half to death, Kyung thought he wouldn't get up again. He was surprised to see him standing up again. He can stand up even after being hit like that? Is it because I'm afraid of dying at his hands? My arm is broken. What should I do? Aren't you afraid of dying? What? I don't feel fear coming from you. You don't care if you die? I don't care if I die, but I can't die now. No, death seems easy to you. You're not like the others, but what's different? If that's what you mean, I've been ready to die for a long time. If that's the case, I'm not interested in you anymore. There's no point in risking my life now. I'll torture him to death later. Thank God, the battle is over. My broken arm hurts too much to move it. First, we need to take care of Han Che. He couldn't even finish her name as he fell unconscious. He woke up already in the hospital. He tried to get up. Careful, sir. You have a fracture, so your arm might hurt. Good thing it's a fracture, not a fracture, but... Why is she sleeping on top of me? I'm dying of pain and she's snoring here. You're so mean. You don't know how worried she was about you. E? She was worried about him and nursed him while he was unconscious. 
What if he doesn't wake up? It's been an hour and he still hasn't woken up. He'll get better soon, don't worry. She's been grooming you for hours, be kind to her. Uh, yes. Suddenly he noticed she was awake. Awake? The nurse told me you were here the whole time. I was? Well, I was just passing through. I can't just go home alone, so I stayed here. I see. That's right. Let's pack up and go home. What happened to you? Uh, I was walking down the street and I fell. A bodyguard fell and broke his arm? Yes. You idiot. How are you going to protect a fragile girl? If you can't even take care of yourself? What's wrong with you? Did I teach you to fall down and break your arms? What are you going to do when our enemies show up? I'm sorry. I can't help you. Just concentrate on your treatment for now. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that's right. Did you see a man with his hands tied? He was after the girl. Yes. Hands tied with chains. No, I didn't see anyone. Yes? He's been hanging around here. If you see him, call me immediately and don't think about fighting him. Otherwise, you'll die. Oh, okay. He's crazy for even the leader to be afraid of him. People with snake tattoos. They're not weak. If there's more of them and I can't use the ticket, then... Tearing up the ticket, he sat down at the computer. He used the soul of FBI Special Cyber Agent Gary Hoover Jr. We need to investigate more. Alley surveillance footage from the last 24 hours. They've been targeted and tracked. I found him. I'll use the CCTV footage to identify the features. I'll use photos and find any relevant footage. Based on what he said, he has a history of murder. So I'll start with a criminal background check. Since he said he lived in a different environment, is he from out of town? Police, we can use the FBI database. Found it. All of his information is from a foreign database. The translator's doing a great job. Apparently his real name is Lee Jin Mok, an internationally wanted criminal for murder. What stands out the most is that he killed 23 people in the neighborhood, including mobsters. After that, he came into contact with a certain organization. An organization. I'm sure it's the ones with the snake tattoos. I'm sure it's a crazy organization. If they're looking for people like him, I'll find all the information about them and give it to the police. This is ridiculous. There's no information about people with tattoos. There's no mention in the FBI database. Anything to do with snake tattoos is listed as irrelevant information. All relevant information has either disappeared or been deleted. They're strong enough to avoid organizations and national security. They're awesome. In an hour, I haven't found anything, even using the ticket. That bastard's stronger than I thought. He hurt my ribs. It's dangerous to face him, but I still need to kidnap a girl named Han Ji Young. The kid who gave me her coordinates. He's useful enough. I should use him more often. Alo? It's me. The information you gave me was useful. Oh, thank you. If you need information again, I'll help you anytime. Yeah, but having some bastard hanging around makes it difficult. Were they together with Lee Kyung Ho? You know him? Yes, I'll take care of him. Really? Well, you two go to the same school, so there's a chance. Okay, if you succeed, you'll get three times as much this time. I got it. I'll call you back as soon as possible. He called someone last night. It'll be all right if you use the goons tomorrow. Of course, I'll try to sneak him close to the school. And the next day, he was waiting for everyone at the appointed place. Is everyone here? Everything in this world can be bought with money. I realized that last March. Everyone was whispering. Poor kid, he's lost his family. He has no one to take care of him. Wasn't he the one left the inheritance? After my parents died, I received their inheritance. But I don't want that inheritance. That's what I was thinking, but 100 million was a lot of money. Even if I bought a lot of stuff, I'd still have 90 million. Fucking great. It's like a jackpot. He who has money can fulfill all his needs. But soon he realizes that not everything lasts forever. He's bankrupt in three months. My money, where is my money? It must be a dream. Did I spend that much? Is 100 million a small amount? I still have a lot of things I want to buy. If I have money, I can do it. Is there any way to make money? I'd like to see 100 million one appear out of thin air again. I should have used it properly. Suddenly he saw some guy near an ATM withdrawing money. He thought about how nice it was to have a lot of money. He ran up to the guy and snatched the money right out of his hands. Hey, asshole. That was the easiest way. 80? 200? I found my own way to make money. And to get it, I was willing to do anything. Stealing, stealing, fraud. I didn't feel any guilt. It was important to me that I could get back to my daily life. However, I don't have enough. If I go to a rich neighborhood, there will be a lot of cops. Yeah, and there's not a lot of money in this neighborhood either. It drives me crazy. Is there anything safer to scam? Suddenly he saw some girl. Wait a minute. That girl? I heard she's pretty well known at school. I'm sorry. Yeah? It's been a while. We used to cross paths at school. Oh, the student council president? You look like you're looking for a part-time job. Don't you want to make some money together? You want to make money? Yes, I want to learn to play the piano, but I can't because it's harder to study at home. My sister loves playing piano, but she's never gone to a music academy before. 
and I wanted to help her get in. Unbelievable. I know just the thing to make some money. What's that? Are you sure I can do it? I'm sure. I don't think it fits me very well. No way. Guys love these outfits. You just have to go out once. Oh yeah. He was texting someone at the time. Some guy came to pick her up in a car. She got in, but when she saw him, she was horrified. Toward the end of the date, he started to spread his arms. She jumped out of the car, took her money, and ran away. Hyunsoo Park, I've been looking for you for a long time. I'm sorry, I had something to do. How did it go? I made 50,000 won, but this job is so exhausting. Teenagers often make money like that. You can keep the money. I didn't know. But I can't keep it all. Here, take this 20,000 won. If you insist, thank you. I'll be going now. See you later. Okay, I'll call you if I get a job. Ha, huh, it's only 20,000. What a dumbass. Meanwhile, that guy got nailed. He's got $2 million on him. What are you going to do with that much money, huh? Are you saying you'll buy me anything I want if I catch Jong Yan? Anything at all. We have to separate Kyung Ho and Jae Young, and we have to avoid witnesses. I'll deal with the police. Also, she's the daughter of the head of the Sion group. If they interfere, then the police will keep an eye on us. Therefore, no one should be caught. Everyone, put on your masks. The student council president has finished his investigation and contacted me. He did? We've waited a long time. Let's hurry up. Oh, you're already here. Oh, I was just coming over. You don't know each other, right? This is Lee Hee Young's sister. Nice to meet you. The president also investigated your sister's case and wants to help us. Do you want to come along? Thank you very much. It's okay. Is it true that the investigation on Hee Young's case has been completed? Yes, but let's talk about it at lunch. Let's go. Lee Kyung Ho, I know you're not just friends with her. However, you can't do anything with one hand. They were watching from above. It's all set. Hyun Soo gave them a sign. All the guys were ready to attack. Let's get started. Well, thanks to the student council president, we solved this case thanks to him. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm sure they must have done something to her. I'll look into it and fix it. I hope it works out for you. Thank you, sis. You really cherish my sister. Don't be fooled, said the student council president. Why? Didn't you reveal the truth by investigation? Yes, to a certain extent. There's evidence and witnesses, so I'm pretty sure it's already been resolved, but it doesn't matter. It's better for you to hear it from someone who's going to testify. It's all true. Provided my parents don't know, I've decided to testify. Are you sure? He could have just doctored the photo. Keep reading. We have other pictures we took together. He Young was the one who took the picture. That's right. Stupid idiots, I just used one app to create some proof. What's in front of you has nothing to do with the real situation. I heard that someone accidentally took a picture with He Young, so I backed it up. From an outsider's point of view, it looks really real. Unfortunately, we need to end this meeting. She was hanging out with bad guys and was busy making money on the side. Afraid of getting caught doing that kind of work, of course, which is why she jumped. I'm sure that's why the police ended the investigation with her jumping. In the end, the money wasn't enough. No, no way! Hey, you! The girl ran away. Was it because of the bullying? How can I help her soul? If it's true, what's keeping her here? I'm sorry the investigation ended this way. I was thinking about how to say it after what I did. No, thank you for your help. The two of us probably would have taken longer to solve this problem. Thank you. I appreciate you thinking that. Someone yelled to them, Stop! I heard a rumor that you beat up my friends for no particular reason. So we're going to hurt you a little. Who are you? If you're from our school, I'll take off your goggles. Don't worry so much. Kyung Ho, they're all over the place. President, take Jae Young and go to a safe place. What about you? What can he do with one arm? Then we'll get out of here first. Wait, you're leaving him alone? No way, that's not my sister. Wait a minute. She remembered a fragment from the messages. Lobster, she's like, she's allergic to lobster. And she's never been on that app. Something's not right here. We should tell the student council president. What's wrong with Kyung Ho? Don't worry, I called the police. Hurry up and run. I'll take you where it's safe and get back to him. Okay. You can't go through here. It's okay, I walk here every day. Something's bothering me. This whole thing seems staged. How did they find us? How did Park Hyun Joo meet the man who said he was a witness? Something's not right. Let's check something out. She took out her phone and dialed the police number. Suddenly, Puck took it from her. Stop being so slow and get over there, okay? He grabbed her by her shirt and threw her into some room. Locked the door with a code. Open the door. Wait, just let me get out of here. You lied about He Young, right? That's right. How long are you going to keep me here? I'll sue you. Hi, how's it going? I got them trapped. Now all we have to do is call him and make a deal. By the way, who was the person who made the huge deposit of 100 million won? Ah, a trustworthy person. He actually got 500,000. If I had gone alone, it might have ended badly, but now there's a middleman. The deal will take place at our hideout. After you get the money, tell them where Che Young is. How many people did you get? 18 people? Really? Okay, it's cool. He Yan was eavesdropping on his conversation. Don't tell them the rest of the details. It's so easy for them to fall for it. 
What's going on? Where are Ji Young and Kyung Ho? What are they falling for? It's a little easier than with Lee Hee Young, but it's worth the money. Don't let anyone interfere with the plan. When she realized it, she came at him with a bat. He grabbed her by the throat. Did you hear what we said? You heard something you weren't supposed to hear. Meanwhile, Kyung had already beaten everyone up. Tell me what you know. That's all I know. Please don't beat them. It was all part of a plan to kidnap Han Jae Young. Please spare me. Kyung was really angry. Where's Park Hyun Ju? Sister? Yes, my sister always liked to play the piano. My sister was always a loner who played the piano all day long. She said the piano was her life. When I ran away from home, I still remember the look on her face when she couldn't watch the piano performance because she had to look for me. Where am I? This guy. Student council president from my sister's school. Wait. Look at that. She's awake. What did you do to my sister? She wanted to hit him, but she missed again. And he retaliated by kicking her in the stomach. Why did you do that? I thought you had something to do with my sister. You bastard. When I get out of here, I'll report everything to the police. I've memorized everyone. I'll tell everyone about you. Are you sure? If you remember one person and report it, it'll be a problem. Then we have no choice but to kill you. What? Your sister tried it, that's all. It can't be true. You- Yes, I killed her. When she got angry, she grabbed his leg and bit his skin. What are you doing? Let go! Let go of me! You wanna die? I said let go of me, you bitch. He kicked her again. You're such a bitch, it hurts. Tell me what you did to my sister. All the messages were lies. What did you do to her? Do you know what she used to do? Just look. He threw some pictures at her. She saw the pictures and couldn't say a word after that. I just offered her a job. Wouldn't you do it for the money? If you don't believe it, don't believe it. But you can see for yourself. She was so stupid. She didn't know she was being used. She was perfect for it. Didn't she have any friends since she was too busy playing the piano? She was really crazy about the piano. Ha ha ha. She said she would eventually quit, but then she wouldn't be able to play the piano anymore. She couldn't give up on making good money, could she? But why did my sister die? Why do you ask? She was distraught at the time. I told her she wasn't good at the piano. She got angry and she just lashed out at me. And when I told her she shouldn't tell her sister, she went crazy. Your sister's death was an accident, an accident. Oh, and another thing. She said she wanted to send her sister to the piano academy. Oh my god, I feel sorry for you. She knelt down in front of him and grabbed his leg. No, it can't be. It can't be the goddamn truth. He pushed her away again. If you miss her so much, why don't you send to her? The doors opened and some guy fell right on the threshold. Kyung walked in after him. Hey, I'm here to find Jae Young. How did you... You don't need to know. But while I'm looking for Han Jae Young, I have some things to take care of. What? What are you talking about? He showed him that he was recording the whole conversation on a tape recorder. She got so aggressive I threw her off the roof. There you go. It's a perfect recording. A man against one guy with a broken arm. He's crazy. Close the door so he doesn't escape. Okay. You're Lee Kyung Ho, right? You think taping the conversation will solve the problem? Don't be like that. Before he could finish his sentence, Kyung had already tossed him aside. I'm not usually interested in other people's business. But don't think anyone deserves to lose a family member. He broke his cast against the iron column. The ticket was used at 7 o'clock, now it's 7.55. The doctor told me to wait more than three days. It was the strength of Masa Oyama, the founder of Kyokushin Karate. I think I can take care of you in five minutes. Besides Chun Jin. Oh, there was another first-year student who attracted a lot of attention. It was Lee Pyong Yoon. He's good at fighting, but he's too tough. It's only natural for everyone to be afraid of a person who can beat you up just because you grazed his shoulder, however. It's kind of crazy. He's pushing him back. There was an unimaginable difference between Lee Pyong Yoon and the transferred student standing in front of us. The difference in skills was so staggering that it was hard to believe. The newcomer knocked him out without a chance to land a punch. Had he always been like this? There's nothing to be afraid of. There's 18 of you. Then I think you guys can handle him, right? Let's go. He's fought off everyone who's ever attacked him. He's bluffing. He's saving his right hand. Aim for it. Why bother removing the cast if you're not going to use it? But here he used it. Used an inch-long punch and two guys flew off toward the door. He took five of them down in one fell swoop. What are you doing? You talentless idiots. Can't handle one bastard? Kill him. Go first. Fuck you. I don't think I can go through with this. Didn't you see them flying around? What's Chun Jin Oh doing? How can you waste your time on something useless? He doesn't care. What a relief. I don't have time. If they get here, I have to leave. What? He's the one who started attacking everyone. Is that even possible for high school students? Even after seeing it myself, I couldn't believe it. Could it be that he could fight on par with Chun Jin Oh? He beat up one after another, all flying off in different directions. No one dared to approach him. I could not understand the situation in front of me, however. I had no choice but to accept it. It would soon be my turn. Stop. 
I don't think this can be learned in two weeks. You've been hiding your karate skills, right? As expected, Chun Jin Oh finally became active. He can't beat him. He learned karate from his father for 10 years. I don't know why you hid them, but it doesn't matter. I'll teach you a lesson now. Kyokushin Karate. He hit him so hard that he flew off too. While he was off to the side, Kyung thought that now was the perfect time. While I have the opportunity, I should shorten the distance. He coughed. I can't breathe. It hurts so much. But here he came at him again. He landed blow after blow. Wait. Shit, my time is up. He remembered his conversation with Lee Di Suk. How do you beat a karate pro? You can't beat someone who has been training for 10 years with his practice of a few weeks. However, if you can hold out until the end, you have a chance to win. You have to attack more more. If I keep going, I can win. My right arm is already at its limit, but I don't have time to think about it. He used the technique again. Jin Oh, can this monster really be beaten by some weakling? Should I run away? I have to finish it all in one blow. As expected, he's an unusual high school student. He's trying to defend himself, so I can't hold Oitsuki. Chun Jin Oh and Park Gun Su are in on it? Be careful with Jun Oh's karate. I know you're familiar with karate, but Chun Jin Oh's father is the best karate master. His father has been training him since he was a kid. So many attacks don't work on him. Even if it's a baseball bat, it won't break him. If it does, the only option to break through his defense is an inch-high punch. He was about to hit him, but he recoiled. Kyung didn't expect that. And after losing a couple seconds, he didn't have time to react to his leg kick. What happened? A while ago, he tried to aim for the areas under Oitsuki. I'd be in trouble if he hit. I need to pull myself together. I was surprised by his movements. But... This guy, what the hell is wrong with him? Was there something very different about him? It looked like Oitsuki's first punch was stronger than my father's. But then it was like a clumsy cartoon move. Hey, who taught you karate? I didn't learn from anyone. If that's the case, all 18 of us are in bad shape. If he hits me again, it'll hurt a lot, so we have to finish this quickly. The first Oitsuki was powerful. Maybe it was just luck. I was surprised the first time, but now I'm sure this guy is new to karate. Less talking, more fighting. Who do you think will break first? People don't realize that sometimes. Less words, more fighting. I'm not talking about your futile efforts. People like you have no talent anyway. I'm telling you to find another way to survive. Just die. Pray on your knees, got it? You fucking bastard. So? I already know that. Funny how he thinks the same way. I gotta use the ticket. I gotta make him get what he deserves. But, anyway, who's weak and who's strong has been decided since birth. You must bow to your fate. No. He threw a punch, but Kyung dodged it. Shoulder roll? No, I'll fight you with my own strength. Faster, stronger, and more precise. How do you even train? You think you can defend her with those skills? Bend your legs harder and extend your arms. Yeah, I got it. His basic skills are bad. He has no sword fighting ability. What can I teach him anyway? Leader, can he be my sparring partner? I'll definitely take care of him. Okay, practice with him for a while. Sparring? With me? I can't relax because of that guy with the snake tattoo. Madam won't quit school for sure, but if someone attacks him with those skills, he won't last 10 seconds. That's no good. He doesn't know how to do anything. Am I expecting too much from a high school student? Hmm. Is this your first sparring session? Yeah, you're so weak and your fundamentals aren't very good. Now watch me. You're doing great. Your stance is good too. Lee Di Siok was surprised by what he saw. This is it. Thanks to my group leader, I was able to find a boxing style that suits me. There's no need to dodge small attacks. Focus on your shoulders and just avoid the big attacks. Unlike the outboxers, I need to use a different technique. Even if I still have the feeling, copying Muhammad Ali is impossible for me. What I need is not to repeat blindly, but to fight in my own style. In fighting. But that doesn't mean I'm stronger than him. It's less fair. In fact, at this rate, I'm going to lose. My stamina is stretched to the limit and my arm is about to fall off, even from low blows. And that's why I need to use the rest of my stamina to deliver the decisive blow. The stomach he was trying to protect earlier. My previous blow was in the right direction. I can see that he's trying to protect his stomach more than the rest of his body. The only way for me to hit him perfectly in the stomach is to wait for him to get into the right pose. Lee Kyung Ho, I've been doing this for 10 years. I'm not someone who can be beaten by an amateur like you. That's right. Even if I still have Muhammad Ali's feelings, it doesn't mean I can get better in just a few weeks. But the fact that I'm dodging your attacks means you're weakened. Why aren't you falling? The pain from his earlier blows is still there. And because of that, my body isn't moving like I want it to. But I haven't seen anyone my age who can dodge my attacks like that. I didn't expect to ever see someone who could do that. Because you're born with your strength, speed, reaction, and talent. I thought I was the chosen one. Special. Incomparable to the others. But I can't destroy the one in front of me. And since that's the case, I'll just destroy your defenses with a direct hit. Yes, now. He tried that again. 
Ha, huh, he's making it too obvious. I mean, he's definitely going for the one-inch punch. Who's gonna fall for that? Wait a second, that's his left hand. Hmm, are you still perfecting your Zhang Yun? No, I've been working on the straight punch you showed me earlier. You don't even know the basics, and yet you're working on a straight punch. Well, your starting stance looks familiar. Looks familiar? Wait, but the starting stance for straight punches is Lan, then right after Zhang Yun it's... After Zhang Kyung destroyed his stance... Wait a minute, he's in the air now so he can't... Yes, I really defeated him. Help! How do I open this door? Who locked it anyway? Open it. Don't move, I told no one to move. Those words finally shocked him, and those few words spread throughout the room. Lee Kyung Ho, thank you, thank you so much. Why are you thanking him? You're the hero who saved us all! Because we were all forced to work for Chung Jin Oh! We did everything illegally. We did a lot of bad things because Chung Jin Oh made us do it. That's not a bad idea. If we didn't do that, our normal school life would be hell. Because we were afraid of him. I won't deny that we did bad things, but thanks for saving me from that hell. I can't do more. If he finds out we gave it to Han Jae Young, we'll lose a lot of money. We have to somehow get him on our side and then hand him over to Che Young. I sent a message to a man in case Jin Oh loses. I need to ask him to send me the money and refuse to trade personally. Stop talking bullshit! Hit him as hard as you want. She barely touched his cheek. Oh shit, I have to hold back my laughter. Don't worry, I'll hit him for you. Wait, you laugh even when your life is on the line? I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I'm, I don't believe you. This is my mistake. I can't hear you. Louder. I sincerely apologize. Stop, please. He passed out. The phone. Here. I'll report it to the police. Pyong Yoon? Yes? Take responsibility for this and turn yourself in. Tell them it was just a small quarrel and don't blab about the incident with Lee Hee Young. If you don't go to the police station, or if you say it's a lie, you won't get off with minor injuries. I hope you understand. Jong Yan, where is she? She had nothing to do with this, so I took her home. I have to buy some time. Lies. I heard you called someone and said you were kidnapped. What was it? What, a kidnapping? Are they in on it with that guy with the tattoo on his wrist? You bastard! What are you doing? My phone! With a fingerprint? Unlock it! What are you talking about? There's nothing to see. Shut up and unlock your phone! Oh shit, get up! We don't have much time. Zhang Yan's in danger. Meanwhile, Salmosa was already there. Where are you taking me? I can't just leave you here. We're running out of time. Somewhere safe. Here, let's go here. Stay here for a while. I will, thank you. I just want to make it in time. Please. He touched the lock and realized he couldn't remember the code. He looked at his phone to remember it. Okay. 1574. The door was about to open but Kyung was already standing behind him. Stay where you are. Don't you dare open it. You again. I figured this would happen. I'm not interested in you anymore. If you get in my way, I'll kill you. What a strong bloodlust. The atmosphere is completely different from that time. I can't use my right hand because I hurt it. Can I win with my full strength? No, I have to do it. I contacted the police on the way here. Should I use the ticket to stall for time? You caught up with me fast. I'm sorry, but I'm taking her with me. Dream on. No, not you, the one behind you. Who is he? I didn't even see him. A mask with a snake pattern. No way, the snake tattoo gang. Two against one. Before Kyung could realize anything, he had already been hit by Black Mamba. And then he approached Salmosa. I came here to kill you. What the hell are you talking about? Are you trying to steal my booty? The people I'm associated with ordered me to bring your head. They did? Yes, I was warned about this. If you know, I have nothing more to say. According to the boss, there's no reason to keep you around anymore. I'm no longer needed. If I catch Ji Young, it's all over. Does he know she's locked up here? It doesn't matter. What are you going to do with a guy who just escaped? Escaped? Is he an unusual civilian? I feel like I'm gonna die squatting in here. In just a split second, he shortened the distance between us and tried to knock me out. He's strong. If I didn't train, I'd be in big trouble. He's on a different level than Chun Jin Oh. I can't beat him without a ticket. Aren't they on the same side? He's the one who tried to kidnap Che Young. We'll have to see how skilled he is. Even if he escaped, it doesn't matter. As long as he's around, I can find him and kill him. Oh? So it's Black Mamba? Your reputation precedes you. Even when there were monsters roaming around, you were still infamous. I hear you're hiding daggers up your sleeve. Enough idle chatter. I think it'll be fun. Of all the people I wanted to kill, you're one of them. I'll take anything you throw at me. What is that? It's an unusual chain. The chain spins like a snake. It's impossible for the average man's eye to follow it. The movements I saw last time were different. Where the chain will strike and when it will strike, I have to anticipate all this. He was able to dodge his chain without a problem. Wow, so easy. Then what about the two chains? He was at his side in no time. It's really annoying when you have to dodge two chains at the same time. And the place you're aiming for is too obvious. One punch and he threw him off. He's moving between the chains. That's not normal. He avoided them? I can't allow it. 
The trajectory of the chains is random. How did he predict it? You really are a monster. It's unbelievable. As his chains suddenly fell to the floor, they were broken. It happened faster than you can see. He probably broke the chains using that dagger. Where did this guy come from anyway? Kyung thought. I lost. I know where Hanja Young is. Let me give her to you and you let me go. Do you know where she is? Yes. He wants to give it to him? Even if I use the ticket, I still can't defeat an enemy with chains. If you give it to me, I'll let you go. It'll be hard to defeat that guy again. They're already going that way. What should I do? They're already in front of the door. Whose soul should I use in this situation? I have to stop them. Can I really handle these two guys alone? If I'm even a second late? If Cheyoung dies, there's no point in me living on anymore. He was about to get up when someone suddenly grabbed his shirt. Che Young? She was right in front of him. She put her finger to her lips, signaling him to be quiet. But how? I hid on the other side and snuck in here. But in the bathroom, no soul could have opened it for you. Anything's possible. Well, if you're here, then, uh... I'm sure she was here. I see you've just wasted my time. Wait. She was here for real. All I hear is excuses. Fear was... Something like that. He's out! He's alone! The other man is dead? Since I can still feel your presence, it looks like you haven't escaped yet. Keep your mouth shut. He's gone. I got chills when he realized we were here. But how did you get out of the bathroom? Wasn't it locked? Eh? It was pretty easy. The spirits helped me. They opened the lock by themselves and let you out? Ha ha ha. No, it wasn't like that. It was the spirit that gave me the password that Hyun Soo used to lock me up. No matter how much I screamed, people couldn't hear, and spirits can't touch objects. So I tried to do it myself. You opened the lock from the inside? How? There was a brick inside and I used it to break the handle. That's impossible. You typed the password through that hole? Yeah. I stuck my hand out and typed the password. I did good, didn't I? I got it. You can also get help from spirits like this. After that, 18 hooligans along with Park Hyun Soo were arrested. The hooligans who couldn't get away with it because of the hard recorded evidence confessed the truth. The deleted messages were recovered and this revealed many threats and lies directed at Lee Hee Young. As a result, Lee Hee Young's suicide case turned into a murder case. Hee Ju was sitting on a bench and it suddenly rained, but the girl was without an umbrella. The guys came up to her. You're going to catch a cold like that? Thank you so much for helping me. Thanks to you, the investigation is over. Okay, it's okay. It just worked itself out. But why are you sitting here alone? Is something bothering you? Oh, about that. I hate bullies very much. Once I was convinced they were criminals, I wanted to get rid of them. That's why I wanted the police to take them away so badly. I thought it was the only way to get rid of my frustration. But I still feel disappointed. I don't know why. It's because the most important person wasn't there. What? The disappointment came from your sister not being there. So the bullies being locked up wouldn't fix it. Even we can't help you with that. You need to figure it out on your own. If you can't get out of this stage, your depression will only get worse. That's one way to ruin your life. If it keeps going on like this, it doesn't matter. I just want to say that you've forgotten about it. That's true. Up until now, all I could think about was revenge. Now that it's over, I wonder who my sister was to me. My sister always gave me what I wanted. She was always on my side, but now she's gone. Come with me. Where are we going? It's okay. You can go in. The music academy your sister went to. The piano. I used to love playing it, but I don't want to play anymore. Because the thing that made my sister like that. It was the piano, and I... The ghost started transforming from scary to regular girl. Look, we're not here to talk about pianos. We're... I can see spirits. He young doesn't want you to feel guilty. You can see spirits? Yes, I can see your sister too. I'm glad, but you don't have to comfort me. No, it's true. Your sister is here. You know better than anyone that my sister has become like this because of me. But if I tell you that my sister thinks otherwise, it makes me feel terrible. She was about to leave when she suddenly heard Ji Young sit down to play. What is she doing? This isn't like her at all. That tune. It's a melody I composed. You can compose? Yes, but it's in pairs, so it won't be easy to play alone. Then can I play it with you? Sure, try your best. Practice and you'll become a better musician. But how? Where did she come from? What's wrong? Didn't you just say you're not going to play anymore? No. I just felt I had to play it. How do you know this song? Because I composed it. You said you could see my sister's spirit. Can I believe you? It's a melody that only you and I know. Even though I couldn't ask him, I always had one question. Then can I ask Hee Young just one question? She started to remember how she fought with her parents over her older sister. Do you hate me? I never hated you. Thank you. It must have been a hard decision for you to lend me your body. Thanks to you, I was able to talk to my sister. Now I can be calm. It's okay. Have a safe trip. Oh, right. You wanted to ask me something about your mother, didn't you? Since you can't see spirits, I'll ask her for you. Right. She doesn't know I can see them. 
Of course, there's a lot of things I want to ask a spirit. I can't tell you anything about my abilities or tickets. In fact, there's something I haven't told you. After I started walking with you, I slowly started to see them. What? Did you know what He Young looked like from the beginning? Yes. I'm sorry I just told you now. However, there's a condition. A condition? Yes, only after physical contact with you can I see them. What? Physical contact? Do I have to kiss you or something? I wouldn't even think of doing anything like that to you. Okay, I was just kidding. Then I'll let you hold my hand. Here. It's okay. All I have to do is touch your hair. I can see her now. Thank you. He Young, I'd like to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. She disappeared a long time ago, but still. Do you know where my mom's spirit is? Ah, uh, oh, that woman, I remember her. You do? It's just like Sarah said, they're connected somehow. But I don't know where she is now. He went to her office. But there was a piece of paper on the door that said she was currently absent. What do you mean she's absent? Did she run away after deceiving me? Sarah, where are you? Uh, what? Why did you deceive me? He was thrown by some small creature. Oh my god. How dare you raise your voice to Mrs. Sarah? What? This is my pet, Babo. You might want to think before you speak. What kind of cat-like creature is that? Didn't I tell you not to speak to me in that inappropriate manner? I'm 500 years older than you. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's because I'm already so confused. That's right, Sarah God. I acted rashly. Thinking about it now, I don't think she was lying to me. Anyway, Babo, I'm going to step back for a while. Do you think the left outfit looks better? I think so. You'll look more dignified and beautiful in it. I don't dare impose my opinion on you, but I feel the left outfit would be best for you. That cat has a lousy opinion. Now that I think about it, I'm the most insignificant person here. I should try to blend in. Really? Hmm. She doesn't seem to like that outfit. I think you'll look better in the right outfit. You think so? You have a good eye. That's a relief. Although I just picked what I liked. Yes, you'll look great in it. Then I'll wear this. Just when he saw the cat getting angry. You, please go away. It's time for you to go back. She snapped her fingers and the cat disappeared. I'm amazed at her ability every time. Now let's go and talk about what's important. The only reason you came to me in such a hurry means only one thing. The spirit has told you almost nothing? So she knows. No, it's not that she doesn't have any information. Yes, I saw her a long time ago, but now I don't even know where she is. I see. I thought maybe this time I could meet her. About your mom. I think she's a special person. What? I died a very unfair death and I was unbearably angry, so I had no idea what to do. I wanted to forget everything and go away, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. But I met your mom, and her first words were, I'll listen to your story. Those words weren't catchy, and I felt at peace, so I told her everything. What's great about your mom is that in the entire week that I told her about myself, she never once interrupted me. How could she listen to my story for seven days without interruption? Without hesitation, I told her all my problems. I see. But after her answer, my heart felt better. Her answer was very honest. I told her everything about my past, and I thought that the time that doesn't flow for us is more important. Of course, it was because of your mom. I could have left like that, but since my sister was struggling and couldn't bear it, I had no choice but to become an evil spirit. Oh, right. She also told me something about you. What? What did she say? She said she had a beautiful little son, so I was surprised. All he thinks about is people hating him. And she also said she didn't know where my mom went. I thought I could meet her if I helped her. But she didn't know where she was, so I let my anger get the best of me. Spirits have to trust other spirits in what they say. I guess it was my fault for telling you that information. So you didn't like it? No, no, I loved it. I feel like I'm going to be able to meet her soon. If we meet, there's something I'd like to know. Meanwhile, at Shang Group's house, Lee Di Seok was watching the news. The city is being terrorized. The police have started to deal with it. A 40-year-old man with a snake tattoo was found dead. This man was found dead? I couldn't even hurt him. He wasn't the kind of man you could just kill. Who in this world would do that? Commander, we found some CCTV footage of a man with a tattoo. Show it now. This man and some guy were seen on this camera. Is that the only footage? He knew the location of all the cameras. We could only get him on this alley. It's an old alley, so it's an old model camera. I'm sure this man is innocent. Leave it here for now and look for other footage. Uh, sir, if you look at the other footage, you'll see a black snake. It's a video of a man who escaped earlier after being humiliated. What? How is that possible? We can only see this silhouette, but as you can tell from his movements, he may be skilled in martial arts. Wait a minute. Bring that camera closer. Lee Kyung-ho? Attention. Lee Di Seok has gathered all the bodyguards in the courtyard again. I have to go to school. What's this sudden meeting? I'm sure each of you have heard that a man from the snake gang was found murdered near a public restroom. The killer is still unknown. But we did find someone on the security cameras who may have been a witness. Keep your eyes peeled. Black Mamba. 
He looked like an animal. Let's take a look at him on the cameras. Is he a professional fighter? Looks impressive. Wait a minute, that's me. Who's the kid next to him? He looks familiar. I screwed up. Stop talking. They haven't done anything for years, but it looks like they're taking action now. That's why increase surveillance cameras around the school, get a search team together, reorganize everything. We need to tighten up security. Why didn't I think of security cameras? I tried my best to avoid it. I won't get fired for secretly seeing Zhang Yan, right? No. If I think on the bright side, I just took care of that snake gang bastard. Wait, then I'll have to explain the whole ticket situation if that happens. This is driving me crazy. That'll be the end of it. Don't forget to increase our security. That's it. That's right. It turns out they didn't understand. Let's hurry up. Lee Kyung Ho, Lee Di Seok called him. Yes? Please take care of Madam at school. Okay. Here, this is a special pager. It seems like the previous one had a few malfunctions, so I'm specially giving you this pager that's directly related to mine. Yes, thank you. Be careful with this gang. Good luck. I have something to tell you. What Kyung's hair is standing on end? Nothing, I'm going! Just as I thought, it's not him. Lee Kyung Ho? Is there any other footage that clearly shows his face? Excuse me? Are you talking about Lee Kyung Ho? I'm sure it's not him. We sparred from time to time and I haven't seen such skills from him. You can tell from the video that he's a brilliant fighter. If we find him and he turns out to be a good guy, we should recruit him. You think so? These skills have been developed over decades of fighting. It's a smooth move. This can't be done by a high school kid. Find this guy. Yeah, got it. Even if they increase their security, it'll be easy for me because I can just ask the spirits to help. Anyway, you're saying this is the surveillance tape that the guard has, right? It's a relief my face isn't so clear. The cameras are black and white, thankfully. Guess I shouldn't go out in my uniform anymore. Black Mamba. I couldn't beat him even after being possessed by Shirazoni. Okay. No matter how strong you are, it all depends on your weapon. However, at that time, it seemed like I would lose even if I used a spirit that was good with weapons. At that moment, it seemed like he was more monster than human. When I meet him again, which spirit should I use? When I use a spirit, I inherit all of its skills, and my strength and stamina also increase. In other words, just like when the weightlifter mastered me while interviewing the guard, I can't completely inherit their skills. At the end of the day, learning is the best way to evolve. I should tell the commander to make my practice more challenging. Lee Kyung Ho, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Are you out of your mind? Why are you dressed so brightly? Why are you always angry? Is it wrong to dress up when you go out for a walk? Of course it is. But now we have to change our clothes so we don't stand out on camera. What a shame. Then let's go to the mall. Not now. What are you doing? He put his hoodie on her and brought her a hat. That's great. Now no one will know it's us. We don't have to stand out on camera. I haven't dressed like this in a long time. What do we do now? Let's, uh, hmm. You go find him first. It'll take quite a while to find a spirit who knows about your mother in this neighborhood. Sira told me to go ahead, so if you haven't decided, leave it to me. Hey, but you can't just help any spirit. Do you know where to go? It's not all work. Follow me. What? Where are we going? Just go. She took him for a walk. They spent time with the kitties, then listened to street musicians, went shopping, went to the oceanarium, and even took pictures. After all that, sitting in a cafe, Kyung realized that this was her plan. You have to take a break from work every now and then. Yes, yes, even I feel bad looking for spirits every day. You're not eating? I don't want to. I don't usually share food, but I'll let you try. Didn't you want to eat it yourself? I'm on a diet, but I'll make an exception. Mmm, it's good. Huh? He's eating it with the spoon I used to eat it with. Do you remember that guy in the black coat? Yeah. I overheard them talking the other day. But only the chain dude knows what you look like. But the people in his organization don't. They're crazy, so you gotta be careful. Is that Weon bastard all right? Vian? You mean their gang? Yes, I can ask the spirits for help. I'm sure I won't get caught. Yeah, she hasn't been in trouble lately, so... At that moment, I thought I'd be safe as long as I avoided the snake, but trouble came from within. Some guy got out of the shower and turned on the TV. SBX News Report. News came out that Il Cheon Pa's organization, Il Cheon Pa, committed violent acts in Hanyang Market. However, the members of the organization turned their backs on each other, causing a wild scene. Currently, they have been arrested by the police. Pathetic. Someone called him and he answered, Hello, yes I can talk. It's all set. But you're impressive too, you fucking bastard, betraying us like that at the last minute. I've been sharpening my knife there for what seems like a decade. Well, you seem to already know that, judging by your strict agreement. The weapons, the place, and what you asked for are all set. You said you'd do the rest, right? Yeah, I can't do it undercover, so I asked someone reliable to help. Okay, we're gonna kill tons of people to make headlines. So get ready. Got it, Hyung Nim. That was Lee Di Siak. Listening to Lee Hee Young for a whole week. 
So my mom listened to stories about souls turning into evil spirits? She really told me to wait a while. If I can meet my mom, there's something I really wanted to ask her. Oh, it's an evil spirit. Where? He grabbed her hand. His hand. First he was holding onto my hair and now here it is. Unperturbed. Where is he? I'll allow it this time. Okay, where is he? Where is it? Is it that spirit? Was he at the elementary school? Ask him what happened. I can't. I think he's a total evil spirit. In that case, normal people like us can't talk to them. Then how can we help him? What the hell? Is he looking at us? Scary. I'm not sure. I don't see many evil spirits. Suddenly he jumped right on top of them. They got scared. What's going on? Evil spirits can't get out of spaces like this. Do they want to? The spirit wanted to get close to some magician. That kid likes magic tricks? Sis knows a few tricks too. Look at my right hand. The spirit looked at it. Ta-da! Now the coin is in my left hand. The spirit started crying and screaming. Looks like this kid has high standards. You call this magic tricks? Let's learn tricks. I think one year will be enough. What? One year? What the hell is she talking about? My life will be over before a year is up. Come to think of it. There's no guarantee that these evil spirits are connected to mom. I have to decide whether to help or not. Either way, we can't even communicate with him. Let's stop messing around with him. I'm busy trying to find my mom's soul. Did you forget about our pact? Our pact? You promised to help those souls if I helped you find your mom. I remembered. So you have to help the evil spirit this time too. I told you that the reason I wanted to go outside was because of these souls. I might not be able to do anything else because all day long all I can think about is these evil spirits. Anyway, we have plenty of time. I get it. You finally figured it out. Since we're beginners, let's learn the basics. No, I have an idea. He approached a street magician. Could you lend me one deck of cards? I'm sorry, I can't lend you that equipment. I can't give it to an ordinary citizen who doesn't know any tricks. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm a magician too. I can feel you looking at me pretending you're not, you brat. He started shuffling the deck of cards in various ways. Young lady, would you draw one card? Ia, eight of hearts. Don't show it to me, but you can show it to the others. Now, I'll take out as many flowers as there are hearts on the card. He started pulling out one flower at a time and stopped at seven. Did I get it right? Everyone started laughing. No, it was an eight. What a disappointment. Suddenly, he pulled an eight of hearts from the deck. What a relief that the eight of hearts was here. What? Wow. The card in her hand has changed. She had the eight of hearts. I was watching his hand. How the hell did he do that? Amazing. These skills need to be practiced thousands of times. Is that what they call talent? It was the soul of Harry Houdini, the greatest magician of all. The ghost turned his attention to him and smiled for the first time in a long time. Harry Houdini. Lee D. Seok passed by. Seeing the crowd gathered, he looked closer and saw them. Save. Before he could say anything, Kyung saw him. Hurry up, let's get out of here. Why? The captain's here. Mr. D. Seok, if we can get on the road. Young lady? Suddenly Kyung used the red robe to do a disappearing trick. Thank you all. Please give us a round of applause. Ah, the lady should be at school right now. I guess I was wrong. What a relief. This could have been a big disaster. Huh, Jae Young? You can come out now. Tada! Did you learn magic somewhere? You scared me. When did you learn it? It was unbelievable. Oh, I had nothing to do when I was little. You know, while you were performing, I saw a huge spirit behind you for a second. It was also when you were with your cat or playing soccer. It's so exciting. M? How interesting. However, what happened to the evil spirit? Huh? That's right. The evil spirit saw us and it liked it, but he kept hitting a space he couldn't get into. It looked at Lee Di-suk who was leaving and shouted that it was going to kill him. The guys hearing this were shocked. Yesterday, that evil spirit, what was it? From the way he was dressed, it's unlikely he had a family when he was alive. A kid that likes to do tricks with clothes that were about to tear. The evil spirit was incredibly angry with the captain. They seem to have nothing to do with each other. But what was the relationship between this child and the captain? We asked around with Che Young, but no one knows about this child. What if it's not as simple as holding a grudge and the captain had something to do with this kid's death? What am I supposed to do then? You didn't sleep last night, did you? I was up because of Mr. D. Sook. I see. You must have known the captain for a long time. I asked the other bodyguards, and they said the captain has been leaving a lot these days. Huh? Mr. Lee de Seok has been leaving a lot? I don't think he could have done anything. I think it would be better for me to keep an eye on the captain. Keep an eye on him? How? I planted a bug in the captain's car to track his location. You did? Yeah, I'll follow him as soon as he drives his car somewhere. Walking into class, the guys were in shock. Everyone was discussing the fact that all the bullies had recently turned themselves into the police. They were also discussing the fact that some guy had beaten 18 people at once. There's also a rumor that it was a transfer student. 
What? Damn it. What kind of asshole blabbed it all out? At this rate, the bodyguards are bound to find out. Inside the school, opinions about Lee Kyung Ho's mysterious student are divided. 18 to 1? Don't make me laugh. What kind of guy is he? Fighting 18 against 1. And then there are the students who were hostile to the rumors. Look at him, there's no beating on him. And his physique, he's useless in fights. Lee Kyung Ho, are you the strongest in our school? No, stay quiet. You won't get away with this. You're using Jung Jin Oh's name, you filthy bastard. I'll make him reveal his true identity. Buy me something to eat. Bread errands are enough to stop the rumors. Even if you were really the source of the rumors, I'll make them disappear. Pay attention, you miserable bastards. Should I tell teacher about this? What? Teacher? Huh, what kind of reaction is that? Look how Hei Chun can't handle him. Is he scared of the teacher? Ha ha ha. Damn it. I just made a fool of myself. This is the first time I've ever been complained about to a teacher. Does he even have any pride? Well, then I'll have to come up with a reason to make him fight. In gym class, he hit him in the head with a ball. Sorry, my hand slipped. I splashed him with water when they were washing their hands. What? I'm not allowed to wash my hands like that? The constant provocation in the cafeteria, the tripping. I heard Sang Hook and Jun Oh got beat up by the new guy. Come to think of it, young Jun Oh has never been beaten up before. However, the rumors didn't stop despite Kyung Ho's calm demeanor. These fucking rumors have only gotten bigger. If I wanted to, he'd be shitting his pants by now. If things continue like this, I'll have no choice but to give up. I have no choice. He went up to him and slapped him. What are you doing? Why are you hitting him when he's just sitting there quietly? Oh, I just saw a mosquito, so I thought I'd nail him. What? Are you gonna call the teacher again? What an idiot, ha ha ha. Hey, will you stop it? Wow, the new guy's mad. I thought it was going to go on like this. Beat him up already. I've been holding back all this time because the other bodyguards might find out but he's really pissing me off. Wait a minute, I can feel the ticket moving. Captain, you should stop doing that for real. Or what? Ha ha ha. Han Jae Young, there's no time, we have to run. What, it can't be Mr. D. Siok? He ran away? I thought the new guy was just ignoring him, but it turns out he can't do anything. So Jin Oh won after all. Did you see that? That's what happens to anyone who spreads these rumors, assholes. I don't think it's more than five kilometers from here. Then let's take a cab to follow him. Where are you going, asshole? Do you want to die? What's his strength? Why is he so strong? I can't breathe. Please let me go. I'm busy right now, and I can't beat him here. People are watching. Someone came from behind. Let him go. What school are you from? Who dares to show their strength in front of... What? I'm saved. Jin, oh, you're Jung Jin, oh, right? That new kid lied about beating you and your friends. I tried to talk sense into him. I saw him spreading false rumors. Jin, oh, I told you not to spread any rumors. Sorry. You're gonna have to deal with this on your own. And that guy, too. Okay. I'm busy, so I have to run. Jin, oh, that's a lie, right? Isn't it? Say it's not true. What if it is true? Shh. I think he's here. So that's his car then? Yeah, it's been about an hour since he got here, which means there's a lot to see. And can you ask the spirits to look around? I asked a while ago, but they said they didn't want to because of the danger here. I'm sure there's something here that makes them afraid. Then there's no other option but to check it out for ourselves. Keep your eyes open, we can't get caught. Got it. Boss, there are two intruders hanging around. It looks like they're looking for something. Intruders? Yeah, and it looks like they're headed for this room. Okay, I was just getting bored. We can't let them live if they see this. I'll go to them myself. Nothing here. Same here. Security's a little lax. Look, are we sure we should go this far? We can handle two or three people, so we're good. There's blood. Let's go back. I don't think this is the place for us. I think we should tell the other bodyguards about this and let them handle it themselves. After hearing all this, I'm not letting you go. Jaw group, codename Taipan. They found themselves in a room with other people in it. All of them had their hands tied. This place? These people's hideout? They attacked me from behind before I could escape. Those tattoos look like he was one of a group of snakes. So Han Jae Young, thank God she's breathing. It looks like she's still sleeping. Isn't she being chased by the gang's henchmen? Or is it someone with the same tattoo? Why is the gang leader in a place like this? I feel like I still have one ticket. Turns out they didn't check my pockets. If they're not snake gang people, then I should take the opportunity to stop them. Boss, I caught two more snooping around. Doesn't look like they're all from the same gang. Nice work. But do you think you're gonna play games this time? If this keeps up, the big boss might not like it. Big boss? Why should that matter? If he has a beef with me, he can tell me in person. Yes, I'm sorry. By the way, I think I've seen this girl somewhere. I'm not responsible for her, but just in case, leave her alone. This could be the girl our man is looking for. What a relief, looks like they don't know. I'm pretty sure he's part of the snake gang. Maybe they're working together? Boss, the kid with the brown hair is still asleep. 
Should I wake him up? No, I'll let him sleep if he wants to. He threw a knife at him, but Kyung reacted in time to dodge it. He moved for a while. I've already held back many times from killing him. He was really thinking of killing us. Now that all the players are awake, let the game begin. I can kill you or save you right now. I'm a god here. What's in front of you recognizes lies. The rules of this game are simple, no lying. Sit still and don't move. I will calculate whether or not you're lying using this chart, and if it shows you're lying, you're dead. Do you know who my brother is? He's a high-ranking police officer, you sons of bitches. A high-ranking officer? Then maybe we can get out of here? That's a relief. Since his brother is a police officer, they'll be afraid of the consequences. The moment he finds out that you guys raised your hand on me, you'll all be dead. Before he could realize anything, the man plunged the dagger right into his heart. You're not funny, the guy yelled. It's a fast paralyzing poison, so it will spread through your body quickly. Is he crazy? He's killing even people who are related to the police? Now do you realize what will happen, guys, for your excessive talking? It's not that hard, is it? You'll be alright if you don't lie. No matter what you say, the lie detector is always right. What stupidity it forces us to do. A lie detector can sense changes in the body, but it can't be 100% right. That means it decides everything. So let's get to the game. Why were you hanging around here? And what's your connection to this guy? I'm a detective. There was a lot of suspicious activity here, so I was ordered to investigate. The man next to me is my partner. What information did you find here? I couldn't find anything. Did you come with someone else? No, there's no one else here. How many more people are going to be sent? The higher-ups don't care about this place. He didn't throw the knife. He's really going to spare them if they tell the truth. But he threw the knife again, but he missed on purpose. You're completely sincere. But don't you have any sense of professionalism? I wonder if you'll last till the end. I'll let you go if you tell the truth this time too. Do our detectives have families? I have a daughter and a son. You do? Then that would be the last question. If you were given a chance to live, would you slaughter your colleague's children right now? He said something inaudible. What did he say? You're taking too long to think. You have three seconds. What kind of crazy question is that? Asking me to stab someone in exchange for my life? How can I answer that? Why does it have to be someone I know? He's a partner we've worked with for a long time. How can I answer that? Will I be able to save others if I sacrifice myself? I'd rather die. In the last 10 years, we've been through fire and through water. I was there when the kids were born, so I can never do that to them. Hmm, he wasn't funny at all. It's funny how just one question made him lie. Are you actually trying to say how much you hated your partner? Ha <laughs> ha. I think it's funny. You could live if you said, I can do this. Why would you choose to lie and lose your friend along with your life? I think people are easily susceptible to trivial emotions. Boss, his rope was, all this time the guy was trying to untie the rope and he did it. He came at him with a knife. I'll kill you. But the man instantly dodged and cut him to pieces himself. People are so funny. If you played by the rules, then you'd have a better chance of survival. I'm ashamed to breathe the same air as these pathetic humans. That's why I thought I'd get rid of them myself. There was only one man left. When I saw him wielding a knife, he seemed to have a lot of experience with it. I'm not sure if I can defeat the snake minions while protecting Han Che Young in such a small place. Even so, I can't satisfy them by playing this game. The moment I started playing, death is inevitable. That he would keep the second man alive was also a lie. Even if they told the truth, he would still kill them. It didn't matter if they were lying or not. Because playing with people's lives was all a game to him. In the end, it doesn't make any difference even if he has little interest in you. Since you're the last player, I'll specially apply the deadly poison for you. Even a drop is enough to kill two elephants. Ten seconds is enough for a person to die. Do you think you're God for playing with people's lives? Does it matter? Your life is in my hands, isn't it? I can do whatever I want to you. That's right, my life is in your hands now, but that doesn't make you God. Because I've seen the real God. What? Lie detector. If you're interested, I'll tell you more about it. God, you say? That's right. He kicked him in the stomach. And you want me to believe that? The device is out of order. Fix it now. Yeah, I got it. He didn't kill me right away. Looks like he bought it. We should try pushing it a little harder. It's showing that way because it's malfunctioning. You don't believe me? Does it look like I'm lying? I'll say it again. Someone like you could never be a god. The real ones don't play dirty like that. Aren't you dying? Or don't you realize the position you're in? Guys, help him understand his situation. Yes, boss. What's wrong with you people? I'm just a high school student. Don't you think you're stooping low? I'd be disappointed if I were you. They started beating him up. High school students are brave these days. Let's see if he can keep talking like that. Boss, let's cut out his tongue first so he can't talk. Stop it and put him in jail. Let's try again. Yes! Tell me again about this one and your god. 
It's the Reaper of Death. Is he really serious? He's trying to buy time by playing a trick on us. I think it's better to just kill him. You want to kill him? Yes, boss. It's dangerous to keep him hostage too long. My boss told me to take care of you like a big brother, but he threw a dagger right at his head. Why did he kill his partner? Just shut up. I'm the only one who makes decisions around here. Okay, let's say what you said was true, but if you're lying, I'll kill you. All right, size. Why don't we start with something easy? What does the Reaper of Death look like? He looks human. The only difference is he has wings. Is the Reaper of Death watching me? I don't need to know that. He may or may not be watching. Then can I face the Reaper of Death? Yes, but he can erase your memories of himself. Yes, that's true. Then can I kill the Death Reaper? I don't know, but I don't think you're the right person for it. What are the Death Reaper's powers? He's all-powerful. Creates things that don't exist. Warps space. Controls a man with the tip of his finger. That's interesting. How is that possible? He hasn't moved except for the time I pulled out the knife. How can he be sure that whoever he saw was the Death Reaper? I repeat, there are Death Reapers. If you let me and the girl go, I'll let you meet them. Don't pay attention to what that brat says. Boss, we can't let him go. You never know when the police will come, so it's scary to keep dragging this out for so long. Didn't I tell you to shut up? Boss, found something suspicious outside. What is it? You keep ruining the fun. I'll kill you if it's something unimportant. It was outside. It's an unusual object, like a phone or other electronic devices, but very suspicious. And there's only one button to press that vibrates at will. It's not one of my things, so I think it was inside here. Really? I think I know what it is. Let's see who figures it out first. It's designed like a normal toy, but it's complicated inside. It feels like it was made to disguise itself. As expected, it's probably equipped with location tracking. It could be a pager that detectives use in dangerous situations, which means it belongs to one of the five we caught. The purpose of the pager. For situations like this. Isn't it? Damn it, my heart won't stop beating so hard. It's going to be hard to deal with the minions of the snake gang now. I summoned it before I fainted and threw it away. It's weird that the kids have tracks that track location. Check the girl who came with the guy. What? I loosened the rope earlier. But I have to decide if I want to use the ticket. Here, even the gang members aren't easy to deal with. They seem to be of a much higher level than the organization we've met before. But what I'm most worried about is the size of the Snake Gang's influence. What if they're as powerful as Black Mamba? Even if I use the ticket in this small place, will I be able to protect Han Che Young? Looking at the way he's nervous, there must be something wrong with this chick. Get the girl. There's no time to think about it. I have to fight even if we're at a disadvantage. Boss, two men in suits are causing a ruckus right now. Take care of it yourself. But they... They destroyed everyone. If it's men in suits, then the bodyguards must have arrived. Worthless people, these people can't even handle one thing. I'll clean up and come back. Keep an eye on these two. Yes, kill the brat and the girl. But the boss said, You can say he got loose and you killed him in defense. Yeah, I'm tired of hearing that crap. You met the Reaper of Death, huh? Your nonsense ends now. While they were talking, he was already free and able to dodge the blow. At what point did the rope come undone? Don't move or I'll kill him. You're an unusual high school student. How did he do it? Death Reaper. <laughs> There's no such thing. Only old people would believe it. Letting you meet the Reaper of Death means I'm sending you to hell. Finish him. Everyone ran at him. It turns out gangsters are so insignificant. Get out. What are you guys doing? This guy's strength is no joke. I lost my balance. He was beating everyone at the same time. No one could touch him. One of the men with a knife in his hand managed to grab his sleeve. Where are you from? Who sent you? I'm just an ordinary high school student. You have no shame at all. Well, you don't want to talk. Are you being rude because you're confident in your power? He started to take off his jacket. Thai boxing is really good. It's clearly superior in combat because it maximizes the use of the body. I did Thai boxing decades ago too, but no matter how hard I try, learn and gain experience, I realize that everything is useless in front of a weapon. A knife can be deadly even if you just touch it. He pounced on it. Is that what it feels like after you've been stabbed? Feeling like you're dying because of your behavior? It's called limitation in empty hand-to-hand -hand combat. But Kyung didn't say anything and kept dodging in every way possible. Finally catching a good moment, Kyung was able to hit him. He fell down and Kyung thought he had lost consciousness. I have to go and tell the others. That guy is a monster. Don't move. What I'm holding right now is a knife used by the snake gang people. This knife is poisoned. Even a touch can kill you. Before you know if I'm lying or just joking, this knife will pierce your neck. What does your gang do? We're just a regular gang that runs an illegal business. Don't lie. Then why is there a man here with a snake tattoo? I don't know. We were asked to treat him as our senior because he's a precious client of our boss. Then why is there a man named Lee D. Sayok here? Our locations are very different, so other than negotiable news, I don't know anything else. 
Also, the information might be out of date. I'm a contract killer. Killing a lot of people doesn't mean anything to me. Tell me everything you know. Even if it's just a little, I'll tell you everything I know. Our gang knew about him before he joined us. Back in the day, eight members of our group looked for trouble with him on the street. Then, with just one wand, he sent everyone to the hospital. Because of that, our leader immediately met with him and took him into the gang. I knew he would refuse at first because he didn't want to join, but then because of his lack of income, he did join. Later, because he did a good job in a short period of time, he earned a high position. However, now he left because he got another job. What kind of job? I don't know about it. In such a low position, I was not notified. Really, I don't know anything. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill you in the first place. He slapped him on the back. That means the gang leader was in it for the long haul. Does that mean he was with Han Che Young because he got an assignment there? It would be too dangerous if I continued to investigate this further. There's another gang leader outside here, so we need to leave here now. Han Jae Young, get up. Suddenly, Kyung heard sounds that were getting stronger by the second. Suddenly, someone kicked the door. I'm currently practicing my back, but it's very noisy upstairs. I hope you know that everyone here is going to die today. Uh, what happened? This man's body. It was Ilchian's family. Young Woo Hyuk. Are you the one who did this to them? Yes, I did. The man attacked him immediately. We can't communicate like this. I saw that he had no injuries, since he has a lot of muscle. So I should aim for the vital organs. But something's not right here. Something strange. His attacks are strong and fast, yet I can avoid them with ease. This pose isn't real, and I feel like he's going to hit straight right. Wait, impossible. Captain Lee D. Siak? He threw him against the wall. Shit, his body is heavy, and the blows are hard. This knife. Is it from the man with the snake gang? Leader, this guy is looking for Lee Desuk. Lee Desuk? Who are you? And what's your relationship with Lee Desuk? He's my uncle. There's no point in saying I'm a bodyguard. If I say I'm a bodyguard, people from Han Jae Young's side will notice it. I must have learned how to fight like this from him. No wonder I feel you're an unusual guy. Lee Desuk's disciple. How funny to see my student's student in a place like this. Lee Desiak, this guy also knows how to teach. I also taught Lee Desok Kendo. I'm interested in your skills in that too. This guy, Lee D. Sox captain, that's why I thought of him first. This guy is the AC in Kendo? Is my uncle here now? Lee D. Siok made a big mistake, I made him leave. We're like brothers now. I know the bodyguards are coming here now. Your goal is money, huh? I didn't know you were a money guy so obsessed with money. Money? Lee D. Siok worked as a bodyguard for money? He did it while he was in contact with this place. He's also cooperating with that tattooed snake gang. He's been messing around with Hanja Young like that, what the hell is he talking about? I don't understand. What is Captain Lee De Seok trying to accomplish? You're talented enough for an ordinary high school student. Come to me. I'll teach you better. I'll let you grow as much as Lee De Seok. If I go with you, will I become stronger? If you mix with the pyramids, you'll become a pyramid. I will make you the strongest. Kyung caught the moment, grabbed his face and threw him off. I like it. I will become stronger. But what happens if the teacher becomes weak? What is it? It feels like I've been hit with a hammer. Adaptation time is over. I'll show you what a mad dog does. I'll kill you. He attacked Kyung, but he bounced back. Even though I didn't hit hard enough, you were still pushed into a corner. What's going on? My hands, are they shaking? Is this guy blocking all my elbows? Now I can't make a fist. Give me my weapon now. It's right here, boss. Take it. He threw him a bat wrapped in iron wire. It was already flying toward him, but Kyung kicked it away. No, my weapon. Kyung was already behind him. He's hitting my legs. He thinks he can hurt them. But aiming at a leg that's only made of muscle is a stupid choice. But Kyung's aim was different. He kicked him in the face. This guy was aiming at my face while my foot was on the ground. I've never heard of a guy like that. Now Kyung was flying at him from above. Skill, intelligence, flexibility, reaction speed, judgment. There's a limit to talent. I've seen a large number of people who do martial arts. I don't understand how he has such skills and talent at such a young age. He's a genius that comes along once every 10 years, no 100 years. This guy a different kind of existence. Is this here? Yes, this way. Taipan watched them from behind. There are two of them. Considering that they easily took down 10 people, they're not easy opponents. But a surprise attack here is the worst solution because of the building sound. I have another toy. I will soon send you to sleep with a paralyzing poison. He attacked them, however. The guys were very quick to react. This attack designed for the distance at which you dodge. I can't dodge. Kang Youngman hit him and he flew back to the iron pillar. That's a good idea for a surprise attack. Are you a member of the organization? It's good for deflecting attacks, but there's no collision. It's all about repulsion power. He's got that snake tattoo on his eye the captain was talking about. But with reflexes like that, it turns out there are skillful guys among the bodyguards too. Where's the girl? The girl? Who are you looking for? We don't have time. 
Tell us where she is. What? Explain it in Korean. Kill. That's right. You have a knife, so I'll cover you. Got it. I don't use a knife except when I'm fighting for fun. But for you guys, I'll make an exception. They took turns attacking him. Their communication is good. One creates a gap in the defense, the other strikes the decisive blow. A couple with good cohesion is harder to fight than a mob. And it's that blonde guy that's got me worried. Shane was already near him to attack. Every attack was calculated. He's taking me to a place where this Ambo can easily attack me. This Ambo, his exact opposite. His strength is impressive, but he's slow. Fortunately, I've dealt with guys like this before. I can see the gap well, so it's no good for me. I knew it. Your movements have become more sluggish than before. Then should I end up with a guy who can't move in the first place? He approached him with a knife to kill him, but Shane got in front of him and closed him off from the blow. Shane! Kang screamed. He was very angry. It's okay. I'm immune to poisons. I knew that. I knew the blonde man wasn't an easy bodyguard. He came here in the blink of an eye from so far away. To be able to cut such a long distance in the blink of an eye, he's an assassin. He's even resistant to poison. He's really out of this world. He could be dangerous to that man, so I need to kill him first. He was already swinging to stab him, but Kyung arrived. He started beating him and Taipan fell back again. You, you're fighting dirty with a concealed weapon. You miserable bastard. I'll take you down with my bare hands. What was that just, was I careless? No, my mental state is very good. Since I used hostages, I didn't know this kid was an unusual guy. How did you get out? Was the head of the organization weak? Just finished processing. Handled the head here? If so, he's on the same level as the blonde guy. They're tired. As expected, people with tattoos are strong. Although the guy with the face tattoo is strong, I don't feel the same fear as when I met Black Mamba. If that's the case, it's a chance. He flew toward him. I swooped down on a defenseless him and he had already recovered. However, even without a weapon, I'm stronger. I think that even without a weapon, I can easily manage it. If it comes to a long fight, I'll be at a disadvantage. Even so, due to the loss of equipment, we had to dig deep. Yes now, he used a move but missed. What was that just now? Taipan had already jumped on him with a counterpunch. You, you have good reflexes. This kid knows how to fight. Even without a gun, it's definitely a snake. Who is this kid? A master at a level high enough to resist snakes? Still won't give up? Our reinforcements will be here soon. Quickly tell me where the young lady is. Who's the young lady? Stop. A girl? Now I notice those men in the suits. He called them on that pager? It doesn't matter. That's the little girl. The girl the man is looking for? Since it's none of my business, I didn't even notice. Then there's no point in staying here. We should leave. If I report it, it'll be over. But it's more interesting not to report it. Why are you still conscious? You were stabbed. Even though it's hard to move, I have to give back what I got immediately. Did you say give it back? It's fun to make a fuss to hold someone like that. I'll let you tell you because I feel sorry for those who don't know anything. Jaw group is different now. It's gotten a lot stronger. The snake tattoo is the symbol of jaw group. It's a monster group that only gathers proven people. All the jailers join as one. And then there are the guys who think killing is as easy as counting. These are people who are deeply lacking in human emotion, sadness, and outrage. Have you ever considered how many people are out there? Originally, the plan was shelved, but there's no escaping fate. Between the bodyguards and the snake gang people, a lot of blood will be spilled. If that's the case, you guys should cut the roots first. Help has arrived. Just now? I don't find this interesting anymore. We have to go. I also need to get out of here before I'm discovered. Get him! Yes, the kids are going to play. He threw some kind of blanket over himself and disappeared. Go into the alley. Split into two groups and pursue. Split up the bodyguards. That's a good plan. The rest of you, look for her in every corner. He got a call from Han Jae Young. He picked up the phone immediately. Where are you? I'm at school. School? Yes, the phone is off because of gym class. She's probably being held hostage and threatened to deceive us. See if you can track the phone's location. I just tracked her location. She really is at school. It's hard to walk. It was hard to get a cab there. What's the matter? It feels like the pager is broken. But even so, there's no way I expected to get information about the snake gang. I need to meet Lee D. Siok. Where did that guy go? He was supposed to thank us, but he ran away and we got lost. Really? Then let's call it a day. It looks like receiving something in return has already been discovered. As expected, they're bodyguards, so it's hard to distract them. Although still, that guy said the snake gang has a lot of people. One at a time, they're like monsters. Assuming that statement is true, the use of bodyguards is not regulated. It's a fact that the plan was delayed in advance. Could it be related to the leader Lee Di Siak who has been coming here a lot lately? We need to follow him. Shay In is hospitalized. How are you? It turns out it's okay because Shay In is immune to the poison. Of course the people in the snake gang are unusual. Who is it this time? The tall one and he has a burn on his head. A guy who stands out by using a knife like a viper. 
In terms of strength, considering we were attacked suddenly, it was hard to resist. The other snake? What information did we get from the lizard we caught last time? We also didn't get any information from that man. According to the test results, he has a good relationship with his family. That's why the code word lizard is used, easy to throw off the tail. The bigger problem is that there are not one or two people among the snakes, but a whole lot of them. We could be at a disadvantage if the bodyguards get into a fight. Very disadvantageous. Boss Yujin should get better faster. I don't know what will happen before Boss Yujin recovers. I've been ordered to immediately set up 50 cameras in the area where the snake gang is operating. I don't know what will happen, but we can rely on our defense. By the way, that guy in the blue shirt has other information from the lizards. Be careful you don't get exposed. I know I am. Are they here? No? Okay, well then get in touch with Big Brother. Yeah, Big Brother. I'm with Lee D. Siak. Really? Give him the phone. Yes, sir. It's me. Hey, Big Brother, it's been a long time since we talked. Let's skip the foreplay and get straight to the point. Taipan wants the secret book of the bodyguards, right? Just the secret book, right? Yes. Good. Then I'll leave one billion for the secret bodyguard book. That's fine. Then just do it. Yes, sir. The time of the transaction. This morning. Kyung was eavesdropping on them. He was very excited. I've been wanting to ask you something for a long time. You're going to have to take on an important case. If it's dangerous, I'll pass. I'm making a good living right now. How about a million dollars? What? Tell me what to do. Is Big Brother close to one of the snake gang? Taipan? Yes. The snake gang is targeting the little girl I've been protecting until today. I need to tell Taipan and Big Brother that I'm part of her protection group. But then Taipan will want my information at any cost. He said he'd pay a lot of money for it. I know you're crazy about money, but by doing this, I'm betraying the Xi'an group I'm a member of. Yeah, just do it, the day of the broadcast. Kyung started to take a picture but didn't notice that he had the flash on his phone. The man noticed a light and some movement. Looks like we're being followed. D. Sayuk, hurry to the warehouse across the street. You won't be able to hide. Got it. He got to that place and saw that there was no one there, but the phone was still on the ground. Why did that idiot leave the phone and run away? He stooped down to pick up the phone. Kyung had already managed to climb on one of the tanks and jumped right on top of him. He ran for the exit. He heard all our plans and ran away. It's okay, there's no time to waste. What if it was one of your bodyguards? I don't care who it was, we won't change the plan. Head Lee D. Siak. No, that bastard is a spy. As expected, there was another person inside. Did he say the deal was this morning? If Lee D. Siak handed over the secret book to the bodyguards, then the snake gang will invade. Han Jae Young. Yes, what? Lee D. Siak is a spy. What did you say? A spy? That can't be true. I've noticed spy activities in everything before. When I send the tape and the pictures I took, you'll understand. No, that's impossible. Since it's very urgent, right now you have to quickly wake up Shane and the two leaders and connect me to them. There's no time left at all. Hurry up. I got it. Because I'm too lazy to practice, it feels like my skills are just dissolving. You're pretty strong. You don't have to worry too much about today. If you fight with weapons, the result will be different. Defeat is defeat. A man should be able to admit it. Besides, there's no shame in it. It's really manly to admit defeat. I have a lot of respect for you. Take the stick. From now on, I'll fight like a real fight. Yes, brother. Even if that high school kid is a good fighter, you also know how to admit defeat. A truly great person will become even greater in time. Thank you very much. Before he could finish, he started beating him up. How dare you look at someone with such arrogance? Did I teach you that? I've spoiled you very badly. There seems to be no fear anymore. Next one to come. Uh, you can't get that angry. Is it because that guy has brown hair and red eyes? Have you met him too? It's not like he has the ability of a child. Rumors of his abilities have spread widely in our snake circles, but I'm uninspired myself because I've seen too much. Well, even with the monsters, why can't they catch Sion Group's daughter? The Sion Group house has many devices to prevent invasion. The people among us have tried several times, but all have failed. He wants to find the Sion Group house by the secret book of the bodyguards? Since there's an hour left, I have to settle this before the bodyguards arrive. I didn't know the exact location because of it being so silent. I'm Lee D. Siak. I'm here for the deal. They arrived an hour early. Was it because I was eavesdropping? Did I speed up the time? Where are the bodyguards? What did she say? Two hours? You can get here by car from home almost instantly. Is this one of Lee D. Seok's henchmen? Assuming that the recording was transmitted and security was compromised, there could be a big disaster. It can't wait. It must be prevented at all costs. Does this case contain the secret book of the bodyguards? Then I have no other choice. I have to get this bag. Nine? Ten people? Why are there only ten people here? No matter how many times I looked, I couldn't find the others. Well, there's only one explanation. I think it's Lee D. Sock's case. Captain Lee D. Siok stole the secret book. He betrayed us. Stay here. I'll go to the chairman. I have to tell him the truth. Lee D. Siok's childhood. 
He was an orphan and lived on the streets. He lived on the streets for a long time and finally decided to join a group of runaways. Come with us. It's better if we are together. He felt needed and was very happy. Lee D. Sayok, asshole, if I were you, if I couldn't get the quota, I'd steal it and say I'd bring it. Stupid asshole, you're an individualist. If you can't make money and bring it in, you'll be beaten to death by the chapter. Memories of those times brought him an obsessive desire to earn at any cost. Even though Lee D. Sayok was very afraid of his boss, he was stronger than anyone in the Fugitive Guild. And for defeating the gangsters, he received an offer to raise his talent. I'm here for the interest on the loan. Once I borrowed it, I had to pay it back. Later, he arrested a man who was hiding and didn't return the money. Lidi Siok, the money for the loan? Boss treated everyone like a slave. Return the money. Don't you feel sorry for us? You? Boss is on his knees apologizing to Lidi Siok. I'm sorry. I was wrong. To pay my debts, I'll have to sell everything, even my organs. Please think about saving one person. He looked at the boss kneeling in front of him. It was so scary. Everything revolves around money. Money is power. This time there will be organizations that will be hard to resist. Can we do it? Leave it to me. Then he showed his power and obsession with money. Who plays with money in our land? He took charge of all the illegal money and everything gang-related and rose to a position of leadership in no time. It's been a long time. Long time no see. Did you bring the book? Yeah. Could it be worth one billion? It's just a piece of paper. I have to be sure since I'm dealing with one billion. The man you were talking about might not need it, right? I heard about the lizard. They say there's a secret document that lists the entire military history and vulnerabilities, security system, bodyguard profiles, and corporate connections. What's so important about it? Can't we just break in? They're thugs, so they're dangerous. Xi'an Corporation is one of the top corporations in the country. If you decide to stay here and beef up security, you'll all die. Security? Is that so scary? It might be scary. A few years ago, ten men from the snake side broke in. There is a force that goes far beyond the protective organization. There are also special forces that protect VIPs. Xi'an Corporation not only runs a business, but also a security company known in certain circles. Even the VIPs of the world have to book in advance to be protected. If only the schedule of the guards were recorded in the security book, one would know when the protection would slacken. But no matter how strong the retaining wall is, it's easy to break through. I agree. It's not the kind of place you can just walk into. Without the secret book, there's no way to get in without being seen. And at just the right time, Yu Wu Jin is absent. Yu Wu Jin? Yu Wu Jin is the general manager of security. At that time, Viper and I were the kind of monsters that no one else could face. Some long introduction. Let's start the deal already. All the secret documents of the bodyguards are in this bag. You can check it right after the transaction. Trading large sums of money is pretty free. I mean, we could get killed and take it all. Don't worry, I've known him for 10 years. He's been my name brother since the organization. It's a trust deal. But just in case, have a sledgehammer ready. I will. Then let's start making the deal. The deal has begun. As soon as I get a chance, I'll be right in. When he opened the suitcase, he saw books and files with records in it. Lee D. Seok also opened the suitcase and saw a billion won. The sight of the money made him want a drink. Is there any alcohol here? Sir, we're in big trouble. Executive Lee D. Seok stole the secret book. Here, check it out and you'll understand. There's a photo of the manager and an audio file. It looks like Supervisor Lee D. Seok is involved in this too. There are 10 bodyguards missing from the house. I've contacted the rest of the team, but it looks like I'll need some help. Personal security. He took all the bodyguards. What? What does that mean? They got all the information from Lee D. Siak's report. I'm sorry, but that's classified information. That's strange. There's a blank sheet on the back. You said it's your money, right? If that's the case, it shouldn't be here. He picked up a lighter and lit it. So the director already knows everything? The supervisor told me that there were things in the past that needed to be gotten rid of. He always hated the organization he was a part of. He threw the lighter right on the money and started a fire. Supervisor Lee D. Siak wants to erase the past that was in that organization. That means that he was a member of the group in the past. So this time it was said to move the guards for the purpose of catching snakes. But is that really the case? Young Woo Hyuk, you must have forgotten. Brother? Named brothers? Don't make me laugh. All these ten years I couldn't forget you. Stop talking nonsense! Catch him! You don't know how to rule. I'll destroy this rotten organization. Young Wu Hyuk was attacked by all the bodyguards. They also wanted to attack Taipan, but Lee Di Seok told them not to hurt him. I'll make sure he doesn't escape. Bastard, that was my billion! You loved money more than anyone, so what are you doing now? Yes, I was like that in the past, but now I hate it. Lee Di Seok's past. Shut up and do whatever it takes to make money. That's the rule of survival in today's world. Just think money is oxygen and work hard. I did everything to make money, to get my position in this organization. 
Lately, the kids who come here don't have any enthusiasm. Do they want to make money or not? He went behind the warehouse to have a smoke when suddenly he saw a little boy. Who are you? Nobody knows about this place. How did you get here? I got mixed up. Are you going to send me away? Send you where? Are you asking me for money? Well, no. Well, that's it then. I'm lucky he won't send me to an orphanage. I'm not interested in that kid. I'm just thinking about making money. I tried to ignore him, but I started seeing him a lot. You don't have a home? Uh-huh. Here you go. I bought these sandwiches with blood and sweat. You should be grateful for that. Thank you very much. Why do you always come here? It's nice here, relaxing. You always see me here. If you're not home, you're alone? Since when? Yes, alone, I don't remember. Where do you sleep and what do you eat? That's right, I'm a full-fledged employee now. He brought him a couple more sandwiches. How about you? I'm not hungry. Thank you. Working in an organization brings a lot of stress. But when I was a kid, I was in the same situation as this kid. It felt so good like I was back in my carefree childhood. What's your dream? To make a lot of money? No, I didn't know what to say, so I asked him about his dream. When I grow up, I'm going to be a magician. A magician? Surprisingly, even though he hasn't had the chance to see magic tricks, he dreams of becoming one. You're going to do a trick with rocks? Yes. It's fun, but it takes practice. The more I talk to him about it, the more I realize that he was burning with this desire. Yes, well, here you go. It's a poker card, but I think you know how to use it. When you become a famous magician, don't forget to pay me back tenfold. Thank you. Thank you very much, the boy cried. I'm investing in you, no need to thank me. I will definitely succeed and become like you. I have a lot of respect for you. Huh. Respect. I'm just investing. For the first time, I had a desire unrelated to money. Eventually, I was promoted to the position of executive director, and for the sake of my desire, I went to look for Zhang Wu Hyuk's manager. There's a smart boy who often comes here. Can I bring him? Here? Yes, he's still young, but he can do the job. Bring him here. If everything goes well, I'll pay the hourly rate. Thank you. I want to help this child achieve his goal and make a home for him. Uncle, are we really going to see a real show? You're not lying, are you? Yes, we are. It was hard to get him to come. It'll be much better than wandering the streets. I'm so excited. I practiced so much yesterday. I really want to show a trick to the magician. Young Nim, why did you come out? I came to see how smart that kid is. He might become a part of our family, so I have to welcome him. Then please take care of him. Uncle, where are you going? This is the end of my work. If you work hard, you can go to the show as many times as you want. Wow, I'm so excited. Magic, magic. You're special. That's why I'm letting you in. He's getting away. Get him. Where are you going, you bastard? One of the men caught him by the sweater. What's going on? Now that you're a full-time employee, you need to know what our organization does. Collecting bonds and running the store, it's all just for show. There's what we actually do. And since you're obsessed with money, this will be a great opportunity for you. How big a loss is it when you lose every one of these little guys? We need to take good care of this valuable commodity. Do? Your company? That's right. Organ trafficking. We were short of money just now, but you did well. Liar. Uncle, you're a liar. Since he's a valuable guest, take good care of him. Organ trafficking. Congratulations on your promotion. I expect a lot from you from now on. In an instant, my mind went blank and my body froze. I won't worry about it. It's always been like that. I'm still a bandit. I'm obsessed with money. Am I really obsessed with it? Or is there any point in running after money if I'm weak? He opened the door and walked into one of the offices. Which one? That asshole getting his nose in the air about being an executive? Even among them, there's a hierarchy, poor guy. Suddenly, he attacked them and started beating them up. I know I can't destroy this organization. I'm weak. But I have no control over my body. Where's the baby? Damn bastards. I think the leader needs help. What should we do? We were told not to interfere. Just stop. Just stop? It's better if you help me. It's also clear. In the past, Lee DeSeok made a mess of things and was beaten up by his supervisor. Then he kicked him out of the organization. But that's not all. The boss is also good at martial arts. And Lee DeSeok learned all those techniques from him. Idiot, it's been many years since then. You don't know anything. Ha <laughs> ha. Lee Di Seok's moves are exactly the same as the leader's. There's no way he can beat him. Just as suddenly he kicked him in the face with all his might. Everyone was surprised. Zhang Wu Hyuk fell to the ground. That's strange. That's not the Lee Di Seok I know. Years ago, the difference between me and Young Wu Hyuk wasn't in technique or physical ability. My intention to kill a person was different. The difference was huge. I was indecisive. That's why I thought I could never defeat him. But not now. This time he was able to defeat him. He was lying on the ground, shaking. Taipan, help, aren't we partners? Let me think about it. I guess I'll have to find another partner. You bastard, all right. Then what do you want? Money? No. I'll give you the top position in the organization. If you want it, I'll give you the organization. 
it's easy to take someone's life so sad. Or, do I need to apologize? Okay, it's my fault. It's my fault. Go apologize in person. It's over, but is this what I wanted? The wretch. Shouldn't I make him feel guilty for the rest of his life? To make him suffer so that he would want to die himself? While Lee Desayok was thinking, he managed to grab the bat and hit his arm. My arm. What the hell are you doing? I'll kill you. How disgusting. Taipan threw a knife at him. Lee Desayok saw that and swung the knife back with his sword. Oh, I thought it was going to be a fight. That's sad. Shut up and don't interfere. Taipan, you bastard. How could you do this to me? First, I'll kill you. That won't be necessary. You're finished. Farewell. A man like you wasn't worth an easy death. This place is perfect for you. Okay now, only one of the snakes left. You said you'd arrest me? Looks like you're gonna be short-staffed. Seems like that'll be enough for you guys. He threw a smoke bomb and everyone started coughing. Nothing could be seen. He can move easily in the house, Vale. Get out of there. The smoke is already dispersing. I have to deal with this before he does more damage. These bodyguards are like a herd. No one's able to react to this. I think we should be prepared. Even if I can't see anything because of the smoke. These people at one moment? By the way, it's so bad that I sympathize. What? Il Jung Pa's bodyguards came just in time. Damn it, why now? Hyung Nam, who the hell did this? Look at the weapon he's holding. Do you realize who the culprit is now? Lee Di Siok. Bastard. So the blood on the knife belongs to our leader. We must take revenge on him. Everyone went after him immediately. I made a mistake. I'm in a desperate situation. These guys are also veterans who have been through many battles. It's hard to get through the crowd with that sore arm. But Kyung came to the scene. Bend over. Lee Di Siok bent down and Kyung started punching all of them. I'm sorry I doubted you. I made sure you weren't a traitor. It was the soul of Hong Gil Dong, the best martial arts master of the Joseon dynasty. I will help you. In any organization, fights happen. Even if you own a weapon, victory or defeat is determined in battle. But these two aren't so simple. Get him. But no one could catch him. He fought back all the blows. Many were already on the ground. Some were even unconscious. You deserve it. Just get him already. Take his gun away from him, you idiots. I can see they're doing their best to stay in formation. I think that kid is incredibly strong. Il Jong Pa's members are specially trained. Their leader has 10 years of experience with weapons. And the deputy has excellent combat sense due to his long experience. Of course, he's also skilled in battle strategies. But this force ignores all those strategies. He's no different from a monster. But how did he know that the deal would happen at this time? And why did he change his voice on purpose? Let me ask you, why are you helping me? A secret. Just as suddenly, Lee Di Siok remembered that the guy who helped them last time had replied the same way in the message. That's the same guy. There were about 20 people left. Unlike those bandits, I won't last long. I can't constantly use spirits to improve my physical strength. If I keep fighting like this, I'll be the first to run out of steam. I think there's a way out, though. Hey, Lee Di Siok, cut it. What is this? That's... They're trying to use cement. Block the exit. Don't let them escape. All right. He started spreading cement in the air. I can't see anything. Don't hit. It's me. Stay where you are. Wait for it to pass. I can't see anything. Where are they? Here. Make a smoke screen. Use cement. Very clever. Get out of there. The more you move, the better I can see you. That's good. I'll get rid of you one at a time. That way I won't waste any more energy. Suddenly Taipan ran past and threw a knife at him. It didn't hurt. Is that poison? What? There's no poison on it? No, it's just a dagger. Can you pretend I wasn't here? It'll be respectful to the others. Did he really drop the dagger? Even though all the members of the organization were immobilized, aiming blindly in the smoke screen, he hit me. I've seen knife-throwing techniques before, but it's impossible for a human to have such accuracy and speed. A non-poisonous dagger could kill us at any time. I have to keep an eye on Taipan. Damn it. The smoke is clearing so fast. I didn't get rid of them in time. Taipan is helping us. He won't be able to use the technique as well anymore. Attack them. Oh, shit. I have to keep an eye on Taipan and I don't think I can fight. I have an idea. An idea? Yes, but a very risky one. It's better than fighting, watching Taipan all the time. Watch the money. Even though the top's burnt, there may be some bills left. What should we do? We'll split up. You take care of Taipan and I'll take care of the rest. Come on, let's go. All right. Taipan got a message saying he had to go to a certain address to deliver something. It's a challenge. Well, just when things were getting a little boring around here, I can go. Don't let him go! He's got a suitcase! We have to get it back! Even if you split up, you won't get far. Catch them before they escape. All right. You're finished. What? We're not going to run away? Also, I'll take care of you. Don't worry, I can fight. Stop. Where are you going? We're not done yet. Are you sick of living? I'm busy, but I can give you a minute. We gotta get this over with and go help. You're going to go alone against Il Jung Pa and the snakes. Yes, I'm going alone this time. But why? What about the other leaders? Information leaked out. I think there's a spy among the leaders. Among the executives? 
Yes, the number of bodyguards I think are spies has been reduced to five. The executive is one of them. That's why I have to keep it a secret from the others. But still, it's dangerous to go alone. Chief Yu Wu Jin will be back soon. I don't have time to wait for him. I've met snakes before and I know what's waiting for me there. Trust me. Well, I have no other choice. The fight between Taipan and Li Diciok has begun. He's strong. No matter how hard I try, it's hard to block his attacks because of our speed difference. Stop! He... He's been fighting me with one hand all this time. I thought I'd give a head start to someone who only uses one arm. I can fight with my left hand if you want. Taipan threw two daggers at him. Li Di Siak was able to fend them off. What are you going to do without a weapon now? Suddenly he felt that he was going to attack from behind. Shit, I screwed up, he's got more! Next Taipan kicked him and he flew off but stayed on his feet. This guy, he's also a martial artist. Daggers are useless at long range, but at speed they have an advantage. This technique is difficult to deal with. If I can't handle this strength, how can I take the lead? Speaking of strength, his physical technique and agility are like a beast. He's a strong opponent. I heard you learned swordsmanship from Jung Woo Hyun. I'd like to point out that you're better than him. Did he say I learned from him? Isn't that right? I think you two have a lot in common. I think he embellished the story a bit. He's copying my techniques and I never learned from him. That's how it is. I thought it was strange too. Now I see the difference between you and Jung Woo Hyuk. Have you ever fought with Yu Woo Jin? The pain is transmitted all over my arm. If I continue, I'll definitely lose. My only teacher was the leader Yu Wu Jin. I'm not ready to use it yet, but I'll show you what he taught me. Meanwhile, Kyung continued to beat them up, and he was really good at it. This won't do. Forget about him. Take the suitcase. Bring back our suitcase. The atmosphere has become completely different. He's standing far away, but I can feel where the knife blade is aiming. Wait, what? It's a trap. He had a knife in his left hand. He stabbed him in the face and his hat flew off. This is completely different from what was in the book. The attacks are completely different. He controls his lack of speed and makes up for it with fighting skill. It seems like Yu Wu Jin really is his teacher. In that case, I can't just get rid of him. He took out a flask of poison. He added a few drops to the dagger. I'll kill him with the paralyzing poison. Go ahead, I'll take your miserable life. Suddenly, Li Di Siok remembered how he practiced with the leader. He had to be even faster, even more agile. It was like he flew through him. Slashing several times. Yu Wu Jin. The first technique of ball possession is the final kick. Mobilized goods are in short supply. Who's in charge of Il Jung Pa now? Taipan is in charge. If it's that Taipan, it's the one who survived on a deserted island for years. Ah, uh, I remember now. I remember he used to have a unique call sign. Angel of the Deserted Island was his name? Middle East about 20 years ago. There were experiments on an uninhabited island to counteract the barbarians from the XX agency. Kidnapping, mass murder, life in prison. Life in prison for killing a police officer after extortion. Suspicion of murdering his nurse. Life sentence. The goal was to find out what would happen if all these criminals were left on a desert island for two weeks. When the cameras are turned on, an electric current will run through your entire body and you'll pass out. Researchers placed cameras on the prisoners' bodies and observed their actions. They derived many hypotheses about the results of the experiment and summarized the results, leaving three of them. The team predicted that they would choose the most favorable method to survive. But when the scientists returned to the island two weeks later, all the culprits had become food for wild animals. Experimental body number 13 and 15 were found. Each criminal separated and became part of the food for the local wildlife. I thought the fugitives would stay here and survive. The human mind is so imperfect. I'm gonna go check the camera. Need to pull the memory card from here from when body number 13 stopped three days ago. I thought people who did such a terrible thing couldn't unite. Manager? He fell to the ground. What? What is it? There's something weird. What? Let me see the video. It doesn't look like an animal attack. It was unclear what was going on, but one thing was clear. These criminals are dying. Angel, it's an angel. A short time later, the army began a hunt on the island. After the loss of 45 soldiers, the identity of the emissary was revealed. He turned out to be a small child of 10 years old no more. It was then that my breathing became incredibly heavy. As expected from the techniques learned from Captain Yu Jin, it was a futile attack. What? How? Taipan stabbed him in the arm. He fought back and blood flew straight at Taipan, but he managed to cover himself with his jacket. I didn't expect it to save me. I was lucky. Because of those knives, he was able to survive the fatal blow. But it's unrealistic to move around with such heavy knives. What is this? Li Di Suk felt sick. The blade was coated with neurotoxins. You can't even move now. No way, I won't be as careless as I was then. I'm not gonna kill my loved ones in the future. No matter what happens, I won't allow it. Li Di Siuk cut his arm. He wrapped it with his shirt. Are you doing this to slow down the effects of the poison? Shall we continue? I'll teach you a lesson. Okay, I think that's enough. 
Now, there it is. He saw the gas can. He hit it and it spilled all over the floor. That's fuel. Be careful with those lighters. It's all right. I've already taken care of it. Whoever's ready to die, come on up. You're surrounded now, you little bastard. You can't run anywhere. Shit, that fucking monster. This can't be happening. We must attack him until he's exhausted. Quickly, get the suitcase. That idiot planted it. He'll fall into the fire. Catch him at all costs. That would be the end of it. He watched as everyone around him lay and howled in pain, many with burns. He received a message. The elimination of the first leader of the group, Taipan, is complete. Oh, that's right, the leader. He ran towards him. On the way, he saw blood. Our leader is not ceremonious with the likes of snakes, and since he might be injured, I am obliged to examine him. But on reaching the spot, a mute picture stood before him. Taipan had plunged a knife into his body. Oh, you're here. Of course you're coming since I sent the message. But the leader couldn't wait for you and was disappointed. That idiot doesn't dare use my toys. The leader was... He didn't know anything. Die. If you're worried, on the contrary, it's easier to avoid. Kyung hit him right in the face. He hit him with such force that he flew back far enough. Just now. The body suddenly... Since when do I feel so strange? What? Is that kid really that strong? It's been a long time since I developed this ability I saw, so I'm very happy. Meeting the longtime leader of the group. On the contrary, it's even better. I'll try experimenting with this guy too. He approached Lee D. Siak. Judging from the wound, it's not a big knife, but it's a serious situation. You should be grateful. After I struck, I dodged the important part. But if it wasn't for that, he would have probably died. Because I used a deadly poison. The antidote? That's right. The poison quickly enters the nerves and causes all the blood in the body to freeze. If you don't get there in 10 minutes, the antidote won't work anymore. And then it's his turn. This is the poison that was used on Yu Jin, so consider it an honor. It's weird. It's understandable that when borrowing a Muay Thai ability, it's very difficult to face Taipan. But why is his movement slow again? Have I become stronger? If not, is this guy weakened? Both options are wrong. In a few seconds, I'll find out why. Why my soul is controlling my body. He easily defeated Taipan again. That guy? Pull yourself together. I'm just nervous when dealing with kids. I have to fight properly. I mustn't give in to his onslaught. I'll stop even if there's a gap. He'll counterattack. Boring. Kyung easily fought him off again. No, impossible. Only then would Taipan be able to face the truth. The fear of fighting Eugene a few years ago reappeared again. I'm dead. It's time to get out of here. He threw the smoke bomb again. Due to the proportional capacity, it's also difficult to get close. I'm shaking. I think I've overcome my obsession with Eugene. The reason I resorted to poison was also after fighting with him. Since the difference in strength was so great, I started researching poisons. Don't be afraid. The child can't see his place. This opportunity is only now. I'm betting everything on it. Kyung put the stick in front of him. Blocking it is also useless because it has strong acid toxicity. Things like wood are also prone to corrosion. The stick broke and Kyung bounced back. I'll aim for your heart. Missed again. Damn it, I'm starting over. The spirit kept entering my mind and repeating that I need to get out. The body was moving on its own. He picked up the daggers in his hands. Spirit thoughts randomly appearing in my head. Die, die, die! He began to chop him up. Stop it, stop it, stop it! With my power. How hard is it to stop? He plunged the poison dagger into his neck. This time, actually stopped. Killing. There's no time. We need to administer the antidote. Now I'm a little awake, finally. We came because Taipan didn't answer the phone. We knew that bastard would definitely be like this. Wait. This is the guy. The same guy we've been looking for for so long. Let's get him. Hey, kid. You're Xi'an's bodyguard too, right? I mean, there's work to be done. To this time, the soul has entered me again. If you come any closer, you die. Come any closer, we die? He seems to have gotten cocky after defeating Taipan. What's Taipan's level? I don't even remember that scum. That's right, I can't remember. So just relax and answer. There are people who are spreading rumors that Shane once lost to someone like Taipan. Where is Shane now? Kyung pounced on them. Uh-oh, he's fast. He's not that easy. A fight broke out between them, but Kyung dodged all the attacks. Hey, what's wrong with you? Are you hurt? No, but it looks like I have a broken rib. What did you say? A fracture? Ah ha 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 ha. Don't laugh, I'll kill you. I know, you're a fractured rib, ha ha ha. Because it's better to have a gun than to walk around without one, ha ha ha. I don't need it. I'm really gonna kill you. No, that's not gonna work. I just got a call from Hyung. What? It's still not Shane. Let's just memorize his face. If Hyung told us to go back, we have no choice. Let's take Taipan back and then we'll deal with this. At that very moment, the soul left Kyung and he fell unconscious. Just then, the other bodyguards arrived. Leader! Sierra appeared. I knew this would happen. Sierra, this is the kind of person you decided to give tickets to? He's so weak. He's useless. I need him. Too bad he's not dead yet. Where am I? I'm not dead, am I? It doesn't look like hell. But it doesn't feel real either. Maybe I'm imagining things. 
The sound of seagulls and warm sunlight, a valley with clear, clear water running down it, and a lawn with a cool, howling wind. It's so pleasant. Even the clouds are so soft, it's like I'm in paradise. What? How did you sleep? Ah, don't move. I'm pulling out the soul poison. Soul poison? If that's true, that's... that feels so good. Oh my god, that thing's here too. This is my place. If I'm being treated, what happened wasn't a dream. I almost killed Taipan. If I hadn't stopped then, how does it feel when your soul owns your body? You know something, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't remember what I was saying. There's something she's not telling me. It's like the soul has taken over my body. It's giving me goosebumps. Insanely fast and so strong. A power I've never experienced in my life. I was so addicted to this power that I couldn't come to my senses. I woke up when I was about to kill. I was scared. What if I hadn't woken up? I'd probably be watching my body from the outside. Do you think you're using the full power of absorbed souls? Until today, I thought that besides physical abilities, I would have the same skills. But I realized that it's not the case. That's right. It's impossible to use the full power of soul absorption. But the more the soul enters the body, the better it adapts. And this time, the spirit that took over your body was one of them. What? Gradually, it becomes easier for the soul to adapt. And when it does, it begins to take over your body. It's even easier if you're broken or angry at that moment. That's exactly what happened this time. I felt like that when I thought the leader was dead. You have to be more careful. In your condition, it'll only take five minutes for the spirit to take your body. What do I do? Simple, while your body is weak, let the spirit rule or you dominate it. It all depends on your choice. I just want to see my mom, but it looks like I have a long way to go. Wait a minute, the tickets and finding my mom have nothing to do with... You know something, don't you? A secret. And that's when she disappeared. Sierra? How's the supervisor? He's fine. Detox was successful, but he was seriously injured and hospitalized. I heard that we were all wrong, so I'm going to the hospital. I'll be there soon, too. I heard that the other bodyguards were also seriously injured. They're probably all at the hospital right now. There's no one here Taipan's gone, too. The other snakes took him with them. Despite successfully killing Il Jong Pa, he couldn't get a circular from the snakes. It was a complete failure. I have to find some clue. Stop, I remembered. I think those two were looking for someone. Where have you been? Uh, uh, where? I just went out for a walk. Taipan, I know you killed him. You'd better answer me if you don't want to die. Who are you? If he knew I'd already dealt with Taipan, I couldn't lie. After all, how did he know? Wait a minute, these clothes are the same as back then, you idiot. But he said if I didn't answer, he'd kill me. That's an unusual pose. Shane is definitely holding a knife. Is that your answer? Does he think I'm suspicious? If not, is Shane a spy? He stood up. I have no other choice. I have to keep my mouth shut. What are you doing here? Well, what's the holdup? Aren't you going to go? Even though Shane already knew something, he hasn't spoken to me since. You still don't know what's up with your uncle and Shane? It's been a week, but he still won't talk to me. But he seems to be looking out for me. Good thing I didn't tell my dad. So what am I supposed to do to get this kid out of here? You like magic tricks? Yeah, I do. Can you tell me your name? But the boy never answered. I always show him tricks, but he won't talk to us. That's how... He said that first he was abandoned by his parents. Then he was belittled at the orphanage. And finally he was abandoned by his uncle in the organization. I'd like to know something. Is the uncle from the organization named Lee D. Siok by any chance? The boy froze and the card fell out of his hand. I know you're angry, but if you open up to us even a little, I can help you. We know Uncle D. Siok. You want to read the diary? He kept this diary for years. I think it's written about you, the boy shouted. There's no need for that. It's all lies. Gone again. What if you have a conversation with him like you did last time? His hatred is too great. He's unpredictable. It's dangerous. Then what do we do? Just trust me. If it's Uncle D. Siok, it'll probably be fine. Lee D. Siok woke up in the ward. Next to him was Han Jae Young. Are you okay? I'm fine. You knew I could see ghosts, right? Yes, although it's hard to believe. But... I'm always at your side. I've learned about your past, that all the things that happened because of that child. It's a sordid past, but how did you find out? I heard it myself, from a kid who likes magic tricks. The kid always had an ace in his hand. He jumped up and ran somewhere. The ace card? That's the only card I couldn't find in the deck I had ten years ago. I honestly don't believe in ghosts, but you want to believe in it if you have the chance. Han Che Young told him to go up to the roof of the building. She said the boy will sit next to the flower pot on the terrace. He's always there. He came to where she said, I think he got really angry. Still no answer? I wasn't going to listen to the manager's story. But when he comes, will it still be like this? Like I said, Uncle D. Sook can't be betrayed. That's right, that's right. I know he's a good person. Maybe this soul will know too. No, it has to know. 
At the sight of Lee De Suk, the boy's soul became furious. But he didn't see it and started talking to him. It's been a long time. It's been ten years. How are you doing? Of course. You must hate me. If that's the case, that's fine. It's okay to hate, because it happened because of me. It'll sound like an excuse, but that's also when I found out what this organization was. Of course I'm not saying it's not my fault, since I was there too. So when I found the list of children, I met with the relatives and apologized. The boy was screaming and crying, he was very upset. You know he's a good person? How? Children's souls sense good people. But, there were many children's souls around the uncle. The boy saw them all. How? Uncle Desiak was sick, so I came. He comes to my family every year and helps my parents. Even though I didn't know him, he came to my house and apologized. He he. So what? Are you saying I should forgive him too? I've spent the last ten years living in hate, and I will continue to hate. I couldn't do anything for you and it drove me crazy. And I always wondered what I could do for you, but no matter how much I think, I can't do anything. Anyone can say the same thing. Suppose there were an afterlife. You like magic tricks, I think it's best if I tell you right now. This deck. No matter how hard I look, I can't find the ace card. And even so, thanks to this deck, I had so much fun learning magic tricks. But since I wasn't a good student, I couldn't learn much. Nevertheless, I always practiced when I thought of teaching you these tricks one day. If there is an afterlife, I'd like to do tricks with you. Let's definitely do it together. Suddenly, the spirit disappeared. If anyone sees it, they'll think I'm an idiot. Yes, my lady. I'm in the place you said. I thought I'd feel better when I explained it to him. But it's no different. I suppose it's because I don't believe in the existence of ghosts. That's how hard you've been working, ha ha. You haven't done any tricks yet? Look around. She was in the next building. We've been watching the whole time? Yeah, teach me too. It's a little... I'm not good at teaching anyone. Hey, you need a lot of practice for that. I heard you taught Jin Seal magic tricks. But how did you... He was just here. But to be honest, he seems a little disappointed that he couldn't do it again. Wouldn't it be better to teach me while you're practicing? Jin Seal. By the way, he thanked you for not lying. Hello, uncle? Lee Di Seok cried. Thank you for this. My mother's soul document? That's right. But this time, it's related to the bodyguards. And since it's related to your mother's soul, we need to talk. Where can I find it? Han Che Young entered the nurse's station. Teacher asked me to call Lee Kyung Ho. Hurry up. Stop. I'm not done talking yet. Sierra snapped his fingers and a photo document appeared in his hand. A paper suddenly appeared in my hand. Was she the one who gave it to me? Lee Kyung Ho, what's your relationship with that aunt? And of course, no one called me. Why don't you say anything? What's your relationship with her? Well, we don't have a special relationship. Then why do you visit her so often? Stop visiting that nurse and mind your own business. My own thing? What things? Worry about my safety instead of going to the infirmary every day. Is she jealous? What a cutie. Anyway, that woman will get tired of being with that idiot. He must be flirting all the time. I'm going to the restroom. What an idiot. He's so dumb. That's why no one looks at him. What the hell is that? A love letter for Lee Kyung Ho? For what? For being cool at soccer? That's not cool. For being polite? He's acting like an idiot. Stop thinking about weird stuff. What are you doing? She jumped up from her desk. Nothing. Hurry up and take your seat. You're sitting on it. What was she doing here? Lee Kyung Ho, hi. Who are you? I'm Lee Ji Hyun from the parallel class. I sent you a letter. Did you see it? A letter? No, I haven't seen it. Then please read the letter and give me an answer. Yes, okay. Have you seen any letter here? No, I don't know. Look for it. I didn't get it. What kind of letter is it? If she wrote you a letter, it's obvious. It's a letter of confession. But you're so busy with your work. Do you have time to read letters? If I were your bodyguard, I'd think about what's important to you first. Remember that you're my bodyguard. Would it be better if I didn't read the letter? What are you talking about? Just that it might interfere with your job as a bodyguard. Huh, there's nothing to say. Anyway, do you care or not? I don't. Very good. That idiot. He said he doesn't care. I could beat him up right now. Sierra gave me a helpful tip. The name is Choi Hai Ri. Let's find my mother's soul. Thanks to Sierra, we can skip school. Fine, do whatever you want. How do we find her? They said she lives near the center of town. They saw some guys on the road harassing some girl. They're common thugs. Let's go. We're just gonna leave like this? There's a lot of them. I think they're from our school. Let's help. I heard you beat up a bald snake. Are these guys stronger? I'm so sick of this. Empty your pockets first. If we find anything, you're dead. Hey, stop it before I call the police. Oh, Lee Kyung Ho. Is she skipping school too? These guys are trying to take my money. Can you help me? That's what I'm here for. Thank you. What the? Why did they suddenly get so close all of a sudden? Ji Young didn't seem to be unhappy about it. You know, Jung Jin Oh, that guy kicked his ass. You better watch out. How did she know? What are you talking about? Who's Jung Jin Oh? Get lost or do you want us to take your money too? Idiot, ha ha ha. 
He's so scared he can't even answer anything. I can even feel him shitting his pants, ha ha ha. Naturally, Kyung beat everyone up. What the hell? Thank you so much for your help. Wait, who told you about the bullies? I saw how you treated the bullies at our school. They're really bad guys. I also heard that you beat Jung Jin Oh and Park Hyun Soo. Isn't that true? It's true, but... And I like the way you played soccer. When you kicked the ball, it looked so cool. To go from 1, 8 to 8, 9. Where did you learn to play soccer like that? I didn't. Oh, then you're a soccer genius. I am? Heh <laughs> Just hearing that I'm a genius changed my mood. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Great. Then let's go to the movies later. I can't. Why not? I always have to be near that girl. Otherwise, I'll be fired. That's how it is. If you want to go to the movies, get someone else. Okay. Ji Young started to jump up and down and started humming a song. Why is she so happy? Let's go quickly. We have to find your mom's soul. Slowly. Damn, it hurts so much. My neck. That kid started the fight so abruptly. He was hitting us in an unusual way. He won't get away with it next time. Wait a minute. Look, it's crazy. That's the most beautiful woman I've ever met. I can't see her. No, wait and see. Doesn't she look like a celebrity? It'd be a mistake if we just walked by like that. You think so? Wait then, I'll get her number. No way. I just asked for her number. What? It's those idiots we met the other day. They're harassing an innocent girl again. This woman needs help. Help her now. I don't want to. I'm sick of it. Hurry up, just one punch. Oh, God. Hey, stop harassing everyone you meet. What? That woman was Sierra? Who the hell are you? What the? Didn't we meet the other day? Go on your way. She's much older than you. Is that normal for you? Are you her boyfriend? No, I'm not. How annoying they are. It's my 30th. Oh, that girl. Huh? A nurse? That's interesting. If you're not her boyfriend, get lost. Yeah, he's not my boyfriend. He's my slave. What? Oh, yeah. Please give me another clue. A clue? Isn't that a little greasy? I I'm sorry. Uh oh, you look like you're about to cry. Are you kidding me? You're so cute when you're jealous. I've seen it all. You like your bodyguard. No, I don't. Yes? You sure? Of course I am. I don't like being lied to. I'm not lying. What do I have to do to get the clue? Kyung was thinking. I don't care about him. All right, then. I'll borrow him for a while. Follow me, slave. Should I call her mistress? I don't care what he does. Why should I care about him? Mistress, he spoon-fed her. Han Jae Young looked at them and got really angry. Can we get down to business? Let me think about it some more. Miss Sierra reminds me of Aphrodite. Are you the real Aphrodite by any chance? Not an angel, a goddess. Now let's go shopping. Yes. In the store, she tried on different outfits and poses. Everything suits you. Isn't there another expression? Do you want to go to the next world? I'm a corpse. Oh? You seem angry. Why are you so mad, baby? It's just so hot today, it's making me a little angry. It does? I thought you were mad about your bodyguard. Try putting this on. Che Young called out to him. She stood up in front of him in her new outfit. What do you think? Kyung was at a loss for words. If I don't like it, should I wear something else? No, it looks good on you. This is what I usually wear. Jung Yan was angry. Miss Sierra, now give me a hint. Being a bodyguard and someone's slave at the same time. He said he wanted to find his mother, but he didn't do anything about it. But he said he was looking for this soul. Who is it? I don't care. Even if you ask for help, I won't help you. You look for it yourself. Suddenly she saw some guys. Little bastard, I don't remember you answering that. Right? Are they fighting? Eh? Is that a spirit? Is that the spirit that Kyung Ho is looking for? What are you doing? That basketball player is very suspicious. Eh? What? You're alive. I can see spirits. Wow, that's amazing. I've only heard about that. Since that's the case, can you videotape these players for me? Basketball? I think they're arguing. They've been playing until now, but suddenly they're arguing. This basketball player is very suspicious. He seems to be taking banned substances like steroids. Then if you fulfill my request, I'll help you. A favor? Well, uh, I'm just curious about something. All right, take it off. So after the game, they started fighting. The atmosphere is getting heated. Hey, answer me. Didn't you pay the coach to get on the team? How can you get rid of us and get into the first team? It's all because of you. Since you're the source of the funding, we didn't make the first team this time. I'll tell you straight. We'll forget it if you just leave. Yes, it's true that I asked the coach. Those who don't have ability shouldn't join the first team. Therefore, it's you who should leave the team. Are you crazy? Because of you, my career as an athlete will be over. Calm down. Don't start a fight. All right, I'm calm. Get on the court, asshole. I'll show you what I can do. All right. Then if I win, you have to keep your promise not to touch me again. Okay, then you'll have to play with one hand. If you're on the first team with your power, you won't back out. Suit yourself. Then we'll add one more person and play two against one. Then if you lose, you'll play with one hand. Such a weakling, all of a sudden you're on the first team, I'll destroy you. How much should I shoot? Just keep going. But the difference in strength is huge. The opponents can't score a single goal. 
Is it nine? Zero already? Ten? Zero. I lost? When did that guy get to the basket? No, that's not it. Movement, speed, ball handling, it's different. It's a different person. It's done. Can I go now? Hold him down. They've got him on the ground. And hold him tight. But he managed to get out and scattered them all in different directions. Pathetic bastards. What's the point of competing if it ends like this? What's going on? That's enough. I wanted to see how strong you are. How can he be so strong? He's not human. Apparently he decided that wasn't enough and I think he broke his arm. Hey, are you filming? Why were you filming? I'll repeat the question. Why were you filming? Tell me. Are you mute? I'm going to check if you're deaf or not. He was about to hit her when Kyung showed up. Take it away, it's dangerous. Put the board back, then we'll talk later. So if I don't take it away, you'll hit me? Go ahead and try it. Try to hit me. This guy. Why is he so tall? If I don't use the ticket, I can't win, right? What are you doing here? If you hadn't come here alone, this wouldn't have happened. What? You mean it's my fault? How dare you say that? Why did you even secretly film another person? You think I wanted to? What are you guys doing? I did it to help you. How could that video help me? I found the soul you were looking for. And she told me to start filming. To send it to the police. She promised to listen to me if I made a video. Are you kidding me? I was trying to make some sense of this situation. I'm sorry, but we can't delete this video. Because it has to go to the police. Instead of fighting, would you like to play basketball with me? Uh-huh. You with me? Basketball? Professional versus kid? If you win, I'll delete the video. What's up? You're thinking long and hard. All right. If you're so sure of yourself, put up your hand. This must be the drug I've heard about. This drug is very dangerous to you, so how do you take it? Their game has begun. Fortunately, the soul I was looking for was close to me. I'll finish this guy quickly. I have to find out where my mom's soul is. That's the power of a world-class basketball player. What? He's fast. Damn it. I think I'm losing again. If that's true, my basketball life is over. You've been practicing for so long, you're not going to run away, are you? What are you talking about? I'm just laughing at your effort. You want to fight? Don't touch me. I could kill you. You think I'll be scared if a girl threatens me? Didn't a guy from the first team show up here recently? That guy's on this drug? Physical potential is the luck of the sport. If you have low potential, you'll be limited in what you can do. High potential guarantees a great future. People are either born stars or losers. You belong in the latter, but you can be reborn and live a different life. Try it. He was very fast. In two blinks of an eye, he's already scored the first goal. I'm sorry, but are we sure we have a bet? Are you going to keep playing like this? I was too careless. I should be concentrating, not wondering how many drugs he's taken. This time he couldn't beat Kyung, so he had to shoot a three-pointer. A quick shot? Because of the height difference, it's hard to block. Are you done warming up? It's two. Zero. I'm already warmed up. The game went on. All the kid did was score. V7 o'clock. Even though I used the ticket, I'm losing. The effects of this drug are beyond my comprehension. He's a pro, but this power differential is huge, and there's nothing I can do about it. Until now, my body was based on terrain so I could win. That's not the case now. And my soul still hasn't gotten used to my body. Even if I use the best basketball player in the world, will I really lose? After some more time, 8-0, he scored again. What's wrong? You can't even block the ball anymore? Two more points and that's it, baby. Can I control the soul? She said you have to dominate the soul, but she didn't explain how. Shouldn't you just use your powers? I can't. I have to relive that moment during the fight. My muscles started to contract every time I get something from the spirit. Is this spirit sending me a signal? Are you praying in there? Ah ha ha ha. I'm bored already. Let's end this right now. Now this is what the soul wants. What? He was able to guess? Such a quick defense. Kyung was already on his way to the basket while he was thinking. Scoring. This can't be. Okay, don't panic. He just got lucky. It's eight. One, I need to score two more. I still don't know. I need to figure out what my soul wants. But now there are no gaps in my defense. And now I have to trust my soul with all my feelings. Strong defense. I can't go sideways. But if I throw it here, the throw will be blocked because of the height difference. There's only one way out. He threw the ball over him. The soul gave me the signal. If you want me to do that, it was Kobe Bryant, the NBA legend. I'm going to do it. And he's faster than I thought. Finally, Kyung scores the decisive goal. 8-8. Eight, eight. Even though I took this drug, why is a player like me losing to a regular person? With that level of ability, shouldn't he be in the NBA? Anyway, this guy is exhausted. Now I'm definitely going to get the upper hand. It's crazy. My soul is telling me to find a way around him. It feels like dozens of needles stabbing me at the same time. If the soul is going to give me power in my right hand, I am obligated to accept that power in my right hand. Once I receive the soul's guidance, I move with it. Well, after all, it is the soul that directs me and at the end, will master my body. If I move the way my soul wants me to, my body will not be taken away, right? But what should I do? Now this is my chance. What? 
He tricked me again. Kyung scored once again. He was exhausted when he scored five points. Was he faking it? No, that whole game was tough. He wasn't faking. I can see his body's on edge. Come on, we gotta focus. What's worse than losing to some passerby? Especially when I'm on the pill. This guy's gonna lose. He went all out to even the score. Kyung knocked the ball out of his hands again. That won't do. My stamina is running out. My soul knows it too. If I keep moving the way my soul wants me to, it'll probably take my body. Then, I'll have to score the last point without the soul's help. Shit. What's he doing? I took too many pills. Now I have to restore my dignity. I'll kill you. What he did made Kyung very angry. He grabbed the ball and kicked it at his face with all his might and it went down. Die. The souls of the underworld are borrowed by force, so they're close to the unclean force. They don't come of their own accord, and if you make a mistake, they might get angry. Sudden anger. At that moment, a soul took over my body. This power, the fighting spirit is now missing. He flew at Kyung with his fist. Kyung didn't have time to do anything as he suddenly collapsed to the ground. What the? Why did he suddenly fall down? It was a side effect of the drug. Watch the video. There's a bruise on his right ankle. That's why he was having such a hard time. This drug is unstable, and the side effects are very dangerous. That's why he passed out like that. How did you figure it out? I've been studying the substance. The finished product hasn't come out yet, so that's good. But we can't let this drug come out. First of all, can you send this video to the police? If you tell them about this drug, they'll pay attention to it. Of course they will. And since we recorded the video, please hear us out. Oh yeah, go ahead. Lee Kyung Ho, hurry up and show me the picture. Have you seen this soul by any chance? Ah. Uh, do you want me to tell you about the soul? Uh, I haven't met it. Are you sure? You've seen this soul before and now you're saying you haven't? I heard from another soul that you met my mother. Another soul? When was this? Oh my god, my head hurts so bad. I can't say, or rather I can't talk about soul business. Tell me, please. You said the headaches could be from the drug. I'll help you in any way I can. Good. Then help me, and I'll tell you. If you go south, there's an abandoned research lab called Pharmacy XX. I'll tell you the password and the name of the document I've hidden. You need to bring me that document. The souls are afraid to go there, so I'll just show you the way. So there's a password on this door, it's open! This lab is a lot bigger than I thought. It looks like a place where scary things were done. But all the paths look the same. Do we have to go this way? No, this way, I think. Where is this door? Could it be here? It's so complicated. Will you tell me where Shane is now? Yeah, it looks like he's hiding out and working as a bodyguard. So he's the one who beat up Tai Pan. No, another guy did it. For now, I'm keeping an eye on him. So, we still don't have enough information to make a complete drug. I'm gonna try to get all the information I can from these guys. We need Shane. Oh, right. I got a report that those hidden documents from the abandoned lab were dumped. They did? Just like I thought, those bastards have a lot of secrets. Bring them here. Don't you think we're going in circles? This is the entrance. The phone's not picking up a signal. If we go in, I'm afraid we'll get lost and we won't be able to get out. So we'll... Oh, right. Wait a minute. I'll hide the ticket here. How clever of me. Even if I'm far away from the ticket, I can feel it and find a way out. That's it. Now we can move on. We'll get lost. We'll be fine. We can come back here anytime? Yes. How? The secret. All we have to do is find those documents. Let's hurry up. I'm a little scared. What? When they entered the next room, they saw men who were also looking for something. What? How did you get in here? And what are you doing here? Isn't the research institute closed? Why are these people here? I thought there was no one here, so I left my ticket at the exit. I can't hit them without a ticket. One of the men was already on the phone with someone. Yeah, some kids broke in here. What do we do? Roger that. He grabbed Kyung's arm. Yes, we'll bury them here. You don't have to worry about their safety. After saying that, Kyung twisted his arm. Then he knocked out the other one. Catch that bastard. Let's go. There's probably a lot more of them. If we get caught, it's all over. They were surrounded from different directions. Shit, as expected, there's more than two people. It'll be dangerous to go with her to the exit. Then she's tall enough. I hear footsteps. They're close. They can't get out. By all means, catch them. Block the exit. I have to hide Ji Young first. I have to figure out how to deal with them alone. I can hear them coming. Then he decided to flip a coin down. They're down. Half of you will go down. Great. Their voices are even farther away. I managed to fool them. But when Kyung turned around, he saw a man in front of him. When Kyung tried to hit him, the man dodged and grabbed his arm and threw him down. Couldn't you catch one kid? Did you catch him? Yes, you idiots. Now do you realize how serious this is? This place is closed. There's so much important information here. The JK organization has given us this place to run. This research institute belongs to that organization. Just make sure the information doesn't leak out. What if someone leaks the information? If the information leaks out, your entire family, friends, co-workers will be held accountable. It's a good thing I blocked the exit. If they found out, we'd all be killed. Take care of this guy first and find that little girl. 
Yeah, find her now. That guy was seen in the third floor basement. Look there. Third floor basement? It's been less than 10 minutes since I reported. Without the map, they wouldn't have been able to find their way. How did they get to the exit? Suddenly he saw Kyung get rid of the two guys who were holding him. What's that? Why did they suddenly fall down? Why are you idiots standing up? Hold him down. Luckily, it was a very convenient terrain for Kyung. He was as skillful as ever in beating up and throwing everyone away. The main man wanted to attack him with an axe, but he failed. Kyung dodged. He snatched the weapon from him and tossed it aside. He beat him up and choked him. What are these guys doing here anyway? Do they want to kill us just because we walked in? Maybe they're looking for the same drug documents we are? He went over to that battered man again. Don't move. If you make one move, I will stab you. Answer me without thinking. If you hesitate or think, I'll kill you right away. There are many more people here who will tell me anyway. Save me. But if you're as loyal as a dog, you don't have to tell me. Who are you? And why do you want to kill us? Please save me. We're looking for the documents for the drug. Before he could speak, someone plunged a knife into his head. Whoever it was leaked the information right away. These petty ranks are completely useless. As expected, they're looking for the same thing we are. What kind of drug is this? This place isn't easy to find. How did you get here? Did the surviving researcher tell you to do this? Answer me if you don't want to die. What am I supposed to answer? That's what I'm supposed to say. LP Man is a master of the martial art of Wing Chun. I'm here to ask questions. He hit one of the three. You three come one at a time. He's not that easy. He instantly punched his stomach six times. Is that Wing Chun? This will be an unusual fight. We don't have much time. Go and deal with him. The guy picked up some kind of pill and took it. His veins are enlarged. Is this really the drug? I didn't want to use a gun after this pill, but we don't have time. I'll finish him quickly. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I need to try using my powers again. Get him! Damn it. I was going to practice power control, but the soul isn't even sending signals. No signal at all. Isn't there even a chance? Then I have no choice but to rely on myself. He's gone inside. Follow him. Let's split up and find him. He's like a mouse in a maze. Come on, get out. I'm going to give you back those six strokes. You're here. If you want to escape, you're gonna have to hide better. I saw the whole thing. Oh shit, that's his shoe. He lunged at him from the other side and started beating him up as hard as he could. During the fight, the guy accidentally stabbed him with a knife. Even during the beating, he was able to wield his knife. What's wrong with this guy? Suddenly, he realized that two other guys were already trying to attack him from above. Running into those two was dangerous. What kind of drug did they take? It's an unusual drug. It affects physical strength, like that basketball player. But the worst part is that I can't anticipate their attacks. But there's also a risk. With the increase in physical ability, they should have the same side effect as that basketball player. All we have to do is wait for the side effect to occur. Exit blocked. Exit's blocked. Now you have nowhere to go. You're unlucky, but I recognize your abilities. You're so talented at such a young age. I'm not particularly happy about it, but uh, I heard you were looking for documents on that drug. I knew someone would come here, but who did you hear it from? An acquaintance told me. Then there's no point in hiding it if you know everything. Yes, all the documents are here, so once you come in here, you won't come out alive. So what is this drug? It's not your average strength-enhancing drug. People on the verge of death get very curious. Okay, I'll say goodbye. Unlike regular steroids, it strengthens your muscles, improves your reaction time and sensitivity, and you don't feel pain. All we have is phase one pain control. I don't know about the effectiveness of phase two. There are a lot of side effects, so we're still testing it, but its effectiveness is guaranteed. That's how. But for some reason, it wasn't a common action. Gaining that kind of power is very risky. If the goal is achieved, I can use as much as I want. However, after using this drug, the body of the blonde man with glasses looked weaker than that redhead. How do you know them? Those two were looking for Shane. Did Shane have something to do with this too? You know too much. You're definitely a tough guy, but unarmed, so prepare to die. I've heard enough, so I'm obligated to tell the dead. I wasn't looking for a way out here. I was looking for a weapon. Wing Chun has a couple moves. Bullshit, I'll kill you! He cut all the guys down and walked over to the one who was more talkative than the others. Don't pretend, show your weakness, I knew you were suffering. You didn't take your medication. They're characterized by swollen veins in the arms. I won't explain what will happen if you lie to me. I'll tell you everything. Tell me everything you know about the drug. And what Shane has to do with it. Shane, he was in our organization. At this point, Shane was in Ken's room. He found a sheet in his dresser with ticket information on it. JK is a mercenary organization? Yes, we completed the last case a few years ago and there was nothing else. If that's the case, then why the need for bodyguards? What was the purpose of your last assignment? I was supposed to kill a girl named Choi Hai Ri. At that moment, Shane put on his mask and cap. What did you say? Did Shane order you to kill that girl? You didn't find the document? Yeah, 
We went to that place and found nothing. It couldn't have just disappeared. I knew those people had stolen it. They grabbed all the researchers and tortured them. I can't go near the lab, so I had no idea. What's the drug? They're trying to improve the TX steroid. They need these papers to complete the drugs. That place you went to was originally a lab for medical drugs. But during research, I accidentally discovered a substance that was the key to making TX steroids. That's why the JK organization targeted the lab. By taking it, you can go beyond the limits of human ability. But because it's not ready yet, it can cause serious side effects. That's why you can become so powerful. Do you know Shane? How did you find out? I caught the members of the organization and found out from them. What? You caught them? How? Shit. So they stole the documents not too long ago. Did you hurt yourself? No, just a little scratch. How did you get out? I just beat them up. Beat them? I'm sorry, I said I'd fulfill my promise if you helped me, but... I'm sorry, I can't ask for your help anymore. It's okay. We'll help you. I defeated a member of the organization. This is a serious matter. It's very dangerous. Even if you were lucky enough to catch one of them there, you could still be tracked by the camera. Don't go outside for a while. It could be very dangerous. But what about my mom's soul? I saw your mom three months ago near Sokcho Sea. I can't tell you anything else. There's information I need to find out urgently, so I have to go. Wait. Go home quickly. That's right. To an ordinary person, it might seem dangerous. I'd be dead if I ran into them without a ticket. The drug is really powerful. I heard that in the first phase, the pain becomes less sensitive. But in the second and third phases, if you get that kind of power in phase one, you'll become a monster in phase two and three. Until I learn to control the soul, it will be difficult. That soul definitely knows something else about my mother. It's a complicated case. We need to deal with it. I need to find out why Shane would be a bodyguard, why he killed Choi Hai Ri, and what the snakes are going to do with that drug. I need to start training. Physical strength is also important to be able to deal with the soul. One more approach. In my current state, it's difficult to wield other weapons. Especially the sword itself is very heavy and after using the soul, my whole body goes numb, so I need to improve my stamina. After practicing, I'll learn how to control souls. Now that I can sense souls, I can use them. Finished with the training. Now we need to learn how to control souls. I don't know if they took the drug, but it can be overwhelming if you don't control the soul. I was so distracted during the fight that I couldn't even test how to use the soul power. If you wave your hand around like a madman, you might find out the answer. He tore up the ticket. The real way to deal with soul power was through practice. My hand felt numb like blisters on my arms. I can use all the skills the soul possesses. As expected, I'm not used to wielding a sword. I need to experience this feeling. Until the soul responds, I'll use the technique, but as long as there's silence, it's been 30 minutes. How do I use this soul? I need to visualize my enemy. If I remember Brandon Lee, Shira Sony, Hong Gildong, Kobe Bryant, I felt them. These four have something in common. When they are too excited or in a desperate situation, when they realize that the opponent is too strong to handle my own strength. I think the soul was trying to move on its own. Wait, too excited in a predicament? If I do like this, will it help? This is so difficult. Nothing is happening. What can I do to control the soul? On the internet, he found Alexei Kadochnikov, an author of self-defense training. He was involved in training fighters and cadets of various units. He is a great martial artist and researcher who began to connect the system of hand-to-hand -hand combat with the laws of mechanics, translating all techniques into mathematical calculation. Kyung didn't know what to do anymore. He closed his eyes. At first he saw a dot in front of him, but then the dot became a silhouette. Is it a person? What is it? What was that dot that appeared in front of his eyes? He immediately got down from the tree. What was it? It was too bright. I could see it with my eyes closed. Is it possible? It's the first time. Could it be the key to using the soul? Suddenly, someone started approaching him from behind with great speed. He managed to notice him in time and fend him off. A fight broke out between them. A while later, Kyung got tired. This is the limit. Where did he come from? I know it's one competition, master. It's the same system as mine. You're taking the standard today. That was Coach Lee Won Young. He's the former head of the bodyguards. Those below average, get ready. Standards? It's a great opportunity to see what I can do. There were many different tests. They were all combined and graded. Shane had a grade of B even though he was on the leadership team. He got it because he only owns knives. He has no other styles or knowledge. But that doesn't concern me. Dae Ryong is next, right? Soul power increases with my physical abilities. I was ranked D. I will continue to train under Captain Lee De Siak. But there are feelings that my soul must train. It's not paying attention to whether or not one is fighting someone. However, my opponent is Shane. Even if he only wields knives, he can't be my opponent. Fine, whatever. Do what you think is right. I didn't see that coming, so I'm not surprised. He'll have to go through special training after all this. Because he can only wield knives. 
But wait, how can hand-to-hand -hand combat and weapon arts be so different? No, it's thanks to practicing with a wood sword. Before the battle with him, I had already tried it. My abilities have gotten much better. However, that guy, why is he so strong? Did he take a drug? It doesn't look like it. If you count by level, he wouldn't be stronger than rank A. At one point, Kyung managed to intercept the knife, but the guy knocked it out of his hands. Not expecting this, Kyung got confused and was hit in the face. Damn it, I can't concentrate after being hit. This is bad. That guy, that punch didn't look like a punch from the system. I can't figure him out. Normally, an organization can't just come in and deal with me. Only if the master is equal, or even stronger than the captains. What are you doing? Who sent you? Why are you attacking me? Could you be one of the snakes? Instead of answering, he attacked him again. Yes. Unbelievable. This guy's a system expert, so it's not easy. And I don't have any time at all. I need to get this over with. Now, surprise attack. One inch strike. What? Oh, shit. Panicked for a second when he hit. I stepped back and loosened the blow. Well, I mean, you know this style of fighting, too. Well, then. What? He can box, too? The system, the inch punch, and even boxing? A real master. I know more than one style, too. What the hell? How can he know so many fighting styles? What kind of ability is that? I know about your power. Where did it come from? What? He knows everything? Is this a joke? This can't be true. It's already clear, so we have to get rid of him quickly. This is the turning point. This masked guy hasn't fought at full strength before. Nothing else matters. This is the final fight. I'll do anything. I need to focus. His blade. The soul seems to have taken over the body again. After that blow, it managed to break his mask. The chain around his neck also broke and his cap flew off. Kyung saw that it wasn't just a chain, but a flash drive. What was it for? He grabbed his mask too, so Kyung wouldn't realize who it was. He picked up the chain that fell on the floor and ran away. I saw on that guy's face, he's just like me. He has the exact same fighting style as me. I wanted to visit Sierra, but she wasn't there, so I decided to go back. Is this man using tickets too? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I'm all ears. Why haven't you been talking lately? Sorry, I've been thinking about something. Talking to me and thinking about something else? Are you tired of living? Uh-uh. Okay, we need to forget about that guy in the mask. We need to focus on what we have. To start with, I got some information on Shane. He came from a mercenary company, and he was a killer. When I asked my dad about it, he said he didn't know anything about it. His records could be falsified. If he'd done something like that, it wouldn't be hard to forge documents. And that his last mission was to kill Choi Hairi. Isn't that strange? Why did he then hide the fact that he worked for the company and became a bodyguard after that mission? Maybe... It's more likely that Shane is a spy. Meanwhile, one of the snakes was taking control of the guys who were in the lab. He was cutting his skin, stabbing him many times. The guy was screaming in pain. Shut up. For every time you scream, your comrades will die. You failed the mission because of the large number of well-trained and experienced fighters? Is that why you couldn't catch him? We apologize. They were very strong. If you say you lost to a kid, get ready to kiss your life goodbye. Since this building is closed, there shouldn't be any cameras. You couldn't fulfill your mission because of a strong opponent. In that case, my training is pointless. Even strong men become weak if they are frightened or cornered. What I taught you was not training for the body. It was a workout to destroy the fear in you. Have you remembered our motto? The mission must be accomplished no matter what. And the goal comes before our lives. However, this guy won without taking the drug. I hope you know what to do. Show him the greatest fear of his life. Yes, sir. I certainly didn't expect anything else from that rat, but we should start our training again. Mr. DeLance, I destroyed all the security footage, but I didn't see any big guys in there. Just some high school kid and a girl caught on camera. The camera's only at the entrance, so they didn't capture the inside. Five daggers came flying at the guy. Are you kidding me right now? You better not piss me off. We thought there was a glitch too, but other than those two, the cameras didn't pick up anyone else. All three of them were beaten up by one kid? That's the kid. Did he come here? That's the guy. He's very strong. I know. He threw a dagger right at his head. But you shouldn't have lied to me. We have to catch him. We have to ask Shane about it first. No, let's start with the soul. Shane's the most dangerous guy here now. I don't think the soul's gonna tell us anything. Don't be in a hurry to find Shane. He's very observant. Stop it, I questioned a couple of souls to find you. Quiet. Our soul from yesterday is here. This house is so big. It's like a castle. It's good that you came. Please help. Ja Young covered his mouth with her hand. What brings you here? You said no more dangerous work for us. I realized that I did wrong to you. So I came to apologize and share some information. The souls said they're looking for people from the closed lab. Right, that's what I was wondering. And I was already thinking about finding you and asking you. The people you're looking for are members of the JK organization. They do assassinations for hire and manufacture the drug TX. All their files were in that abandoned lab. 
How do you know that? Did you really work in that lab? Yes. The name of that place is the Pharmaceutical Drug Center. And I'm the one who created that TX drug. The one that that basketball player had? That's right. I mean, all those drugs. Honestly, the TX drug was not created for the purposes that he has today. It was created to cure terminally ill children. As of today, that drug is still not finalized, so they are still keeping and studying all the information about it. After I died, all the scientists were taken over. I wanted all the research to disappear because of the danger to the public. So I asked you to steal and move the documents to another place. Of course, the most important documents are on the USB, so nothing, you don't need to know that. The USB that was around that guy's neck? Now you've given up your curiosity? No, I'm not going to rest until I find out. I heard that Shane was in that organization. That's right. Those mercenaries from the company. I don't know how you know this, but he's a very dangerous man. You better keep your nose out of it. Fer de Lance, leader of the JK Mercenary Organization. Sidewinder, leader of the JK Mercenary Organization. So who was the intruder in our lab? It was a kid, one of the bodyguards Shane works for. He was looking for the paperwork for our drugs, so he might still be back. That's weird. He didn't say anything. He's usually fine, but when he's in a bad mood, it makes him nervous. After this, he's going to hate this guy. I'm afraid to imagine what he'll do to him. Some guy's been texting Kyung every day saying he wants to fight him. Who the hell is that guy? Should I block him? But right now, it's all about this institute. Shane, Dr. Choi, the snakes, the drug, it all fits. It's time to go in and get all the information we can. I exist for this man because he gave us a new name. Death Viper, head of the JK organization. We're just a part of this man. This guy is very powerful. Since he took out three of ours at once. That's creepy. What if we screw up? Those three were so beaten up they won't be able to move for a couple months. He's not relying on us like he used to. Can we guard a lab with ten people? You're new, so you don't know anything. But it's not a place that's easy to break into. There's a bunch of cameras at the entrance, so it's impossible to miss you. If they do, the surveillance room will signal you. So there's nothing to worry about. But if you meet that guy, prepare for the worst. What? I watched that tape, and he's a real master. If he meets someone like you, you'll die instantly. He's that strong. Yeah. That's strong. He's capable. But that shoe trick was just a fluke. It was pathetic of those guys. Those brainless rookies don't know that in JK's organization, there's a big reward for catching an infiltrator. I won't tell them anything, and I'll keep all the money. If you see that guy, let me know right away. Yes, why aren't the other fighters answering? That new guy was just here. Where did he go? Find him quickly. I, it can't be. Kyung was already behind him. He moved too quietly to be heard. He wounded him immediately. How... How did you get in here? Are these guys that weak without their drug? As long as I fight the weak, I won't die. I just found out about the cameras. Three in, four on recon, and two at the back door. These guys have a pretty good formation. There's 18 of them. And it looks like there's no one else here. I took a long look at the cameras and I can't be wrong. They've got men stationed around the research institute. The guards at the entrance, the ones at the observation post, they're nothing. These guys' names are Delance and Sidewinder? Turns out they're snakes too. I don't remember it well enough, but I can find out what they can do. They're much better fighters than Taipan and Salmosa. Delance is especially dangerous. If I hadn't succumbed to soul control, I wouldn't have been able to react to him. So I've prepared myself. This time my spirit specializes in fighting and killing. I'll find everything related to Dr. Choi Hai Ri and Shane. What? Say that again. He's interfering with our plans again. That brown-haired kid came again. What's the situation now? We still can't figure out what's going on. Catch him quickly. So, following my plan, I thought about their movements, but they were faster than I thought. This is the guy DeLance was talking about. I've seen what he can do. You move, we'll kill you where you stand. Three scouts, two in the observation room, three outside. It's amazing how many you can kill without making a fuss. You broke in through the surveillance room? There's nothing here but research documents, so why are you here? I just want to destroy Dr. Choi Hai Ri's research on this drug. Only then will I achieve my goal. Who is she? I'm sorry, but these documents can't be destroyed. Don't you guys have anything else to do? Cheeky kid, you're going to die today. First, we have to get rid of the seven people before they take the drug. Once they do, their attacks will be much stronger. Then by cutting both muscles and nerves, I'll make them unable to move. That's exactly what Kyung did. Where are you now? Have you caught that guy yet? He's too strong, we couldn't do anything. Take all the documents and catch him. So many people can't catch one kid. Yes, I saw two outsiders. One came, created havoc, and ran west. The other ran off towards the east. What useless idiots they are. After finishing his conversation, Kyung broke the phone. The five people who took the drug were defeated in a second. It's like I'm seeing a demon incarnate. It might even be stronger than the leader. 
He told them that two of them split up and went in different directions, so they'll follow their trail. I've already been here and dealt with all the guards, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll head west. East. What the? I can't sense a living soul. Yeah, I'm listening. Did you find that guy out west? Got him. We'll find the other one then. Was that you? I'll try and figure it out. So you're the one who's destroying my organization. That's right. I'm not sure, but you're one of the snakes, right? It was the soul of Miyamoto Musashi. What's taking you so long? All right, then I'll make you talk. You know too much. A fight broke out between them. He was really a very strong opponent. He wasn't able to get rid of him the way he was able to get rid of those in the lab. Even though I used the soul, he's still stronger than me. If there's such a strong snake, it's only... Are you the Black Mamba? Black Mamba? You know him? I don't think that's him. I saw him once. Even though we're from Japan, this is the first time I've heard of it. I heard that guy is very strong. Is it true? I don't know anything about him, but he looks a lot like you. Then it's no big deal. He attacked him again. He felled him again and cut the tree. What kind of power is that? Has he taken the drug yet? I need time to think about it. Kyung ran and the man ran after him. He put his sword out and almost hit him, but Kyung was able to dodge at the last moment. Are you going to run away? Doesn't he feel any side effects from the drug? Damn it. I don't stand a chance in a one-on-one -on -one battle with him. It's impossible to fight off that sword. Did he give up already? They reached the wall. He deliberately made the sword stab into it, and catching the perfect moment, he kicked it away with his foot. He pulled his sword out of the wall. I think I can handle these swords. The style founded by Miyamoto is characterized by wielding two swords at once. He attacked him, pinning him against a tree. He was about to deliver a decisive blow when suddenly, several swords flew out of the coffin that was on the man's back. He attacked Kyung. What happened? I didn't even see him attack. You shouldn't even go to the second phase of the drug. You're too weak. Shit. The cuts aren't deep, but it hurts. You came here for information about the drug, didn't you? He's just a kid, nothing to worry about. He was going to kill him. But then two guys showed up from somewhere and beat him back. You called me here to fight. Why are you bothering me? I came here because I was called. Choi Bayom Shane. What are they doing here? How did Shane know where I am again? Do they already know each other? You told me to come to the lab if I wanted to fight, so I came. Then I saw the blonde guy and I followed him. I followed you because you were suspicious. Is that boy your target too? If that's the case, let's deal with that kid first, then get in line. What line? The line to fight me? One minute will be enough. He ran at him. How rude. Is he out of his mind? Bare hands against a sword? During their fight, Shane wanted to join in. But Choi pushed him away. Stay out of it. That's fine. I'm Master Chian Mudo, remember that. Let's finish him off. At that moment, the man kicked him in the chest. Now Shane was the one who attacked. Scum, we should switch. Why did he come here? He's wasting his energy. I taught you how to do this and you betrayed the organization. Get up. You don't deserve to live like a normal human being. You're a useless creature. Yes, you should have. I'll make you a better weapon. As expected, the JK organization has no loopholes. But in the end, we were made into weapons. I know your tricks. Take the knife. That was also predictable. Kyung saw a chain with a flash drive around Shane's neck. That's what the masked man had, right? He's reading my movements. It's hard to defeat a deadly viper since he taught the entire organization martial arts. I'll hold him off. You go. Okay, USB. This definitely belongs to Dr. Choi. I'll show him what I can do. As expected, I can see his movements, too. If he missed an attack, he hit his move with backward movements. Suddenly, two more snakes appeared. Sidewinder hit him with all his might. It flew so far away that it flew past the guys. Now they were all together. Shane, bastard, leave it to me. Stop. Our goal is almost reached. Don't give in to petty emotions. What? When? We must get him back soon. Don't move. If you make a move, you'll die. He quickly realized the situation. We have to get the information about the drug. Suddenly, they all suddenly disappeared. We can't fight in this condition. We have to patch up the wounds first. I didn't even realize how the bespectacled man blocked my sword from afar. They hadn't shown their full strength yet. Choi Bayom and Shane are strong. But, Shane, you're the masked man, right? I doubted you were just a bodyguard. I thought you were a spy, but I realized my mistake. When I saw you fighting the deadly viper. But stay out of it. Hyung, are we just going to let him go? He betrayed the organization three years ago. We don't need Shane anymore. You think we've been chasing him all this time for revenge? No, I've been trying to find that USB. Since it's the last thing Dr. Choi left behind, I suspected Shane had it. He had it, so he hid by pretending to be a bodyguard. This data is crucial for the TX drugs for the transition to Phase 3. Now I can get one step closer to my goal. With Phase 1 and 2, one can gain strength beyond that of a human. The third phase of the drug will be the final phase. I've been preparing for this day. The guards are positioned as before. I don't have time to wait. You shouldn't have taken the USB. 
I'll return what belongs to Dr. Choi, and this will all be over. The JK organization used to move around in twos. Not everyone here is a member of the organization. Some of them were trained by Delance. You have to hit their weak spot to overcome everything. Especially Delance and Sidewinder. I feel a certain pressure when I meet those two. They are just like a deadly viper. I don't think I'm gonna win. But I have to return the USB that Choi Hai Ri left behind. I missed a lot of data, but the most important thing is the USB. Good thing Shane has it. I wonder how those kids know Shane. And how did they know I knew I knew him? Just as suddenly she saw Shane running through the woods. The location of JK's organization. There's only one entrance to the second floor. But I can't get in until I go through the fingerprint recognition system. The time is now 2.17. Since 12.19 for two hours, they've been on a mission. In two minutes, two of them should be out. That's exactly what happened. I can't wait to get this over with and get to bed. Don't relax. We don't know what might happen. Uh, what? What's that? Shane chopped off one of them and then killed them both. Next, he put the dead guy's hand on the scanner. Next is the facial recognition system. If it's the same as before, once the door opens, the alarm will go off, but it was gone. A total of 50 members of the organization are now inside. They've split up by floor. In 10 minutes, the USB will be mine. Are we next on a mission? Yeah, one group just left and two hours will go. All of a sudden, the lights went out. Must have been a power failure. Shane took care of two more guys. What's that noise? Those idiots must have escaped. Fuck! Turn on the power! What? Is someone here? What the hell is going on here? Shut up and turn it on. What? Is someone making a fuss? What's going on? Answer me! We can't see him in this darkness. Oh, there's a light. It's a blonde man. He has blue eyes. What? Blue-eyed blondes are... Shane. We're short on people. Lock all the doorways and get all the staff down there. Gotcha! All the stairwells are blocked. It's designed so you can't open it from the inside. People are already taking the elevator. Now you're trapped. Are you sure you're standing against us, asshole? Wait, it's the, the elevator. He went upstairs. Shane, still doing dangerous things? I didn't know you could do that. You're not working as a hitman, are you? He wasn't really hurt in the fight, was he? I hope he's okay. Why did he come here? Is he looking for something? There was a torn teddy bear toy on the floor. Oh, that's it. Jin's healthy now. I'm cured. Uncle, let's play again. Oh, Shane, have you played with Wu Jin before? Of course I have. Be careful, ha ha ha. He's feeling better thanks to the treatment. Hey, stupid. That's right, this toy belongs to Wu Jin, but what's it doing here? Shane definitely remembers this toy. It's really weird. Before the elevator, there's a door at the end of the hallway. It's my first time in this building, but it looks too familiar. This building definitely belongs to JK, right? I wonder if Shane feels the same way I do. This place looks like the place where I treated the kids. Same layout as the lab. Those kids look different now. Uncle Shane? What? Really? Then is Aunt Hai Ri coming to get us too? Where is she? You're hurting us. Help us. What? What is this? They haven't grown at all in three years. How can that happen? Where's Aunt Hai Ri? She said that if we wake up and sleep 200 times, we'll be cured. She said we won't get sick. Where did she go? She lied to us. It's them, those children. After she died, I've been looking for them for three years. The children I treated, they weren't in the lab. These children, after my death, instead of being treated, they were experimented on with the TX drug. Shane, I knew you'd come here. How you doing? Looks like you're not gonna tell us anything. I didn't expect to catch you so easily. You got a little emotional seeing the kids, didn't you? I know the USB has all the data on the drug. If you want, I can torture you for a month. I'm asking you again. What's the password to the USB? What? No, I think you should do it yourself. I don't have time to practice on rookies. I can't. I don't have time. I'm an assassin for the JK organization and I've been given a new assignment. I need to steal the drug data from the lab and get rid of Dr. Choi Hai Ri from the research center. This is the most important mission, and it was entrusted to me since I've never failed a mission before. The data isn't as easy to get as I thought. It can't be accessed without a password. To get the data, I need to threaten her. What do you do, rookie? Why would a rookie need this data? I've sensed something strange since you got here. Don't move unless you want me to taser you. He stood up abruptly, threw her off, and pinned her against the wall. The boss gave me overtime. Okay, I'll take care of it. You can go. Really? Is he crazy? Why would he entrust such an important material to a rookie? Choi Hai Ri is very wary of me. And hacking into the data, it's impossible. I have no choice but to threaten her and get the data. Dr. Hai Ri, are you there? I got the data you asked for the other day. Who is that man? He's not a member of the organization. Are there other organizations targeting this material as well? No, you're the one working hard. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, yes. The next result will be ready in two weeks. I've been hiding it until now, but now my eyes have been opened. Does that mean there's no hiding now? I'm sure I'll do something soon. I need to keep an eye on this. The reagent results are weird. I had enough data, but what went wrong? You should have given me an accurate document. It's so crappy. I suspected something wrong for a reason. 
What document? The document you tried to hack into with your hacking skills? You seem to have a lot of free time on your hands. Wouldn't it be better if you handed me the document? I expected this, so I'm not surprised. With one swipe of my hand, the backup file will be automatically deleted. Anyway, the whole research process is in my head, so it's better to delete it, and all the data will disappear. If all my data disappears, won't you have a problem? That was a bit rude, but I feel like I've been tricked. Hey, then I should cut off your hand before you delete it. Too bad. I guess I'll have to ask for more money from the rich president. Even if I do that, I won't get hurt. If there's a problem, it'll be in Korea. Do you understand the situation? People say try to think rationally. They say that when you feel fear, it becomes difficult to think rationally. If I cut off your arm, the answer would be different. How did you get here? I was passing by. Early in the morning, thank you. Is it possible to delete data with a swipe of the hand? I need to change my strategy. I need to make friends with her first and then steal the material. I think it's not bad. First day. She likes coffee. I'll buy her coffee. Huh? I don't drink coffee at night. She thinks I put sleeping pills in it. She's very attentive. First week. Would she like it if I played with the kids? Ooh, this uncle is like a roller coaster. What are you doing? She didn't like it. Third week. I heard that girls like flowers. Oh, you shouldn't have. She didn't like the flowers. Week five. They say alcohol helps you get close. Even if you're drunk, I won't let you go. Ha ha ha. I won't let go. Week eight. She looks tired. Maybe she's lacking vitamins? Don't touch me. I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling so good today. Why is she so angry? It's so hard. Shane went out to get some air. Hyrie came out to join him. She brought them something to drink. What are you thinking about? Is something bothering you? What should I say to her? I don't want to make her angry again. Well, what's your assignment? An assignment? You're so weird. Ha ha ha. Okay, let's make it an assignment. As you know, the children who are here are very sick. Very sick. This is the age when you want to dress up and go out. It was very painful for me to watch them live for years in the research center. They don't know if they're going to be cured or not. They wait for it every day. So, it's my job to create a drug that can cure these kids. You understand, don't you? She asked if I understood. It's complicated. It's been two months and I'm not even close. Is this mission feasible? We need to steal the data as soon as possible. Please take this. It's the drug sample and the password to the data. It's very important, so print out one copy and send it to the other team. The password to the data I need for the mission? I'm so busy right now and the only person I can trust is you. Be careful. They're not finished yet and could be dangerous. This is your mission. The password to the drug data. So unexpected. Why would she entrust such an important matter to me? Thank you. It doesn't matter though. I can complete the mission now. I've gotten the materials and now, and now I need to kill Choi Hai Ri. Hey, give it back. It's mine. Catch me. I want to play a little too. Hey, be careful. This is very important. Everything he had in his hands is gone. No, it can't be. The baby was crying. I'm sorry. No, not that. No, he started picking up everything that fell in a hurry. Shane? The words rang in his head. Hey, you. You can't even do that, you idiot. Shane, your arm. You're hurt. I told you to be careful with the drugs. Look at the blood. You're driving me crazy. Does it hurt? How are you going to clean this place up if it hurts? Are you kids okay? I told you not to run in the hallway. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You said it was important to you. What? Something's wrong. You're hurt. I can make medicine again. You're hurt. Let's hurry up and treat your wound. What? Human trauma is more important than the mission? I have to kill my feelings for the mission. He's been flooded with memories again. You're just gonna lie there? Get up. The mission is more important than life. Suddenly some guy showed up. Shane, are you doing your job? I was sent on a mission at the same time as you. I thought it would be suspicious if I pretended to be inside, so I came separately. It's a two-man mission. You know that, right? Anyway, I found where the materials are. Death Viper said to hurry up, find the data, and kill Choi Hai Ri. We'll complete our mission today. Shane, you're working with me too. Shane started to remember everything from the past two months. You take care of the materials and I'll kill Choi Hai Ri. Suddenly he pulled out a knife and killed his partner. I couldn't control my body when I heard that I had to kill Choi Hai Ri. It was the first time I failed a mission. Would that be considered betrayal? Shane. I couldn't contact you during the mission, so tell me, Shane. Are you going to betray us? Eh, uh, I'm so tired of working overtime. Eh, is it winter already? Time has flown by so quickly. We've worked so hard. Why don't we go on vacation? Let's all take a vacation together. Should I call Shane? Huh? Why? You're always looking for him. Yeah, what are you talking about? Ha <laughs> ha, I'm just good with him. When you're on shift with me, you're always in a bad mood. With him, you're always happy. You're not going to give this stuff to Shane, are you? Even I can't touch it. And you trust him. If you don't like him, why do you keep... Is it that obvious? If you think about it, I'm used to being with him. 
Or maybe. Do I like Shane? Me? Do I like Shane? I finally found you, Choi Hai Ri. Give me the drug samples and their data immediately. Otherwise, I'll kill everyone in this room. Who the hell is he in this room? Shane's here too. Calling Shane? What can I do? He's with my men right now, so he can't take your call. You bastard, what did you do to Shane? What did I do to Shane? Are you worried about him right now? I'll tell you something funny before you die. A couple months ago, we sent a very capable spy here. He needed to steal the drug and kill you. Is this the asshole that Shane beat up? The man we sent on the mission, that's Shane. What? Didn't you think he was a little weird? For a researcher, he doesn't have much knowledge, but for a middle-aged man, he's very flexible. He recognizes dangerous people right away. Uses some pretty unusual words. Like mission assignment. You didn't think he had a special relationship with you, did you? You were wrong. If you give me the drug, I'll let Shane stay here in the lab. How's that sound? Go to hell. I'm sorry, but there's nothing between us. I don't have the drug, so you can have your spy. So that's your answer. If I cut off your limbs, you'll sing differently. Shane showed up. He threw Delance aside and grabbed Hi Ree's hand. Shane, let's go. They stopped in the forest. Shane the spy? Could it be that man was lying? Has Shane been lying to me all this time? Are you hurt? We have to run away right now. I want to believe Shane, not some stranger. But if you listen to his words, Shane's strange behavior makes sense. Did he really need the drug? Did he really need to kill me? If that's the case, then why? Why did you save me? Shane, do you have the drug? Deadly Viper. I have to save her. She'll be in danger if Delance shows up. Run. Did he say the drug? Is this man lying too? Say something! Get out of here, asshole! You've been playing well all this time, but it's time to go back to your old life. Bastard. So that's why they sent the newcomer when the drug was ready. At first he seemed suspicious, but ever since he saved me, I stopped doubting him. Apparently, since then, he's been passing on all the information and eventually brought them all here. He's just like the others. He wanted to steal my invention. The data on the drug. Exactly one week ago, I gave you access to that data. So why didn't Shane steal the material? Who's that guy? You miserable bastard. You don't know how to fight, do you? He's blinded by his feelings. Hyung, mission over. She didn't react to me telling her that Shane was a spy. Did she know that? This isn't interesting. That's a shame. I thought she'd be a little shocked. We got rid of Dr. Choi. Now we have to get the data from the lab. But where did you leave Shane? He can't go far. I should have killed him. There's no need to waste time on him. We should go get the data. No, it can't be. They told her I was a spy. I wanted to keep it from her. I learned to control my feelings as a child. I grew up believing that the mission was more important than my life. Pain, joy, sadness, all those feelings. I thought all those feelings were useless to the mission. I killed myself with all those emotions. But Hai Ri was different. She was very emotional. A grown-up girl, but she was as excited as a child. She stuttered when she was embarrassed. She was a living person with emotions, the complete opposite of me. I didn't want to show the real me. A robot with no feelings. I wanted to be just like her. She woke up for a second. Shane, I'm sorry I lied to you. I didn't want to tell you. I wanted you to see my good side. Don't you dare leave me. I was so afraid you'd find out the truth. I'm sorry. I lied to you because... Shane, stop. I don't think I have much time left. Fortunately, I haven't lost you. I've dedicated my whole life to creating this drug. A lot of people wanted to take it away from me. So I wanted to find someone I could trust. You're the only one I trust. This isn't a mission. It's a request. It was snowing. I couldn't even touch the white snow that covered my dirty body and soul. I was left alone. I couldn't contain my feelings. So? You said you fought that snake back then. Did Shane help you? Yeah, you might find that suspicious and weird. Even I doubted Shane, but he really saved me. But why are you standing here? Because all the bodyguards are downstairs. Yes, but I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather stay here and be with you. What? Earlier on the radio, I heard they had a meeting planned and Shane was mentioned. Lee D. Seok, the team leader, is definitely not going anywhere since he's in charge of guarding the mansion. And only team leader Kang Young Man is going? I'm so curious to know what kind of relationship Shane has with those snakes. But it's far from safe. So far, Hai Ri hasn't given me any useful information and it's not worth risking my life just yet. That's absurd. I don't like you at all, thought Ja Young. It's better to stay away from this whole thing. Do you all understand the plan? Team number two, follow me. Are you telling me you don't know your own password? Dr. Choi Hai Ri set the password. You had a good relationship with her. Are you saying you don't know the password? How many times have we tried to figure it out? I keep failing, and there's a warning that if I get it wrong again, all my files will be deleted. Try telling me what you don't know. I could have fun with you all day. I didn't realize it would go this far. I shouldn't have left the flash drive empty. I'm just crazy. If you don't want to answer, then don't. Just think, do I need an excuse to kill you? Stop it, please. Stop it. I'm begging you to stop. 
Someone's coming in. Stop! There's nothing suspicious outside the main room. No intruders have been seen yet. How's it going in there? All clear here, too. No sign of forced entry. It's that motherfucker who knows Shane. Shit, get everybody together. Found another intruder. Where's Shane? Yeah, we're... We don't know either. We don't know. If you don't tell me, I'm gonna beat it out of you. Everyone inside. Send reinforcements through the front and back doors immediately. There's another intruder trying to break in. Who's this guy? You here for Odin? Hey, skinhead. Are you trying to break in, too? After he said that, young man threw him back to the door. Where's Shane? Some guy came up behind him and wanted to hit him on the head. But young man was able to fight him off. Even if you answered, you'd still lose. I guess Shane's location will be indicated by this fountain pen. It keeps them busy for a long time. I owe it to myself to find out what happened here. They all tried to attack him at once. What a bunch of assholes. I'll get them out of my way in no time. There's the entrance. What is that? A fingerprint recognition system? We could try using some guy's hand, but, uh, I don't give a shit. I'll try my fist. He was about to strike when he was grabbed by... This man, Snake, you won't get through. Try to stop it, it wasn't that easy. By telling me to stop. What exactly do you mean? This guy grew up being tortured. I couldn't endure such excruciating pain without opening my mouth. Apparently I have to be even more ruthless. Then let's take these guys, for example. Are you ready to talk now? You bastard! Yes, during the experiment. After the TX drug is administered, people develop side effects. And if you don't take the medication every 12 hours, your body stops functioning. There's only three hours left to take the antidote. Isn't that enough for you? Hi, Re, rush to the baby. Stop it! Stop it! I told you to stop! That child won't survive such cruel suffering. Stop hitting him! The boy will die! Stop it right now, you goddamn bastard! I have a question. Why can't a soul talk about another one like it? I've heard it's taboo. Uh, let me try asking the other spirits one time. Oh, wait a minute. Choi Hai Ri's spirit is here. What? Please, help me. Shane. Shane and the guys are in danger. What? Shane's been caught! The kids I was treating were used as test subjects for a TX drug experiment. Please call someone who can help. Wait, wait, wait. Where's leader Kang Young Man? He and his experienced bodyguards were supposedly on their way to rescue Shane. Didn't they? Bodyguards? No way. They're the ones on the ground in uniform? All the guards were knocked out? Those three are pretty strong guys. Then, no one can help? How is this even possible? Is there no other way? I'm just a soul. You're the only one I can rely on. Please, I'm begging you. Please, help me save Shane and the boys. There's only one way. There's only one way. What? What's the only way? We have to think this through carefully. I'll tell you about your mom. What? But isn't it forbidden to talk about the soul? Yes, about your mom. Someone went to Siak Cho. That person can contact a spirit. I heard he'll be there. The pendant that Sierra gave me shone. It's a soul. Oh, your mom. And that's why. Please. What's happening? Is she turning into a demon? And your mom, she's now... That's enough. I'll take care of the rest. What is that? I've never seen anything like it. What are those souls? Just give me one hour and I'll help you. I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for coming to help me. There's only one person I can think of right now who's the strongest and that's you. Heh. I don't need all the compliments and thanks. All you have to do is fight as hard as you can. Hopefully less will be enough to make our operation a success. What's required of me? Diversion. They only took one Shane. Then why put up such a heavy security detail? How are you even going to get through? Uh, I have a plan. What's that? You're going to sabotage the place? That's right. He grabbed his arm. What are you doing? Shane, I'm in here. Hey, motherfucker, come out. I only give you 30 seconds. You decided to hide like a criminal? How can you work for such a treacherous man? You think he'll pay you? Is this some kind of sabotage? Man, you sneaky son of a bitch. The guards have surrounded them. So many people, it looks like everyone is here. What do you think? Do you have a plan? Yeah, I got it all figured out. Give me a hand. Turns out he's using smoke bombs to block their view. Don't get caught, kid. Smoke's going out. There may be a surprise attack, so find this intruder first. Damn it, it was a trap. He left the bait and escaped. What, bait? Catch this guy immediately. That bastard used me as bait and got away. Where did you go, Lee Kyung Ho? We don't need to follow him around. But we have to find the runaway. Tell everyone. The intruder has disguised himself. We'll have to catch that escaped rat first. Where did he go? He must be around here somewhere, so we should hurry up and check the area. The plan worked. Now I need to get inside. This way. Is the first floor secure enough? We're well armed. There's no problem. Fine. The entrance is only on the first floor, so secure this sector properly. So where did that man disappear to? Everyone's looking for him. Maybe he's already gotten in? I told you. The entrance is only on the first floor. Unless he climbed up the wall to the fourth floor. But that's impossible. There's no way to get in here like that. What? How? Through the window? I suspected he'd climb through the window. Tell them on the radio that the suspect has been found. 
but he neutralized everyone very quickly. Where Shane? By any means necessary. Whatever it takes, I have to save the kids. Stop pretending and tell me the password quickly. All the researchers have confessed to everything. They told me that Choi Hai Ri entrusted you with all the data and the password. Tell me everything and I'll keep them alive. You're lying. I'm lying. It's up to you. But I brought them here anyway. So I think we can make a deal even if there's only one of them left. Stop, stop, stop. The password is Medical Project 4452. Now keep your word. Keep the kids alive. Thank you, Shane. That's a big help to my god. I promise I'll keep the children alive. Thanks to you. I can now perform one last experiment on them. Although the gang members mostly occupy the basement, the gymnasium and hostage room are in the basement. Shane's probably down there. Where are these guys going? It's dangerous to face them, so I better get back. There are too many people inside. Fortunately, Choi Byom led them away. Just as suddenly, he saw him in front of him. He was holding one of the guards. How did you get here? Yeah, hello, Lee Kyung Ho, you bastard. You left me alone and just took off. You just used me as bait for those dogs, you bastard. Oh, shit. That's the same guy who stole our clothes. The bastard who threw the smoke bomb and got away. Gather everyone else. Kyung cut everyone who was there. What's wrong with these guys? You kill them and they rise up again. They're like zombies. It's because of the TX drug. It dulls your pain threshold. No matter how many times you hit them, you can't relax. This place is their target. Don't let them get indoors. Nevertheless, there are fewer people. I know these tame dogs don't feel pain at all. Anyway, there is someone who deserves more attention. Suddenly he gets a punch from someone. He's so big. What a man. He's definitely different from other guys. From his looks and strength, you can tell that he's a walking monster. He threw Choi Biom aside and flew at Kyung. He's so fast. He's quite different from them. I shouldn't use the ticket here, but it's worth a try. Now it's all in your hands. Hattori Hanzo Yasunaga, Japanese Ninja Warrior Commander. Test subject number one. The side effects of the TX drug experiment varied. Some people simply lost consciousness. On the other hand, there were a few people in whom the effects of the drug were so unpredictable that they could not be suppressed. The strength persisted throughout the two phases of TX administration. But soon the subjects were either dying or losing their minds. They were second only to the Death Adder, and their leaders, JK Contract Business, was very much feared. Impossible. A monster that stood up to the ten of them. He is powerful. When the soul controls the body and moves as it pleases, the most important thing is not to lose yourself. He very skillfully dodged all of this monster's blows. The soul doesn't come at your beck and call. Even if you let it do as it sees fit, eventually you'll still have to give up possession of your body. I remember losing control at one point when I got really angry. Focus. Calmly. Concentrate. You have to stay in touch with yourself. Let your soul move your body as it wishes. As it has been until today, I will control it. You'll be fine. Muscle damage. Oh my god, such severe side effects. You look like a different person from before. I have no reason to kill him. I've inflicted very deep, serious wounds. The soul doesn't obey me at all. What's going on? Why are you acting like this? Lee Kyung Ho, get up. He's behind you. Despite his damaged muscles, the monster is back in the fight. Watch out. That guy is gonna... He slashed everyone in the vicinity. And suddenly he attacked Choi Byom. Wake up. I need to pull myself together and push on. I need to control my body, or if I lose the connection, I won't be able to save Shane. I have to control him, Choi Byom hit Kyung. What's wrong with him? He's in some kind of trouble. Loss of control? A split personality? Are you trying to kill me now? I could press one point, and then he'd pass out. I realize it could hurt, but if there's no other option, it has to be done. And by the way, what the hell happened to you? Our plan backfired, so now I have to pick him up and take him back. I feel dead. I'm not going to be able to get up for half the day. What? You're awake already? The spirit took over. I thought there was just no other way to use the power of the soul. Isn't this the wrong decision? If it wasn't for Choi Biom, I wouldn't be the master of my own body anymore. I wouldn't be who I am anymore. I shouldn't have made such a rash decision. You cut everyone to pieces, then I knocked you out. And after all that, you came to your senses so quickly? Hey, how long has it been? Not that long. Ten seconds. Thank God. We have to save Shane while we still have time. Are we gonna make it? Is there a time limit? No, don't worry about it. I have one last favor to ask of you. Can you change your clothes? I can't take it anymore. He must have a weakness. This attack will solve everything. They clashed fists. What? For a moment I was stronger, but I feel like I'm in this snake for a long time. It's some other kind of move. And at the end, you face death like a traitor. Now that I have the password, I can get rid of you. No, not now. I can't believe such an idiot could betray his own organization. First, we'll check the password, and after that, I'll kill you right away. You know who I hate the most? Selfish bastards. You should have thought of the organization and those in it first, but you decided to take care of your own skin. Because of your games like this, the credibility of our organization has been severely damaged. And what have you accomplished? 
In the end, you couldn't even protect Choi Hyri, her children, or even the flash drive. In the end, there was nothing left. You leaked and betrayed them. Isn't that right? That's right. After the data is revealed, I'll tear you apart and I won't even leave a scrap. <laughs> the worthless bastard is tied up, but too bad it's not his mouth. Asshole. I'd chop off all your limbs right now, but I'll hold off until the password is fully verified. No, wait. You'll only need one to talk, right? I'll cut you into pieces. But Kyung was just in time. He deflected his blow. Choi Byum came to help. You're here? I'm here because I was asked to be here. That kid, he's the intruder. What, you want to join his ranks? I'm here to find and rescue Shane. You think you can free the prisoner alone? At that moment, Kyung threw one of the daggers and broke the chain. Shane was freed. Of course, Delance, I would try to recover the data flash drive left behind by Choi Hai Ri. However, you dared to use even the children that Choi Hai Ri treated as test subjects. My goal is different now. I'll kill you all. I'll get rid of you like a weed. What are you whispering about? Shane, what about the kids? Can you please speak in human terms? The kids are upstairs in the lab with the deadly viper. All right, let's deal with this guy first. Catch, he threw him a knife. Like I said, we need to use diversionary tactics. Okay. Diversion, waste of time, I'll kill you right here. We'll see about that. This situation is in our favor. Shane's skills aren't what they used to be. He was very easy to catch on since he got a huge shock when he saw the poor kids. I knew he was good enough at fighting with sticks and swords, but this time he's going to fight with a dagger? How cocky. That's just crazy. This guy here is much stronger than him. As soon as the battle started, he just disappeared. Then we should think about his sabotage strategy. That's right. Hide and launch a surprise attack. It's a very simple plan of attack. What? What are they going to... All right, you go first. Thanks for clearing my path to the door, Shane. Fucking kid! He tried to run at him, but Shane hit him. Now I'm gonna be your opponent. That's fine. A lot has changed since you left here. Let me show you how we've changed in that time. TX drug phase one. He was blocking punches. How could he attack me from behind? Is that a drug? Haha, <laughs> and now I'm on to you. You're not going to escape your fate. He has the muscle mass of a monster, right? And he moves at an incredible speed. I recently studied the Heavenly Martial Dao technique for battle to extend the distance. I heard about the TX drug from Lee Kyung Ho. It feels like fighting a monster. Does it have a weakness? Shit, wait a minute. You Can you still hold a gun firmly in your hand? You're a monster. Next time I'll break your bones. Bottom line, the final information about the TX drug was obtained by the group. Anna was taking a bath when she got the call. Hi, I got a report that some intruder has broken in again. From JK's representatives? They sure made a lot of noise. Looks like they hacked into Xiang Corporation. Someone you know very well was there too. Xiang Group. Who do you think I might know? I got a report that Shane, the bodyguard, and the brown-haired Choi Biom were there. Choi Biom? I met him once. He knows his strengths and weaknesses. That man will be useful. Really? Shane's stronger. I worked for Deadly Viper. He's quite popular. The other one, on the other hand, is a high schooler, so I had to check him out since he's special. But there's not much information about this boy. I'm guessing this is the first time he's been involved in an operation like this. This kid doesn't need to know that he's being used as a helper and bait at the same time. He's so cute. Keep a close eye on Shane. He knows the inner workings of the Shang group. That will be our trump card. And another thing. He was definitely on the block, but how did he attack so suddenly? How come? Why can't I cut him off? Okay, the first blow will be from behind, and the second will be on the back of the thigh. And all of this, interspersed with invisible attacks. But unfortunately, he wasn't even touched by the knife. Could this have anything to do with the TX drug? Wait a minute, this isn't a TX drug. The force is strong, but his grip is particularly frightening. The time for indifference is definitely over. I don't have time for jokes. There is no other way. It's nothing personal. I'll beat you up properly. The essence of the invisible attack is to focus all your attention on the weapon in your left hand. Then you have to attack the back with the other hand. The TX drug has only a secondary role to play when using such a weapon maneuver. Quit cheating, Delance. The Viper's been going over the drug's research log. The fourth course of treatment was effective. The children's well-being has improved significantly, and the progression of the disease has been prevented. However, there was another problem. There was a mistake and the blood of the children undergoing treatment mixed with the blood of ordinary people. And then, another strange thing happened. The cells began to divide and mutate at an incredible rate. It was a, a clinical outcome that will go down in human history, but it was too dangerous, because it was highly likely to be used as a biochemical weapon. This experiment could have catastrophic consequences if released to the public. I've already won. You don't need to waste any more of your time, so, uh, get out of here. I found the key to the TX drug. The blood of the children being treated. Yeah, that's right. The thing is, you guys have been in treatment. And you had no idea how close you were. 
Ha ha ha. Looks like the password has been entered. I don't know what you're going to do with the kids now, but it's too late. Where do you think you're going? Let me think. Do you have any leads? Fucking hell. We have to do something now. I think you'll be eternally grateful for his help. Kyung was just in time again. Deflected the blow he wanted to inflict on the children. Using children in experiments. You again. Last time you used paired swords, but this time you decided to use a different weapon? Huh. Your swordsmanship skills are completely useless. No, this time, you'll be killed by my sword, Chok Jung Young Soul Divine Sword. Is that all your strength, kid? There's no way you can defeat me. Isn't that right? We'll see. Pretty good this time, huh? The physical difference is obvious, he's moving with minimal speed. Kyung managed to hit his mask. Sword guy is still capable of teaching you, huh? We'll see, even so, that guy... Now you'll get it in the neck. Something's wrong. He's acting completely different from before. As soon as I removed the protection from my wrist, the speed increased significantly. Is this ability real? He was able to throw a good punch. You're such a heavy boar. It'll take 30 servings at least to feed you. You lousy boy, I'll tear you apart. Go ahead, attack and don't think about the consequences. You think breaking through the defenses will make a difference? Will a block like this be enough? The power of a true monster. You'll regret making me take the TX drug. I'll tear you into little pieces. We need to hold out as long as possible to avoid his attacks. What is it, Shane? All you've been doing is counting how many punches I've thrown, didn't you? Keep up your pathetic efforts. You think you can avoid anything? I can change the direction of the sword as I wish. If he fails to calculate the trajectory, there's nothing left for him to do but try to avoid it. I followed his movements clearly. Now I'll change the trajectory and end it. Unpredictable dodge, oh come on! Did he anticipate that maneuver? I've discovered your attack pattern. You figured it out, haven't you? You can handle something bigger, faster? That's right. The sword strike on the left was just a decoy, but the one on the right was real. How predictable. And at this moment when both my swords were thrown. Damn it, I have to get my sword back. You're unarmed now. Shit. That's why I was able to defeat you, Delance. Excitement exposes weakness. Stay where you are, I'll kill you. You're like a wild boar, you can only run so far. What the hell? Why can't I move? You're trying so hard, so all your weaknesses are right out in the open. How is that possible? Didn't you feel that while you were attacking, I pierced your one vital point? Do you understand now? You dog, how dare you? Okay, well then. Chapter 1. Tian's martial technique is the martial Dao. He coughed and started to choke. The pork roll is ready. In the strategy of attracting a strike, you need to use the TX drug to be able to knock this guy down. That's what prompted me to use it. That's why you have to fight so fast and discover something new. Good dodge, bastard. Since it has so much muscle and is covered in blood, you can't just eat it. Is it because of my poor training? A species like him would have a proper snake name like Black Mamba. It doesn't quite fit him, though. I think I'm done here. It's time to get back to that boy. Stay there. Black Mamba, you say? Even if I've never faced him, you think I can't fight him? Don't make me tell you this. But wasn't it me who defeated you? Since when did you start talking nonsense? This is just the beginning. The second phase of the TX drug. Choi Im Chung, the fifth heir of Cheon Mu Do. It's a special martial art. It's a technique that allows you to hit the spot, so knowledge of it must be backed up with skill. Grandpa, please teach me Qian Mu Do. Grandpa had high hopes for his grandson who had been interested in Qian Mu Do since childhood. Do you really want to learn it? It's finally time to raise an heir. However, despite his grandfather teaching him acupuncture for a whole year, Biom still didn't understand the basics of it. It's so complicated. Surprisingly, Biom was not talented at Qian Mu Do. Where did this monstrous power come from so suddenly? If it's not stopped now... I might die. I need to find a gap in his defense and bleed him by finding the right point. I use all the strength of my arms, but I'm still thrown back by his crazy speed. I can't keep up with him. If I want to kill him, I need to keep aiming at his gap. I need to anticipate the trajectory and final target of his attack. I need to stay calm. The next attack will definitely be this one. A, because of his huge muscle mass, my punch can't reach his target point. Well, did you find a weak point? Let's summarize. Did you think you could overcome the significant difference in strength between us? Do you understand now? Did you manage to dodge my punches? Try to avoid them this time. Fly, dung fly. Involuntarily, Bayon began to remember. Is this the guy who's forgotten all about politeness? I heard that you learned Chion Mudo from your grandfather. Huh, he's like a sack of potatoes. No, he's a martial artist. Ah ha 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 ha. Chion Mudo, ah ha ha ha. If we had the Three Kingdoms era, would he be able to unite these worlds? But this jerk has no talent for it at all, so this weakling gave up. I've seen people in a movie once who regularly practice martial arts. But that's real life, uh ha ha. Last time I came up it was a hoot fell below the plinth. With Chion Mu Do's help, shouldn't he also float in the air like a dung fly? Ah ha ha Fly. I was ashamed to learn Chion Mu Do from my grandfather. From an early age, my grandfather taught me how to do it. When I was little, 
It seemed like something natural, normal. But when I went to school, I found out it wasn't like that at all. Cheon Mudo, what's this? What the hell is this? What's wrong with you? I just wanted to tell them and show them what it was because it seemed like something amazing and incredible to me. I was so interested in creating whole combinations of acupuncture points, achieving different effects. However, I was getting terribly tired of all the bullying, childish teasing. So I began to behave in such a way that grandfather himself stopped teaching me martial arts. Oh, Biom, I guess learning Cheon Mudo was too difficult for you, huh? Instruction is training. The most difficult thing in life is human relationships. Acupuncture points interact with each other and so do people's attitudes. That's why I've always understood acupuncture as humanity. Cheon Mudo is my whole life. Get that fly out of your head. This is ridiculous. Grandpa said Cheon Mudo was his life, but the kids kept teasing me and calling me a fly. I hated that nickname even though it was stupid and seemed quite insignificant. Little be on my boy. Alas, he is not talented enough to be my successor. I'll have to find another heir. Grandfather, there are several men surrounding him right now. They're beating him up. What? Ah, Biom, are you okay? Are there any injuries? Never mind. Those guys couldn't have died from something like that. Those guys hurt me a lot, Grandpa. What the hell is this? I'm fine. I don't care about their stupid jokes. But they can't make fun of Chan Mu Du and insult me by calling me a dungfly. I was defending our honor. Not this. All these injuries on his body. Blood stains. He attacked them penetrating vital points so precisely that I just can't believe it. If I had ever thought of that, it's not just talented, it's genius. Remembering all this, he regained his strength. Oh no. Huh? What did you say? I'm not a fly. He hit the dots on both sides. Are you trying to hit my vital points again? What an idiot. You still want to make sure it doesn't work? What? My muscles. What the hell is this? But this kind of attack didn't work before. That can't be. What is this? After the second phase, can something like this affect something like this? The second phase of the TX drug? After that, your body should have become like iron. But even after that, you're still just a human. And now, I'm going to make your whole body bleed out and reverse the currents. This is just crazy. The points will be activated by Cheon Mudo. One by one, they will be pierced with stabbing blows. Thanks to this, it's possible to create hundreds of different effects by controlling a large flow of blood. I'm so disappointed. Don't you ever call me a fly again. You little shit. After saying those words, he collapsed. He was too exhausted. This is what it means when a TX drug trial reaches the second stage. Obviously, it's incompatible with such a weirdo asshole. During a battle, the one who loses always talks a lot. Isn't one time enough to realize? What's the matter? Bark while you can. You keep dodging like a bug? After the second stage of the drug, his attacks have changed significantly. The sword's agility and striking power have also increased significantly. Well, I can't predict the trajectory of the blows because it changes twice or thrice a second. We have to counterattack before the trajectory of the blows becomes even more complicated. Neither the speed nor the power of the blows can be tracked. Well then, as long as the sword is in flight, we can take advantage of the situation. Where did he go? Shane! You bastard! No way! What? But how? In phase two... Texas drugs enhance all senses, not just muscle strength. I can track your location just by the sound of your footsteps. Your dirty plan won't work. He got my location just by the sound of my footsteps? And indeed, I was in a blind spot. You're trying to enhance yourself with a TX drug? All this killing poor people like lab rats. You're using innocent children, experimenting on them just to make yourself stronger? What's wrong with that? What the hell are you talking about? I just want him, Death Viper, that's all. And that was a good idea. Did I need any other reason? I only trust and follow the honorable Death Viper. He's in charge. Whatever he wants to do in the end, it will be in the best interest of our organization. Isn't that why Choi Hai Ri and her guys were sacrificed? Don't you feel sorry for them? No, I don't give a shit about them. It helped us a lot. My only regret is that it wasn't done sooner. They figured they'd all die in a hospital room. Wasn't it rewarding for them to help us before they died? Shouldn't we be grateful? Since it was Choi Hai Ri who gave the data, I looked at it and thought there was nothing, especially since she was the one who put the children in our hands and lost them. That's right. Choi Hai Ri's only asset was the test subjects, and you should go and give her a big thank you. Gratitude? I saw her. I've learned to think of others. I've learned to empathize. I used to think a person shouldn't be too emotional, but now I've come to the conclusion that living with human emotions is real life. It has really given me a lot. What has it given you? Useless emotions. It won't help you achieve your goals. Could you have saved her by being so good-natured? You've already failed. There was hope on your face before, but now you must have given up. How does it feel to die? Did Choi Hai Ri tell you about this pain? It doesn't hurt at all. Someone who's about to die still has time to bluff? This is your last time. Shane, none of these things are hurting me. 
Choi Hai Ri told me that she always believed in me even when she was dead. I could go on thinking that she died because of me. Believe me, I don't need to say anything, I understand. I was afraid. I blame myself for being alone so I thought about the day I'd die. You live in illusions. Do you think you'd feel the same way even if you died now? Of course I'm in the same situation now. If I had known then, I would have thanked her for everything. He had a dagger in his mouth. He flew at him and plunged the dagger into his throat. Excessive emotion is a great disadvantage in combat, but with it your aim is clear. You bastard. It's over now. Bullshit, it's impossible. It's over. I'm cold. Good luck. He slit his throat. He fell to the floor and looked at his bloody hands. Your hands! What's wrong with them? Do they hurt? Does it hurt a lot? Let me help you. You can't do it by yourself. Even then, I couldn't thank you. I was pushed even though I had already used the drug in the first stage. Am I used to it? I can't help it. You can't have too many swords. What kind of sword is this? It's so dangerous. The swords flew apart. Kyung was able to protect the children. You have no power. This place will be your grave. It's dangerous here, so hurry up and run away. Run away, they can't. By the way, these swords. Training weapon storage? Yeah. All bodyguards keep their equipment hidden so they won't be found out. I brought you here to take a look around. At first glance, this appears to be an ordinary sword. But it's actually a more delicate weapon. Depending on the attack method or fighting style, it has different characteristics and appearance. For example, the Estoc is a sword that specializes in stabbing attacks. It is designed to pierce armor. This is why fencing specializes in striking from a distance. The masters of this martial art calculate every possible variation and hone their skills. Is it possible to carry eight different swords like in the comic books? Don't be absurd. To master two swords, you have to devote decades of intense training. Mastering more than one type of sword is almost impossible. After taking the drug, his speed increased, but his movements remained the same. I can't reach that level, but what worries me the most is those swords around. He scattered them around and I don't know what for, but there's nothing to be afraid of. Leader Lee Di Siak said that it's impossible to use so many swords equally. The key is to dodge the attacks. He makes a big lunge forward. We have to get closer. We can't let our guard down. The leader said it's impossible to master them all perfectly. I ducked, but he hit me anyway. His sword got longer. You have to keep it as far away from you as possible. What? Did the shape of the blade change to a hook? Or is it a different sword? Damn it. The fighting style has changed too. It's already hit me a few times. I feel like I'm fighting several opponents at once. I didn't think he'd get this close. Should I try controlling my soul again? That's no good. I almost lost control last time. Viper tossed his sword into the air, caught it, and slashed at Keon's sword. That's great. I've never seen someone fight for so long before. That's what it's all about. I'd like to have some more fun, but I need to finish my research first. I'll leave the kids so you won't be bored. But suddenly, Kyung heard him. He remembered Choi Hyri's words. If you save the children, even if I become a demon, I'll tell you everything. Keep talking if you want to get a hole in your vocal cords. You're an idiot who doesn't know what's going on. The battle will end with your defeat. The soul was controlling the body again. It became much more aggressive. This, I got goosebumps all over my body. The power to resist the TX drug? He was hiding it? How did he change so much all of a sudden? It can't be. You're just a little kid. I can't believe he copied my technique. That guy gives me the creeps. He's, he has inhuman strength. No, I have to deal with him somehow. We have to finish developing the cure. He's starting to have flashbacks from the past. I think it's better to take her out of the hospital and spend the rest of our time together. Since there are few cases of these diseases, there's no progress in developing a cure. It's not up to us. It's up to the pharmaceutical companies. I can't lose here. I'm almost there. I found the cure. Kyung threw one of his most powerful punches and the mask fell off his face. No, my wife, I have to save her. He fought off his attack. I must finish the job. Years ago, my wife became ill. The disease is rare, so there was no cure yet. It took 10 million won to develop a cure. The kind of money that an ordinary gangster can't get. So I started killing people. For a certain amount of money, I could kill anyone. It didn't matter if it was an ordinary citizen, a police officer, a judge, or a celebrity. The targets were foreign political figures. That's how I started making money. It's been 15 years. In the beginning, it was 10 million, but then it was 100 million, and the number increased each time. I spent hundreds of millions of won just to keep her alive. The doctor said even that was a miracle. When I thought I couldn't do it anymore, a man came along who agreed to support the development of a cure for my wife, in exchange for me fulfilling certain conditions. I want you to stop working on the side. From now on, you work only for me. The TX drug is stage two. The original plan was to finish Dr. Choi Hai Ri's research. Did you screw it up? It's still not perfect even though you spent two years developing it after failing. After taking it, the body will decompose. 
Just to be safe, don't tell your subordinates about the side effects. We've been experimenting with other effects of the drug. The cure for your wife is almost ready. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give you a chance to make it right. The fight went on. It feels weird. I can't believe he's still standing. It's like, it's like he's an animal. The attacks are more random and fierce, but there are gaps in the defense. This guy's not easy, but I can see it now. When the Viper once again succeeded in throwing Kyung away, he stood up and saw the children. Souls attack everyone, and this time it happened. Kyung was about to attack the children, but at the last moment, he subdued the soul. We don't have to kill them. Just stop them. I promised her. My body is moving on its own again. Just like when I tried to subdue the soul, my mind was filled with crazy thoughts. This is too much. How can it even be controlled? We need to distract him somehow. Strangely, he started to shorten his distance. His attacks are monstrous, but he stopped throwing punches. What's wrong? I almost won. Here, no, I can't die here. Before I die, do you know why I'm risking my life so much? I have someone to live for. I only live for him. And you? What are you risking your life for? I can't hear the answer. He cut him. It's over. Kyung was dead? No, it's not over. Is there another one left? Mrs. Sierra. That idiot's soul stopped signaling. He just jumped up and died? That's a shame. I know. That's why I'm coming. What's this? Where am I? Am I dead? No, not yet. Chuck Junyun must have taken a liking to you. As long as he keeps your souls together, you won't die. You brought me here? This is the passage between mind and body. If you were dead, you'd be somewhere else. So I'm not dead? What do I have to do to get back? If you control souls, you can bring me back, can't you? Like you said, I've been looking for ways to control souls. I've tried everything. So what do I have to do? I have less than a year to live. If you let him go, he'll die. That's a shame. That would be stupid of me. I think it would be a good idea to give you a hint. Watch carefully. The soul you're using is nothing but a shell and you instinctively reject it. It's a soul. What the hell? Have fun. Stop, Sierra. Where are you going? Is that Juk Jung Hyun's soul? It can't be. It can't be. We have to run. What is it? Why is it so big? Is it really a soul? Just a shell? What does that mean? Why am I running out of breath so fast? It feels like I'm going to die even if I run slowly. Is it because I'm close to death? There's nowhere to hide. If it hits me, I'll actually die. Running away from such a giant is impossible. No, you have to try. What's that? Debris? He's starting to remember things. But it's not my memories. Shit, my head's gonna explode. What did I see? I feel like I'm being force-fed information. Wait a minute. This is Chuck Junyun's memories? Sierra said that the soul I'm using is just a shell I was trying to understand. What I've searched, studied, read? Is it all a shell? What does this shell represent? I've seen text, pictures, materials. What do I know about the soul? Just what I read? To understand the soul, you have to look inside yourself? If that knife stabs me, I'll be able to see Chuk Jun Hyun's past. No, what if it's not connected? What if I die? If that's the case, will it be over? No, I won't live for a year anyway. When he touched his soul, he saw Chuk Jun Hyun's past. I finally found you, Shane. You've been hiding really well. You and I aren't done yet. If you want to go first, get ready. What? How? What did he do? Threw me away just by swinging his sword? That's strange. What kind of power is that? And I'm not exaggerating. Is it a pose? The breathing method? Nothing's changed. So why does it feel like this? Instinct says if I get close, it'll be hard to avoid the blow. What's the point of thinking that? What's he gonna do with one hand? Soul control. I wasn't literally controlling it. I've just been running that word around in my head. Reading about the soul and observing it are not the same thing. To fully understand it, you have to communicate with it. The path of the Iron Warrior. He flew at breakneck speed, killing him. No, I spent 20 years working towards my goal. 20 years, that's too long. I've only got a year. The pain has lessened. Although the last blow made me lose my mind. Sierra said he's holding my soul, so I'm not dying. But the pain hasn't completely gone away. Soul control. No, it's soul synchronization. From that moment on, I unknowingly rejected my soul. And felt it. All this time, I was only thinking about how to move or control my soul, while moving like a puppet, moved by the guidance of these souls. Now I can feel her, what she was living, what she was thinking, what hardship she was going through. Martial arts for survival and battles were created on the doorstep of countless deaths. Now I see her life as if in the palm of my hand, communicating with her soul and true perspective. Until now, I've really only used a fraction of the power. Kill me. None of this makes sense now. Just do it. We need to call for backup. It's not too late to save the other children. I know what the snakes are after. Who's giving you orders? Well, I didn't expect you to answer that. I have nothing else to do. I've returned. Dr. Choi Hyrie's materials transferred to the computer. Is this what you were looking for? He broke all the equipment in front of the Viper. There's still half of it left. What? You have something to say? Huh. I'm not going to say anything about him. So just leave it alone and just kill me. That man you were talking about. 
the one who was going to save your wife and make you do it. Did he have something to do with it? What did he offer? Was there no other way to help her? You can say whatever you want, but it was really the only chance I had to help her. And the hospital? Isn't the current medical advancements enough? All over the world, medicine is powerless, no matter how much money you have. I couldn't have cured her. It was my only hope. It was the only way I could help her. He's my last hope. He'll finish the cure. Someday you'll understand. Stop this nonsense. You think that justifies all your atrocities? Do you think your wife would want to live like this? Do you think you'd want to live like that? What you're saying is stupid. No, and think about what you did. What you did to save her. Use the lives of the other people you killed as another step towards your goal. Would your wife want to live at that price? You didn't do it for her. You were only doing it for your own motives, trying to save her life. If I'm wrong, your wife is just as psychotic. Shut up. You're wrong. Of course she wanted to live. Everybody does. Isn't a loved one's life more important than someone else's? That's rational thinking. More rational than what you're talking about. All I did was devote myself to her life. All for her. Piece of shit. Xiang Group's bodyguards will be arriving soon with reinforcements. So stop dragging your feet and tell me everything. Even if I die, he'll save my wife. And you won't get in his way. He stuck a sword down his throat. He's dead. A snake that was hard to catch. I'm so tired. The smell of blood is getting stronger. The JK organization has been destroyed. There was a serious massacre here. We're only one step too late. This wound. He saw Death Viper dead. The bodies and traces of the JK organization have been cleared. No sign of their invasion. They must have gotten there first and cleaned it up. Dr. Choi Hai Ri's research data was also retrieved by the Sion Group. This is what Black Mamba gave me. And I have something to tell you about the TX drug. The drug? What about it? We couldn't find Dr. Choi Hai Ri's latest research data, so the development of the finished drug will be delayed. The result of the second stage of the drug showed that the person's strength was higher than normal and their bodies were subject to decomposition. Greater strength is commensurate with greater risks. Therefore, I consider the use of this drug ineffective. Hmm. Even without using the TX drug, the snakes have enough potential. Plus, other side effects have not been confirmed. Then let's not cling to this drug. Abort the study. Yes, sir. And I've received word that Death Viper was killed in battle. Death Viper, even in death, guarantee that my wife's treatment will be completed. I give you a guarantee. Thank you very much. He was so happy about it. Get rid of the TX drug and deal with his wife. Yes, sir. He died without fulfilling his terms, so there's nothing to complain about. The body of the Death Viper. The marks on it weren't special, but the blow was perfect. Only one man could have done that. It's possible that we'll meet soon. Why did I suddenly come back here? The soul should have disappeared. Stop. Why am I scared? Shouldn't I accept it like before? I'm going. With a scream, he woke up and realized he was in a ward. Tears began to well up in Jae Young's eyes. What's that she has? A potato peeling knife? She threw herself into his arms. Lee Kyung Ho! What's wrong? You haven't come to your senses for two days. Two days? How are Shane and Biome? They're fine. And Dr. Choi Hai Ri? Have you seen Shane? Dr. Choi Hai Ri. Not just the research materials, but other files as well. Why is there a password on those too? I think there's something important in there too. Shane, there you are. We've been looking for you. Ah, I was just watching the kids. Now go rest. Yes, you're awake now. I'm glad you're recovering. Thank you for what you did three days ago. Defeating the Death Viper. Surprised me. Thought something had happened to you. The leader appreciated your work. Was it so important that you went alone? Uh, I mean, it's important, but I still haven't figured out all the passwords. Then why don't you ask me yourself? Did you hear that Jae Young can see souls? If you touch her hair, you can see Choi Hai Ri's soul. What? The story about you being able to see souls. I heard it when I first joined the service, but if it's true, then is Hai Ri here? I can't see. He can't see? He used the same martial arts as me, so I thought he was a ticket user too. She wouldn't appear to me. Ah, wait a minute, I can- Hold on, it's okay. What? But, uh, can you do me one more favor? Shane, wait! You said USB was important, and that you didn't know the password. Yeah. I'll help you open those files. What? How? Since she came up with it, maybe the clue would be something she liked to do. She grabbed his hand and ran. Come on, let's go! Did she drink coffee often? Except at work. Then we've come to the right place. Shane can start here, right? The password associated with the coffee shop. Yummy! Ta-da, here comes the dessert. Did Hai Ri like sweets? I don't know. You really don't know? What do you know? Her favorite dessert can't be a password. I don't know. It could be dessert. Next, they went to play slot machines. Did you have to win? Focused on the game? Nothing comes to mind? Eh, I'm down. Password. What could it possibly have to do with... Wait, I have to get it! Quackery! Did she like jewelry? Hmm. No? I think she did. You never gave her presents? Uh, yeah. 
I think she would have liked it. What have I been waiting for? All right. There's one more thing to do. Get him cleaned up and then we'll think about it again. They're in the way. Can you even see anything? Hmm. I'll pick out your hair. No, not like that. Let's pick something you like. Wow, it suits you so well. See, it's a good thing we cut it off. Am I right? Now you'll definitely remember. I don't believe it anymore. They say it's a true delicacy. Try it. Choi Hairi, who was she to you? She taught me a lot. Besides feelings and emotions, she made me realize that life is not just a mission. It made me think about the meaning of my existence. I've thought about her a lot today. That's why you wanted to bring USB back, even if it was dangerous. Shane, if you get a girlfriend, she'll definitely love you. By the way, is there a reason why you went to all these places today? Actually, I wanted to go here myself. I thought so. A wish list? No way, no, it can't be. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry I couldn't help at all. I'll think about it when I get home. In the many years I've been a spirit, it's strange to touch the ground. Shane hasn't changed a bit in three years. Shane, what do you do on the weekends? Nothing. Really? Let's spend it together. I'm so busy all the time that I try to do everything in my free moments. The plan is pretty simple. A cafe I've been wanting to go to. Walk around the neighborhood and eat from food trucks. Going to go play the vending machines with you. You'll be able to get toys. And when you get a house, you're sure to bring at least one home. When I went to college, I had to study and there was no time for that. You're uncomfortable with bangs, aren't you? Why don't you get a haircut? You're so handsome, aren't you? And finally, this is the place we've always wanted to have dinner together. So we've made our wish list. When's the next day off? I can't tell Shane because if we went on a real date, he'd never be able to let it go. And it's not fair to do that to him. I did everything I wanted to do, so there's nothing to regret now. It's time to say goodbye to Han Jae Young and Lee Kyung Ho. He hugged Jae Young, Choi Hai Ri. It was you. No, it wasn't. Yep. Don't lie, I had my doubts. And I couldn't say anything until I was sure. The wish list. That's the password. It's the things we wanted to do together. How could I forget? I got caught. I was a little upset thinking you didn't remember. Thanks for not forgetting. Don't cry, I have to go or I'll cry too, haha. -ha. Do you want to say something? For the last time. I like you. I like you too. Shane was crying his eyes out. Wish list. Shane. The mercenary. Could he be the spy they were talking about? If it was him, why would he want to kill other members of the JK organization? But was he the only one there? There were two other people at the scene besides Shane. The first was Choi Bayom, the heir of Cheon Mudo, who was a bodyguard selection a couple months ago. The second was a high school student named Lee Kyung Ho, hired at the request of a young lady. Now they're both on the suspect list. But with his appearance alone, he interfered with the snake's plan, so I don't think it's him. Yes? According to Shane, he accidentally met Lee Kyung Ho when he was fighting with the mercenaries. As for Biom, I'm not sure. When I contacted Shane, he said he asked him for help. They need to be looked after. Anything else? The second leader, Kang Youngman, has tendered his resignation. What, Youngman? Yes, I guess it's because of the incident at the JK organization. Hmm. Whatever it is. Their lives are valuable. If there's no one else, I suggest hiring Choi Biom. And about the high school student. I'll send someone from my side. What? There's a high school student on the captain's team, too? That student trained at a special institution right after the snakes appeared. You'll know everything when you see him. When are you planning to do that? Delay is playing into the snake's hands. I'm sending him in immediately. Is there anything else I should know? He knows the rest. What? Really? Lee Kyung Ho, let's go together. What happened to you all of a sudden? I've gotten stronger. I have a lot of questions for her. Why, when I asked, didn't she tell me how to quickly gain a soul connection? Can you go to school? You haven't recovered yet and you must be in pain? Hurt? What doesn't kill us only makes us stronger. I'm just bigger now. I'm the best. How much stronger are you going to get? Kyung came to Sierra's office and sat in her seat. Look at that flea, that's Sierra's seat. Why don't you get up? Don't you know any etiquette? Hey, you little beast, quiet. What's the matter? Let me tell you something. From now on, stop playing with me. I've changed. Is that what you wanted? I've seen the real shell of a soul. Let's cut to the chase. What's the difference between Choi Hai Ri and other souls? I'll figure it out. I'll tell you a story about a bird that was saved from death, but it thought too much of itself. Babo, stop it. It hurts. Now Kyung looked even worse and sat silent. A whip is the answer to a beast that doesn't know its place. You're right, Miss Tierra. Thanks to your grace, I was able to synchronize with my soul. I should thank you. Yes, you do. So tell me, what's the difference between Choi Hai Ri and other souls? Yes, madam. The pendant didn't respond to other souls, but it did respond to the call to Choi Hai Ri's souls. And while she was talking, she almost became an evil spirit. If it's the same with the other souls, how can I find the clues? What if they all become evil spirits? Is there any way to not become an evil spirit? Finally, Shane and I did what we've been wanting to do for a long time. 
We solved the TX drug and the sick kids. You did everything you promised. Thank you. Here's my thanks. I made some inquiries while Kyung Ho was in the hospital. But if I tell, I'll become a demon. Now I have nothing to regret. It's okay if I become an evil spirit. It might not happen. Huh? What are you talking about? You might not become an evil spirit. Put it on and tell me what you know. It'll protect you from becoming a demon. What? What is it? Did someone make a bad joke on you? No, someone I trust gave it to me. It's better to try than to do nothing. No, it can't be that easy. Are you sure the pendant will work? Yeah, just have him put it on and talk. Uh, uh, it won't work on a person. But the soul will be stuck in it. Souls can pass through objects, right? She's wearing the ring. I'm fine. I promised that I would tell everything I know even if I become a demon. Because thanks to you, I don't have any regrets. Siok Cho, she had to meet an old school friend there. I heard your mom's in Japan right now. She's not turning. It's working. Japan? I need to know more. Why there? Who was she supposed to meet? This could be another clue. Oh, actually, I don't know the reason why they had to meet there. I heard that she had to tell him something that she couldn't do in her lifetime. While you were unconscious in the hospital, I went there to make inquiries. That friend of hers, he seems to have been blessed by the Buddha. That was three months ago, so obviously she's already in Japan. Can I ask you one last question? Of course. My mom, why did she stay in this world? Well, I don't know that, so I can't say. The truth is, before I met your mom, I was about to turn into a demon. I had a lot of regrets about unfinished research, Shane, the kids. If I hadn't met her, I must have wandered along the Hangang River as an evil spirit. Your mom listened to me a lot and helped me a lot. Because he's acting like an uncouth fool. God, he's definitely never dated a girl before. And I don't think he's the only one. I know you want me to rest in peace. But I still have so many regrets I need to deal with. And here we are. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much. Now I can leave with a clean heart. Japan. It's a little far. I don't know how. Don't worry. We'll go there next week. What? Just like that? A school trip. A school trip to Japan. There are no snakes there. I think I might be able to find mom's soul. What's he thinking? Let's welcome the new transfer student. Huh? Introduce yourself first. A transfer student at this time? There's no need to introduce yourself. I was sent to this school by a man on a mission. What? That person? So who is Hanja Young here? One person? A mission? Looking for Hanja Young? Suspicious. Kyung started writing on a piece of paper. Do you know him? No, no. Is that why he's been looking for you since the minute he walked into class? Doesn't he look like a fiancé sent by your family? Well, that's not a bad choice. In response, she jammed a pen into his hand. Right now, it doesn't matter what he says about that person or mission. I'll concentrate on the fact that he's looking for Han Che Young. A snake? It's probably too early to draw conclusions. But today is the day of the first semester's physical fitness test. I have to check him out. I think I can spot him when he's changing his clothes. It's not like he has a snake tattoo. Am I overthinking myself? Push-ups. Chun Jin. 085. Ha Jin. 200. Can I do 200 push-ups in one minute? Bodyguards average 70. 80 push-ups, but they're monsters. Han Jae Young won. He's not. Speed, muscular strength, endurance, he got the highest score in all the physical tests. Plus, he's much taller than most professional athletes. He certainly doesn't inspire confidence. I have to tell leader Lee D. Seok about him. Hey, you want to fight? You're the center of attention on the first day, so behave yourself, okay? Okay, I'm sorry, by the way, do me a favor and don't talk down to me. Han Ji Young, stay away from him. I don't like him. Yes. Yes, I understand. Yeah, no problem. I'm a high school student like you, so I don't think they'll suspect anything. I guess the plan worked. I knew it. Yeah, I'll let you know when I get further along. Kyung grabbed him by his shirt. Who are you? Are you one of the snakes? Snakes, what are you going to do? This is no time for jokes. If you're a snake, I won't let you get away. He grabbed Kyung by his shirt in response and threw him to the ground. Is that the best you can do? Don't you think it will be somewhat difficult? Are you sure you're a bodyguard? Well, if you want to get in my way, give it a shot. I don't think you're going to make it. Son of a bitch, he even knows I'm a bodyguard. Ha Jin, unusually high score on the physical test, said his target was Han Jae Young. The skills he showed and also that he knows who I am. Is it better to report now? No, it's too early. Rather, if they find out that snakes have appeared in the school as well, they'll restrict Che Young's movements again. Even if I'm in danger, if anything, I can follow him with the location tracking pen. But for now, there's no need. Yes, what's that in his hand? That's a location tracking pen, isn't it? I didn't lose it, did I? You didn't lose it, did you? His target is Han Ji Young. He's much stronger than a normal person. He knows I'm a bodyguard. And above all, that pen. Is that so? A new bodyguard? They should have warned me. By the way, isn't he my replacement? Hey, have you heard about the standardized test this semester? What about it? Did you hear that transfer freshmen are like beasts? What do you call a beast? You're gonna tear him apart. 
On average, freshman test scores don't exceed 90 times per minute, so he's a monster. I'm out of cigarettes. Do you have one? Uh, uh, I'm the last one. Sorry. Me too, but take mine. How's the money? I'm broke. Freshmen have some. Did you hear they're rich? Those two recently transferred students. They're always together. Oh, those two? Didn't that guy beat up Jun Jin Oh? Was it him? No way, haha. It's just a rumor, lol. That kid's just being a jerk, which Chun Jin Oh doesn't like. Anyway, I don't know about that guy, but that girl is definitely a rich girl. That redhead? What makes you think that? She's always being picked up in a limo. And there's always some kind of bodyguard hanging around. I was thinking maybe we could scare them a little bit. Yeah, they just grab us by the arms. Haha, <laughs> we've crossed that line so many times. Who cares if we do it again? What's that girl's name? Han Jae Young. Well, if he's still strong, can you handle it? Ha 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 ha. At that very second, he got punched in the face. Hey, you think I'm weak? How about I shake them down right now? I think it's worth it, huh? You in charge here? What kind of kid are you? I heard that you want to rob Han Jae Young. Yeah, we want to rob a rich kid, why not? You're being too small-minded, I'm going to kidnap her. I'm offering you a lucrative deal. Come to think of it, does soul synchronization just allow me to look back in time? Sierra helped me then, but I don't know how to use it in the future. I need to ask her again. Han Jae Young, I have to go to the infirmary, so wait for me here, I won't be long. Ha Jin is out of suspicion now, everything will be fine. Huh? Yeah, go ahead. Ha Jin noticed that Kyung left her behind. Do you want to know about soul synchronization? Yes, no, go away. What are you talking about? I can't tell you anything about soul synchronization. Don't bother Sierra, human. Is that one of the prohibitions? No, it's just something you can find out for yourself. Don't play helpless. The abilities you use belong to the people of this world. You should be grateful that you're giving up a year of your life to summon them for an hour. You bother me again, Sierra will be angry. Get the hell out of here. So I can't use soul synchronization right away? No, why can't you? What? You can use it right now. Why are you so surprised? Well, because it's forbidden to talk about it. Really? I never said that. So do you have any questions about communicating with souls? Yes. Once I summon a soul's abilities, can I synchronize with it? Yes, although there is a fee. Pay? Is that why I was unconscious last time? Hmm, or is my life expectancy shortened even further? Or do I have to spend extra tickets? Minutes. You can only use 10 minutes of communicating with your soul. And after that, the effect of the ticket dissipates. So it's up to you when to use soul synchronization. I can't spend more than 10 minutes. And after that? The whole effect of the ticket disappears? In a few minutes, your soul is filled with all the memories from the great man's life. You can't take more than 10 minutes. And when your soul thinks it, and your body are in danger, it will push out the summoned soul. It's a kind of defense reaction. Minutes. If you use your soul skills like you did with Chuck Jun Hyun, it's not that bad. Hmm, this guy can't use soul technique anyway. Soul technique? Chuck Jun Hyun's iron strike? No? Is that what you think? I can't use it even if I use the soul link? Even if I look into the soul's past? Even if you interact with a soul and look into the soul's past, you can't replicate all of its skills. You will only interact more deeply with the soul and replicate some of its abilities. These are the limits of using soul techniques. Only once and after that, the effects of the ticket will dissipate. One time. Don't take it so seriously. You've come this far, haven't you? Soul synchronization lasts for 10 minutes. The technique can only be used once. I didn't realize at that time and acted on instinct. Next time, I'll use it only when I'm sure I'll win. There are unforeseen circumstances to consider. Han Jae Young? Where did she go? I have to call her. Where's my cell phone? In my bag on my desk, it's nowhere. Maybe she went to the bathroom. No, come to think of it, she's never left without me. Did snakes really come to school? I didn't think they'd be reckless enough to come here. She's not inside the building. Where did she go? Did she... Hey, what about the transfer student? What made him rise so fast? I don't know. I heard he's strong. Where did he take her? Who? Wasn't that first year Han Ji Young? What do you want? Where's Han Ji Young? Ha ha ha, do you really want to know? I'll see what you do and decide whether to talk or not. Ha ha ha. Stop it, please stop it, I'll say it. I'll give you three seconds. Transferred student! He said he wanted to kidnap her. The sophomores wanted to make some money and decided to help him. Where are they? There's a lot of guys gathered at an abandoned warehouse. What about Han Ji Young? I did what you said. Good work. What are you going to do? That's none of your business. I secretly followed him because I was curious what the hell he was up to. Is it a transfer student? He just transferred and he's already up to something? The strength he showed in the test? Are these guys here sophomores? Is it really true that he's with them? He's gathered them all here. It reminded me of Lee Kyung Ho. Since then I've been openly ignored. At that moment the first blow had taken its toll. The rest was nothing special. I couldn't beat that pathetic actor. 
He made himself look like a laughingstock who can only molest the weak. Instead of Lee Kyung Ho, I'll catch that asshole and restore my name. Kyung was already there and had already punched one of the guys. There you are, you fool. Choi Hong Hee, founder of Taekwondo Sports and the International Taekwondo Federation. Where's Han Ja Young? What a jerk, he's not going to make it. The number of guys is smaller than it was back then, but there are a lot of guys here with a higher level of fighting. Besides, this guy does Taekwondo. Is he really going to fight this many people without using his right hand? I want to see you crawling and squirming in pain. The fight has begun. He's a Taekwondo champion. There's a lot of us. We can take him down. Let's go. Once again, he's scattering everyone one by one. What the hell? He's impossible to catch. Hey, stop. It's me. I actually came to help you. What? Chun Jin? Oh, look at this. A bodyguard beating up second graders. There are too many outsiders here. I'll leave them to you. Well, as expected. Let's get this under control. Here he is. Where's Han Ja Young? That's not the right question. Shouldn't you have asked if she's alive first? Of course, swinging your legs is a very useful skill. Kyung was preparing to deliver a powerful punch. He didn't even move. One punch isn't enough. Wait a minute. Did he do that on purpose? Did he lose his balance to make a powerful attack? Interesting. However, you didn't use the most important thing, the core. It didn't work? What's a cannonball? I heard that you're a bodyguard. That's why it doesn't take much intelligence to fight you. You're too predictable. Hello, yes. I'm in the building now. No, only one followed us. I think he's a bodyguard from the Sion group. Just like you said, Han Jae Young is finished. It was easy to do that. It wasn't that hard. You can only use 10 minutes of soul synchronization. Soul synchronization activated. He was about to hit him like Lee Kyung Ho. Han Jae Young was standing at the entrance. Boring, I told you to wait a bit. You're a liar. I sensed something wrong right away. You said you wanted to talk to Lee Kyung Ho alone. Eh? My phone? What was it doing at your place? First of all, I apologize for lying to you. The head of the Xi'an group, Yu Wu Jin, ordered it. I received special orders from the commander-in-chief, so I went back to Korea. The kidnapping was a test for you. Why would it be a test? You must know that the Snake Organization is targeting that lady again. Also, we've received information that there's a spy among the bodyguards. That's why I was summoned here to help track him down. Moreover, we needed to check the skills of the current bodyguards. I introduced myself to Madam that I am a member of the Xi'an group and came here under the orders of Yu Wu Jin. Please understand me. Later, I took her to a safe place. By the way, it took longer than expected. I'm sorry. If I were you, I would have finished it twice as fast. That kid. Go ahead, kill him. What's more, you've got a lot of learning to do. That was an overconfident decision to attack from behind. You can't handle a group of snakes without a core. What the hell is this? I think you're a little confused now that you've seen my right hand. By the way, do you have any idea who the spy is among us? If the spy is close to our leader, I'm sure it's gotten to the snake's ears by now. We need to destroy the fake, and you need to put more effort into your training. Yes, I'm sorry. I'll be careful in the future. That's right. It was my fault in the first place. No need to apologize. It's for the sake of our company. No, I'm going to ask you to step down as a bodyguard. Now that I'm injured, I can't practice. By the way, that guy. After what he said, there's nothing left to say. What the hell is he thinking? Moreover, the technique he used that time was like black magic. At first, I thought he was one of the snakes, however. He surprised me a lot. Ha Jin, why don't you start practicing properly? I've had enough of my own training. Is this an exercise or do you think basic training will advance my abilities? The snakes that Xi'an group is up against, they are people with high-level battle training. A single snake would be very difficult to deal with, much less a group. When the task force will be on dangerous missions, do you think they will be willing to risk their lives without much training? Are you guys going to do life-threatening task force missions in the future? To be honest, we're like dog food. You talk too much. Let's fight. Since you complain so much, I'll hear it in the ring with you. I heard you've met snakes before. Since you're one of the task force members now, you must have crossed the line between life and death. Come on, pick up the sword. Ha, it's not a sword at all. Be serious. You don't have to worry about that. Honestly, I don't expect anything new from you. Perfect in every way. The sparring has started. And one of the team leaders? He doesn't have any swordsmanship skills. He's so skillful at dodging attacks. He's already dodging unexpected attacks on automatic. Yu Wu Jin's first stance. Fast wind. I'll finish him once and for all. Eh? This swordsmanship technique belongs to our chief Yu Wu Jin. I definitely have to defeat you now. Stop it. Someone stop them. It was the former head of the bodyguard group, Lee Wan Young. This way you'll be fighting against your enemies. That man is Mr. Yu Wu Jin's teacher. The former head of the bodyguard group, Lee Wan Young. Before our swords could touch each other, he came between us. Until he appeared in front of me. I didn't feel his presence at all. This person also has a core, and from what I heard, he has the use of it. What is the core? I want to know more about it. Leader, have you met Ha Jin? I was just a little curious. 
No, he's a member of the task force directly under the leader's command. In simple words, he represents a different group. Their training and missions are completely different from ours. Didn't you meet him yourself? I heard you met him at school. Uh, yes, I met him at school. Then I'll be brief. I saw him using a strange ability. It seems like even the former headmaster knows what it is. It's a power called Core. The Core is an unknown force that currently has no scientific explanation. That's because its very existence was not known to anyone. I don't know about you, Wu Jin, the main leader, but Ha Jin said he learned it in less than a few months. All the detailed information is secret and cannot be revealed. I've told you the most basic things. I see. But I heard that this power can only be obtained after death. And according to a recent report, the Elder Snakes also possess this power. Elder Snakes? You already know that we also learned about the existence of snakes recently. Some say that the leader Yu Wu Jin had secretly dealt with them. After the leader went on a long business trip, smaller snakes started to appear. The snakes we were told about are among all the recorded snakes, the eldest among them. Only one person could have used this black shadow. These were the last reports given to us. The only ones who knew about it were the head supervisor and Ha Jin. No, I want to go to Japan for a school trip. Father looked at her very tiredly. A bodyguard's main job is to protect you. School trips will be dangerous, especially since the leader is absent. One of the main targets is you. The trip is possible if someone from Xi'an group accompanies you. Therefore, such trips, even without protection, are forbidden. Senior Snakes, what makes you say that? Chief Yu Wu Jin and our unit have received information from the snakes. The activity of snakes spreading in our territory has increased significantly. In particular, Belcher, a second-class snake, is already actively selecting people in Korea. Being in the second class, it has already managed to awaken the core and is now considered the most dangerous. I understand, but your overprotectiveness is so annoying. Lee Kyung Ho is much stronger than him. I'll be safe with him no matter where I am. Then how about this proposal? I'll take Lee Kyung Ho with me and together we'll catch the second class Belcher snake. I'm sure once he encounters it, he'll show his limit. Only team leader Yu, Wu Jin, and Ha Jin knew? Okay, team leader, but Ha Jin. Ha, it's simple, he was a member of the snake group. Ha Jin was a snake? To be more precise, it was said that he was a spy sent by Chief Yu Wu Jin. Due to some incident, he was forced to leave the place. I see. Then what are the odds that Ha Jin isn't a double spy? Supervisor Yu Jin himself checked everything. Therefore, there's no doubt. Now Ha Jin himself took me on a mission. Then who is the spy among us, if it's not Ha Jin? The mission? Is it because of the school trip? Now we have to go to Japan. So you have to earn trust first. You're here? Why did you come? You're the one who told me to resign as bodyguard. Madam is strongly opposed to your resignation, so let's wait a little longer. Is this the popular action movie? It looks epic. But why are you showing it to me? It's very well shot, though. You see it too? The man who plays the lead role here. He's incredibly handsome, and he's recently become very famous as an actor because of his excellent acting and fight scenes. Really? But why? I don't understand. That person. Our target, actor Lee Siak Jin, second-class snake Belcher. Actor, is this the information you got as a spy? It seems like you're already aware of it. That's good. Yes, that's when I received that information. I wasn't able to get specific data about him, such as what his true purpose is. Of all things, I only learned that he's a Belcher. But if the snake is such a celebrity, isn't it dangerous? For example, is he easy to catch? Or do many people find out about him? People don't know anything. He's a brutal killer who kills people, but if he does it quietly and behind his back, no one will know about it. There's been no clear evidence for days, so shouldn't we sue him for spreading false information? That would be very beneficial to us. First of all, he's a celebrity, so naturally he's going to watch his appearance. And of course we have a plan. What is it? The place where the snake gang gathers. If we find him, we have a chance to publicly expose him as a criminal. But that's just my guess. That's right. It would be the perfect trap for him. But where would we find this celebrity? Can ordinary people meet celebrities? Of course, we have one way. Are there any cast reunions from the Wild World remake on the shooting schedule today? Yes, there are. This is so boring. What should we do? By the way, who are the girls you've been in constant contact with? It was fun for a couple days, but now I'm sick of them. Suddenly, he saw two very beautiful girls in the window. Hey, stop, stop the car. Hurry up, hurry up. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Uh, what? Who's that strange man? Ah, what? Lee Siok Jin. Cool, I'm a fan. Is that really the real Lee Siok Jin? This is the jackpot. He smiled at them. Hello? So what are we doing now? Like I said, Belcher is a famous person. It would be very difficult for an ordinary person to get close to him. In which case, we're going to approach him as common laborers. Then why are we dressed like this? If he's a celebrity, is he in the remake of Wild World? Yeah, I showed you the original movie a while back. Belcher plays a supporting role in that movie. 
There are some places in the original work where copyrights were violated, so the movie was altered a bit. Please note that there have been some changes in the script. Now there will be a scene with a confrontation with the Tondeman organization. For the sake of example, I'll explain it to you. Hey, hat stuntman, one of you come over here. All right, the infiltration mission has begun. I'll be happy to work with you without interference, so watch closely. Now our hero will advise you in our action scene, so listen to our Seok Jin. We're about to have some epic hat knocked off scene. We're gonna have to get an angle, so do your best. Okay, here we go. That one hit him in the face, and Ha Jin very epically flew off to the side. Here we go, it's easy. Incredible scene, well done. Next, we don't have a lot of time left before the shoot, so do your best. It was so sudden. When Supervisor Yu Wu Jin hit me, I flew higher and higher. How long is this going to last? Don't worry, it will stop immediately when Belcher comes. By the way, when is he coming? Shooting time's over. The snake's not going anywhere? Guys, Mr. Siok Jin sent the coffee machine as an apology. He was delayed for two minutes due to an urgent matter. Let's drink coffee and get ready. Hmm? Yes, did Juice Jin send it? Heh, <laughs> thanks. Anyway, he has a really nice personality. This isn't a joke. It's not poisoned. I doubt a snake would do that. I'm two minutes late. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry you had to waste your valuable time waiting for me. Please forgive me again. That's the snake we're going to hunt. Take a good look. As his spy, I've gotten a lot of information about him. What's this? Did you spill tomato juice? Oh, I think the juice I was drinking the other day spilled. Oh, I'm a real slob. Be careful. Go and change your clothes. Yeah, okay. It'll be fun. A guy who doesn't even hide it. Tomato juice. How funny. It's not juice. Then it's, uh, it's blood. That's the belcher. He's a psycho who likes to drink human blood. I'm actor Lee Seok Jin. We'll start filming soon. Camera. Action. Didn't you understand the rest of it? If you continue, I'll have no other choice. You talk too much. The snake's code name is Belcher. His true nature is hidden deep inside. To some extent, I can understand him. But how did he become an actor? Is he himself a man who knows how to hide his true nature? There's nothing to pick on. A true professional at what he does. As soon as this scene is over and the next one is filmed, we'll start our operation. Good. What kind of operation? You have to stay alert. There could be other snakes around us. I'm thinking of summoning Belcher for a one-on-one -on -one and fighting him. The blood that was on Belcher's clothes earlier? It was still fresh. It's the blood of his recent victim. The reason he was late is probably because of that. So you can gather evidence and catch him? No. Your job is to get the manager's attention. Those who have the core are people who've been to the brink of death. Now you're no match for snakes that use a core. You'll be the bait. I'll take care of the rest. When this is over, go to a safe place. Ah, you're Lee Seok Jin's manager, right? There's been a misunderstanding. Lee Seok Jin is fighting on the set. That's good. I got it. The van doors are unlocked. Let's take a quick look around. All right, let's get started. Let's see what they're hiding here. I wonder how many victims. Hmm, that's odd. There's nothing suspicious here. I'm sure there's something here. Uh, what's that? As expected. Victim. We're done. Thank you all for your efforts. It's been a hard day today. So check your next shooting schedule and you can leave. Great job. The staff did a great job too. See you all at the next shoot. Woo, everything went smoothly. Well, apart from some false alarms, it was fine. Somebody's making a joke or something? If it wasn't for filming, I would have snapped his neck quickly. Ah, what the hell is this? A note? Besides the corpse under the back seat of the van, I found many other clues that will reveal your identity. Don't contact any other snakes and come alone. The meeting place is written on the back. Belcher. A level 2 snake with an awakened core. If lower class snakes arrive, there's a risk of dealing with several of them at once. Lee Kyung Ho will only get in the way. Take this. Is that a pen with a tracking sensor? It's best to keep it. Besides, it'll call for help if something happens. If something happens, he'll break it and deliver an emergency signal. The signal will come in the form of a vibration. You there yet? Belcher. The note. Did you send it to me? Stop wasting time talking. If you don't want to lose your acting career, you should lay low. No, no, I can turn any revelations you make into rumors. That's why it's not going to work. But you're not shy. You really came alone? Yes, I came alone. I don't want to share my loot. Since you're a celebrity, I won't touch your face. You're bluffing. A fight broke out. At some point, Hajin tripped over a brick and Belcher decided to seize the moment. But he didn't succeed because Hajin turned around and threw a punch to the head. Oh, sorry, I guess I'll have to wear the mask. I'll get right to the point. Use your core. Although I have a pretty good idea what your core is. Ah, so you've seen death. What the hell is a core? I've heard you can only get it if you've been to the border with death. It has to do with death. Eh? Ah, right. Are there other people who signed the contract besides me? I just heard about one bodyguard. No, you're the only one. Phew, that's good. However, there are thieves. Thieves? Yes, and there are many. People who go out of their way to defy death. If they can only get it by reaching death, 
No way. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen users like this that I've completely forgotten myself. I wonder how many of us are so special. Also, how do you know about my core? It's quite interesting. Then, let's see if your judgment of it is correct, shall we? Well, I think you must have a reason why you decided to participate in the filming. Also, you must have borrowed the core from Lynx. Bobcat core, best fighter. Are you making fun of me? Then let's see how good you are. The core is practically the souls of great figures who have left their names in history. By having a core, you can temporarily adopt their skills, some of their power and abilities. Lynx was known for his incredible leg kicks, so you have to compare whose leg will be stronger. Opening the core. Let's take a risky step. It's gonna be hard to concentrate on the attack because you have to dodge the lunge. He's deliberately throwing those punches, isn't he? As I suspected, all his power and speed has increased significantly. However, such swift attacks also have a huge disadvantage. Therefore, every action of his has a different direction. In simple words, all of his movements must be connected by the flow of his body to generate a certain force for a single movement. No matter how fast it is, I will read your actions. Haha, <laughs> you think you can stop me? That's how it is. You're going to hit me from here? That's crazy. When I was a mercenary, many of my friends got hurt. It was very hard, so I decided to lead a lonely life. Unlike life in the peaceful skies, being a mercenary was directly related to survival. Even at a young age, working as a mercenary, I had the goal of surviving, not dying. So I practiced very hard. I lived with only one thought, to become stronger. However, it wasn't enough. There was a limit. And I couldn't go beyond it, because the wall was too big to climb over. People have their limits. Why the hell? Human limits? You talk like you know how humans work. No matter how many different physical attributes they possess, there is a limit that any human can reach. Without any modifications, humans can't go beyond their limits. That's right. You're going to die soon, so let me dispel your doubts. Like you said, all humans have physical limitations. A wall that can't be climbed over no matter what. A wall that you felt in front of you and was your human limit. However, none of this is true. There are people who have managed to cross that wall. How is it? For a reason, of course. They received the power of the dead. What? Even if you don't believe me, your fate is already sealed. Ah, what? Where? That stranger? He wiped out all the mercenaries. What the hell did that stranger say? Am I dead? What the hell is this? What does it say? That's right. He said there was a price for everything. In return, they get the power of the dead. So I'm not dead yet? How do I get out of here? What do these letters mean? And how do I know what it says? The names written on this door. People whose names are so big that they've been written down in history. It sort of says that the names engraved here can be used. Then inside it. Shit, my hand is sucked in. It's gonna be fucking ripped off. Did I touch something I shouldn't have touched? Is what I'm seeing now the past of the dead? I have to do something. The faster I concentrate, the fewer names appear before me. I mean, he used that power himself. Especially since that guy knew he said it was possible to use the power of the dead. Physical limitations, limits of ability, the limits of man himself. EA, I will transcend all these limitations. I will surpass all men. A new shell of another soul has appeared on his body and soul. I don't know whose core you're using right now. But didn't you come here to show me? I did. But even if I show you my core, you won't tell anyone else about it. Because I will destroy you. I can't believe that someone like you was on the verge of death and managed to get the core. You're so pathetic. I also wonder how you had the guts to threaten me. Or is this revenge for the people I killed? No, it's not for them. It's something else. Who sent you to me? You don't look like someone who would be a hero for nothing. I was sent by Yu Wu Jin of the Xi'an group. We're the ones who hunt snakes like you. Yu Wu Jin's gang. Well, the games are over. Let's start the real battle now. Games? Did he use the core? His movement style has changed. Okay, don't panic. Wait a minute. He's using my moves. What? It's not like I'm hiding my core from him, but how can two cores be the same? That doesn't make any sense. It's not Lynx's core. I just scanned your movements, saw how your muscles work, how much power you use in your punches. Now I'll show you how the fake beats the original. Core Vario, martial artist. Xi'an Group Special Organization under Yu Wu Jin's command. A few months ago, there was an order to be careful of these people. I heard they hunt snakes indiscriminately. Besides, has he managed to copy my skills? How long are you going to stand still? There's no need to panic. Right now, I need to stay cool in my actions and thoughts. If I lose control in the heat of the moment, I'll lose. After all, he hasn't seen my skills that I haven't used yet. What? You can't follow my movements? You're still learning, you fool. Even if it's not your skill, my guys are much better with the core. Mass murders committed by you. All these strange crimes. They need to be solved and publicized. Just as the manager came in, he stopped Hajin and attacked. The manager? He's a snake. I barely managed to avoid being hit. Plus, he managed to hit me. If I hadn't dodged, he would have crushed my skull. Even among the second class, he's much stronger than Belcher. 
No, he's definitely first class. I thought he was just an ordinary man that Belcher had tied to him. I guess I was wrong. What's wrong? He's one of Yu Wu Jin's followers. Apparently he's on a mission to destroy me. He's not an ordinary person. He has a core. What kind of core does he use? The ability to copy the skills of another. The longer you fight, the more he scans you. What an unusual guy. I don't have time to linger here now. The summoning is coming up. Convocation? If there are any other snakes here besides these two, it seems they've decided to attack first. The two main users, I'm on the losing end. I have to report to the others. You, I've seen you somewhere before. That's right, a class 4 serpent, am I right? So fast. A few months ago a snake was reported killed, I remember it very well. With just one hand, are you kidding me? Core Kim Jong, Joseon's best fist. You're good, you managed to infiltrate the snake lair and spy on us while pretending to be a level 4 snake. And no one could see you. My breath! He's dangerous, we have to do something! Do you want to run away? My body can't take another hit. There's no chance of beating them now. There's no way to escape. No matter how talented you are, you've lost. The conditions are not favorable for you right now. The wall? I'll send you where you need to go. What is that? Dust? No, it's smoke. All right, we need to head straight for the exit. Are you serious? Belcher attacked him. Oh shit, I can't. It hurts. So why'd you start crawling now? You disgusting bastard. Don't jump to conclusions, you hear me? You're really pissing me off. No, not here. I can't die here. I have to pass on the information first, then I can die in peace. Belcher's manager is a senior snake. The snake started a group mission. He went up to him and smashed his phone. Don't try that. You want to send the information to Yu Wu Jin, right? What makes you think you're going to die now? I was shocked when I found out he was able to copy my core. Hey, you copied it, right? The more I think about it, the angrier I get. You said you were scanning the actions of others. That's a pretty strange kernel. You met a very dangerous user, but I don't like male blood. So it's easier to kill you. It didn't work. I thought I'd gotten stronger through increased training, but it's not enough. I came here because I saw the signal was gone. I think I'm just in time. The signal's gone. Did I break the pen during the battle? Why did you come here? Don't you need help? Get out of here. There are two core users here. The core. The ones who steal the powers of the dead? What do you know about it? He's not a core user, is he? Yes, they borrow the powers of people who died in the past. Just a bodyguard. No, even a good soldier can't beat them. Hurry up and leave. Really? Borrowing the power of the dead? Then, the soul of Kim Do Han, the best fighter in Korea. Do you think I'll lose to this kind of fighter? This is some kind of nonsense. It doesn't have a core. He won't be able to defeat them. Are you on his team too? So still not awakened? Yu Wu Jin's henchman? Doesn't look that dangerous. He's just a bodyguard from the Xi'an group, isn't he? I don't think he will become an obstacle for us. Let's just get him out of the way. Oh no, Lee Kyung Ho won't be able to withstand his blows. He leaned on Ha Jin and jumped over him, striking Belcher. Belcher flew to the other end of the warehouse. Does this bastard have a core? No, I didn't notice anything when he hit you. There are two options, either he hides his core well, or he himself is the monster. His guys are interesting. I'm sure third level snakes won't be able to handle you. Second class snake, I heard he has the lynx core. Quite fast and flexible. However, this is not enough to defeat me. Serpent of the second level, I heard that you were at level 3 until you awakened your core. Just think how quickly you moved to second grade. Wanted to get promoted to first class by chasing your seniors? This method is quite interesting, but nothing more. Are you completely stupid? This is the fastest way to get to first class. Even if you complete dozens of missions, it is not a fact that you will be able to reach first class. Compared to fighting opponents at a level higher than you, it will be much faster and more reliable. Those who don't think so are stupid. But why do you want to go to the first level? I am tired of this. What? I tried to drink as much blood as I needed, however, everything became monotonous. Old people, young people, everyone has the same blood. I am not satisfied. Therefore, I want to be the first to do whatever I want. Then I will be completely satisfied. Blood? Do you want to be first just because of this? What a strange guy. Only? No, it's not because of the blood. And because I can afford myself beyond what is permitted. All of us in the second grade should be the same in strength. And everyone has one goal. To enter and reach the first level. Aren't you like that? Belcher, we have plenty of snakes like you. Those that awakened the core and became stronger. But that's all. For the first level, it is not enough to just awaken the core. You will never be first in your current state. My body doesn't move. Lee Kyung Ho. I didn't even think he had power. When did he become so strong? If these two are distracted, there will be an opportunity to escape. Belcher had various attacks, but the decisive blow had not yet been made. Nothing much is known about his manager. Here he is the most dangerous of all. Are you also a member of the organization? I did not know. Not really. Forgive me for trampling your talent here. However, you came here yourself. Let's get started.
He started to attack, but Kion dodged. Kyung Ho is, he still won't beat the manager. We must retreat. Even if he increases his speed and agility, he will not be able to win this fight, because the strength levels are completely different. This guy, he's too fast, he reads all my attacks. He's totally watching me. There's a reason I read all your attacks. What? The core of the dead is a steel. You're using Kim Do Han's core, right? How did he know I didn't show him my core? I can tell just by looking at your movements. What is this guy talking about? What's happening? I don't know how, but he completely reads my movements. Maybe this guy is just copying? No. This is different from copying. Is this some other core that we don't know about? This is a difficult feeling of fighting against a strong enemy. Feels like I'm fighting a reflection of my core. Do you want to become a first-class snake yourself? How funny! What a freak! However, this can be done by forming a team. You can compensate for my shortcomings. By uniting, we can become the first. We don't have time. This kid is a big threat to us in the future. We must get rid of him here and now. My core strength takes a long time to focus. Because of this, it would be easy for me to be counterattacked before I could activate the core. We need to divert his attention. First class can only be achieved in this way. Ha! Hit right on target. Lee Kyung Ho. Eh? What's happened? Manager Belcher's mouth began to bleed. Don't know. I attacked him at the right moment. But it was as if he was waiting for my attack. I don't understand anything. How does he know about all my attacks? You said you wanted to get rid of me without knowing anything about your opponent. Kion synchronized the souls and activated the core. Now Kim Do Han's core is mine. What? What is this feeling? I feel... Danger? So strange. This is similar to how I felt when I first received the core. From these sensations, it seems as if my whole body is about to be torn apart. Such a huge rock that will crush me. My legs are shaking. What a goat! This guy hits hard. If he hits me again, my body simply won't be able to handle it. Get ready. What? Belcher decided to take the finishing blow, but the manager ran after him to stop him. The manager grabbed him in his arms and ran. This power, it is definitely not simple. We must run away. Scary. Even the first level wasn't that scary. It was definitely a monster. Is this some new colonel? No, this isn't core strength, is it? What? It was as if he had become that person from the past. Where does he get such strength from? It was said that it has no core, then what is it? Then I thought it was just my imagination. But everything turned out differently. He could easily send me to the next world. How deeply I was mistaken. Fine, we monitor and keep it under control. It seems there are more advanced snakes than we thought. The former head of Xi'an Group is Li Wan Young, and some of the higher level ones we were following suddenly disappeared. If anything changes, stay in touch. By the way, I heard that Hajin went hunting for Belcher with a newbie from the headquarters. You know, right? This employee is Li Kyung Ho, who recently joined the company as a special employee. I don't know if they fought together or not. Li Kyung Ho? I'm sure this is the one I saw with Shane. I instructed Ha Jin to keep an eye. Did he end up taking the task? I'll have to ask him what happened. Okay, thanks. Just in case, send more people on the mission. There will be additional support for the team. Do you have any good employees for the team? I'll try to look and choose who can be sent. By the way, is the lady going on a school trip? I thought that Ha Jin would go with her. But apparently, I decided that she was safe and there would be no problems. I wonder why he changed his mind so abruptly. A guy who can infiltrate as a high school student. We need to choose someone quite young and experienced. Thanks for the fight. Exactly. There is one person who will be able to cope with this task. Wait, if that guy... Ha Jin was having lunch and Kyung was looking for him. As soon as he heard Kyung calling him, he immediately ran out of the dining room. I thought he was having breakfast, but he's not here either. Where did he go? Ha Jin. And even in the shower? Ha Jin. Where is he? He never said whether I was allowed to go on the school trip or not. Have you seen Ha Jin? I don't know. And I don't want to see him. How embarrassing that I told him all this then. Damn it. How can I look him in the eye now? Meanwhile, some girl was taking a shower and suddenly someone called her. Hello? Yes, boss. Everything is fine. What is it? What? Drive? Can you be more specific? Huh? High school? It's only been six months since I graduated from school. Will I look too young to be a teacher? What? Schoolgirl? From surprise, all the contents poured out of the mouth. Wait. Wasn't Ha Jin supposed to take this task? Yes, but we need more people. More people? Ha Jin is quite strong. It's true, in the future he will definitely be one of the strongest, but now there is one catch. Well, since it's for the sake of the company, then okay. Yes. Age. 17 years? Will I pretend to be three years younger? Is there something wrong? Well, the school uniform may not suit me because of my weight. Yes. One size larger, please. Fine, I will wait for your instructions. Yes, thank you for not complicating the task for me. Lee Kyung Ho. I don't think it's just a coincidence. Stupid. Eh. Ha Jin, you bastard. I'll have to go back to school again because of him. Hey, why is there such a crowd in the cafeteria today? Maybe they added something tasty to the menu? 
Ice cream? Ice cream. Well, you can buy ice cream. That girl has such strange hair. Is she new at school? Wow, two-tone hair. So beautiful. Hmm. What is it? There is a girl in our group who really pisses me off. I understand there are people who are full of energy. However, she nearly broke her opponent's spine during training. Just the thought makes me cower in fear. Oh, Hajin, long time no see. Do you know each other? Yes, and we haven't seen each other for a long time. Didn't they tell you that I was coming? I'll be in your class, so sorry, haha. Even though it's late, let's have lunch together and introduce ourselves to each other. Besides, I didn't come here of my own free will, so watch your language. Hello, miss. I was sent here to assist in the mission to ensure your safety, eh? Oh, yes, hello. We're in the same class, so it's okay. That's right, haha. -ha. I am Baek Yeo Rin. I am 20 years old, so you and I are almost the same age. Please take care of me as well as Hajin. Yu Wu Jin sent me here just like him. I promise I will protect you even at the cost of my life. If you have any difficulties, always contact me. Why did she decide to eat with us? It would be better if she moved to another place. Ha Jin, how long has it been since we saw each other? Are you uncomfortable with me? And don't dream, this will never happen. By the way, if you think about it, since our last mission, you began to avoid me often. You thought it was just a lot of work. Hmm, the last mission was with Belcher? I heard it was very dangerous. It's been a long time since I last saw you train. Maybe we can fight on the roof. Oh, Lee Kyung-ho, maybe you'll join too. Look at our abilities. Oh yes, of course, I don't mind. I wonder if the mold has lost its shape or not. Never. Hajin, have you become stronger since then? Activation of the core. Hajin also activated his core. Still, my body is not yet fully recovered. However, I can't lose. I trained hard to beat Belcher. It's really been a long time. Haven't you become stronger? Have you done basic training? This means you are using your original abilities. All you shouldn't do is overuse your core. Do you think you can cope without a core? Are there real monsters like you? She is the same as Belcher. She also awakened her core early. Talking can sometimes be such a distraction from fighting. What a pity. You relied on your core and ignored your original strength and potential. All you wanted was to strengthen the core. You are weakened. Your physical data is simply worse than ever. Boring. The whole point is to break through all limitations, putting new strength above all else. That's what your mistake was, actually. Of course, I do not deny the fact that the awakened ones are very different from ordinary people. This technique was one of the foundations of my training. You still have a long and difficult road ahead. Lee Kyung-ho. The manager ordered me to keep an eye on him. He also participated in the Belcher mission. I became really interested. Lee Kyung-ho, would you like to spar? I want to see your skills and abilities. I definitely won't be able to use my power here. And lately, I haven't really used it much. However, some of the power of the used perfume still remained in me. If I try, I can use their abilities. Okay, let's try to fight. Surely this will be enough to just practice. You need to remember the movements. The same feeling as when I synchronized with Jun Kyung's soul. He attacked her, but she seemed to have miscalculated the strength. What the hell? His posture seemed so dangerous, so I put in enough of my strength. Come to think of it, it was quite strange. Knocked out with one blow? Lee Kyung, Ho, are you okay? It's okay. Why the hell is he hiding all his power? How can we now determine its maximum? Meanwhile, can we come in? Just come in already. As he entered, someone threw a knife, and it flew into the wall, right next to his head. Kararika, second grade. You came on time. It must be hard being a celebrity. I can't say how much time has passed. What should we do with you? Why don't you organize your schedule correctly? Sorry, we didn't even look at the time. I heard that Yu Wu Jin sent a man to attack Belcher. Were you together? Hwasa, second grade. The man who is in everyone's sight was caught so easily. Not surprising. Banshee, second grade. Rootless bandits who know no mercy. Do you even know why you were called here? Do you even know that no one wants to work with you because of your dirty character? Why don't you kill one of us? Aren't you talking too much? Let's stick together for now and humbly wait for one of us to get a promotion. Don't force your vile breath on me. Even if I kill you, I won't get promoted. Your words don't hurt me at all. Stop talking nonsense already and sit quietly. The time for the meeting has already passed anyway. Two of the seven summoned did not come, so we will forget them. Aren't you in too much of a hurry? They don't know anything. Wouldn't it look like we were going it alone? It doesn't matter anymore. They were the first to break the rule and didn't come on time. Let's start with those who arrived. Attention, there will be a departure tomorrow. Prepare well. Overseas protection mission. Meet me at the airport. School trip? The road again? Since we are leaving the school, the training camp will be held in it. Japan. Will everything go so smoothly? Although maybe I can learn something on this school trip. The mission is to get rid of the fugitives and destroy Han Che Yong from the Xi'an group in Japan. On a school trip, we ended up in Japan. Honestly, I was very surprised when I saw where we stopped. And it seems to me that I'm not the only one. Obviously, the money we paid for the trip would not be enough to live in such a complex. Yes, he's huge. 
In fact, I provided some support on behalf of my family. Now I definitely want to make friends with you. Honestly, me too. Attention. The tour will take place as scheduled. Every day we are given a certain amount of free time, so get ready at the appointed time. Even in your free time, stick together and don't go anywhere. Take care of your bandmates. So, we have five people in the group. Since there are more people, we were divided into groups, just like those bastard snakes. They think it will be easier for the children. Ash is in our group. Damn, they didn't even let me smoke a cigarette. Oh, hey, hey, are you new? Maybe we can get to know each other better? Get your hands off before I break them for you. What? You're annoying. You did not understand? Oh, don't be so rude. Let's have some fun. Also tattoos. With Ha Jin and Ye Rin, Che Young will definitely be safe. But there is one big problem. The school trip ends in five days. How do I find snakes? Should I ask souls? What if I can't solve this problem in these five days? Suddenly, to the side, he saw Sierra, who was sitting and reading something. Yeah, she already has her own room here, too. Do you follow me even on a school trip? I thought it would be much more interesting here. Ah, I see. How are things down there? I erased the memories of many, but what? Has she really erased the memory of so many people? Surprising. No, it doesn't matter now. We need to ask her for a hint. You came here for something else, right? Oh no, I came here to say hello. I hope you just came with me on a school trip, haha. It seems like you've gotten rid of the habit of getting straight to the point. Haha, <laughs> of course not. I know why you are here, that's why I chose you. If you want something from me, you must present equal conditions for this, right? Ha. So since all the remaining souls were sealed inside the tickets, you will have to think about other conditions. Maybe offer one of your organs. Sounds cruel. While I was erasing everyone's memories, I was so tired. Mrs. Sierra, I will give you a first-class massage. This is a soft and lively chair, especially for Mrs. Sierra. Have a seat, madam. Damn, I got ahead of myself. This guy again? So, what are you interested in? It would be difficult to find the soul of a mother in this vast Japan. Hmm? It's a bit uncomfortable to sit. However, I can give you a hint. Please, no matter how hard I tried, there was only one answer. It's impossible. This time, the hint will be different from the previous ones. A clue about your mother's soul. It has something to do with guys who have snake tattoos. A gang of snakes have already arrived at the appointed place. Let me know that we have arrived in Japan. Have already done. Both you and I have anaconda numbers. There's no point in calling her. Well, I'll finish all my business and join you. Chararika climbed up the buildings to the roof. Don't stand like a pillar. And I'll give you advice. It's better to act alone than to move around with garbage that doesn't match our grade. Then see you next time. Belcher, shut up. What? Don't touch this guy. He was the one who killed other snakes to get promoted, just like you. However, he hunted class two and three snakes. Now he seems to have lost interest, but whoever he is, I will do whatever I want. I mean, he can be stronger than us, because he single-handedly destroyed the second and third grades, and I achieved the second one without a core. Rumor has it that he managed to destroy a second-class snake without a core, even though it's just a rumor. Kararika itself is scary. I'm sure he's no ordinary snake. I also heard that the core he awakened is very strong. It's been a long time since he got his second grade. And just because the class is the same, doesn't mean the power is equal. Chararika is now one of the snakes closest to first class. The second level snakes flew to Japan. This information reached them quite quickly. It's good that we sent several guys. Yes, then let's start everything gradually. Where is former boss Lee Won Young? Sir, I have an urgent question for you. You said that I could handle the core. I came here to find out the secret of the core. This guy is definitely... As the company said, fine, I understand. An interesting guy appeared here. I'll contact you later. I've heard enough about you. Do you even know what a colonel is? No, but I know a way to become much stronger than I am now. And he is full of spirit. It's a pity. You're like a frog in a well now. He still has to learn and learn. Does he mean I can't handle it? Quite a stubborn old man. Follow me if you want to become stronger. You must be ready to die. I'm sure this will help subdue the snakes. Everyone, concentrate. Let's start moving and then free time will appear. Like I said before, don't go anywhere alone. Why are you so nervous? I came here to protect my lady, not to walk around Japan. Lee Kyung Ho, what do you think? Let's go for a walk. Oh yes, come on. Sierra did everything much earlier than me. The snakes are already in Japan. Their target is Han Che Yan. I thought that the snakes I met earlier were just a coincidence. However, there are other snakes that I encountered while searching for my mother's soul. This time the snakes will meet with a specific purpose. The snakes are obviously somehow connected to my mother's soul. Then, from now on, I will chase the snakes myself. Be careful or you will get lost. And if you turn somewhere, you will do it even faster. Lady, just follow me. And Keon kept thinking about how he could get out of there. Really? Have you spent your whole life at home? Ah, uh, I couldn't go out anywhere because security was always watching over me. So this is my first trip. What is it? 
this is bad. A street prank begins. The main prize this year is a six-day vacation at the Springs. Hearing this, a crowd of people ran there to watch or participate. Their whole company was pushed aside. Sorry, move over. Oh, I beg your pardon. What the hell is this? Well, what are you planning to do? The company split into three and everyone ended up in different places. Where are we? I don't know, I'm so bored. Where did everyone go? There are so many people that they all look the same. And they are almost the same height. Maybe we can try to squeeze out the yen. <sighs> there are a lot of high school kids here, huh? However, I can't do this because you look like a nerd who will blab everything. It's noisy. Maybe we should buy something to eat somewhere? Why is he not listening to me at all? It doesn't fit at all. Maybe try it yourself? Why doesn't he answer? There are a lot of people he probably can't hear. You'll have to look for it yourself. I'll be back soon, stay close. Will she find us later? Yes, if anything happens, she will call us. Plus, I have a tracking pen. We have received information that they have arrived in Japan. Great, search the whole country, but find them. They sent us information about them. It's so hot, I can't breathe. Where are they? Why is the phone not working? Damn, I still want to smoke. Hey, do you have any cigarettes? It's hot, I can't do it anymore. Where is everyone? Damn, it bakes unrealistically. Hey, what are you doing? What is that tattoo on your neck? So who else is it? Suddenly he saw that the man was not alone. They were surrounded. Oh, sorry. Are you somehow connected to this sign? What? What are they doing? Who are they? I don't understand Japanese. Senior, they must not understand Japanese. You understand me? What kind of tattoo do you have? Eh? What? There's no point in talking to them. Just use force and that's it. Answer. I don't understand. Why did they pester us? They must know something. Answer. Deaf or what? Answer me already, you freak. However, something is wrong here. Fuck off. I did not do anything. Please help me. I don't know what they want from me. What should I do? I will save you. Suddenly, Yeo Rin appeared and scattered them. God, who are they? Why did they attack you? I don't know. Suddenly, they came up to me and started beating me. The Yakuza just came up and started beating me. There must be a reason. I think if we talk, we can solve the problem peacefully. Also, I don't know Lee Kyung Ho's real skills. How did he become a bodyguard? Grab this woman. Didn't you see how she kicked one of ours? She's a monster in a girl's body. Bakamono? Monster? How infuriating. I don't know Japanese, but I know Bakamono for sure. We'll have to destroy you guys. Be careful, Lee Kyung Ho. We will fight to protect ordinary citizens. Begin. I'll take the initiative into my own hands. If one of them is knocked out, the rest will hesitate. Can't you beat one girl? Deal with the guys nearby. Kian's attacker didn't have time to attack him before Yeo Rin stabbed him with an umbrella. Stop standing. Yes, that's right. But is it worth interfering? Oh, here's another one. Weapons are good, but regular items can also be used. How do you like this blow? They are not like snakes, but Yeo Rin is fighting without a core now. So strong. I felt the same way when we were on the roof, but she really is a monster. Well, are you guys finished yet? You must know something about snakes. Do not move. If you move, I'll cut his throat. Stay where you are. Damn, I got distracted too early and completely forgot about him. I won't be able to get to him in less than one second. You can try, hoping for a slow reaction from this guy. But it's a risk. Stay where you are. If you don't want to see your friend's corpse, then don't move. When suddenly Kion suddenly approached him, grabbed him by the suit, and threw him over himself. Lee Kyung Ho. That's right. There had to be a reason why Xi'an Group accepted him. It's quite fun in Japan. We should go back to the others. Earlier, these guys showed us a picture of a snake tattoo. They must have something to do with snakes if they are looking for them. What? Are these guys related to snakes? They must be Yakuza from Korea. One ran away. Then we will interrogate them and find out what their intentions were. Let's find this freak first. Didn't he have a mole under his eye? Hello, are you Yakuza? Why are you silent? She killed everyone. Ah, no, we are not Yakuza. See? Do you know this sign? I count to three. Do you know or not? I do not speak English. I don't think we'll find him now. How annoying. I can't do it anymore. There is little free time left. We need to go back. We need to contact the others. I don't even know who the Yakuza are. However, they are somehow related to snakes. We need to go back to the park to find the others. I hope they are still there. Meanwhile, Chararika stood among the corpses of some men. Hey, have you seen this girl? No, quite a beautiful girl. Damn it, I wonder when will I find it. It's so hard to understand people from the other side. Mortal boredom. When suddenly he turned around and saw her. Haven't answered yet? Looks like it'll take a while. There's something wrong here. The handle sensor moves so actively. They went far from the park. Suddenly he heard some noise in the bushes. Cat? Phew, it's just a cat. Animals. They only distract attention. Ha, not bad. Great reaction. Ha, Jin. It seems everyone has already fled. Well, after all, 30 minutes have passed. It was that guy. It is he. He was with a guy who had a snake tattoo. These Yakuza are definitely from Korea. Have you gathered the rest? 
It seems that monster girl has left. This guy is not that strong. Wasting a ticket on guys like this is a waste of time. Although, since I fought Shane, I have never fought without a ticket. Maybe try? That's right, I know how to scatter them all. You just need to remember everything. That's exactly what he did. What the heck, he wasn't that strong. As I thought, you can't stun everyone with one blow, but still, I don't have a ticket. It won't be any stronger. But it's worth it. Little by little, you need to increase your endurance. What a guy, I came as soon as I heard screams. What happened? What? Has she already dealt with everything? Do you think they are from Korea? I came across them by accident. He brought them. Hey, are you going to remain silent? Okay, then let's continue your beatings and torture. I don't like taciturn people. I will knock out one tooth every third second. I'll start counting. In three, two, those little bastards. We are the Yakuza who are in the marine tourism business. Maritime business? Then why are the Yakuza looking for snakes? We don't know the details. We were ordered to find these snakes here, and they sent us a photo of their neck tattoos, as well as a little information about them. Their mission is to study snakes, but the existence of snakes is not known to everyone, which means that they have information about other snakes. Are they chasing snakes? Hmm, is your boss a snake too? No, no way. Okay then, good night. These guys definitely don't work for snakes. That's all? Yes, I received the necessary information. It's their boss's calling card, you know the one? Signal from Ha Jin? I received an emergency signal from him, did you see? Need to go. It's in the park. Go there or meet us right away at the hotel. Fine. Decided to attack from behind? What a shame. I studied the Belcher and San Ho colonels. I'm sure I can defeat him. My first opponent as a warm-up. And you hide well. I didn't notice you right away. He opened his core. Come on, one-eyed man, let's fight. Ha Jin, the guy from the Sion group. Weren't you the one who fought those two trash? Come on, show what you can do. Kidnapping a person in broad daylight is pretty brave, don't you think? We need to take some time. The famous commander Lin Zhou, who was the king's bodyguard. I remember he was famous for his loyal subjects. It won't be easy with him. Madam, run away and hide somewhere. The opponent is quite strong. Fine. And you soberly assess the situation. So it was still you who fought those two? Last stand? Are you talking about Belcher? I wanted to ask why you keep such garbage on your team. Garbage? I don't team up with trash on the team. Right. He's much stronger. Shit. If I had known this would happen, I would have taken a real sword. Fast. Is he deliberately not using weapons? No, he definitely hit a weapon somewhere. As soon as I see a weak point, I will cause damage. Now, he hit him, but he was able to dodge. Boy, block the blow, otherwise you will die. You must avoid his attacks and immediately counterattack. We have to bring him down somehow. It's core. An incredibly strong core that I've ever seen. He's definitely different from Belcher. The feeling is the same as then. When I first fought Yeo Rin. Yes, now I felt the same. But after I learned about her main task in the mission, even after the Belcher fight, I wasn't this nervous. This guy is very strong. Trot mastery does not help. Don't you feel sorry for your legs? I can break them too. Nothing helps. I need to stop him. Disappointing. This guy, he couldn't beat Belcher and Sunho with his abilities. He is very weak. Are there snakes stronger than Belcher? None of my attacks work against him. I need a strong attack. Ah, as a result, 78 victories and zero defeats. How can you not win at least once? I taught you all the basics. Are you serious? I'm looking forward to defeating you as quickly as possible. What's your core? I've given you the basic skills. There's no point in copying her movements. They are too perfect for me. I can't make you stronger in such a short period of time. I understand this myself. Listen carefully. Your core at the moment will be your eyes. Perhaps you will be able to copy my movements. I need to remember all her movements. Copying is complete. Your strong skill is copying someone else's core. Because I'll teach you something. Haha, <laughs> something stupid again? What? So is that all? Didn't I say that if the equipment is garbage, you will remain garbage? Tell me where is the girl? I know you have a tracking sensor. I don't know. I'm not such a patient person, if anything. If you don't answer, I'll cut out your tongue. Let's not waste each other's time. Fuck you. Huh, I think I hit you too hard. He attacked him, but he suddenly disappeared right before his eyes. You held up well. Yo Rin pulled him aside. Oh, it seems something else interesting has arrived. Huh. So who's beating up my brother? Now I will make you crawl on the ground. What bold words. I've explored all kinds of other nuclei. General Dong Ho wielded the greatest power during the Wei Dynasty. He was appointed general to protect the imperial family. These two, like the dragon and the tiger, are about 50% of what will not be completed until the end. And now this battle will come between them again. What an interesting umbrella you have. That's right. This is a special umbrella. He has an excellent and flexible mind. He is definitely not a simple snake. While dodging, you need to think about how and where to attack him. And she's fast. Wow, he's stronger than he seemed. What's next? Not bad. You were able to dodge because you were spinning your body in the air? And I underestimated you. You think correctly, Hajin. Yes, sister. I'll let you know what kind of core it has. 
The core of a great man is a fighter who has two fighting aspects. What? Two aspects? Yes. The first is the musculoskeletal system, which strengthens the muscles. They are like those snakes we met earlier. The second core is associated with the nervous system, increasing flexibility, speed, and direction of movement. Belcher is one such case. It adds new strength to the original physical abilities. The guy who looks like he has nothing but muscles. This guy has a longevity core, which is why he is so strong. How noisy it is. So what should I do with you? Of course, an awakened muscle core is stronger than a nervous one. However, the nerve core is much faster and more flexible. Therefore, both cores have their advantages. The reason I say this is because the strategy when hunting snakes will change. Strategy? Exactly. Knowing their strength, you can easily deal with them. Hmm, how tiresome it all is. Sister said that the strategy will vary depending on the core. She is very fast, does not give him a normal opportunity to attack, so she blocks his core power. Of course, he also avoids all the attacks she throws at him, but if all the blows are summed up, then the sister should have the last blow. Once I get used to it, it won't be a big deal. It's like developing a conditioned reflex. Do you think you can avoid this? Nothing will work out. I already know everything. Wait, did she do this on purpose? Crap, it's already late. How do you like barehanded fighting? I didn't even use any technology. Very comfortably. What else is this? Japanese police, how annoying. Well, I saw your maximum. See you later. And next time, we'll fight seriously. This guy, he's much stronger than I thought. Yes, I should have brought another weapon. That's crazy. This is madness. Do you want to attack our Yakuza headquarters alone? Do you think you can survive? Yes, you will die like a dog. Ha <laughs> ha, shut up, I'm not interested. You just need to answer my questions without further ado. Well, I'm off. Hard. Banshee smells so cold. If I make the slightest sound, she will stab me. It must be all because of Kararika. They weren't on good terms to begin with. Therefore, the complexity of the task also increases. Did they not get along initially? I heard that once they fought against each other, and Banshu won. Is it true? Chararika's left eye, she wounded him. Just at that moment, Kararika returned. So what were you doing alone in Japan? First of all, I can thank you. While you were standing here, I found our target. What? We found their location a long time ago, and they were waiting for you to start the attack. But thanks to your violent temper, you only complicated the task and showed the Xi'an groups about our intentions. I knew that you were stupid, but I didn't think that you were that stupid. I'm sorry. But our team will be left without you. I needed a reason to kill you. And this task is a great chance to do it. Was one eye not enough for you? It seems you wanted to become completely blind. How long have I waited for that moment to finally destroy you? Stop talking, otherwise I'll tear my mouth apart too. Hunting snakes of the same class or higher is one way to get promoted. This means being recognized for your abilities. But right now, with our skills, we are not next to them. The speed she showed us. Banshu definitely has a strong core. Chararika is also close in strength to first-class snakes. In a fight between these two, I will be able to find out their abilities. Chararika is scared. Even with such skills, he was able to lose to Banshi. These two, they managed to overcome their death many times. Chararika, who is always so calm, and Banshi, who is incredibly fast. The core of Chararika must be muscular. In terms of speed, there are bound to be problems. He will lose. When my eye starts to hurt, I remember that day. After all, I should have killed you that day. I tell myself the same thing when I see you. I should have killed you right away. Let's finish the task first, and then kill each other. Hwasa stepped between them. Do you think now is the time for your quarrels and bickering? Everyone wants to become a top-notch snake. Okay, let's exchange the information we received. Well, the police have already arrived there. It's so noisy everywhere. They, even if we recognize their abilities, it will be very dangerous to interfere in the mess. They are crazy snakes, even scary. Banshee and Kararika are much stronger than I thought. One way or another, we receive the information. All we have to do is wait for the order. Meanwhile, Keon kept an eye on the guys. Nobody said they would come today. I'm here to get some information. Where is your boss? Belcher and Sunho were absent as they had a separate mission. Is it okay if we talk to each other? Nothing will change anyway. They are just a bunch of garbage that doesn't even require attention. Rough but true. So what do you have? Two are from Xi'an groups. One is a man, the other is a girl. Judging by their battle, they both awakened the core. The guy was a weak awakener, Wei Leo. The second was Dan Ho's awakener. Wei Leo? I don't know about this, but Dan Ho is definitely a threat to us. Information about the fugitive? Yes, I also know where the Yakuza he leads is located. He created a separate organization similar to JK. The Yakuza Izanami, led by him, also united some smaller groups together. Izanami? I heard something like that. The snake massacre that happened right before I joined you was started by him. Right. In the end, it turned out that he did this on purpose to annoy the other snakes. Yes, the guy swayed quite a bit. All the bodies were cut. 
They were cut very carefully, as if they were the work of a jeweler. It is unknown how far information about snakes has gone. As soon as the sale of information appears, you need to get rid of them immediately. Sales information? I think this is his entertainment. I'll go check on him. No, I'll check it myself. You better do something else. Fine, I understand. Do you know a snake that has a tattoo on its neck? Yes, his code name is Hwasa. I'll give you information about him. What battle did he fight in? Whose cores does he use? We need all this information to catch him and move forward. In exchange for information, we must get something from the current snakes. Mm. The rate is too low. Don't you need information about Class 1 and Class 2 snakes? It was the Fugitive, Level 2. Information about Hwasa, the snake that came to us recently. In addition, information about snakes of the first and second classes differ in price. It took me years to gather information about them. You are snakes too. Getting information about snakes is not so easy. Yes, information about Hwasa would be very useful to us. I have information that will be very useful to you. This guy doesn't know for sure that Hwasa, Banshi, and Chararika are targeting him. To fight you, the snakes have assembled a team. I will give all the information about them. Has a team been formed? How would you know? Because I'm on this team. Are you willing to betray your team for one piece of information? Do you think you can rise because of one person? This is no longer your problem. There is only a business relationship between us, and then we go about our own business. Boss, we have an intruder. Intruder? We'll take care of him. But he has already gotten so close. Damn it, where is everyone? I'll go myself. We can handle it ourselves. If you want, you can join. However, I can't guarantee that I can offend you inadvertently. Stand. I wondered who had balls of steel here, and it turned out to be such a child. It seems that you were very lucky to taste my knife in yourself. Choose an arm or a leg. Ensai. Sharp blades. Wait, this guy! What, why is he here? You must have a lot of weapons hidden inside. Is one dagger not enough? We will handle daggers carefully. It was Rich Tang Field, the founder of Hand-to-Hand -hand Combat. Soul synchronization is, I'm sure, not an easy force. But even with the synchronization of souls, mental and physical stress occurs. We need to find a way to use synchronization most effectively. Sierra told me that she couldn't even use 50 of her power until she synchronized. Before synchronization, there was no load on the body. And the feeling of synchronization and concentration of the soul was definitely different. It was only when I used soul concentration that I felt that I had increased my strength by 100%. When I fought Ha Jin, I couldn't move even after the fight with Belcher. Then I loaded my body as much as possible. If the limited time is more than 10 minutes, 100% of soul power, using concentration, is the best way to fight. So he also awakened the core? No, he didn't wake him up. It uses an unknown force that is different from the core. Without a core, you still attack me without a weapon? So arrogant that I have no words. If you are unarmed, then you are ready to give up all your limbs. After a few blows, Kion had already snatched the dagger from his hand. What an interesting guy you are. I can destroy anyone. Can you handle your dagger? What are you saying? I didn't think it was possible to fight so well even without a core. This means you can get to the second level without a core. What an interesting and exciting discovery. How strange. What's the matter? His movements are somehow strange, and not just because of his weapons. It feels like he's reading movements. Then it seemed to me that all my movements were readable. I was very scared then, but now everything is so strange. Right, maybe he's just a man with excellent fighting skills? Yes, this is your limit. I cannot. The second level is not so simple without synchronization. Synchronizing the soul with 10 minute time. What to do? We must act now. 80% soul synchronization with Rich Tan Field. This guy, his movement suddenly changed. Either way, you're still green. After that, Keon began to strike one blow after another. What's happened? Why did he suddenly change? I don't understand. Now his skill has become much stronger than that of the fugitive. No one hit me like that, no matter how much time passed. As soon as I stepped in and became a snake, no one touched me. We'll have to fight you seriously, concentration with soul. No, he definitely won't win. He has become even stronger since then. If I'm guessing correctly, this guy is much stronger than us. He's a monster, and he will be overcome by a monster just like himself. All three attacked him. Soul synchronization is 100%. Banshu came only at the end. Hmm, are you done yet? What? Fugitive? He can barely breathe. What's happened? Why did she come now? Seriously? So late. He was so strong that we completely forgot about the task. She came here for the fugitive, didn't she? Exactly. I think you've already noticed. What to do? Should we destroy it? It's definitely not the best situation right now. We definitely won't survive this. If she reports us to her superiors, they will definitely get rid of us. So yes, we have to kill her now. Such stupid guys. Do you think I didn't know that you came to find out about Hwasa? She cut them in an instant. These wounds. He injured him deliberately to hide his movements. In addition, they are clearly cut along the line. He is the perfect fighter, at least first level. Will our plan work? 
Half an hour has already passed and she's still not there. Is the fugitive really that strong? Anyway, if she doesn't come, I'm going. There is no longer any time to delay. Time is so fleeting. When will she come already? If she died somewhere, then there is no point in waiting for her. Calm down. I'm here. Don't panic. Where are those two? Did you really kill them? I'm very sorry, but they lost control and attacked me. I had no choice. I had to kill. Besides, the fugitive was also killed. Eh, who? It is unknown. This is definitely not Belcher and San Ho, but I will say one thing. He is very strong. If this is one of the snakes, then he is definitely first class. He is very experienced. Did someone really fly here without orders? No information was received. It must be someone not one of us who carefully hides his strength. If it's a snake, there won't be any problems. However, if it is one of the third parties, then everything is different. Chararika, how strong was that girl? I don't know for sure because it was not possible to find out its full power. However, she was quite talented. She was my strongest opponent all this time. Then it cannot be excluded. My mission is to find out their abilities and powers. If we leave things like this, we will be losers. How fun, since when did it start to bother you? Check this. What's there? I attached a tracking sensor to the person who awakened Walio's core. We need to track them down and attack. The mission is still ongoing. If you're not going to participate, go home. I'm going to have a lot of fun tonight. The mother's soul is somehow connected with snakes. Think carefully, have you ever seen this man before? No, I haven't seen. Then what does the mother's soul have to do with snakes? Why did you betray your group? What is your goal? I just do my job, which suits me. The same goes for leaving the group of snakes. That was my specific mission. Was this his mission? This means that he did not truly betray the snakes. What task was he doing? You'll have to conduct your own investigation. Suddenly, Yo Rin burst into their room through the window. Here, take it. What is this? Our weapon. What? I brought it in case snakes showed up. They can attack in the morning. I'm sure everyone knows we're on a school trip. There are a lot of eyes during the day. And if there is a school commotion, panic will begin. Get ready. There will be an attack in the morning. In the morning, all three were already there. There are two places where they could stop on their school trip. Our goal lives in one of them. So we need to find them immediately. They definitely won't go to the park. Since they know we have spotted them, they will most likely run and hide. But I don't know which of these three is our target. Therefore, we will attack three at the same time. I took this sword because I thought it would be useful to me. Our enemies are equal in strength to first class. It will definitely come in handy. This is the first time I've seen her so serious. Ha! Huh. All her tasks were always completed perfectly. Is he really that strong? There's nothing wrong with being a little more careful. The movement stopped. We begin the offensive. They entered one of the rooms. There's no one here. Today, Chararika showed himself, so they are definitely prepared. They may already be following us. It will be difficult if they make a fuss, so run as fast as you can. Oh, so here you are. Yo Rin flew into his face from her knee. Did you think we didn't notice you? I'll take care of him. You can go. Fine. Chararika called the others. They ran away. Okay, let's move on. The rest is up to me. It will be fun to fight you seriously. That's right. I didn't like the fact that we were interrupted so quickly either. Will Yo Rin really be able to handle him? She's a real monster with a gun. I will gladly accept your challenge. Prepare to lose. They must have somehow found out that we decided to run away. It's better for us to split up now. So don't hesitate and run. And you're not so bad. It's a shame that your end is near. It seems you don't understand. Your end is near. A long spear with low durability. He is now much more difficult to fight than before. What kind of blows does he have? Don't take him too seriously. Just minutes ago you were determined to defeat me. Did something really happen that made you suddenly become more serious? You shouldn't provoke him now. Otherwise the situation may get out of control. Did you take me into the alley on purpose? You think I can't use my skills in a confined space? You are deeply mistaken. Damn it. He's smarter than he looks. I wonder how they found out my location. Oh, that's it. So they put on this sensor then, during the battle. Now I want to lure them into my own trap. There is no other choice. We will run slowly. Yorin will be fine, right? Yes. Isn't it better to worry about other snakes now? Thought you won? I deliberately brought you to a deserted place. Bluff is a great way to attack. So can you really use your skills yourself? You're sitting in a cage. You too. Crap. Wasn't this a bluff? Damn you, this woman is very strong. Some kind of nonsense. I'll kill you. Nightmare. I thought I was much stronger than second or even first class. Why then didn't I get a promotion? I didn't understand why until I met this woman. You just need to die once. I hope you were ready for this. Such a strange power, and through this woman I learned about it. As soon as I passed through the gate, I received a second class power. Now I understand that your strength is in no way comparable to mine. What a pity. You can't even imagine with what indifference I look at you. A guy who can't even handle his core. It's painful to watch. Do you think you're starting to fight better with weapons? 
What makes you think that? By the way, no matter how you fight and what you fight, you are weak. Your core is useless. You and her? You irritate me so much that killing you isn't enough. Don't worry, she's just another stuck-up girl. I'm much stronger now. I can. When suddenly blood began to flow from his shoulder. This is a weapon that can cut anything. Judging by your actions, you wanted to attack me. You lost from the start. Why are they so similar? It was fun. So will you tell me all the information you know about snakes? How many of you? Suddenly, Hwasa and Bang Shu appeared. What? Yeah, you don't look very good. Do not make me laugh. Why are you here? Have you lost your goals? The locator is broken. We couldn't track them. That's why we came to help you. But this is already problematic. They too must be awakened with cores. It's quite interesting here. You're the one who dealt with the fugitive? Fugitive? I don't know who it is. I don't remember the names of the snakes. Yes? It's a pity. You were able to break Chararico. Very interesting. Opening the core of Shinho martial artist. I don't know if you're telling the truth. Therefore, I can't rule out the possibility that you killed him. Discovery of the core by Sasaki Kojiro, master of the fast sword. How's your wound? Ha, huh, nothing, it just stings a little. This is the girl who killed the fugitive. Her skills are similar to the first level. The situation got out of control. There were three of them. They are all snakes that have a core. Then we need to force them to show their abilities. Three for one, let's see. Strong, two swords. She uses them at the same time? Or is it a spare tire? Behind. Now the fight will be three times more difficult. Definitely the Miyamoto core Musashi or Lee Ja Sik, for the sword is very long. We must fight from a distance. Three of them attack at once. Because of their conflicts, I thought they wouldn't fight as well together. So they decided to unite. No, I can't dodge them all at the same time. Those cowardly bastards. They couldn't do it one on one. It would be easier if they were below the second level. Even I can't take them out alone. We must retreat. Let him follow me. It won't be easy to get rid of three at once. Even with Chararika, it was difficult. Above, she's behind the building. We will surround her from all sides. Chararika, follow her. What? Is there really nowhere else to run? Huh? I can get rid of you in seconds. I'm here to buy some time. It's not for long. It's time to end this. After all, our main task is to get the lady away from you. I will take care of you while yours attack from behind. So, shall we continue our fight? Do you think I'll lose to you? No. And you are stubborn. However, the price of perseverance comes at the cost of life. You're not bad, but your skills are still not enough. I'll show you how to do it. They attacked each other at the same time. Next time, think better before you attack. Suddenly, she noticed that she was bleeding. These snakes, they arrived much earlier than I expected. You climbed over the next building, smart. Aren't you too self-confident? We are actually snakes with awakened cores. Strange. The sword wound only damaged the vital parts of the body, however, this girl. She specifically targeted these places. She may not be the one who killed the fugitive. Why are you chasing me? What is the point for us to answer you? Well, you're right. Then just die. Next time there will be no mercy. She's running away for her. I can't handle these two right now. The wound turned out to be too deep. It's good that I dodged. They are much stronger. They are catching up. Because of the wound, I can't move faster. Damn. What should I do? Persistent bastards. We need to call for help. They are very close. Damn it. Another one. Is it really the fourth? I won't be able to defend myself. She fell. Turning around, I saw that he had attacked the snakes. I don't fully know her skills because she hides them. Do you want to go help her? No, we just need to do something. I came to calm you down. Because of you, I can't sleep. I'll silence both of you. Why are you hiding your power? Are you afraid that everyone will be afraid of you? Hey, this has already become the norm here. You are right. Really, why did I start hiding my strength? It would be absurd if I hid the fact that I had awakened the core. Okay, but this way you would be able to officially get a job in the Sion group, and you could become the strongest of us all. No. Why? I don't want to die yet. What? If I am transferred to special forces, there will be many restrictions on my actions. It's better to be an ordinary bodyguard so I can find my mother's soul. Now, I know for sure that my mother's soul is somehow connected with snakes. With such power, you don't have to worry about death at all. What a fool. Then how about today? Is there a way to deal with snakes while hiding your identity? There is something. Who is this? He helps me? You're one of the Xi'an groups, aren't you? Bansha, it seems he has a core. Let me deal with it myself. Why are you wearing a mask? Are you afraid that your identity will be revealed? If you are so afraid of this, defend yourself so that I do not remove your mask. Be careful. This bastard has a strong core. As soon as he saw my sword, he immediately dodged. He has excellent eyesight. No. This guy, he reads my movements? You are using Miyamoto core Musashi? I didn't show my core, but he already knows about it. Also his movements. Reads mine completely and dodges my attacks. Sorry, but this is not Miyamoto Musashi. Am I wrong? I knew it. This guy uses Miyamoto's moves Musashi, but they are different from the core. 
It will be difficult to cope with these two alone. At least I should help him. Hell no. Right to the wound site. Better not interfere. Kion was able to protect her. The wound is deep. It's better to leave here. I can handle them. What? Are you going to fight them alone? What are you talking about? He attacked Ban Shu first. After his blow, she flew to the side. Ban Shi, don't worry, I'm fine. You're annoying, I need to get rid of you right away. How does he read all my movements? And when he jumped to strike again, Ban Shi stood in front of Hwasa to protect him. But Kion broke Ban Shi's sword. Ban Shi, run! Kion touched him. Crap, hurry up! Who is this guy? With such a level of skill, even in special forces there are few of them. Where did he come from? And its abilities are very different from the normal core. Ban Shu used the second sword. No one can defeat two second level snakes, even with such strength, I'm sure. This guy is just pretending. What? Crap. Is it really equal in strength to the first level? You say you're looking for someone? Revenge, resentment, hatred. These three things brought me here. If this guy were a snake, he would definitely be level one or higher. Someday I will kill him with my own hands. I'm ready to risk my life. Sasaki Kojiro's sword will kill you. I admit you are stronger than me. If I don't admit this, my skills won't improve. Because my road will end here, and I will fight to the last. Now I will show you the real power of Sasaki Kojiro, a place where the smell of rotting garbage and decomposing bodies hung in the air. The place where Banshu grew up was somewhat like a slum. And in this huge mountain of garbage, she tried to find something to eat. She always dreamed of living a luxurious life. But in reality, she did everything to survive. Suddenly, a man came up behind her, grabbed her and carried her somewhere. At that moment, she thought that her life would end like this. She was brought to some place unfamiliar to her, where children around her age were gathered. A man threw several loaves of bread on the ground and the children out of hunger attacked them like crazy. He told them that they were pathetic kids brought from a garbage dump. It must have been hard for them to live a life that has no meaning. He promised to give them a new life, in which there would be warm food, shelter, and then they would have the strength to live. It was already late and cold. He said that only those who could survive in this forest would receive help from him and wanted them to prove their worth to him. She was given a second chance. She agreed to the opportunity to have a better life without hesitation. On the first night, she was almost bitten by a poisonous snake and could not sleep. On the second, she met a wild boar, which is why she had to sleep in a tree. On the third, it started to rain and her stamina gradually decreased. On the fourth night, I became completely hungry and cold. There was no longer any strength to go further. She thought that she would die like this when suddenly she saw a boy in front of her who tried to bring her to her senses. He realized that all this time she had not eaten anything and put an apple in her mouth. They started a dialogue about who got here and how, that they were brought here by some strange men. The boy's name was Hwasa. He told her that they needed to eat and hide somewhere, and that today they would cross the river. Suddenly they saw a guy in front of them. He had almost no clothes on, and he was as dirty as they were, and he had an axe in his hands. He ran straight towards them menacingly and they were very scared of this. They started shouting for him to stop and not come because they had nothing. But in fact it turned out that there was a boar behind them and it attacked him, not them. He just wanted to kill this boar. It was the Black Mamba. This was her first meeting with these guys. Now they had to do their best to get food. Later at dinner they discussed how they could get out of there, if there was any way. The boy said that he climbed the tallest tree in the area and saw a wild boar and that there was only one way to get to his destination. If you move north, the road will be blocked by a cliff, and it will take about 10 days to get around it. There are also a lot of wild animals there, so the best option is to go around through the east. Despite the fact that there are many animals there, they have no other chance of survival. They don't want to continue to eat garbage and live like garbage. And if you go back, it's better to die. His goal was to get out of the forest and escape this crappy life. In the end, they decided to go through the east. It didn't matter if it was dangerous or not, they all wanted to get out of the life they were in now. They went through many trials, running away from poisonous snakes and wild animals without rest. A few days later, Banshi's legs became covered with blisters, but there was nothing left to do but continue on the path so as not to lose consciousness. At some point, she couldn't stand it and shared with the guys that she could no longer walk or move at all. It seemed to her that this was how she would die. Black Mamba accepted this fact and was not averse to leaving her to die. This made her indignant and began to shout that they had been walking for four days and they had neither water nor food. Then he grabbed her by the jacket and said that if this was difficult for her, then let her go back. But she would not survive in the forest. Since she is so weak, then let her give up and leave, and if she doesn't want to die, then let her move on. Somewhere in the forest, several men in cloaks had gathered. They already wanted to leave because no one came. Suddenly in the distance, they saw three of them. That's how they got to the goal. And then she realized that this guy's words were correct. The men were surprised that there were many survivors. It was a test of sorts and he congratulated them on passing it. 
He told them that killers would be trained here. He handed them knives. This is where they will be trained to kill. He gave them the opportunity to leave voluntarily if they were against it, but they would have to return on their own. But if they are willing to stay, they must leave a mark on their body. The boys immediately began stabbing themselves with knives. Black Mamba pierced his arm. Hwasa left a puncture on his chest. And Banshu pierced her leg. She also wanted to survive. They were brought to a place where there were many children besides them. But she was pleased that it was the three of them who managed to survive. What was said about warm food and shelter was done. In general, life has become better. But the children who did not pass received nothing. She sat, thought, and was sad. At that moment, the guys approached her and offered to train together. They decided to survive together. All these endless trainings were repeated every day. Black Mamba constantly encouraged her with words that if she didn't want to starve, then let her fight. Ten days, a month, two, three, then a year, two, five years. Banshu asked how good her current fighting skills were. Black Mamba replied that she would no longer have to starve. And so ten years passed. Today was the last day, the day of the exam. The leader made a speech. He said that for 10 years they had suffered a lot and now there was only one exam left to become a member of their society. He asked what they thought was the essential condition for a killer. Is this an opportunity to commit murder? Or thus become more cold-blooded trust people? What? No, Banshu answered. The most important thing is to become an emotionless killing machine. This is the last exam. He told them to kill each other until one of them remained. And only the last survivor will be able to move on. The silence lasted for several seconds and a sound pierced the silence. It was someone's scream. A massacre began all around. They decided that they needed to escape. These crazy bastards are completely crazy. There was an urgent need to leave here. This road was covered in rocks, and if they climbed the rock, the road would be open. Hwasa began to remember how they first got here, and that they were also desperate then. But there were three of them, and they would be able to survive, just like that time. Having finished speaking, he realized that someone had pierced him right through. This man was the Black Mamba. Hwasa and Bang Shi were in a daze. He cut her too. He believed that they were weak and that they would not get out of there. He said that they were no longer little children, and he was no longer a weak boy. Bang Shu suddenly woke up covered in cold sweat. That day she had a dream. That day at first she thought it was a dream after experiencing death. But she received someone's soul and it was not a dream. When she used this power, she could feel herself becoming stronger. That night, those who were lucky enough to escape were able to do so safely. Then the place was burned to the ground along with a heap of corpses. Hwasa was angry at Black Mamba. This bastard didn't hesitate to attack them, but since childhood he thought that they were friends. Why did everything change in an instant? Now he wanted to kill him. Banshu tried to calm him down by saying that nothing would change now anyway. You will need to think soberly and act deliberately. From that day on, they dreamed of taking revenge on him. She tried to master her new power and decided to act in her own way. So she associated herself with the organization with the snake tattoo. She was wondering what kind of snake it was. Maybe it was a code password, but why did they need it? She didn't like all this. Rising to the roof, she was immediately attacked by two guys, but she was able to easily fight them off. A girl sat upstairs and watched her. The girl apologized to her, saying that it was a small greeting. For Ban Shu, this was rude. She also said that they need people like her. But what made them think she was suitable? She invited her to make a deal. They will get what they want, just as she will get what she wants. The girl was very interested in the power of Ban Shi, but Ban Shu herself was not interested in it. She also hinted to her that she was aware that Ban Shi was looking for someone and could help her with this. Then Ban Shu attacked her and put the sword to her throat. She needed to find out where he was. The girl responded in kind. The girl considered her impatient and advised her not to point the sword at her but suggested that she first take a kind of small exam. She asked one of the snakes to come out. She needed to fight him. The girl wanted to test how strong she was. The guy was aggressive and threatened to destroy her. She told her that he was one of them. She is not yet sure of her strength, so she wants to see it with her own eyes. They are conducting an experiment again. She told them that they had contacted the wrong person. Bansha, seeing how he blocked the blow with his bare hands, quickly realized that he did not feel pain. And then she decided to tear his muscles. Perhaps she is weaker than the second level. No. Her skills are still better than the TX drug. Banshu also realized that the power of the drug is on par with the power of the soul. Using Sasaki Kojiro's soul, you can only use some of the techniques. With a piece of his soul in her hands, she could not use all of his abilities perfectly. Moreover, her body has not yet adapted. She realized that she needed to match her skills with her soul. The girl threw her a sword and told her to try to use it because just because it's a test doesn't mean you can't kill. She decided to try it and took it in her hands. The guy was sure that it made no difference whether she had a sword or not, because she was weak. But she was able to cut his face. What kind of sword is this? She felt like she had become even stronger. 
Apparently, this power is transferred from the sword, and now she can freely use Sasaki Kojiro's technique. She realized that his soul had become stronger. Core of Sasaki Kojiro. The sword he used is Mana Hoshizao. Core? His real sword? That's right. Less than three months have passed since Banshu awakened the core, the girl explained to her. The girl told her that if she did not train properly, she would not be able to use even 20% of her strength. But the sword made up for the shortcomings. She really was perfect for them. She promised her the power to take revenge and, in general, everything she wanted. The girl asked her what she was going to do now. Banshu replied that she was going to take revenge on that bastard. Banshu concentrated all her power into this sword. The atmosphere changed dramatically. Miyamoto Musashi, Japanese swordsman of the Warring States period. His opponent was Kojiro Sasaki. Kojiro Sasaki founded Ganryu. This is a technique in which you can dodge the enemy's first strong blow. The entire body turns against the direction of the opponent's second slashing sword, overcoming two direct sword strikes. The three directions of the sword strike are successive oblique strokes that move in completely different directions. It was invented to perfectly evenly cut the vital organs of the enemy. She mastered it perfectly and thought she could cut it. She needed to increase her core strength to the maximum, in which case she would have to spend a lot of physical strength to do this. But when she saw his wound, she realized that the sword had barely touched his shoulder. Monoho Shizaro overcomes blows in the direction where power is not combined with strength and instantaneous power. First of all, it is impossible to avoid such a blow. It's normal that she couldn't react to his blow, but she has more experience in sword fighting. Kyung asked what their goal was and why they were trying to kidnap Han Che Yan. Ban Shu replied that this was only her goal, and that she wanted to destroy it with her own hands. Her trust was broken. The most reliable person tried to kill her and her comrade. From that day to this day, she has been looking for a guy, and lives in anticipation of the day when she can take revenge on him. If only she could take revenge, nothing else would matter. Manohoshizaro is a technique that forces muscles to twist throughout the body. It requires a lot of stamina, so if you use it constantly, the power will quickly dry up. By that time, her body was already weakening, and she could not allow this. She was going to use the force when she got a little closer to him. Finally, the distance decreased. She thought he would try this technique again. Yorin thought that there would be a big difference in strength between them, but it feels like now they are fighting on equal terms. Colonel synchronization worked perfectly. The power of the sword will prevail no matter what. But she missed the moment and missed, and Keon attacked. But he was interrupted by Hwasa to protect Banshe. Keon had read his movement to some extent, and all he could do now was step back a little. Therefore, there is only one chance to pacify this monster. Keon was able to dodge all attacks again. They need to go up to the first level and blow off the head of the Black Mamba. And no one can stand in their way. Their mission must succeed. Yorin couldn't bear to watch it anymore and ran to help him. Kion was sorry, but he also has the person he's so desperately looking for. At some point, Kion seemed to be ahead of time, but Ban Shu was still going to kill him with the third blow of Sasaki's sword. But nothing worked out for her. Kion was able to injure her. Who she was looking for, and who she wanted to take revenge on, was not at all interesting to Kion. But if it interferes with his goal, he will destroy anyone in his path. Yorin couldn't believe her eyes. Both of these guys are at least level 2 or higher, but he still destroyed everyone. They tied them up. These two were defeated. She thanked him for saving her, and decided to ask them a few questions before they sent them to Xi'an group for interrogation. The most interesting question for everyone is why they are trying to kidnap the lady. She needed exactly the reason. They are aware that one of the goals of snakes is the mistress. And what are they going to do with her after the abduction? They didn't want to talk. How difficult it is to communicate with stubborn prisoners. She asked them to answer, and then no one would touch them. But since they didn't believe her, then she decided to teach him a lesson. One prisoner is enough to obtain information, so we will get rid of you. Ban Shu spoke. She said that she didn't know that they were only given the task of kidnapping her. And even they, the second-level snakes, don't know the reason. Kian asked to know how many people came to kidnap her. She replied that it was her, Hwasa, and Chararika, whom they defeated recently. There are five second-class people in total, including Belcher and Sunho. There were two more but they don't know them. They did not show up for the meeting, and it was assumed that they were acting in their own way. Yorin remembered that while she was looking for the Yakuza, she ran into another guy and therefore asked if he was a snake. A second-level fugitive, he is a traitor whom they were also ordered to get rid of, but a few hours ago he was already killed by an unknown person. Yorin asked that the one she wants to take revenge on is from the Sion group? She answered in the negative, but he was the one she was going to kill by any means. She didn't know where he was, but she was going to find him and destroy him. She said that now she lives only for this, and is ready to do anything. Kian told her that innocent people are not to blame for this. He has already heard about how much she wants revenge, 
but she joined this organization to take revenge by hurting innocent people. Ban Xu lived every day for many years with a feeling of complete hatred and anger. It was as if boiling oil had been poured into her head and it wouldn't cool down. And when she closes her eyes even for a moment, she sees that ill-fated day. How blood flows in a stream before her eyes, and on this blood lie many dismembered bodies, cries for help. And not for a moment can she forget this nightmare. For her, these people were family, but now they are gone, so she filled this void with revenge. So she doesn't care whose life she takes. Han Che Yan is also an important person in Kyung's life, and aren't they going to take her away from him now? He too will suffer and the pain from the emptiness will also eat him up from the inside. So much so that he would hate them just as much as she hated that person. If he kills Bang Sha, Hwasa will suffer just like him. It's a vicious circle. Six people arrived at the scene. The man called them fools and said that he came for Hwasa and Bang Sha. Kion didn't know how many there were. And before he could say anything, he was already attacked. After using soul concentration, the body became weak. And then Yeo Rin came to the rescue. An unknown person turned to Yeo Rin and said that she was not bad in defense although perhaps she had spent all her strength and therefore did not notice them. 80 points out of 100. And he added that she has excellent timing to focus on core strength and impact point. She didn't understand what he was talking about. Was he judging her by a few movements? Yes, that's right. He saw something that she simply could not see. And pointing to Keon, he said that he didn't even reach 50 points. The ticket disappeared so quickly after using Soul Sync. Soon the body will not be able to stand being in this state. But they didn't want to fight. Their mission was to bring back Banshi, Hwasa, and Chararika. Those guys standing on the roof were only going to take them. Yeo Rin couldn't understand what level they were. The situation was becoming more and more critical. She wanted to take advantage of the opportunity. He reiterated that their mission is to bring back Banshi and Hwasa. And if they escape, they will have no reason to look for them. But why such courtesy? They are all thugs. One of the guys asked her if she was scared because she wasn't good enough to stand up to them. She must be very scared and he didn't sense an aura of confidence from her. Maybe she needed help? He advised her to disappear from sight and not interfere with the big appas in carrying out their mission. These words made her very angry and Keon realized that he had to leave. He grabbed her and ran and she called him downstairs to show him who the big appa is here. He asked permission from the second one, but he told him that he needed to forget about it because their mission now was not to fight, but to save. There is no point in conflicting with Xi'an group now. They all returned back, and at this time Ban Shi was thinking about Qian's words. Are the wounds exactly the same as those the fugitive had? Yes, this is the same person as in the photo they sent him. The snake's codenames are Ban Shi and Hwasa. He burned down the entire organization and ran away. What a sick bastard he is. We'll have to cut off his legs so he won't run away again. No, just bring me his head. Yo Rin screamed at Qian and asked him to let her go because that guy called her a weakling. Kion told her that she was not weak, but on the contrary, very strong, and he thought that it was good that his body could still withstand such a load. At some point they stopped, and they seemed to have run far enough. She thanked him for his help. He said that everything was fine. He had to do it and told her to return to the base. She stopped him. His voice seemed familiar to her, and he also knows the mistress. Lee Kyung Ho? Did she recognize me? But I put on a mask and changed my voice. Maybe it's a bluff. Kion said he didn't understand what she was talking about. In response, she told him not to pretend, and that he was quite an interesting guy. So strong that he crushed two snakes. Now she will press me to bring me to clean water? Unfortunately, he couldn't do anything. He couldn't take off his mask. She thought that he was from the Sion Group's new division, level two. Was he specially sent to them? She said she didn't expect it. Are they really so weak that the organization decided to play it safe? Lee Kyung Ho from the second level security of Xi'an Group? She heard that they have a secret unit. Are they really being trained by Yu Wu Jin personally? And the secret unit moves secretly, that's why he put on a mask? Kion told her that she was very smart and that he didn't doubt her. He said that she was right, that he was from the second level of Xi'an Group security. But this is not an easy mission, so he was sent here alone. Leader Yu Wu Jin is not aware of this mission. So now he needs to return so that no one from the second level finds out that he left his post and asked her to keep it a secret. But she approached him and asked him to show her face. But Keon repeated that it was secret. If his identity is found out, he will be kicked out of the unit. Moreover, he arrived here in secret from everyone. If she interferes with him, then he will not be able to help them in the future. He asked her to understand him. He also asked her to make him a promise that this would only be between them. Finally, he said that if help was needed again, he would appear again, and that he hoped that everything would be fine for her. But it almost happened. Second level of security? Chararico was irritated by everything. His head was cracking, and he could not stop the bleeding. Oh sorry, but that's it. I'm sorry, you're weaker than Bangshu and Hwasa. He cut off his hand. She flew to the ground along with the cigar. 
Ban Shu was outraged by their behavior. She didn't understand what they were doing. Survivors of the loss, how long did they think they could escape? What was he talking about? And how did they know where they were? He replied that their location had been booked. They didn't complete the task. And so, yesterday you managed to save your little sister. Where the hell do you get so much strength? Kion replied that he gave his life for her. Did he really train himself to death? Since he got the core, he lives like a mercenary and Kion is different. He went for a walk to meet Sierra. She was relaxing on a sun lounger while drinking a cocktail. What's happened? Have you really come to bargain again? No, I was just wondering if everything was going well. It's just... Since the mother's soul is connected to snakes, maybe there are more clues? He searched all evening but never advanced a single step. The ungrateful bastard has come again to beg for Lady Sierra's favor. How annoying he is. Sierra was bored and wanted to rest a little today. She told me to come back when she was in a good mood. Perhaps this is due to the fact that the sun is very hot and the skin is a little burnt. Mrs. Sierra, now we will fix everything. I have an amazing sunscreen. Sounds nice, Sierra said, and he prepared in advance. Now he had to apply cream to her back. She asked him what interests him, and if it's not difficult, she will answer. He's already met three or four guys with snake tattoos, but it feels like they have nothing in common with mom. Maybe there is some other hint? Haven't you found it yet? Hmm, I need to think. Something to do with the ship. Yes, exactly. If this is a ship, then you need to look for a transport company. This guy from our school recently transferred. One of the guys was very jealous of him because he was talking to such a beautiful girl like Sierra. And the second one told him to better enjoy his school trip. The girls were also on the beach. We spent time near the water. They met Kyung and Che Young invited him to go for a swim, but he refused. But they arrived at the Sea of Japan, and he still doesn't want to swim. But Kyung had bad memories associated with him. Then she invited him to play with the ball. The lady didn't sleep well because of us. How long can you fight with snakes? Since you came to rest, you need to relax at least a little and enjoy the moment. Was she worried? Was she really worried about me? Okay, since the clue is a ship, I'll rest a little and continue my search. Ha Jin asked Yo Rin why she was sitting here. Didn't she want to play with them? She replied that she was still at work. After all, someone reliable should stay here and sit on guard. There were more level 2 snakes than she thought. There may be first-class snakes here. She believed that she should not slack off and play with them. She was, after all, a professional Sion group fighter. He told her that he could take care. He didn't like the sea anyway. She immediately ran to the guys to play ball with them. She came all the way to Japan so she can't just sit and watch. She was only pretending that she didn't like to play, but in fact she really wanted it and was having fun. Already in the evening at the hotel, Kion decided to hide his clothes and mask in his room. We need to do this quickly before they notice. I almost got caught while I was sitting in the room. While they are having fun, you need to take it out unnoticed. Suddenly behind him he heard the voice of a girl who asked him if he was the man in the mask. Where? So suddenly. He just found the time to hide his mask and clothes. I will give you information about those snakes that I myself know. I just ask you to help. I understand that you are in pain right now, but I have no choice but to tie you up. He asked her to tell her what happened. She said they were betrayed. How did we find you? It's simple. You're just a pathetic bait that couldn't cope with its task. Kararika distracted them as a diversion so that they would have a chance to escape. What fools just wasting their time. The chief ordered them to seize them. They decided to split up, so the thugs had to do it too. The two guys ran after Hwasa. The other two decided to run after the others. Muda began to have fun. For him, it was a game of hide and seek. He offered to place bets on who would catch their target. Damn, it was an important mission, but it ended up failing. The black viper who chased Chararika caught him. He was annoyed that he was caught first. He shouted that they were traitors, that they had planned this from the beginning and that he would kill them all. His head was cut off. It was copy. You're just out of luck. Say thank you for dying without pain. Hwasa was also discovered. A dagger was thrown at him. When they arrived and how they found them was still a mystery. This was Sumatra. Oh, did you hit it? Russell, do you think anyone has ever managed to escape my blow? Even though he was hit, he was still able to escape. The guys ran after him. Apparently he is resilient and likes to play catch up. But the hardest thing was for Banshu to escape. She was bleeding heavily and felt like she was going to die. Even though you are injured, are you still full of strength to run? I wonder how far you can go. Samar decided to take care of this. He wanted to fight her. She shouldn't have died, but there was no way forward. There's nowhere else you can run. I'll see you in hell. Before he could attack her, Hwasa stood in front of him and stopped him. The guys couldn't understand why he was still alive. Damn, I thought I caught him, Russell said, holding Hwasa's hand. Even with his hand torn off, he came to help her. Well, nothing will change anyway, he just came here in vain. Banshu was outraged. What was he doing? He had to run away. Why did he come back? He saw that there was no road here. He knew it. He came to see her one more time before he died. He told her to go with the flow and soon she would be on the shore. And then he pushed her off the cliff. Although he dreamed of taking revenge with her, 
It was a pity that he would have to leave her alone. The last thing he told her was to forget about revenge and move on with her life. So that's what happened. Then what is the connection between snakes and blades? But she didn't know, because the snake and blade organization shouldn't know each other at all. And she could not understand how the blades ended up there. The blade is one of the most dangerous organizations that has shed a lot of blood. However, finding their location so quickly means that the snakes and blades are cooperating with each other. Then it turns out that the guy she's looking for must be one of the snakes. Yes, and that's why she decided to sell him all the information about them. She apologized to him. It was an order, but now she wished she had planned to kill him. She had to do it, and in the end, Hwasa died and she was left alone. She begged him to help get rid of the blades. Keon agreed. But first he wanted to help her heal her wounds. He untied her and asked her not to do anything stupid. He hoped that the information she provided would help them. He used the power of the ticket to cure her. Shantan Ho is a great surgeon. Immediately after treatment it will hurt for some time, but it will soon go away. Her pain next to the cut had almost subsided, and at first she thought that he was a pervert, but he really is not bad at medicine. He asked her if she needed anything else, and she couldn't understand what was wrong with him. Ah, drinking a beer at the end of the day is such a thrill. She entered the room because she wanted to take a shower, but a picture stood in front of her. All the beer came back out. All the guys had already gathered in the room and were collectively thinking about what to do. She left the snakes and now she has nothing to hide anymore. Che Young thought that it must be very difficult for her. She understood her well. So you won't try to kill me anymore? And Ban Shu promised her that she wouldn't. Che Young believed her. She was betrayed by her own people so they will help her. Ban Shu thanked her. Oh, what an innocent girl. She told Che Young that she must immediately convey this information to the main office because she was the one who tried to kidnap her until yesterday. She didn't believe her because you never know when you'll get hit in the back. Ban Shu said that yesterday she met five snakes, but she thinks that there are probably more. There is no first level among them, but all have second level cores. But how can she recognize level one snakes? Ban Shu did not have detailed information about the cores, but she had known many of them for a long time. Doesn't their head office care about this? If Ban Shu goes over to the Xi'an group, they will definitely not leave her alone, and so she will not be able to take revenge. And if she can't take revenge, then even if they kill her, she won't tell them any information. These snakes were very strange. Is there any information about the other three? Information about the blades. What levels they had. Ban Shu was unknown because they cooperated with each other secretly. Anyone who uses a unique weapon has information about the snake core. During and after the shower, Yo Rin tried to digest all this information. She was sure that the snakes knew more than them. In another situation, she would immediately turn you over to the organization. But the lady says that everything is in order, so she will keep it a secret. I'm stronger than you, so I won't let you do anything stupid. And she wanted to know how strong the snakes were, including her. The wound seemed shallow, but first aid was enough. Yo Rin could not hesitate any longer because there were many snakes in Japan and asked to cooperate with her. After some time, they finally decided to fight. Because Ban Shu was injured, Yo Rin was reluctant to attack her with her full force. Ban Shu replied that this was not necessary and was pinned to the ground. No need to overdo it, she just wanted to check something. She knew that because of the wound she would not be able to fight properly. She wanted to check something about Monohoshi Zhao. It was the first time she had seen it, but she had heard a lot about the heritage. She found something interesting when she used Monohoshi Zhao. The cores borrow part of the great man's strength depending on whether the muscular or nervous part is shared with the soul. But when Ban Shu discovered Manohoshi Zhao, it seemed to her that she was approaching a power beyond the nervous and muscular systems. Ban Shu agreed with her. With legacy, more than just a portion of a great person's power could be used, but she couldn't show that now. And now she asked her to look and say whether what she showed coincided with what she would see. Ban Shu had felt this way once before, the fear she felt from this man. If you forcibly increase the strength of the core, is it possible to achieve this effect? Ban Shu couldn't understand what it was, but she once experienced similar sensations. If you think about it, that guy used overwhelming force. He is probably a first-class snake. She trained for a long time, but in order to achieve such strength in such a period, Yo Rin could only use this for five seconds because it takes a lot of effort to go beyond the nervous and muscular system. Full core opening? The strength of the arc itself? What do they mean? This is incredible, and they got it by exchanging their lives. While he only has one soul hour per year, do they have constant use of souls? Did you want to die? Sierra asked. You can also use the soul of a great man. Not only the muscular system, but beyond that. You are, in fact, completely different from ordinary awakened ones. The power of the soul is just a shell. Its use ultimately depends on the user himself. But the power of the ticket allows you to use your soul. The cores used by the enemies, because they use soul synchronization, they are all disposable. 
so the power of the snakes is unpredictable. He didn't even feel the difference between these guys and the second level snakes. Only half an hour after using the soul, the sensations are completely different. It would be nice to know the difference between core and legacy. Kyung came to ask Hajin to teach him martial arts. He wanted to help them as a bodyguard. This is the simplest way to see what significance an ordinary soul has. So he decided to become a real bodyguard, Hajin thought. Forward. Need to know the difference between a core and a ticket. Later they began training outside. Kian thought that perhaps the powers were identical. Compared to those guys, the feeling of fighting is quite different. They were strong even without synchronizing their cores. Will Ha Jin be able to defeat a third level snake without using the core? Well, at least he has good physical attributes. But now using the core, he is too weak. After using the core, his fighting style changed. But Kion could see all of his movements. After all, if you use the same soul as the enemy, isn't it obvious? It's too predictable. Since Kion then used the enemy's soul, he was able to defeat him without synchronization. And at some point, Kion realized that control needed to be awakened. Hajin was a little difficult to experiment with. We need to limit the power of the soul a little more. After synchronizing his soul, he was able to control this power. This made Hajin feel weak. At some point, he felt a big difference. It began to seem to him that Hajin had become much stronger. So if you reduce your soul power, Kion will lose. If you take a risk, you can try it. This is the only chance to defeat Lee Kyung Ho. Suddenly, Kion realized that if he didn't do something now, he would get hurt. Suddenly, he didn't understand what happened. He lowered his soul power for a while, but what was it? Kyung tried to bring Hajin to his senses because they still had a lot to experience. Every movement of the snakes that Kion fought can be realized in the mind. Ability to learn? Surely you can spar in your head? He had to remember all the snakes he had met, and by remembering their actions, he could do it himself. You can also compare the weakest snake with its core, and one by one change the movements and course of the battle and defeat them all. Still, testing my capabilities was the right decision. The difference between all the snakes he has encountered is not that big. The class of snakes is divided not only by strength, but also by the presence of a core. The purpose of the snakes may be associated specifically with the nuclei. And since the second level is like that, what about the legacy? There is also a difference in strength depending on the soul. It will be faster if you find out about it directly. You also need to find out how strong he was at that moment. First of all, you should fight them without soul synchronization first. Besides, he had previously thought that training was too difficult, but it turned out to be much easier than fighting real enemies. Even without synchronization, better than expected, great workout. At some point, imagining the battle in his head, his head was cut off. It was creepy. It seemed that he really died. When dealing with Ban Shu using a regular ticket, I didn't even feel life-threatening. Still, it's worth thinking about it at least once. It is said that level 1 people can use the core to its full potential. If you think about it, the first level is twice as strong as normal snakes. Are they really combining the opening of the core? This is crazy, haha. I don't know, just the thought makes my head split. What's wrong with him? Is it because he lost? Hajin was really upset that he hadn't had a real victory since he came here. Rather, even he became a burden for them. That's why he didn't participate in the battle with Hwasa. Kian told him that he was wrong and thanked him for the training. He asked Hajin to stand up. He was going to show him Wei Liu's true strength. Watch carefully and learn. Thanks to training, he was able to completely synchronize. Hajin's core reacted. So now there is no doubt that Lee Kyung Ho can use the power of Wei Liu. I'll show you just once. Watch carefully. He used Sang Sang. Sang Sang's true power that Hajin wanted to use earlier. True power? Is this even possible? Sang Sang is Baek Yo Rin's technique? For its core, perhaps this is the maximum. So my core can be that strong? How well do you know about Wei Liu's core? I just analyzed the technique you use, that's all. Impossible. I showed you power, now you must learn to use it. Hajin thanked him. Did you have time to change clothes? What was wrong with those clothes? We've been waiting for you for an hour. We are, after all, on a school trip. We must wear school uniform. Well, won't you wear this? I have a spare kimono. Why should I wear this? Yes, because no one wears a kimono as everyday wear. And why would you wear it anyway? You're not even Japanese. It's better to just wear a school uniform. This is a relic. I have a Japanese core and I thought that I would become stronger if I wore Japanese clothes. Come on. Maybe I should also wear clothes that match the core style. Yorin told the lady that she can rest easy as long as she is here with her. Banshu approached the deer and remembered her past. The times when she skinned them and made her own clothes. It was hard to wear such clothes, but there was always food. No, you can't eat them. These animals are precious creatures, Che Young screamed. So the event of the year is declared open. Oh no, it seems like this has already happened somewhere. This time they managed to break through the crowd. But now Che Young is missing. Quicker! We need to split up. It seems that the snakes kidnapped the lady when a crowd of people passed by. And she told Kion to keep an eye on Ban Shu just in case. While she was telling him all this, 
he did not notice how she handcuffed him. Well, there are problems again. Where could she have gone? Ban Shu asked Kion why he was hiding the fact that he was the masked man and how she could become stronger like him. But he couldn't tell her that. It happens that not everyone can get what they want. If you are not brave enough to give your life, you cannot become strong. Life doesn't matter, just tell me. I will even kneel before you, teach me. Get up, this looks very strange. Now the priority is to find Han Che Yan. Wait a minute, what is she doing? She took off her handcuffs and ran away. And she's fast. We need to catch her quickly. You need to use a ticket. The road is blocked. Meanwhile, Che Young was trying to deal with two men who were hurting a little kitten. She said they were disgusting because they hurt the cat. But it's just an animal. Better shut up nicely. If you don't apologize, I'll call my friends. He was going to hit her. Shut up already. By this time, Ban Shu arrived and twisted his arm. She also beat up the others. Kion's words that night influenced her, and therefore she did not kill the man, but only said that he was lucky. They all ran away. Living in the wild, Banshu grew to love animals more than people. People can quit at any time, but animals are not capable of betrayal. Che Young thanked her. Banshu replied that there was nothing to thank her for. There was no forgiveness for her sins. Just at this moment, Kion arrived in time. She had saved the girl he cared deeply about from the Yakuza, and she was now safe. She understood that it was hard to trust someone like her, but she really wanted to earn trust. Now she must survive and take revenge. We can't let Hwasa's death be in vain. So please tell me how to become stronger. He didn't know what to answer. He didn't know anything himself. Appa is our prisoner, but he won't last long and that bitch escaped. And I would like to fight with that girl again. She is quite strong. I haven't seen anyone like her for a long time. So, what further instructions? I think I should tell her that the guy is alive and she will come back for him. That's right, we'll make her come back. We have a great bait for her. We'll keep him alive until she takes the bait. And then I'll tear him apart right before her eyes. So what should we do? Maybe change my hairstyle? Or maybe a haircut? I didn't report about the Ban Shishian group, so it won't be possible to hide it for long anyway. Well, let's cut them off. Che Young tried to stop her. It's a shame to cut off your hair. Don't be afraid, I will help you. Now everyone was amazed by her beauty. As expected, the lady has golden hands. Our school trip is ongoing, so we will have to follow the program. Lee Kyung Ho. You will keep an eye on Bang Show first. If anything happens, let me know. Before we get back, we need to get some information about the profitable company. The recent snakes are also worrying me. I want to make a detour. Ha Jin, watch the lady. Lee Kyung Ho will stay with Bang Shi. It's so hot. It turns out that Kion didn't tell them that the man in the mask was him. She asked how many snakes he had fought and he told her all of them. He also met the Black Mamba but did not fight him. Have you met the Black Mamba? To be honest, I don't remember him well. The situation was different then. Now I don't remember who else I met and fought with. She again began to beg him to help her become stronger. The study of my strength is hidden from everyone. No one can repeat it. Just give me time to think. She thanked him. Afterwards, they decided to look around. Suddenly, a ball almost flew into his head. But Ban Shu managed to intercept it. Even someone like him couldn't notice the ball flying at him. I hope it's really him. He greeted the crowd of men who threw the ball. What is he doing? If you are in Japan, why do you speak Korean? Once you've done your best, go home. Haha, <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I don't speak Japanese well. If you think about it, he looks very weak. He hasn't even noticed the flying ball yet. And not a single callus on my hands. These are hands that have never held a weapon. We were lucky. We got off with an apology and passed by these scum. They were wrong. Why did you apologize? You could easily deal with them. Kion replied that he just didn't want to fight. She asked if he was deceiving her. He replied that he tries not to get involved in meaningless fights. Only if a fight is inevitable does he fight. Is it true? She threw her leg right over the face of one of the guys. Then show me. In a matter of seconds, she took off the handcuffs and ran away. Kion also wanted to run away, but... Spend tickets on these guys. This banshee was acting like a child. She climbed a tree and watched him from above. She thought he was lying to her. Is this a shipping company run by snakes? Looks like an ordinary company. It doesn't seem like there's anything important here. They said it was related to those who betrayed the snakes, but why do they need a transport company? Ha Jin called her and said it was time to change. She replied that for now they can switch with Lee Kyung Ho. Yes, then you can rest for half an hour. And from the bushes, one of the snakes was watching her. Gotcha, he thought. Why is everyone lying to me? Why does everyone hate me so much? You can't trust anyone. They are all traitors. Oh, are you here? I was just looking for you. How disgusting you are. He hit her and said that she was behaving badly and was also wearing a school uniform. She had a knife in her sleeve and wanted to attack him back, but he noticed it in time. How stupid you are. I have important information for you. Your friend was tortured to death and you just left him? He showed her his photograph. Hwasa screamed your name as we tortured him. Are you sitting here chilling? After all, people who eat garbage turn out to be garbage, right? 
You ran away and abandoned your comrade. I wanted to kill him so that he would not suffer. But the boss decided to leave him until you came to us. Looks like it's time for you to join him. Kion as always arrived on time and stopped him. I barely found you. I had to work hard to get away from those guys. Hey, he'll kill you. Run while you can. Who are you, her personal bodyguard? Do you think you can kill me? You want to become stronger, right? I don't even know how to tell you this, but you better learn from me. Soul Power Tang, martial artist. Samar's power level was 80 points. Not too bad, he moved well, but it wasn't enough. He asked Russell how big the gap was with the guy who had 50 points. Russell replied that they were about equal in strength. And he thought that if he beat Lee Kyung Ho, he could become even stronger. This guy's skills were too predictable. They were all fake. Samar couldn't believe that they were equal in strength because it felt like he was reading all his movements. He was about to fight back, but Kion synchronized with the soul. Where did he learn to fight so well? Samar's body couldn't even keep up with him instinctively. And that's 50 points? Or was he able to become even stronger in a couple of hours? He tried his best to keep up with the others, but he always ended up being a few steps behind them. He seems to have already realized their difference in strength, but does he want to continue? Samar tried to connect the main control by poking himself in the eyes. The atmosphere changed dramatically. It was as if a completely different person was standing in front of Kion. It turned out that thanks to his secret technique, he could use the core to the maximum. He became even stronger than before and his eyes turned red. He became like a demon. It was necessary to finish quickly. And after a few blows, he was done with him. Is there an underground base here? Something's wrong here. Oh, there's someone here. What is this, a gay guy? Give me a sec. This is the Shelter of Blades. All the guys sitting in front of the leader betrayed him. It was written all over their faces. He wondered why they did it. This is because they were promised that if they became first-class snakes, then power would be in their hands. But no one was able to reach the first class, or at most the second. Three more guys joined them. They said they weren't afraid of blades. Yo Rin decided not to interfere. She wanted to observe the actions of the snakes. They were about to start when suddenly someone else entered the base. Those stupid bastards can't find a use for their power. Everyone, get on your knees. The guys who worked for him followed the order. Is there a second-class serpent to whom one can kneel? There is no need to waste your precious time on this rabble. In an instant, he cut off everyone's heads. Come on, such incredible strength, he must be from the first class. But it didn't end there. He looked at her and greeted her. Come down to us, stop hiding, rat. They brought him inside. The guys asked who it was, and Kion replied that it was a snake that chased Banshee. Kion wanted to interrogate him, and it seems to be using a strange power to strengthen the core. But so far he hasn't said much. Here it can be transferred to Xi'an Group. Ha Jin's phone didn't work and he thought he broke it during practice, so Kyung lent him his. This guy was dangerous, so he decided to leave him in a warehouse somewhere and keep an eye on him. It was Chiljom, a first-class snake. He gave her five seconds to come down. It was necessary to leave. Yo Rin couldn't understand when he noticed her. Russell thrust one of his swords into the vent to stop it. Do you think you can get out of there alive? There are more of them than she thought. If she gets caught, she's done for. But suddenly she stopped. She saw Hwasa and realized that he was alive which means he was a hostage. She went downstairs, but did not know that the Black Viper was already waiting for her there. And not only her, there was also Muta who uses a katana. Each of these snakes is at least level two. She deftly dodged all the blows and managed to attack. So far, everything is going too smoothly, somehow strange. Can you still move? The effect has already appeared. Damn it, the poison got into the wound. You have nowhere else to run. Why did you come here alone? Yes, the worst outcome of events, but now there is nowhere to retreat. She changed trajectories in a split second, broke through the wall and ran away. The leader ordered to search everything and block the exits. And where did she go? They had already caught up with her, but could not find her. She sent a message to Kyung since Hajin's phone was unreachable. My legs are going numb and I have no time to just sit anymore. She must win this battle to get out of here. She ran to the elevator and knocked down the door. The fire alarm started. There is a risk of fire in the basement. The leader decided that there was no point in chasing her now. He thought she was planning to hide somewhere. He ordered all entrances and exits to be closed. We will not let her out. Immediately look for her from inside. Everything is closed everywhere. Due to the fire, all exits were blocked. It's good that there is another emergency exit in the basement. She wanted to quickly return to her guys, but at the exit, the guys were already waiting for her. They didn't think she would find the hidden passage so quickly. Indeed, like a rat, they were not going to stand on ceremony with her. They wanted to do everything quickly. Yeah, she underestimated them. She'll have to fight. They've come all this way. Don't disappoint these damn bastards. He ordered her to close her mouth. He was going to break all her limbs so she couldn't escape from them. And just as they were about to attack, they flew in different directions from someone's blow. Ben Shu was glad that she made it on time, although it was nice to see her like this. But why was she here? She saw Kion receive a message and felt she needed to read it. Let's destroy them together without further ado. 
Kion couldn't believe that Ban Shu ran away. Ha Jin asked him for forgiveness. She ran away so quickly that he could not catch up with her. She looked at Kion's cell phone, said something, and left. What to do? Oh, so you're still alive. Can you handle us? What else is this? Has she gotten that strong? He heard that she overpowered too when she was wounded. Jumping back over Russell, she put a sword to his throat, but Sumatra was about to attack her from behind. But he was stopped by Yeo Rin. His words hurt her greatly back then, so now she was going to tear out his dirty tongue. But he replied that of the two of them, it was she who would die. She wouldn't mind if he painted her face, would she? Well, no, he couldn't lose to her. He asked her why she was so concerned about Hwasa. There must be a reason to save your ally. An ally? Ha, huh. yes, he is almost dead. His limbs have been torn off. He told her that she couldn't even control her distance, which is why she got hurt on the poisonous blade. Weak girl. Right. Due to the poison in her legs, her body moved very slowly, but she was still able to use her techniques. As she hung upside down, the poison almost spread throughout her body. They fought to protect each other. The guys felt that their opponents had changed in strength. Yeo Rin asked her to trust her and told her that Hwasa was alive. How so? Why does she fight so well even when poisoned? What precise control she has? Let's finish them off and save him. Let's do it. Yeo Rin was so close to her goal, but suddenly the Black Viper appeared again and wounded her once again. How much longer will you tinker with them? Will you both become my prey? Holy shit, I'm going harder this time. What? Isn't it working anymore? This poison acts instantly, which is why the reaction is so fast. In ten minutes, death will come. You can't escape your fate, girls. Just die already. I only have ten minutes left, but even if I die, I will take you with me. Fighting while being hit three times with a sword filled with poison is amazing. I'm sorry, but I have an antidote. So ten minutes later, only you will die. Bansha, I can't go with you. You want to save him, right? Contact Xi'an Group for help. They will help you. This is the only way. Count to three and leave, said Yo Rin. Li Kyung Ho, the man with the mask. He asked Yeo Rin if she had been poisoned. Are you looking for this? This poison is so strong that it will burn all her organs from the inside. Shut up! You give me the antidote. Otherwise you will die like the last beast. Hey, what is he talking about? Why so much pathos? I think he will entertain us properly. If you want to save her, defeat me. But I'll tell you one thing. You attack and you'll die first. Kion was attacked from three sides. But he used the concentration of his soul and scattered everyone in different directions. Here you go, your antidote, she thanked him. It's dangerous here, find a safe place, Kion told her. How can he be so strong if he doesn't use the core? In an instant, he dodged three attacks. My antidote is gone. He's too strong. A monster in a human body. This feeling of superiority. They attacked him again. Don't give in to his impulse. There are more of us, no matter what he does, we are stronger. Without completing the mission, death will await us. You are unable to complete the assigned task. Snakes that return to base without completing the mission are considered trash. Better give up your position here. All you have to do is be faithful dogs. This is your last chance. If you fail to fulfill your responsibilities, you will die by my hands. We don't know the feeling of fear. All we have to do is follow the directions. Right now, the best I can do is avoid direct attacks. If we continue to fight like this, we might accidentally hit and injure the girls. We need to retreat somehow. This sword will not withstand any further battle. We need to finish with them quickly. He took them further away, deep into the forest so that they could not touch the girls, and he could calmly deal with these snakes here. And there is only one way, a clear attack. Did he cut the bamboo? Crap, he's attacking. Is he moving towards me? He wounded Russell first. He hit him so fast. Yes, and now he's coming here. Prepare to attack. Kion again used his soul concentration and flew towards them with great speed. The blade concentrates with the soul. It becomes very sharp. I can see their weak points and the gaps they are missing. It's like I know all their moves. It's no use resisting me now. He knocked them out with just one hit. Now they lay unconscious. Why did you destroy them so quickly? There are still two people left in the building, but there is someone you need to be careful with. There is a first class snake there. I don't know which core he uses, but he is stronger than the second class. A very strong snake. Yes? Then you need to check how good it is. Kian was going to sneak in there quietly and unnoticed. Yo Rin told him that she had already tried to sneak there secretly, but she was quickly detected. Yo Rin had to collect some data and Bang Shu had to save Hwasa and Kyung promised to help them both. He needed to check something himself, the key to his mother's soul. Ban Shu couldn't wait any longer and decided to draw their attention to herself. Yo Rin tried to stop her because she was afraid that there might be a first-class snake there. But for her, it didn't matter. The main thing was to save Hwasa. She hoped for them. They started arguing. One wanted to become bait and save her friend. The other thought that this was unthinkable because it could end in tears. Wait, then how do you like the idea of going upstairs? You failed the mission. And how are you going to compensate for this? You are not fit to be a tool. Tools shouldn't talk. Broken things must be destroyed. The blade can be sharpened again. I'll fix everything. 
Give us one last chance, please. I want to prove my strength to you. Even if I die, I will die in battle. Ask, don't cut our throats. What a stupid obsession. Prove it to me and don't embarrass yourself this time. Something happened here. I think an unusual person has infiltrated here. The place is now being heavily guarded. We're just killing our time here. What else is this? Arrow? They saw a silhouette in a nearby building. This means that the masked man knows not only fencing, but also archery. This is a double operation. Now we move on as planned. Yes, double operation. You go, and I will help you. Banshee goes to the dungeon to save Hwasa. Yo Rin will look for the first level snake and his documents. Remember, your goal is not to fight them. I will take full responsibility for the battle, and you just follow the plan. If everything works out, I can fight them. What a luck, I found them. Oh, am I the first to bump into you? No luck then. You're not alone here, are you? I bet you're with Banshee. Ha ha, how stupid you are trusting that guy in the mask. He can't do anything with that bow. Wait a minute. This guy, where is he aiming? Is it really me? Right at me? It was so close. There is nothing funnier than not paying attention to the main threat to life. From now on, everything will be my way. Because my arrows always hit the target. Soul power. Dan, a sharp archer. Things that I had not seen before, I began to see everything, down to the smallest detail. Even the direction of the wind, I feel everything. I don't care about this mask. He is not our goal. Let's deal with her. But the arrows get in the way. And the mask is really good. It will be easier for me to fight with only one of them. Crap. Due to the rapid attacks, I can't fight back. 80 points, and you can't even really dodge attacks. Funny. You pushed back and created a gap to use your core. Did you really think that you had it all figured out and would end up like this? Sang Sang of the second type. What were you saying about 80 points? I can't believe such accuracy. Using the wind flow, he hits the target exactly. He realized that Kion was aiming again and ran forward. But one of the arrows still hit him. As a child, I dreamed of getting a worthy name for myself. No, no, I can't give up. What? Seven arrows? Where does such a big typhoon come from? Due to the next concentration of Kion's soul, the arrows could not be avoided. Is there really no way? You stupid man who betrayed the blade, said Dekapi. Betrayed? This word can be used when you trust someone, but the blades are on their own, the guy answered. Do you know the real purpose of your organization? It's time to understand this a long time ago. The guy tried to attack them. What a fool. Plans changed. He was going to hit him right in the heart. He pierced him, and he could still move? This is the price of power. You have to pay for everything. Don't you think you're getting too carried away? Has his movements changed? This is a technique used by second-class snakes. I missed. Is he going to jump over the rope? What is this? It was as if he had become a different person. Avoids all arrows. His speed increased significantly. You need to cut the rope. He cut the rope, but the man managed to jump to the roof. Now, having looked at it up close, I understand. He is now in the same condition as those two. My ability was given to me at the cost of my life. A technique that burns my core to ashes. I will kill you. I will burn you the same way my core is burned. Blades whose whole life is devoted to tasks. Nothing superfluous, just a clearly defined plan. When Muta first joined the organization, he not only killed people on missions, but also played with them. He was also very aggressive and brash in his answers, and so at first the guys thought that he would not stick around with them. The foundation is held in the soul. To overcome the limits of the core of strength, you must trust your body. A reaction of rejection of the core is possible, and it may simply burn. Using this technique for a long time, the body may not be able to withstand it. Is he tired of attacking me yet? It is not profitable for me to evade him for so long. My endurance is not infinite. His core became very strong. One-on-one -on -one is not working. I need help. Are you still running away? Stupid. There's a dead end there. Where did she go? To win, you need to use your core with your muscular and nervous system. I'll open the core all the way, and I'll only have five seconds if I hit. The victory is mine. Oops, my neck almost flew off. What a pity that your plan failed. Crap, I couldn't even properly release the core at full power. Just five seconds and that's not enough. It feels like the nervous and muscular system is not compatible. Do you have time to think about something? Is it possible to become so strong just by releasing the core? If I continue, I will really die here. This time he hit her very hard. She couldn't stay on her feet and fell. At that moment, memories came flooding back. What is a full core opening? It means being united by the strength of a great man. Instead of using some of the strength in your muscles, you simply lend your body to your core. Each person has different sensations. So instead of thinking, just try to feel the core inside. So what's the end result? You're weaker than I thought. Is the complete opening of the core a merging of souls? But how can she use all the systems together? They don't fit together at all. When she used the nervous system, the muscular system was destroyed. And vice versa, when she used the muscular system, the nervous system disappeared. It doesn't matter what you come up with, but now you can't defeat me because I'm stronger than you. Oh, can you still fight? 
Listen to my words carefully. The heart is still beating and the closer he gets, the stronger the heartbeat. Is it the fear of death? No. Is this the core heartbeat? It seems that now she understood what needed to be done. She flew past him at high speed and cut his face. What? Did she hurt me? What is this feeling? Has she become so strong? She realized that using the muscular system in the leg and the nervous system in the arm at the same time worked. The place where the core burns the body is where a large amount of energy is concentrated. That is, you need to focus on the heart. I give you eight points. Although it was a surprise attack, there is no doubt that I was unable to block her attack. How did she awaken such power? However, by removing the restrictions, I will endanger my life and my soul will disappear. What is the point of all this then? In any case, if I die without doing anything, everything will be in vain. Even if I die, I'll take this bitch with me. Now he allowed the soul to enter his body. You think you can hurt me and then you can kill me? You are not that simple. Your core is impressive, but I do not care. No matter how strong you are, it doesn't make sense now. You can only use part of the core, but you can't handle me. I will show you the true power of the core. Even if you don't see, I feel everything. Every breath, movement, I see everything. For a moment, time slowed down. A sixth sense awoke in me. This is the power of the core. Such a simple blow and I couldn't stop it. Ha, huh, it was really hard. Did you have fun hiding and shooting like a rat? You can't escape at this distance. I'll kill you. Ha, huh, you missed again. But Kion wasn't aiming at him. Was he aiming for a crack in the pillar? What a fucking bastard. Decided to hide and attack again? However, if I calculate the direction of the arrow, I can determine its location. Wait, what? Does it shoot in three directions? He completely stopped understanding what he was doing. Everything was happening too quickly. So these were not all his skills. Did he fire all three arrows to create an angle for a ricochet attack? When two arrows flew into his back, he decided it was time to run. I needed to hide. I can't figure out where it is. It feels like dozens of people are watching me. I can't even move. If I remove the piercing, I can release more power, and I will have five minutes to fight him. Besides, I don't know where he is now. This is the end. What? Has he run out of arrows? If I go through all the arrows, avoiding the vital organs, and find his location, then one minute will be enough. I'm sure his target now is me. Then I need to find his hideout. Did he really notice that he was out of arrows? He found his refuge. He has one or two arrows left and Jumonga's soul cannot win in close combat. We need to hurry up and change our soul. Finally, he had one last arrow left and one last chance. Now everything will definitely work out. At this distance, I will definitely hit him. Just when he thought he had defeated me, I pierced his heart. The fact that you blocked the blow does not change anything. The arrows are out. This was my plan. He grabbed it and rushed from the high-rise building. Are you going to die with me? You're crazy, but you'll die alone. Ha <laughs> ha. What? Where did he get another arrow? Did he pull it out of me? Now you definitely won't escape. Now I'll hit it 100%. It hit, and that was the last shot. Great job. I said that I would hit the heart, which means that the concentration of the soul helped to defeat the enemy. Meanwhile, Banshu managed to go around all the rooms and finally found and freed Hwasa. He was alive. I never thought you'd come to save this guy. It would be nice to get rid of this garbage. Leader of the snakes. The guy according to Yeo Rin is a first class snake. I can't beat him now. As soon as I run, he will kill me. If only someone would come to help. What to do? Did he come alone? Is this really a trap? Doesn't matter, I have a chance. She rushed at him, but he was able to stop her with only one small knife. He thought she was stupid. He was able to wound her with the same knife. And that's all. Is she capable of anything? Decided to fight with me until the very end? I came all this way just for revenge. Is this the first level? I didn't count on this. You need your sword, don't you? This is Manahoshi Zhao, which you treasure very much. Take it and fight me. What a bastard. You will regret this. And you're funny, but you'll still die. Damn, I can't use a sword here for fear of hurting Hwasa. We need to focus on his chin. She still tried to use one of the techniques, but it didn't work out. Still, he is too strong for her. But she was glad that she increased the distance with Hwasa. How can I defeat him now? Right now, all I can do is defend myself. Do you have time to think about anything else besides fighting? How bugs like you infuriate me. You're no use. No matter how much they train, the weak will always be weak. You are just worms that should rot underground. You can't even save yourself, let alone anyone else. It feels like my whole body is being torn apart from the inside. What a powerful force. And how long are you going to defend yourself? Do you really think you can defeat me with such strength? It would be better if you ran away with everyone else. I've been waiting for this moment. The difference between us is very great. I can't stand up to him directly. Only if you attack from the closed side of the attack. Now I will show you my strength. Huh? What? I told you so. Even if you fight, garbage is still garbage. This is impossible. Neither Manohoshi Zhao nor the Great Dance of Swords helped. I saw your strength. Now do me a favor. Show me a face full of despair. And this is a complete opening of the core? No, that's not all. The skills I honed for revenge, even Manahoshi Zhao, which I barely achieved, was a failure. My efforts are in vain against this guy. 
And do you want to catch the Black Mamba with such skills? Who is this? He's the one you want to take revenge on, the guy who killed you back then. Black Mamba? Is he also a snake? Being in the same organization and not even knowing anything about it? Ha 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 ha. You really didn't know anything. How funny. What do you know? Tell me about him. You should know that he sacrificed himself for you. Yes, it was a lot of fun then. Now I'll tell you everything. That day the Black Mamba finally found him. He kept waiting for him to appear. From that very day he did not forget him, the enemy who killed his family. He risked his life to train and kill him. He promised himself that when he found him he would kill him with his own weapon. He was able to find out that people die and are resurrected. He pretended to die and followed him. Black Mamba told him that whatever the reason he would avenge him. And he came here to say thank you. He said that he wanted to become as strong as him. How did you lose your family? I know a lot of kids like this. Forget about the outside world. Follow me if you want to be like me. If you miss your family, think of me as your father. However, I am very demanding, so you must prove your worth to me. The dagger is yours. Yes, to become stronger, I will follow you wherever you go. Meeting a new father, I realized the power of all this. Become stronger without being distracted by anything. I followed my father's orders. I became stronger. I didn't think about things that were unnecessary for me. Be cool. Have no regrets. Be strong. All for your father. This is the killer's room. We must complete the mission perfectly. He saw in front of him a picture of a man hugging his wife and son. He wanted them to survive. No, I can't. Chiljom followed him. He realized that the Black Mamba could not kill them, and therefore he did it himself. You disappointed me. Did I tell you to forget about emotions? Father, this is not... He slashed him across the face with the sword. Who is your father? Are you telling me I picked the wrong kid? Give me another chance. I won't let you down again. Is it true? Okay, the next mission will be very difficult. You will risk your life. Don't let me down. The mission is to steal things from this place. I haven't heard of snakes cooperating with blades. If I get caught, I will cause conflict between the two organizations. I must not fail. I will avoid fighting as much as possible. We need to find that thing. What, intruder? Did you come here alone? They all attacked him. He got rid of everyone. He killed everyone who saw or heard him. More people arrived and called for reinforcements. Crap. Was I really that late? I just wanted to be recognized. Did my father really abandon me? We found the violators. There are three of them. How am I going? Am I being dragged? Is it you guys? Oh, I woke up. Do you think we'd let you go on a mission alone? Yes, how could you take a mission and not call us? You should have left me there. Leave? How can we leave you? Right, our youngest? Younger? What? Have you already forgotten? Banshee asked. They were lost in memories. Black Mamba asked how old they were, but they didn't know. Hwasa hasn't counted his age since he was abandoned, but Banshee grew up in the slums and didn't know him at all. Hwasa didn't even know his name, and neither did Bang Shi. Black Mamba introduced himself as Genie. Jin, you have a name. I'm jealous. I want a name, too. Since you have a name, give it to us, too. Okay. Let there be Marie and Jan. Hwasa didn't like it. It was somehow too simple, and Marie didn't like Ban Shi. These are the names of my deceased brother and sister. Having learned this, they hastened to apologize. Wait a minute. If these are the names of your relatives, then we will become your relatives? Then Jin will be the youngest. We will be like a full-fledged family. Junior Hyung will take care of you. Yes, now I remember. Great job. You truly are a special snake. I know that you can do anything, son. Are there any special kids among the students? Yes, there are two people. I think they can become strong fighters. Is it true? Yes, I will help them become strong snakes. It is not necessary. The final test is killing the students. This was a one-person workout. My guys, should I kill them with my own hands? No, I feel like I can become stronger next to my father. That's right. If we remember our first meeting, you were pursuing me to become stronger. However, you are not strong enough now. Do you know the strength of the core? His true strength. I haven't heard about this, but I know that such people exude a completely different aura. The core is the ability to steal other people's souls and gain power beyond its capabilities. You can get this power when you die and come back to life. But not everyone who has experienced death can receive it. And I know how to get this power. Die and rise again? How can I get this power? Only a select few know the secret of gaining power. Now it is better to focus on the exam, which will be in three days. Yes, I understand. He decided that in three days he should run away with Jan and Marie. Anxiety? What happened? If you think about it, the time has already come. I am the head of the search team. I called you here to teach you the discipline of wielding a blade. First rule, blades don't retreat. Here, look. These guys are scum who dared to run away from the blades. Jin remembered this guy. He had met him before. Then this guy gave him advice that it is better to think before attacking, and then in battle he will have no equal. The guy broke the rope and attacked the instructor. But he managed to react very quickly. Garbage must be thrown away. Kill everyone. This is the end of the fugitive. Stay up to date. The situation is completely changed. There are five people in the blade. Their leader is the father. I don't know what their capabilities are in battles. I must become as strong as my father. 
Everything is different from what it was before, and as long as there is a search party, escape is impossible. Wait a minute. The Blades know how to gain this power. If I can find out how to gain power, then Ian and Marie can survive. I just need to find that diary. Are you still wondering how to get power? You only have one chance. Don't let me down, thought Chiljom. Tomorrow is the last exam. The route to obtain the document was built in three days. I will definitely save them. As expected, it comes. The son betrayed his father. The number of guards was halved due to the completion of the task. Are you really trying to gain core strength? In the end, I'm sure it's all about the last exam. It's here, the head's room. All the documents are there. As soon as he enters the room, kill him. He was here and went in another direction, as if he had disappeared. It's not like this room was his target. What? Didn't he come here for the secret of the core? Have you really changed your mind? Lure followers into the head's room and escape to the warehouse next door? Why did he ask to do this? My father thinks that I might betray him. I must take this opportunity. Not only father knows about the core, all blade commanders have this document. As soon as he found it, he began to read. Inside it was written that you need to mix a poisonous mushroom with mahogany liquid and make juice. Then hit the right lower part of the chest, and the person will fall into a state of suspended animation. Now everything is clear to me. Today is exactly ten years since you started living here, and today you will have your last exam. Jin, don't let me do something like that again. I thought I was going to die. Sorry. The final exam begins right now. If I fail, we're all done. The leader announced that they should kill until only one remained. As written in the document, the key to the power to be dead and alive is quite simple. I spread the juice on the sword in advance. The first blow to the lower right chest, I can bring you back to life. Forgive me, but this is the only way. I will definitely save you. Now let's get back to the last test. What a stupid guy you are. In the end, you lost your last chance. I suspected you. It was sad when I thought that you were about to break into my room. I even thought that you would want to get the documents by any means. And I forgot to say that this document is missing important information. How pathetic you should have doubted my words from the very beginning. You won't be able to get the core by simply putting yourself in suspended animation, because the most important condition for getting the core is missing. The core can only be obtained by dying. This will not help a person without a core. Those who fall into suspended animation die immediately. So you knew everything, father? You continue to call me father after you betrayed me? You bastard, I just used you, but you didn't know it and killed them with your own hands. This is the result of betrayal. Ha 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 ha! Jin grabbed his hand. There's one thing you don't know about me. I lost my family when I was seven years old. What? I've heard this story for a long time. I received the core on that very day. The soul of the great samurai, Zoe Fena. In the hall of the ancient castle where time stopped, the stage was divided too. He the Lord of Cold Steel and Secrets, with a sword in his hand, smiled as if knew answers to all the riddles of the world. She's gray. Haired the warrior, on her knees in front of him, was looking for answers in cold metal that underscore lying between them. On the next picture, her sight became steely and piercing, reflecting fight inside. Didn't kill you that day? How this, perhaps? Words intertwined with magic moment created an aura of mysticism and doubt. Shadow played on his face, hiding truth and threat simultaneously. Isn't it funny? He began, and his words curled like snakes, promising revenge and hidden meanings. In the last act he transformed, becoming a juggler destinies underscore, that day he pretended, he said at the time, how she, deceived and wounded, fell silently shouting, don't lie, turning to the unknown gods of justice. In a foggy room voltage grows like underscore smoke. Man in a white coat with a sly smile proclaims the truth that traitors are underscore they are pointing at their satellites. How true a manipulator, he stands above the discord that he himself ignited. But his calm deceptively underscore behind him the drama unfolds where the other two fight, lost in despair and betrayal. The one who stood at the head their trust, now turned away, leaving them in the shadows their intrigue underscore. The scene changes and we see the moment of decision. Woman with sword, splashed blood, preparing for battle in her eyes. Endless determination underscore. At the end, after all, face face a traitor, she is ready to defend their convictions to the last. And so, a man with pale hair appears in front of us, wounded and bleeding blood. His gaze is full of accusations. Why? There were no connections with betrayal torn previously? It stands as a symbol of the destroyed trust and consequences that underscore follow gullibility. Underscore. The power of determination can be read in the eyes pale-haired men when he rejects underscore excuses, traitor underscore. His words sound like a sentence, no deceitful explanations won't change stories, their betrayal underscore. And suddenly, dynamic struggle changes. 
a man in a white coat grabs his opponent in an unexpected rush, and blood splashes like underscore cruel price reminder underscore power and betrayal. A fall pale-haired in the echo struggle marks yourself climax conflict. He lies on the floor, and his opponent, a man in white, stands proudly, holding a sword, as if Reaper harvests betrayal and lies. All ends scream a woman, wounded and betrayed, her cry full of pain and rage. It resonates with the cold walls, becoming epitaph fallen idols and fallen hopes. The man in the white coat, now full complacency, with irony remembers the black mamba, sacrificing yourself to underscore experience their everyone underscore. His words are laced mockery in his eyes, flickers cold excellence. He stands as if victor over the defeated and humiliated figures their former allies, ready to uncover their cards. Their fate is now in his hands, and he enjoys this moment of power. But suddenly comes change. Splash action and blood, the last act of despair. One of fallen rebels driven last spark hope for salvation or retribution underscore. How a tragic hero he falls. In torment and loneliness, his blood becomes part gloomy fresco on the floor. The last protest fading under shadow betrayal and lost humanity. The battle continues, and each blow paints the scene with a new one. A shade of blood and despair. The edge of a sword like precursor death finds its purpose, and fight seems finished underscore. But here, in the last impulse resistance, one of Fallen finds strength to counterattack. His blow is full of rage and hopelessness. Story continues to spin circles around struggle for power and survival. Falling like underscore slow dance movement, shrill ends the fight. Zero gravity flight, last side fight that underscore takes away with him hope and courage. And so there is silence. The man in white, unshakable and majestic, meets your opponent. His words are laconic and final. You are my best work. They read end one history and the beginning of another, secret and unknown. Battlefield underscore flooded lunar light, and the winner admits that he did not expect such results. Perhaps such an outcome was not even in his calculations, but he accepts it with pride. However, his thoughts are interrupted. Suddenly, in the midst, victory appears underscore unexpected element. Other survivor who underscore refuses give up without a fight. And in that moment, greatness and self-confidence winner face unexpected underscore directness and decisiveness of one who was doomed to failure. What kind of nonsense? His surprise and bewilderment for a moment destroy the aura of invincibility. The end seemed to be near, but the words of a survivor contribute confusion. Death was not as close as thought winner. Perhaps it underscore was his critical miscalculation underscore. With the word bastard, Winner again attacks, trying regain control over the situation, which to him seemed absolute total a moment ago. The accusations initially permitted fleeing turn around against himself. Was whether this part of his plan or error that underscore now requires corrections? And at the last moment before strangulation, the survivor shouts out the truth, the meaning of that document is the key to the final turn of events, which seems to have escaped attention, Winner underscore. In the shaded room where underscore time as if freezes, mysterious figure thoroughly studies secret boxes. Spark hope lights up. If managed to find the key to deception, he and Marie will be able to run. Fingers slide through the pages on which written words seem to be unknown language underscore. Opening this document can become a catalyst full camber plan enemy underscore. With the power of knowledge strengthened with these lines, they three of us will be able resist and break free. Underscore. This document is their last chance for salvation. And so, with a document in his hands, the hooded figure exclaims, Wait! Now their fate depends on what hidden in these words. Standing by the window, the hooded figure is aware of the risks. There is a high probability lose part yourself memories, but for the sake of salvation, this worth it. Yes, that's right, he confirms as would answering the unheard question outgoing underscore from the depths of his mind, or to a whisper most fate underscore. In the past, the struggle for life, where every step and every blow of the sword could be the last. Saving Marie and yourself is what underscore they are all here. Willingness to become a faithful dog for their sake life is underscore a promise made to oneself. He will fight while it flows in his veins, blood while the spark is alive in his heart. Hope underscore. Man in white holding by the collar pale-haired man sarcastically sets question without hiding mockery in your voice. He finds humor in the torment and suffering that inflicts on others. His contempt becomes clear when he expresses his reason underscore actions. He does not see there is no point in saving people like his captive because of their, in his opinion, low values. Then he warns of the need adaptation to recognition pain, indicating inevitability underscore suffering that underscore waiting for his sacrifice. Sadistic the reproach in his words embodies the fear that the most valuable memories maybe be destroyed.
This last manipulation, attempt break the spirit of his opponent. Broken and wounded, captive surrenders to the inevitable, admitting his powerlessness in the face of cruelty winner underscore. His words are filled resignation. He no longer sees Wei's struggle. The winner is pleased, realizes yours advantage, and starts formulate a new, gloomy task for his captive, playing with his fate. How puppeteer underscore. Last thing requirement, kill their satellites. Sounds how final trial fidelity and finality destruction of his personality. And so the final blow is a threat erase memory prisoner and replace her planted hatred underscore. This the dark path of manipulation and complete control over the mind and will person underscore. The prisoner seems to accept his fate, seeing in this some punishment for their sins. His humility in the face inevitable seems complete underscore. The man in white continues their mockery, claiming that underscore everything he said was underscore 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 true, distorting reality in your own words. Despair and horror reflected on the face of a woman who cannot accept the thought that everything is becoming worse than that the reality that she knew it was collapsing. And in the shadows, captive does choice to become what demands his dark mentor, strong but lost, perhaps even by himself. The man in white does the last step in your game manipulation, blaming prisoner and death their comrades and offering this as the reason for his punishment. Woman in response decisively refutes his words, saying that if would he really there betrayed them underscore would have already existed dead. Her, the look is full of distrust and challenge. Leaning towards her, he seems confident in his control over the situation, but his confidence seems shaken. He admits that he did not say total. The prisoner, standing in the shadows, admits that, despite the absence blood ties, they still exist family, and this gives to him strength not to despair and continue fight. The woman, grabbed by the head, begins realize connection between family and betrayal, asking question about the reasons for what is happening. Man in white, mockingly smiling, emphasizing irony situation and talks about the endless cycle of betrayals, which according to him, she was never able to break. His confidence that he is finally will kill them, growing with every word. He feels that fully controls situation underscore. But in his eyes, not only cruelty, but also contempt for them as worthless puppets in his hands, with which he can manipulate in your own way, discretion. Flash rage and disappointment from the man in white when his plans are destroyed because of the resistance and inflexibility of the spirit of these people. He accuses them in creation illusions family and friendship, which in his opinion, is only interferes with his plans. Memories of a strong connection he tries so hard break, stand in front of him like a reminder that not everything is possible control. And although his words speak of desire do their stronger, his methods only kindle pain and suffering. Sparks blow reflected in shocked eyes women when underscore her enemy continues mine cruel act. He claims that underscore sees despair and emptiness in her face, accusing her in meaninglessness, her resistance, and that she ruined his plans. Smugly he's ready show her the price betrayal, believing that underscore her will is already broken and she won't be able to resist. But in the eyes women visible unshakable spirit, she's not ready to admit yours defeat. This impossible. Words full determination and hope. Despite the fear of the inevitable, two boys offer train together, recalling the days of calm and brotherhood that were hidden from them. But this one peaceful moment is disrupted formidable explosion emotions from the man in white. His laughter echo bounces off the walls when he tries break their spirit. He holds woman, threatening her while how a man with pale hair realizes the seriousness situations underscore. Question about family and stupidity asked underscore woman, leaves a hint of doubt about them fate and in their choice ways underscore. On the man's face, flickering confidence, schadenfreude shines through. This is so nice, as if his emotions break out outwards playing with the contrast between his elegance and the blood on his skin. Woman in a business suit lifts a look at an upside-down man being grabbed by the hair. When me called by name, she begins, hinting at deep history betrayal underscore. The shadow of the sword looms over them. You! The voice of a man in a robe is intermittent and heavy, his step resolute. Story exciting because he seems to be going restore justice. Shows a man in a fall as if a puppet cut off from its strings. Ajin! He whispers, name traitor, by blood flows from him. Save each other. His last words, request, or maybe dying wish. Woman with despair in her voice calls to the dying man. Ah, no. Her hands stained with blood tremble with bitterness and fear of the inevitable. Laughter sounds how thunder among silence, cruel and merciless. Ah, ha, ha. Friendship until the very end. His words are full irony and mockery of feelings and devotion. Majestic a figure in a dark outfit stands, drowning in the shadows, as if judge of life and death. Your friendship came the end, he announces, confirming crash everyone hope underscore. Woman clasps face men crippled underscore battle and betrayal. 
Please, her voice breaks. I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you. Sounds like a prayer for forgiveness that maybe be too much late underscore. Gloomy scream echoes echoes in the void. I will send you to the depths of hell. The words are full coldness and determination, promising ruthless completion. Woman hugs him, distorted pain face buried in her shoulder. Help me. Her plea is desperate and hopeless at that time how life slips by. Their figures silhouetted against the background of destruction. Like last chord tragic symphonies underscore woman and man, united in the latter dance fate underscore. He looked at her the last time, and in his eyes there is a question or reproach underscore Lee Ken Ho. Perhaps goodbye, or a request for help that will not come. I'm done, Heard. I have no words, says one, at the time how blood and pain reflected in his eyes, leaving only shadow form or strength underscore. Another holds a mask in his hands, a symbol of his falls or maybe his double life underscore, a lost families and so torment them. His words are filled with quiet anger and disappointment. Third costs hire them, his look cold and adamant. What you are you doing? From you doesn't even come out energy rage. He measures and evaluates, but does not find a worthy opponent. Dominate because of his strength over the weak. This is makes you so happy. Challenge thrown, and in it can be heard deep confidence in one's own words and destiny. Laughter fills in space, mocking and defiant. You came here to certain death or what? He challenges. Fate, assuming her inevitability. At least I'm from you now I'll get rid of it, confidently declares a man, lightning play around his figure, emphasizing his power and determination. Yes, I don't know how you starrow, admits another. One can hear in his voice uncertainty, but not fear. He's ready face the unknown. And then arises determination. I will use the power of the soul. The words are laced hardness and they sound how vow-shifting underscore borders possible. In an elegant hall, a woman in an elegant dress thoughtfully asks, Mistress Death, what you are you busy? The atmosphere is permeated with silence and anticipation. On the floor near her legs, black fluffy the cat is sleeping peacefully. He came, thanked and left. He reflects she out loud, thinking past events. I've arrived learn about your soul mothers continues woman. Her words are filled hidden meaningful and deep understanding connections between alive and dead. He so fast became strong, she smiles, thinking about someone's unusual transformation, perhaps suspecting something more than just fate in it. A man with a determined look is tense sight. Who you? His question is full of mistrust and suspicion. He is looking for the answers or in the eyes of the enemy. Young warrior costs confidently. His sword glows mysterious light underscore, how you are you using the power of the soul without a gift? His examiner sight requires explanations underscore. I have to answer? You can hear in his voice challenge. He doesn't count necessary share your secrets with someone who maybe be enemy underscore. Well, if you don't want to, in the voice of another man slips threat, proposal, which could have consequences for both. Then I will force you answer. Loudly declares the man, his step full determination, and the swing of the sword is sharp and dangerous. No. The enemy stands motionless his eyes dark with disbelief. He won't stand up to him, he whispers, anticipating outcome of the fight. Because he's incredible, he is strong, complete opening the kernel in synchronization. Thoughts reveal the depth of his understanding enemy power. I am this felt it when he hit me. His words sound respect for strength blow that underscore open to him new facets of battle. The power that destroys in the blink of an eye sparkles between them. The clash of swords is charged tension and energy, ready tear the fabric of reality. This reality. Him underscore complete discovery of the core. The words sound like a sentence, a confession greatness the strength with which they collide underscore. I contacted Lee Ken Ho. Confession sounds quiet, but in it is felt weight and power. Ancient connections unknown underscore the ordinary world. But even he can't stand against him, declares the man. Full determination and readiness for battle, despite the premonition outcome. Run! Scream echo spreads throughout space, filling it with tension and foreshadowing dangers underscore. What? He survived? Disbelief and surprise comes through in the man's words when he realizes that his powerful blow was parried underscore. How was he able to block my blow? Question the enemy asks himself, not believing that his strength can be so easily neutralized. Funny. Really interesting guy. He admits, in his voice one can hear not only respect for the enemy, but also excitement from an unexpected fight. And this complete discovery of the core? In the young man's voice sounds not only surprise, but also a note of puzzlement from the feeling that permeated his essence. This feeling. It is if we've light and darkness creating underscore vortex strength that underscore promises change. Move battles underscore. If I'll lose vigilance, I'm finished. Penetrates the consciousness awareness danger. Threat defeats hanging in the air. 
How heavy clot fog underscore. Decided defend yourself? The words sounded like reflection, anticipation next step while underscore how a man weighs their odds and strategy. Concentrate! The inner voice of a young man sounds as a team, calling for gathering all the strength of spirit and mind for the upcoming tests. When I concentrate, I see the life of the soul. It's in my mind. His thoughts plunge into deep inner world where memories and emotions come to life, gaining new form. As if would memories become part me. Feeling power past, bestowing to him new strength and confidence in the upcoming battle. Dodge? Views both opponents crossed, full determination and anticipation of the course of fate, which will determine outcome of the fight. Do you think you can run away from me? Shouts the enemy, his confidence and power growing with his every movement. A whirlwind battles around him promises irresistible collision. Now it's my turn, answers young man. His determination and speed and reflection enemy offensive speak of incredible preparation and skill. He's lightning fast moves, leaving behind underscore only track his passing like underscore. If would space and time thickened around his silhouette, even though he has Daro, I'll compensate this their physical data. Thoughts young men show that he relies not only on his inner strength, but also on his trained capabilities. Incredible guy. And he's a level one snake? Bewilderment and admiration mixed in the opponent's voice when he realizes that in front of him is not just an opponent, but someone who really maybe call him underscore anxiety. First I see that someone was able to equalize level one snake. This absolutely another level. Unlike the second. Outsider observer reflects on rarity and significance events, evaluating situation from the point of view experience and knowledge. Why are levels one and two so different? I understand that they very strong. Thoughts young men about complexity hierarchy of forces. About the subtleties that separate one master from another. So this guy fought underscore with me to the floor strength? Realization this fact brings new understanding scale strength opponent and capabilities that he has not yet shown. This fight seems so unreal. Vortex collisions as if lifts off the ground, creating around myself the illusion of another world where willpower materializes into physical power. It's not worth it, hesitate, warns the enemy knowing that any slowness may be cost to him victory underscore. In his eyes there is determination and calculation. For the first time, after Black Mamba's, mine my heart began to beat so tremblingly, he admits, revealing that rarely meets a worthy opponent who could would light the fire of the present in him fighter underscore. I want to fight him more. So much fun. His words are filled with excitement born from true passion for battle, which does every moment of the fight is sharp and unforgettable. In an abandoned warehouse, it is distributed Echo Metal underscore. Look how strong he is. Through space flies, whisper admiration, underscore. A man in a white kimono, his hair. How raven wings reflect steel will in the eyes. The sword in his hands is not just a weapon. It is an extension of himself, sparkling and inexorable. This pose, I see. Breathing slows down. The young student's gaze widens, reflecting moment insights. There is a reflection in his eyes masters in every one movement. Years teaching and improvement art that underscore transmitted from generation to generation. Mastery that remains in memory Guan Tao. Echo ancient times overtakes the present. A warrior in a mask and with a cloak as if ghost from the past stands before us. His appearance is a hymn traditions. His stance is a dialogue with history. I see trajectory this technique. A man in a white kimono, now with awareness nature, his movements introduces us to dance struggle and harmony. Every swing of the sword is story, everyone bend the blades are the stanza, and the whole battle is a poem that lives in everyone from U.S. Story reaches its apogee. Now that I know how he attacks, I'll just kill him. The words sound like a sentence while two warriors strive for each other. Their fate the meeting is shrouded in sparkling energy collisions. Man in white kimono looks straight, his gaze dark and determined. The sword is ready for the final blow but in this tranquility shows through fear because underscore true warrior knows everything in battle maybe. It's not worth it hesitate. I'll finish all with one blow. The student in black, gathering all the strength of his spirit in an instant, prepares cross out predictions his master's underscore. His determination cuts air like a blade. What is this pose? Has he really decided counterattack? Amazement Masters gives birth new wave voltage underscore questions hanging in the air heavier than steel until the student's movement forces rethink all the previous one's lessons. The battle is not only bodies but also minds is carried out to the last sigh. Then I must stop him. Determination read in every line faces men in white kimono. 
With every in a moment, the immediate fate of both warriors appears on the scales, decisions, and actions. When I attack, I can stop his technique, he calculates, honing their skills to perfection, knowing that underscore every blow can be last underscore movements become faster. They underscore intertwine in dance battles, where underscore every step is a word in the dialogue of swords. Collision speed and force force time freeze. Two warriors, two stories, each from which strives prove yours excellence. And in this supernatural, the moment when Exodus battles not yet known, everyone thinks about his victory underscore. A uh, waste of time, I think I'll finish with you. The student's confidence is unshakable. His eyes narrowed, and he's ready to go through the lessons past to underscore open the door to the future, where he is no longer a student, but a master his fate underscore. It's amazing. To see an opponent equal to me, master gives away due strength his student, recognizing him not just as an opponent, but also as an equal rival in this art underscore. Damn hard underscore colitis. The student, bent over in pain, feels cargo defeats. He understands that the battle was not only physical, but also spiritual breakdown, for today this is already due to the synchronization of the soul. No wonder that the body can't stand it. The realization that struggle requires harmony of spirit and body becomes cruel a lesson for the student. But now it is forbidden lose control. Even in the face of defeat, the student gathers his will into a fist, ready not to give in and continue the fight to the last. This a test of will and strength in which every the participant has already defeated himself. Time is on my side, the student shouts, gathering his last strength for the decisive jerk underscore. He's not going give up, believing that time is underscore another weapon in his arsenal. Story moves to another place in time where underscore tranquility and luxury surround two characters. So you underscore, you know, underscore what is the soul? Question sounds in a spacious hall, hinting at more deep reflections than just a physical battle. No, it just seemed to me that people use the word free, but I don't. Young human ponders the meaning words about weight terms that people use so frivolously, and how they belong to his own experience. In general, I want to find my mother. Last thing statement girls turns over idea about previous events underscore. In search family may be hidden underscore the true key to understanding the soul, to more deep connections than those underscore underscore lead the swords. Hmm, really? Then I don't need anything explained. Her tone is calm, her gaze insightful. She confident in myself, in my truth, and in the way that she must pass. Remember here what? Those who use free, they pay very expensive. The man's words sound, how caution. He shares wisdom understood through experience, offering underscore thoughts on price genuine strength underscore. They have limit? What? Is his question, hanging in the air, leaving a place to think. Perhaps he's looking borders own opportunities, or the limits of what counts admissible underscore. Five minutes. Her the answer is short, but in it the entire spectrum of intentions is hidden. She sets the frames inside which must turn around following action. This maybe be limit patience, or time required for acceptance underscore solutions. Complete borrowing the soul. Five minutes. The woman's words mysterious and complete sacraments underscore. Apparently this is key point in their dialogue revealing underscore new horizons in understanding essence of the soul. Only five minutes. Back to the epic fight where underscore every second counts. The student realizing limited time mobilizes all his strength to underscore use every moment to the fullest real underscore. Very profitable limitation time, necessary increased strength, faster finish. He calculates their chances by trying surpass time and your masters, realizing that underscore this maybe be his only chance to win. And then he won't run away from me. The student's determination burns latest doubts. He's ready face the consequences their actions, putting all your potential to underscore reach his goals. Now he has opened the core to its fullest. The student's power reaches its apogee. He reveals yours inner eye without a trace. Ready resist to his a master at this decisive battle. In this battle, they fight on equal terms. Lee Ken Ho becomes all stronger and stronger. Observer comments on the battle, seeing how the balance of power between master and student gradually leveled. Wait, it's obvious that Lee Ken Ho now a little weaker. But even with such a huge deployment forces, observer notices that the student is still haven't reached the level yet your teacher that every moment of the battle critically important underscore. At the serpent such relaxed expression faces. Master, despite the tension battles, saves calmness and control that is a sign of his experience and inner strength underscore. This calmness may be a decisive factor in the outcome battles underscore. Strength, 
speed, attentiveness, everything is at the highest level level underscore. In such age, and already so ability, master expresses respect for achievements your student, his potential and growth, even being in the very epicenter battles underscore. You strong, unlike me. The enemy admits superiority, master, his unsurpassed power and wisdom that the student still only strives reach. At your place, limited time. A reminder that every moment of the fight is counted, adds tension to fight, emphasizing that the student has only five minutes for everything. Time is my weakness? What kind of nonsense? I have more time than you underscore underscore just five minutes. The student refuses except temporary restrictions. How disadvantage? He draws them into yours advantage, mobilizing all forces for a decisive blow underscore. Wait, if think why it's full underscore opening isn't it over yet? The student begins understand that underscore. There is some aspects in this fights that he had not yet taken into account, underestimated strategy masters underscore. It's passed a lot of time since underscore 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 we started fight. He realizes that time their duel it took a long time, that perhaps this is the one strategy masters. Keep the fight at a distance, tiring the student. Death could not lie. The master seems to have caught on important moment in battle, which maybe decide Exodus the entire fight. This that means he hasn't used it yet maximum opening the core. Master got ready use mind trump card, the last and most powerful reception, which maybe fully change current position things in battle. In a dark world where the battle is for survival coming every second, Young man with a full face determination turns over an upside down view of reality. His enemies, deprived colors and emotions, like chess figures lined up in front of him, need to quicker find out his abilities. He thinks at the time like his rivals multiply, surrounding him with everyone's side's underscore. He feels like with every underscore a second voltage grows, and time as if freezes in anticipation of his next step, remembering every mind progress in battle he concentrates plunging into a sea of memories and strategies. Remember how I used underscore your do. He whispers into the space where dim the glow of his inner strength starts shine brighter underscore. Synchronization energies of his soul and body reaches thirds his potential, and mysterious blue light envelops him like armor from clean energy. Synchronization, 30%. Sounds in his head like a mantra, bringing him closer to victory or defeat underscore. Due to low-speed synchronization, he understands that his reactions slower than underscore need to. Each movement becomes heavy trial, and blood from his body draws red footprints on an empty battlefield. I can't fully find out his abilities. His thoughts become darker every time a second uncertainty underscore enemies seem to multiply, and secrets their power remain unsolved. Time becomes his enemy, just like the figures that underscore surround him with everyone's sides underscore limited time. He shouts into the void, throwing call fate and your opponents. If I reduce synchronization, my protection will fall. What if I'll zoom in and it will appear time restrictions? He argues, looking for a balance between power and vulnerability. Every choice could turn out to be a victory or defeat in this fatal dance fate underscore. In the unknown arena duel where underscore each surface reflects distorted light, mystical masked enemy stands in front of our hero. What kind of method does he use? Asks myself, young man trying to unravel the nature of the energy pulsating in the opponent's hands. In that dance of death, every move may be last underscore. Wait, one of them shouts. Enemies, seeing in movements our hero has something unexpected that underscore may be change progress of the battle. The words impossible tear apart air when underscore strength collide, releasing energy capable underscore tear apart space itself. The hero, however, does not give up. His spirit is indomitable. Shouting, cool. Echo spreads across the arena when our hero, having gathered all his strength, strikes counterattack. Battle reaches its climax. Its outcome is still unclear, but one thing is possible. Let's say for sure, he won't give in without a fight. Devastated after furious battle, the hero falls to his knees. First feel such excitement after Black Mambas. His look fades from fatigue, but inside is still his burning wish victory underscore. Enemy dressed in bloody footprints past battles, stands before him. Majestic and unshakable. Just listen, his voice sounds like a sentence, but at the same time how truce proposal, underscore. If join me, I'll do it you the best. The words of his opponent promise power for a price fidelity. Dark ally or eternal enemy his choice stands in front of the hero. Doubts they torment him. Why didn't I think of this right away? In my head whirlwind spinning thoughts about the future. 
about possibilities and what will be if he accepts the helping hand reaching out from shadows underscore. He bows his head, strength leaving him. This guy has a different way using the kernel. His thoughts are still struggling to understand how underscore resist unknown strength underscore. You though listened me? The enemy is not hiding irritation. His patience bursts like underscore bubble underscore required the answer, and it should be Dan now. If so, then let me kill you, shouts enemy, his decision finally and irrevocably. Last opportunity for agreement disappears like underscore shadow at dawn. And now steel meets steel in the last desperate collision underscore sparks splash like underscore stars at night the sky, foreshadowing end this epic fight. How you receive such ability, the enemy whispers. In his eyes flashes not only anger, but also respect for the power he alone what met. He realized the key to victory. Now I understand why underscore you longer five minutes you use complete discovery of the core. All the pieces of the puzzle united in his head, he sees the path to triumph. Before the attack luminary to a minimum complete opening the core. This is an enemy tactic, insidious and effective, reducing visibility his strength before the decisive blow. But our hero does not stand aside. I just decided to waste time synchronization. He finds a counter strategy, realizing that only fast adaptation can lead him to victory. His opponent suddenly realizes change in combat hero stance. His movements. He notices something new, previously invisible in the fighting style of a young warrior. He learned use double power. Control spiritual by force gives the advantage of managing the power and time of the soul. This revelation warrior about the potential hidden within his essence. This ability defines victory or defeat. In a whirlwind battles where underscore every second counts, this power can change the outcome battles underscore. I needed years to learn this. How underscore you could learn this in such a short period of time time. The enemy does not hide his amazement underscore talent and fast hero training, cause respect even an experienced one enemy underscore. The hero's fist is tight compressed, his determination getting stronger. Not a short period. He understands that every moment of his life was preparation for this moment. I traded it for eight years of my life, comes his quiet but firm voice. He has invested his whole life in master this skill. Heartache underscore underscore disappeared after synchronization underscore energy strengthens it. And physical body load underscore decreases, giving to him new ease and speed. As the battle progresses, the soul again shows yourself. His inner strength grows with every blow. Synchronization give me another ten minutes. He already sees the path to victory. His spirit is unbending. Hero's eyes flash memories of the soul. Scenes ancient battles where underscore warriors in armor fight for their ideals. I see clearly. His vision becomes sharp as underscore the blade of a sword cutting through the fog of war. Necessary more. The enemy does not calm down. Their struggle flares up with a new one by force. Everyone strives to surpass another in skill and power. Faster and stronger. Warrior, our time gathers all the energy of the soul to surpass yourself. You're the limit of one's enemy underscore. The memory of the soul played its role. Heritage past, the experience and spirit of the warriors living in his heart, fill him with unprecedented force ready underscore result in a decisive blow. This guy. How? As soon as he began to control the soul, his attacks became stronger. The enemy feels how the hero's strength increases and his confidence fluctuates. Monster, I can't do anything do. He understands that faced an enemy who surpasses him not only in strength but also in skill. I don't have much left time to underscore use the core further. The hero realizes that his time limited and every instant valuable. Nothing can be done. We must retreat until underscore there is opportunity. The enemy admits necessity retreat before an insurmountable hero power. The core limit is high. I won't miss it. The hero is determined decisively underscore. He won't give the enemy should leave until he decides Exodus Battles underscore. Night fell on the city as heavy a blanket, and nothing more silver light moon illuminated abandoned streets. He's already here, whispered warrior in white looking at the dark sky. Its mighty figure reflected in the brilliant blade of the sword, which seemed almost glowing underscore. Suddenly the silence was cut a sharp sound as second warrior, swift and dexterous, has already occupied fighting position. I was waiting this... His words were in the air as he aimed yours weapon against an invisible enemy. The third panel showed face first warrior. Now on his cheek the wound was gaping. No, I'm gonna die. His cry filled street, reflecting despair and inevitability upcoming end. But at the last moment, when the blow was already inevitable, it happened incredible. He parried the blow. Eyes second warrior widened in surprise. In his gaze read mixture respect and misunderstanding because he did not expect that the enemy could resist its power. Silhouette winner silhouetted against the background of the moon, 
his cloak splashed with blood fluttering in the wind. There is no other choice. His words seemed with a decisive verdict, reflecting sad inevitability this collisions. Defeated the warrior, his clothes covered in blood, was lying on the ground, but in his voice there was not fear, but respect. Real Kivya is a cool thing, helps in suitable moments. He smiled, even facing the end. Standing warrior, noting wound on his body, admitted, You the first one forced me fight seriously. His voice was calm, but in it felt admiration for the enemy. Both warrior, divided fate and battle, now faced a new test underscore. It's been a while since I fought someone seriously. The words sounded like a tribute, filling the moment with strangeness, solemnity. Defeated but not broken, warrior sitting on his knees, leaning on his weapon. Him, there is weapons, he whispers to himself. Knows, realizing that his opponent is not as simple as seemed at first sight. A warrior in white, his cloak fluttering like a flag in the wind, his figure silhouetted looms before the light. The power of the soul is depleted from use concentration of spirit, he says, recalling the high price their abilities. Him, preparing to strike the final blow. Necessary finish in it, hurry up before it's too late. His words emphasize urgency moment, and in the eyes read determination underscore. However, a warrior in black, dodging a fatal blow, understands danger his provisions underscore. No, it's dangerous. His body moves faster thoughts, trying to avoid inevitable. Warrior in white, in full possession situation, grins to his opponent. You only. What used all his strength for one blow? He is confident in his advantage and ready to use him. Warrior in black feels like his strength underscore leave him, and bitterness defeats clouds his mind. It different from previous attacks that happened? He tries to understand why his power fades away. Sparks of dark flame dancing around warrior in white, like harbingers of his growing power. His gift has become even more stronger, or does it seem to me? He wonders question, feeling a surge of strength. Standing over a defeated enemy, a warrior in white looks around the battle hall. As expected, the weight, length, the blade itself is familiar to me. How would wasn't honest in the end? It cannot compare with the original. His words sound as a sentence, but also as confession greatness battles underscore. A warrior in white, approaching an exhausted enemy, reflects out loud. Complete opening gift plenty satisfied me. His voice sounds indifferently, but hidden in his words satisfaction. Warrior in black, collecting latest strength, raises his head and says to himself, Damn, my energy weakens. This my last chance. His gaze is full of determination, despite the feeling loss underscore. Warrior in white, seeing perseverance, his opponent asks question. Everything you don't want it yet give up? Then I'll quickly I'll end things with you. His voice sounds calmly almost with sympathy. The battle is over. A warrior in white bends over the fallen enemy. Although I was amazed. How only your strength has disappeared, you became ordinary human, isn't it? He admits greatness battles and the strength of his opponent, even in his last moments. Warrior in white, towering over the fallen rival, expresses yours contempt. Just a stupid guy. You after all, do you want to become more stronger? His tone is full of sarcasm and challenge. Clenching his fist, he continues. This ring is a tool that connects a person's soul with a gift. He reveals the secret of his strength and power that seem to have no underscore borders underscore. The warrior in white looks at his enemy from above his superiority. In this world, such a person as you will no longer be, and you, you will obey me. His words sound like a sentence. Leaning over closer, he says decisive words. I will put on this ring is on you, and I will take your power. The warrior in white is ready use your opponent to increase yours dominance underscore. The warrior in white, persistently and threateningly orders, give me your strength. He's waiting unconditional submission and ready take what underscore will count yours. But suddenly, the warrior in black, having gathered the remnants of his will and power, soars into the air, desperately trying change exodus battles underscore his movements, full grace and despair determination underscore. The next moment is a flash accompanied by the sound of swords clashing. Warrior in black with surprise power attacks by placing everything on one card in the last one attempt resist to his to the enemy. Warrior in white, confused by the unexpected attack, asks, Are you all still able underscore with me fight? He can believe that his opponent found strength in himself. Quit call fate. I will kill you as soon as I'll finish with him. His voice is full of cold determination underscore. In the hospital corridor, illuminated only flickering light. Collision, inevitably. A girl swinging a sword screams and throws call injustice of the world. Those who do not know that such complete revelation Dara, they don't understand anything. 
as if she renounces those who cannot underscore 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 comprehend her pains and goals. Her opponent, dressed in a formal suit, stands untouched in her words. His question simple and full challenge. And still are you eager to fight? He seemed to doubts her underscore determination, testing her devotion own ways underscore. Answer girls is brief, but in it read steadfastness. No, no way. Her eyes sparkle with firmness and determination. Even in this chaos she found her unshakable support. And now, on my knees among defeat, surrounded fallen, she asks fate, you try and protect him? As if addresses the unknown defender, or to herself fate, looking for answers to questions that underscore torment her intelligence. She admits his vulnerability when facing the enemy. I know that I cannot fully open and gift, but there is no despair in her voice. Only recognition that underscore her strength has not yet reached its limit. In her own words, therefore, she hints at a hidden card up his sleeve, source strength that underscore haven't been yet played out, her determination unbroken. She is ready to do anything to resist to his to the enemy. I'll borrow this power declares she confirms her readiness underscore use all available facilities. In her eyes, lightning, foreshadowing a storm. Her opponent, with sarcasm in his voice, replies, Ha ha, you decided to use him? Do you really want use piercing? His mockery hides alarm. Maybe maybe he understands that underscore her the next step will change. Move battles underscore. The enemy ridicules her. Trash that pretends to be righteous. His contempt for her motives clearly shows his vision of a world where truth and honor have no weight underscore. She, with her head down, admits her vulnerability and desire. To correct past, yes, I want to meet Akin and ask for strength. I want to change yours past. This her sincere desire to become better, to fix errors. Memories of the fight for her life flash in front of her eyes. This guy fought for me. Vision defender who underscore gave everything for her sake. Inspires and obliges her. And so, she finds yours decision. Her will strengthens. Therefore, I am obliged to protect him. She's ready to accept burden, responsibility, and action. What would it doesn't matter to her, it was worth it. With determination in her eyes and a sword in her hands, she declares, I will protect Lee Ken Ho. Her promise sounds like an oath given to oneself, an oath to protect the one who became for her more than just a friend. But suddenly her cover's pain. My head is pounding as if now will explode. The muscles don't move. Breath has become more frequent. Everyone her step becomes test and body as if rebels against her. She falls to his knees, exhausted from the struggle not only with the external enemy, but also with our own weakness. The soul wants take possession mind-body. In this painful fight for control, she understands what's at stake costs something more than underscore the life of one person. With contempt and confidence in his invincibility, her opponent laughs. Ha ha ha! Really you thought that you can resist such strength? He is convinced that she cannot cope with the onslaught. But she can. Maybe he underestimates her will. The enemy continues laugh, seeing underscore her suffering. You even name you won't remember yours. Useless trash. He sees her fight. How trying in vain break her spirit is in words as well as in battle. She, contrary pain and humiliation, does not lose his goal. I need this guy alive, so I won't have you kill. Her determination protect your friend does not weaken even in front of your face fatal threats underscore. But the enemy does not give up. Still, it's worth punishing him. He doesn't just want to win. He wants punishment, perhaps even underscore destroying the one who dared stand in his way. And then in the darkness appears mysterious figure. You can already move? His presence filled power, and perhaps it is he who is the key to the solution this battle and her outcome. Battle reaches its apogee. You adapted to the soul faster than I thought, the enemy admits, but his tone is still full of ridicule and threats. He continues, however, you will soon lose all your memories. A threat that consequences this battles can be irreversible for her. She fights not only with the external enemy, but also with the internal. Don't lose sanity. Memories are erased. Her efforts to hold on to one's identity and past become all more difficult. In front of her eyes, flash by images from life that underscore she fears lose. I have to protect Lee Ken Ho. These memories give her strength continue fight. After all, she fights not only for himself, but also for the future those he loves. The enemy is confident in his victory, but his words already sound like desperate attempt psychological attack. Continue fight. You'll soon be done, you'll forget. She realizes the seriousness moment. If I'll lose control, it will absorb me. She knows that the rate is higher than ever. Concentrate. If I'll lose, I'll lose my mind everything. She preparing for the last decisive fight where not only her life, but also the soul is at stake. The enemy does not hold back yours contempt. Doing nothing that underscore you cannot do. 
You all equals, you'll remain trash. His words are calculated, break her will, but she is not ready to give in. Under the pressure of battle, she comes to the realization, thanks to you, I understood how deep I was wrong all this time. Words are not just a confession mistakes. They insight the path to truth through struggle. She realizes the futility of revenge. If I kill you now, hatred will not disappear. This guy will suffer just like you. Her words are an admission that violence generates only violence underscore. Her solution firmly, I don't want to lose their memories. Importance these moments, them connection with her soul and future cannot be lost. The enemy, realizing her determination and fortitude, simply says, wait, that's it understandable. In his words, one can read confession defeats or perhaps respect for her underscore underscore choice underscore. The scene changes. We see a man opening dossier underscore. So, he begins, your mission is to underscore kill these two. He says this calmly, but there is coldness in his voice. Appear before us two surrounded underscore darkness with muted light casting shadows on them. The atmosphere is tense, full unspoken threats underscore. These two are enemies who underscore destroyed your family. From now on, you must live for revenge. The words are spoken with weight fate, as if there was no other way for the listener. But the reaction last unexpected. Eh, he looks puzzled, underscore. What, this guy, he begins, but his thoughts remain unclear, underscore. Maybe he's starting doubt the purpose that underscore to him imposed, or in the very paths of revenge. In the next frame, we see a body-shackled energy. The core was focused on the heart, says the voice, emphasizing importance moment, underscore. Harm some kind of thing. Exclamation reflects sudden danger. Fear of the unknown a threat that may be proceed from this colonel's. He intensely confronts his soul gift. Hints at the inner struggle, resistance, battle between a person and something more powerful inside him. I must pull out piercing now. This determination, urgency action, necessity interventions to underscore prevent a disaster. But suddenly everything changes and the man the world is falling upside down him reflects his despair. No! A cry, full despair, last call for help, or maybe resistance inevitable. Silhouette person flares up by force, as if announcing his underscore decision, and I don't touch them. He breaks out from invisible shackles, finding the strength to resist. In front of him is a girl, exhausted and exhausted. Is it really the same as then? Get rid of him now. She fights with his past, trying to avoid repetition's errors. She is given question. The colonel is stable because of weapons? Really, she didn't lose her memory like that guy? This realization that underscore perhaps they underscore both have nothing that gives the strength to resist them gloomy purpose underscore. Do not lose it, reason. I must protect Lee Ken Ho. Her cry is full of despair, but also determination. She will not allow the darkness to win. The words, how annoying, are accompanied by image snow white explosion in a long corridor, creating feeling sharp interruptions and voltages. Again, these unpleasant memories. The character's thoughts reflect struggle with the past, with what does not give them peace underscore. The character's gaze is cold and decisive. There are no feelings that is washing brain works. This revelation about the terrible realities in which they live where underscore manipulation consciousness is a tool of control. The words, are you, where, express confusion and loss, deep uncertainty that underscore is happening, and the desire to find answers. The girl with the sword kneeling is drowning in regret and thoughts about her actions. What did I do? Her words are full repentance and unrest. In mind, words emerge that once sounded like warning. To what extent you don't hate him? You, you won't hate me. If I kill you, this guy will suffer just like you. Deep realization that underscore violence generates only more violence underscore. She looking for source words, turning sight inside yourself and yours memories. Who told me this? is a question that maybe doesn't have to be answer underscore. The enemy's words ring out, how prediction or threat. Stupid. Soon you will, you will become weak-willed doll. They emphasize heaviness situations and possible consequences, her actions. The enemy expresses yours contempt. How would you didn't fight the piercing, it's useless resist him. His confidence in the inevitability her defeats becomes obvious. She, lonely and wounded, realizes yours position, at least anything. I think I was going to to do something. Words fill doubt and attempt remember your mission, goal their effort. However, she underscore gathers his strength. No, he begins she, clutching the sword tighter, preparing for further action. In conclusion, she comes to an important realization. It's not over yet. Lost. These words sound hope and steadfastness, belief that underscore struggle not finished yet, 
Before us stands a couple, a man and a woman, united general purpose. He's tight holds a sword and his words ring out as an order. Leave this is for me. She looks at him, yielding to him initiative. In his gaze read determination, and he begins think, this guy? Apparently he realizes importance moment and its role in the future action underscore. Suddenly strength awakens in a man, and he wonders question. Why reaction to it reacts? His skills were gun yoga, as if he is discovering a new facet of their abilities. And the last frame shows him in full power, like a hero from ancient legends. Cannot be. His shock and bewilderment at what he sees or feels at this moment completely captures him. The guy is hanging in the air, surrounded glowing lines that underscore as if fill it with strength. This Sasaki Kojiro, he thinks surprised own power. Sight observer looks down at the guy and his sword. Isn't it Beiki has his gift? Question indicates some underscore connection between spiritual practice and events events underscore. The guy feels pain in everything body. Everything body hurts. Because of what I used synchronization earlier. He realizes consequences their early actions. Usage fee strength underscore. Meanwhile underscore mysterious figure again appears. Using souls again. The words sound as a sign that he is ready to repeat his act despite the painful consequences. A man swings his sword channeling his energy against enemy underscore. And finally, I'll finish with him. His determination does not leave doubts about his intentions. Addressing the woman, he asks accusingly, Why you you help this garbage? She I took a lot innocent lives. He doesn't understand why she chose the enemy's side. However, he states, I know. That's why she will receive yours punishment. He feels myself obligated to bring the matter to an end. He admits, However, when case comes to the family, I can't stand by and do nothing. His duty to the family is that drives gives it to them strength act. The last shot shows him looking focused and tired face. Family. A word that reflects his deepest feelings and what he fights for. On the roof high building the battle breaks out. The steel of the sword sparkles under scorching the sun, reflecting its rays. What this at all this? Unexpectedly breaks out from the mouth of one of warriors underscore. They move with such speed that underscore their figures become total only blurry shadows dancing on the edge of visibility. The next moment they are already in the air, their body as if play in dance of death. This useless spending time, shouts the other. His voice merges with the wind. Each movement is underscore choreography, pain and skill, superimposed on cruelty this fight. He became slower, notes one of them. Slowing down the enemy gives to him advantage. Need to finish with him quickly his eyes narrow, focusing on the goal. In that confrontation, every second can cost life underscore. And then the sword of one of warriors lights up cold light underscore relic. A little calm, my conscience, he whispered, feeling weight history in your hands. However, even greatness, this weapons maybe be not enough to underscore. Decide Exodus battles underscore. Impact force was so big that air around vibrated with tension. Necessary kill him, one shouted. The determination of his words accompanied powerful with a swing of the sword. Collision two forces gave rise to an outbreak light that for a moment illuminated the entire area. Next time moment, his opponent stunned sudden splash power. Given question, where did he get it? So many strength? In his eyes read surprise, he did not expect such desperate resistance. There was sadness on his face, as if he understood something important that underscore underscore exceeded their limits. Battles underscore, why you? His voice was barely audible amid the roar of the wind and the creaking of swords. The scene changes and we see him in the dark room facing silhouettes of people. What? He was beaten in front of his subordinates? Is heard cold voice from shadows underscore. I think he's lost his leadership status. Story comes full circle. Betrayal and intrigue forever accompany authorities. In an abandoned man in a shirt building leads unequal fight. Damn thoughts retreat. Circles in his head at that time how he repels the attack. This guy is resisting, whispers the dark ones past each other's silhouettes. Necessary act quietly and decisively. The next shot shows him devastated. Eat someone is stronger, he realizes, squeezing wounded side. And here it is. Complete malice scream breaks the silence. I will kill you. This battle will be long and cruel. The shining blade cuts air, sparks flying to different sides. Need to think of a plan for now I was undemoted. Ironic thinks warrior dodging deadly underscore underscore blows underscore. Eyes men narrowed. He sees each enemy movement. I see dimly path of the sword. He concentrates on preventing next blow underscore. The sound of steel cutting into steel. This sound comes from from real? Doubt slides through his mind. 
After all such, the sound could be only from the highest sword forging underscore. What this was it? He recoils, feeling how close was to defeat. If I wouldn't back down, my head was would cut. Understanding fatal danger's moment makes his heart freeze. Really, is this power real? He said heavily breathes, feeling how the enemy's power penetrates air. Shadow from the opposite side sets question-filled underscore challenge. You can use the power of reality. Above a man is seen lowering his look at the enemy. Realkia is an additional item that reveals complete opening gift. Converted with his back to his opponent, he continues, What is your true strength? And why you're so fierce are you holding on to power? Questions are in the air, hover unresolved. Gloomy accusation sounds in the corridor. Why you kidnapped children and killed them? Question seems heavy cargo underscore. Answer comes cold and ruthless. This difficult explained to such an ignorant motherfucker like underscore you. Power, her everyone wants. A man with a piercing glance confident in his right to rule, become a master of the blade. He declares, this how yours purpose. Words echo echo along the corridor full of shadows and echo steel blows. And this, everything? Ha ha ha. At the end after all, you more too much green to understand it. The contempt in his voice is as sharp as the blade in his hands. Silhouette men stands out against the darkness. Be you master, you had the same thing would be strength. And I can bring everyone to their knees, he sounds confident statement. The next shot shows him, distorted painful smile. Isn't it isn't this great? The words drip poison underscore. That's why you kidnapped children and did of which are murder weapons? Accusation hanging in the air. I'm just just wanted to reveal their talent is his excuse sounds unconvincing. Shadow in the dark. Black Mamba, I need guys like him. The voice is full of determination and dark intentions underscore. The anger on his face is draining fury. But because of these guys, my plan was ruined. Such useless, insignificant believers in family. He continues, withered despair. Because of them, I was driven out of snakes and wanted to kill. Biet was poisoned for my head, but I didn't give up. Enemy in the shadows, face-filled disappointment. And you more. Are you surprised? With this level, you don't understand the skill means want power and strength. Contempt comes through in every one word. Things like family and love are not needed on mine ways. His words resonate echoing in the emptiness of the corridor. Throw it away these insignificant feelings and only then you, you can... His voice is drowning in self-satisfaction. Family for me more important everything. Softly but firmly his opponent objects, eyes whom are burning unshakable determination. Then you don't have the best, the best future, he replies sarcastically, sparking threats in his gaze. I will do you his faithful dog, he shouts, pointing his sword at his opponent. This fight promises be decisive underscore. Battle reaches its climax. The battle with him is already decided. This is his last battle. Voltage hanging in the air. Show me all your strength, boy, loudly requires antagonist. His voice is full of challenge. The enemy gathers his strength. His thought is one. Concentrate all focus on one point. But the next moment in his eyes read confusion. I can't breathe. The battle turns for him in an unexpected way. In the air soars question. What what kind of feeling is this? Unknown birds circling over the battlefield. As if precursor change underscore. What you are you doing? The question is full of bewilderment. The opponent's eyes are widened in surprise. Stop it. You all you can't win anyway. He shouts. But his voice is lost among growing chaos underscore. Too weak and insignificant. Shrilly he screams, but the words are drowned in the noise of the rain and the ominous whistling of snakes. I will destroy everything that you did. The determination in his voice is steely, and the sword cuts it off. Everything is on its own ways underscore. Trusting yours, body. Really, he's starting meditation. I started throwing space and feel every rustling, he whispers. Path indicated as real as if the wind leads him through space and time, filling new by force. This is the way of life, flashes through his head. He sees his path more clearly than ever. And with that, he makes an epiphany a decisive step to go straight through obstacles, embodying yours decision into action. His eyes are full determination and he screams, Kill their everyone on their own way. The enemy falls, amazed, shouting, Whatever you do you want, this your path. But our hero doesn't pay attention to history, attention to the fall enemy. His thoughts are elsewhere. But I have same. Standing facing your underscore fate, he admits, there is their beliefs and family is underscore all very a lot for me means. His path is not the path of destruction, but the path of protecting what is dear. He's calm, declares, I am everything said. His words weigh heavy in the air, full tension and unresolved feelings. Defeated enemy lying on the floor, his face distorted despair. I can't be. He looks at the rising enemy, piercingly declaring, 
to such a child as you. The young warrior's voice is full of determination. I have come here to find his family. His mission deeper personal revenge. She associated with more large scale the story of its origin. Tell me everything that underscore you you know about this, you bastard, he demands, despair mixed with anger in his voice. Do you think I'll tell you? Young warrior stands, unshakable and strong, despite all obstacles. I'm done more can fight. His hand reaches for the sword. Intentions clear how never. No. Mine a treasure stolen from a snake. The words fall out from him like underscore drops from crowded vessel, opening the depth of his pain and resentment. You stole it? What is your relationship like, with snakes? The determination in his voice makes it clear that he will not back down without answers. I belong, Clanks. How do you think why then I'm here stopped? His voice is full of anger and resentment, and every word comes out with difficulty. Tell me how Snake's involved in this shipping company? The insistence in his voice grows with each passing moment. Situation worsens, and the words Mr. hang in the air, emphasizing change balance of power. I was informed. In this condition he arrived here? He's stunned seen, but does not lose vigilance. Damn, am I really that much time spoke to him? Realization comes to him so unexpectedly. How flash. My guilt now limited, I won't be able to fight him in this condition. What do? Doubts envelop him, but determination remains. Ha ha ha, I knew that someone alive underscore will remain. Necessary was finish with everyone right away. There is disappointment in his voice, mixed with rage. Deal with him while I hide. He gives the order without doubting his words. Collision ideas and plans dials revolutions underscore. Before that, I have, I have one last request for you. His voice wavers from weakness and fatigue. Want to know yours name? You name is Damien, he gasped, the words sounding almost like a sentence. And now, the stage is filled, voltage upcoming moment underscore. I was faithful to you to the last, but you contacted with me like garbage. You who kill their subordinates, real scum. His words are full contempt for a man who is so cruel betrayed theirs. Ah, uh, how you dare you. Anger and pain distort his face as he tries to understand what happened. Use rage and die from it, the ideal death for you. The words are pronounced with ice contempt. You after all want find out how snakes associated with shipping company, right? The hero's voice sounds calmly, but in it is felt subtext. I'm not too I know a lot, but all data related to this should be confirmed to hosts this company. He reveals the edge of his knowledge, hinting at depth conspiracy underscore. You done reserve copy data? Where she? His eyes looking for answers that could underscore underscore unravel past. Our Japanese base, here is the address. Hard a wounded enemy stretches out bloody note. For what you all this are you doing? My purpose was to know name. His words are full sincerity and bitterness simultaneously. Me abandoned as a child. And I lived as an orphan. I was, I wonder if I can remember names parents. Yours name. His past is shrouded in darkness ignorance. And he seeks to shed light on his history. But I didn't remember anything. Anyway case, this was my only one goal. He admits that his quest were vain. I have. There's no reason to be here anymore. Get out of here quicker. This place will collapse, he warns, pointing to the inevitable danger. Due to the strong cores, the old the building could not stand it. His words evoke memories of the past and its destruction influence underscore. She, after all, on business dreamed and fell or disappeared? The last words, complete shock and realization, sound in the corridor, leaving more questions than underscore answers. I have tried restore their memories even found a hint on how to get them back. He shares his history, hope still alive in his heart. How? The young warrior's interest in his words is clear and keen. Piercings use sound to manipulate us and our gifts. I was born with a strong soul. That's why I managed free yourself from shackles piercing. His voice is full of confidence in his unique fate. If I wish I could find a way to visit with the soul of the yard, perhaps I would manage to get all my money back memories. He dreams of a full-fledged life, full underscore memories of my family. Thanks that underscore gave me so much information, underscore I heard stories, those guys. He admits meaning information that underscore received, and in his voice you can hear gratitude. Building is collapsing. Now we need to find a way out. The urgency in his voice grows as situation worsens, underscore. I couldn't find my memories, he admits, despite the danger surrounding them. Ours, he shouts finding someone on the floor. Her name, wake up! Despair and hope mix in his voice when he tries to wake stranger. Shaking the building intensifies. Necessary get out now from here. He knows that time is running out and every second is worth its weight in gold. For hemorrhage becomes only worse. We must hurry up. He realizes seriousness his states. Have to their both take. 
he decisively takes on himself responsibility for rescue both. Mi Kyung Ho, he shouts, calling for help, his voice full of despair. Building exactly will collapse. I'll send message for help. He is looking for rescue, try and get it phone. Please, hear you, I'm not late. The last words are complete prayers and hopes for salvation. At dawn, battles were underscore every blow could be the last. Ilya shouted into the night, sure that his friend was still alive. His heart refused except otherwise, and his fists have already been knocked out a bunch of answers from darkness, but not the one that to him needed. He's definitely alive, we need to find them. When hope becomes the only one light in the darkness despair, she turns into a prayer. Sasha, internally torn to pieces, cried out to the heavens. The struggle in his soul was reflected in the words that made their way through a groan of bitterness. I asked me help. And so, after the storm, after screams and tears, silence falls. It's raining like applause nature, drummed on the ground, and Ilya and Sasha stood among fallen. Their hands are painted in color losses underscore. But you already saved everyone? Read question leaving in the heart more than just an echo. However, in reality, everything turned out differently. This was only rehearsal plays in which every actor fought with with your demon's on-stage imagination. Hey, you heard? A question that destroyed illusions, echoed in the heart's friends underscore what? Short answer opening underscore door back to the real world. Rumors crawled through the streets like fog, enveloping every corner cities. Dissatisfied voices carried the news of the collapsed plan, which must was to become an adventure. They say that school excursion canceled? the question that sounded as a death sentence for the expectations of many. Even shadow disappointment could not overshadow his restless spirit. Stas, always looking for wind change, stood under rain, as if it could wash away his disappointment. Well, that's it same. But this excursion me only irritated. Would you like to come back? But unexpected, the discovery turned everything upside down. What? Snakes, have you been to Japan? The question that sounds almost how joke caused wave of new interest. A fantasy world that they suddenly they were building became something more. Underscore. And in the very in fact, the reality turned out to be no less fantastic than underscore their imaginary adventures. Yes, all right. We figured it out with with all the snake's plans, but with ours sides, the damage is not small. These words sounded like the beginning of a new full chapter underscore unexpected turns and discoveries. However, the mystery grew thicker. And it seems in Japan there are still snakes left. Conversation went from surprise to determination. They knew that adventure it's not finished yet somewhere out there beyond everyday life. They're waiting new chapter. Bring it back there, everyone. The command sounded like thunder in the middle of a clear sky. The determination in the voice reflected the will and strength with which they were ready face the unknown and the unexpected. Here she is, the real essence of adventure. The unexpected turns destinies that underscore force heart fight more often. The hospital room was an island of silence in a sea of chaos their lives. This is, is a word frozen on the lips like a drop of dew on a petal, an involuntary symbol of confusion and uncertainty. Where will bring their next steps? The surprise didn't force me myself wait. Lee Ken Ho, a name pronounced with surprise sharpness, cut the silence of the chamber like a sword that breaks the veil of fog. Facing the unknown only began. Time lost in the fight against the unknown is always seems moment, but its echoes stay for a long time. How, how long have I been out? Full question alarm, foreshadowed new unknown underscore. You slept for four days. You was a lot of more injuries than us. Awakening was sudden like a power surge. Four days? Exclamation reflecting shock and disorientation. Memories of school, the trip seemed to melt away like morning fog. But reality demanded return. And every moment was worth its weight in gold. Well, the weather has changed a lot. We, after all, were leaving back? Words, softly pushing to action. Reminding that underscore life continues underscore. Gratitude is underscore that invisible binder material that underscore strengthens human relationship. In any case, thank you. I heard that underscore you saved us when the building collapsed. A confession that did not require answer, underscore, yes. Sincere, short, but complete sense. The revelation was unexpected, as thunderous rank. So this is, you was wearing a cat mask? Her words sounded like music, notes which played on the strings of mystery, under hiding behind a cat mask courage, but also vulnerability. An ordinary guy arrived at the shipping company and saved us. Her voice trembled with realization. When I realize it's becoming a bit scary, 
Self-control in such moments becomes art. Her in what underscore you are, your cat actions prove by coming to the lair snake. He stood like a rock, resisting a storm of doubts and assumptions, secrets held in place by thin threads, and when they are torn should only astonishment. How lost consciousness, I didn't even change clothes. Really me revealed? A shock as sharp as the metal of the mask he wore. In moments voltage, even friendly jokes become similar to sparks, capable underscore light up flame discord underscore. No, now is not the time find out relationship. He has not yet recovered fully. Even the scars remain. Acuity situations requires clarity underscore. Attentively look, dude, these are not scars, but cuts. And what you only accelerated? Sharpness her words like underscore dagger, cutting covers misconceptions underscore. But sometimes peaceful solution is located where there is less of it. Total, you are waiting. Huh? This is... Her voice, full doubt for a moment, freezes in anticipation clues underscore. And then, like a magician allowing voltage after the trick, he demonstrates your skill. I hid all your clothes, clothes, and shoes. The pride in his voice cannot be hidden. And here it is, a gesture of victory that turns the storm back into calm. Excellent work. The words embedded in the gesture sound how peaceful chord in a concert of emotions. Recognition and trust blow how fresh wind after the stifling heat. Notes after all, he's not so weak, her words called for action. I think you enough smart to infiltrate shipping underscore company. Intrigue rising like the tide, promising new horizons underscore. You don't want to join our special forces? I'll help you. Her offer shines like a beacon in the dark nights, promising new adventures. But the hero's heart trembles before another challenge. No, I will abstain. Why? Well, I have other goal. His words are mysterious, like a code waiting his solver underscore. Shadow's doubts flash in her eyes like clouds in the spring sky. In any case, what about Banshee? Question sounds quiet, but in it sounds echo of future changes. Has she become a completely different person? Quiet whisper, full bewilderment, and hidden hope underscore. The look is complete hidden sadness, betrayed internal fight. She said that will only next to you. The words were quiet, but their weight felt exorbitantly heavy. I want to thank my savior. In his eyes broke out sudden clarity, like a torch in the dark. Ah, that's right. She, after all, fought. Memories returned, dispelling the fog of misunderstanding. I'm sure it's memory her sister. The words sounded like an oath. And then sharp splash emotions cut the silence of the ward. Lee Ken Ho! Exclamation complete determination like underscore, as if he was again was ready for battle. Ka! I'm sick! The protest sounded, but it was already late. Its low-key laughter sounded through the noise of the worried hearts underscore. Ha! Forgive me. The words are light but complete sense. For what? A question that left in the air more more questions underscore. Fear and relief in her eyes mixed creating whirlpool feelings. I thought that you died. No need earlier time bury me, exclaimed she's like trying drive away the very thought of his death. His embrace enveloped her like underscore warm blanket, words soothed like a long forgotten lullaby underscore. I was just looking for my soul mothers. Live, live. He tried contain emotions, but they were stronger. His look became firm and confident in him read inflexibility of spirit. It's okay, I'm alive are simple words, but how a lot of they meant to the one who mourned him in my heart. The calmness of his voice for a moment cleared away the fog of uncertainty. I slept for four days. The words, cut off mid-sentence, were left in the air feeling incompleteness. In the end, pause, complete unspeakable words and unsolved secrets underscore. In Japan much happened, and every the event left its trace in the hearts and destinies of people. A series of adventures undoubtedly changed their everyone, each in his own way. They searched, fought, and lost, but also found each other in the most difficult moments. And those who didn't find it no clues about their mother, they still did not lose hope. Now all that remained was to find information about snakes. Then he would take a step closer to his goals. The goal that seems to be everything time slips away, but still remains in sight. This school, the trip greatly exhausted him, physically and emotionally. She was more than just a journey. This was diving into the deep water personal tests and discoveries. Tasty? Simple question, but it says a lot. About caring, about everyday life, joy's life, about moments of peace after the storm. Uh-huh, is the answer. Short, but in it can be heard satisfaction and gratitude for moments of peace. But why you do you keep coming to me?
You have yours two affairs there is. His voice was full of sincerity, surprise, and gratitude. He didn't expect that someone can care so much about him. Actually, in fact, I'm very saved. She hesitated as if in her heart fought anxiety and desire help. Her the next words were recognition, and at the same time, invitation share the burden of his search. Me too, I was looking for my mother, and it's not so easy. Her words were full understanding, after all. They both knew how hard search lost, especially when this associated with the most valuable family. I wanted to help you by going to Japan, but everything just became worse. Her confession was sincere, and in her eyes, Can would see painful feeling blame for failures that are like underscore she thought she brought it with her. Why are you looking at me like that? His eyes were full bewilderment, as if he were faced with an unsolved a riddle. Maybe beep. His answer hung in the air, unsaid and mysterious. You need any help? He offered his support, ready help even in his weakened condition. He always was ready lend a hand, even when I myself needed support. That's what he says is yours the color of the soul. Her words were full of secret knowledge, as if she saw something hidden from the eyes of others. The color of the soul? He repeated, trying to understand her words. When I first started to see spirits, I recognized them. Her voice was full of confidence, and in her eyes reflected incomprehensible wisdom underscore. She saw the world differently others, and this gave her a unique vision that could help underscore him in his quest. I wondered what means their color. Depending on emotions underscore or different situations, she shares their knowledge as if is reading page from invisible book where every the color of the soul has yours meaning. But now, your soul is black. Her words, simple and clear, but one can hear in them deep anxiety. Black the color of the soul can be a sign of difficult experiences or deep injuries. I've never seen black soul, and I can't understand. Her voice trembles from misunderstanding and fear of the unknown, which envelops his soul. Eh? His answer is full of confusion. Without even knowing that underscore this may be be, he feels weight her words and begins realize seriousness his states. I couldn't help you with your search. She felt myself guilty for not being able to be useful in his mission. About what you, it's my job to protect you, so don't blame yourself, he replied, trying ease her feeling guilt. To their conversation have joined new faces underscore, we came, you same here? Them, the appearance added warmth to the atmosphere of the hospital chambers, creating feeling community and support. A eh, here, I just bought you something to eat, she continued. Take care of him, demonstrating your care and friendliness through simple but important gestures underscore, how you myself do you feel? Full question, sincere worries, showed that his condition is for her was more important. Any undisclosed secrets underscore, it's better, I'm moving on my own, is his answer made it clear that he was on the path to recovery and independence. By the way, Lee Ken Ho, whatever underscore underscore you said, really? Her question was full of mistrust and curiosity, because story with the mask seemed almost too much dramatic to underscore be true. Yes, the masked man called me and told me to save my people comrades, is his answer was firm and calm. He did not doubt his words, because he really lived by these events underscore. If this the person said so, her voice sounded skeptical, but at the same time she started understand that underscore, sometimes reality superior fiction underscore. Is it true that she lost memory? How neither look, but it seems like lie. I'm not lying. Quiet. She struggled with doubts, trying figure out what it really is in fact happened. Maybe B she underscore really tried to deceive them, or just tried protect myself in pain losses. I'm done still your enemy? Didn't I fight for you? She I was looking for confidence and forgiveness, trying to make amends for mistakes of the past. Initially you was our enemy, tried kidnap our mistress. She was reminded of her past actions, without letting us forget about the obligations and betrayal that once upon a time there was done. So I can't close everything underscore this eyes. She couldn't just forgive and forget. Because too much much was on the line, too much was lost and found again. Okay, it's not a lie, it's okay. She's not dangerous, madam don't come closer close. Situation filled tension, but also the understanding that sometimes even enemies can become allies if circumstances will change. I can tell by color her soul if she lies, she stated confidently, possessing unique ability see hidden truth underscore. Color her soul now white, she's not lying. Is was confirmation honesty and innocence like underscore as if the soul is colored purity and truth. You earlier same there did you see? When Ban Shu asked you for forgiveness, she remembered past when underscore same white underscore color meant sincerity underscore. Hear it that, so you can find out sincere underscore human or not. 
she realized that underscore this gift can be the key to solving many mysteries. About 128 units strength? The words were mysterious, but they opened New Horizons understanding and interacting with the world. No, I used to say was not particularly active in communicating with people, because everywhere were snakes and kidnappers. Her words revealed bitter the truth, her lonely existence, filled with fear and apprehension. Because I thought that for the rest of the time I'll spend my life in one room without leaving nowhere, she continued. Her voice was soft, but in it was heard hardness the person who accepted his fate. Exactly. She said she couldn't go outside. But when I see the souls of other people, I can understand whether he is my enemy or not. He explained how his ability it helps to see souls to him recognize intentions those around you. Children were forgotten to death from hunger. Children who died during laboratory research. Sad a story about children whose life were cruel torn. Angry girl with fiery red hair is filled indignation. Her words ring as a sentence. Therefore the blame lies entirely with these freaks who underscore brought up children. Necessary half a mother there and destroy everyone. She doesn't just scream. She embodies anger at injustice directed at those responsible. Young man in pajamas with pale hair hears her words and they make him doubt. I didn't think that she'll say so. It seems I'm not so good I know her. His gaze is full of confusion and uncertainty. He understands that in front of him is not a simple a girl and a person with a secret. In the next frame there is another a girl with dark hair and the same pajamas lowers her head in agreement or humility. I understand that this is how it was before. I will think about how now what to do with her. Her pose expresses thoughts and maybe even fear of the future conversation. And at the end, red-haired young woman sits on the floor in front of the one in pajamas, opening his soul. I didn't know that there are people who can see the souls of others. I once heard about them, but never saw them. The seriousness in her words emphasizes importance moment underscore. Yes, I don't really advertise it. I think personal information, answers the one with dark hair, demonstrating her awareness of the invisible world. A girl with dark hair stands at the threshold, puzzled weighing the words. In any, in any case, we are returning to Korea tomorrow, but all flights were canceled because of bad weather. She seems reasonable, and her solutions carry weight underscore circumstances that underscore she doesn't control. CDR opens her interlocutor, a young man in pajamas, who's sitting on the bed with a jar drink in hand. He asks, Then how are you you're coming back home? His voice is calm, but in it is felt light anxiety. Fortunately, we can by boat get there. I'll pick up the lady. Group discounts have already paid for all expenses. Young woman looks away. Her voice is confident. We have no more reason to be here stay. She speaks it's with ease, as if she doesn't care about the fates that remain behind. Because there is probability that underscore snakes first level still in Japan. Young human drinks from the jar and thoughtfully says, The snakes remain. His thoughts seem mixed with feeling loss and misunderstanding. He understands motivation girls, but his own feelings leave room for doubt. Here, why she is leaving. Group going together, preparing to leave. Cian groups decided to pay all the bills and go by boat to Korea, says one of them. Clothes and gate emit determination and unity. Because of the den's conditions, school. The trip has been very long. A voice is heard among them. Majestic in the background steamboat painted orange underscore underscore tones pre-sunset, waiting passengers. A girl with dark hair turns to her companions. What? You stay here? You can hear in her voice surprise and perhaps a hint of concern. Young man in white shirt standing on the steps answers. I need to side business in Japan. In a few days I'll come. I talk to the president. His view is serious and he seems fully absorbed upcoming affairs. The girl with dark hair nods in response. Okay, then be careful. I think we, we will arrive in Korea on time. Her face expresses calmness and confidence, as if she knows that underscore every will find one of them your way home. Young human waves hand farewell, addressing those leaving. Then we let's set off. His voice is full of determination, and the steamer is behind him as if ready for new one's adventures underscore. Redhead young woman looks at him with anxiety, and her voice trembles. You staying in Japan because of the mother? Should I stay with you? Look her full of care and readiness support him regardless of your own plans underscore. She excited puts his hands on his head shouting, Is it you didn't hear her Rin? In Japan, all there are still snakes left. Question sounds almost how reproach, and her worry about snakes makes it clear that dangers haven't passed yet. Seriousness in the young man's voice palpable. But you, you can protect me. Forgot our contract? He firmly holds her by the shoulders, as if trying convey your determination to her. I'll help you find your mother, 
and you protect me. Them the agreement is not just words, it is a promise that they give each other in front of each other's faces unknown underscore. Young human seriously looks into the distance, his words are full doubts. Snakes of the first level different. I may not be able to protect you. In his eyes, read awareness that he is standing on the threshold of fight I'm not sure about. Young woman touches red hair forehead, as if trying convince yourself in the correctness solutions. I'll go to mom without you. Take care of yourself. Her eyes full, she is determined and ready to take risks for the sake of her family. Then I beg you, don't be late. Here, says she turns to the steamer, ready to set off. Her profile expresses hope and at the same time worry about the future. He looks at her and replies, Okay, see you in Korea. His words are short and simple but full promises. Yes, answers she, and in her voice one can hear confidence that underscore their ways again will intersect. In the hands of a young man, photo women with warm smile. His fingers tightly hold her and he whispers with a note longing, Where are you? The next frame immerses us in his inner world, where shadows and light play on his face, hiding feelings. Stayed in everything. I have to find my mother, the words echo reflected in his determination. Sight group students dressed in uniform are directed at one point. Trip to Japan somehow related to shipping underscore company snakes. Them faces express different emotions, but all of them merge general purpose. Sunset colors the sky and the young human looks into the distance, his face filled questions and search answers. Why did my mother die? His words carry a burden undisclosed secrets he must underscore underscore unravel. The hero's steps measure his determination. Always wondering this question for now was looking for her. His voice is full of promise that he will not stop until he solves this secret. Black in his hands ticket, symbol of loss and farewell. It's been five months. Time seems to have slowed down mind running, leaving him alone with their thoughts. His look directed to the sky, where sunset merges with the clouds. This took more time than underscore expected. Fleeting recognition that the path was long and difficult. A piece of paper in his hands can be a clue. Here, a little shipping information underscore company. Maybe I will find a location, mother. The hope in his heart does not fade. Outskirts Tokyo, Japanese residence, is the last chance to find the answers he is so desperate for looking for. The lighthouse rises above the pier and the air-filled premonition. Necessary hurry up, the hero thinks, contemplating sunset sky where the rainbow flickers as a symbol of hope and peace that awaits him ahead. Window high-rise building offer a dazzling view illuminated city at night. He was sent for the purpose kidnap Han Che and suppress the rebel shipping company. A voice from darkness talks about a task that requires courage and cunning. Woman costs her back underscore silhouette looms in the dark rooms underscore all of them excluded. Her words are laconic and complete confidence underscore. Her pose speaks of control and power, which she has over the situation. Silhouette men in the twilight, his outlines hint at the importance of his role. Accurate information could not be obtained because the building collapsed, but it is assumed that was intervention C and group. His words emphasize importance and danger their tasks. Well, it was a rash step. His tone suggests that they play the long game game, and every step must be calculated. In the gloomy office where underscore shadows condensed, a man sits at the table. Yes, the main one's plans will start soon, and I think one person will not enough, we'll add one more. His voice sounds cold and reasonable. Woman with platinum hair stands in front of a mirror. Reflection her silhouette talks about power. One of them will be basis security C in group. He will hold ceremony after kidnapping hand what n. Her words reveal cards their long-term plans underscore. Sitting at the table continues. Yes, that's it. This has been going on for ten years. His silhouette hidden in the shadows, but felt the weight of his words and the long journey that they passed. Woman in the shadows smiles. Her confidence does not leave doubt. I'm so glad. Her joy carries mystery and promise underscore large events that underscore only start turn around. On the outskirts Tokyo, where the remains of abandoned buildings lurk in the shadows, flicker weird symbols underscore refuge snakes on the outskirts Tokyo. The words are in the air foreshadowing something mysterious underscore. In a rainstorm evening, two figures collide face to face. With what purpose you were you hiding? One asks. The tone of his voice tense and in his hand glitters cold blade. There was an order to stop you, says the other one, his face hidden in the shadows, but his posture speaks of determination. Rain hits abandoned walls, creating an atmosphere of tension. Strange in our opinion information, you've been dead for a long time. The words of the first full bewilderment underscore. There is both surprise and skepticism in his voice. Answer comes mysterious and complete hidden meaning. Last trial drug TX was held on my body underscore. 
As you can see, the result was a success. Figure in the Dark looks threatening, and her words carry promise new clues and depth secrets that underscore more to come research. A man in a dark suit hiding his grin observes the situation. You fell in love so fiercely? Funny. His words seem ironic and complete hidden sense. I heard that you're in mine team, he continues, his gaze insightful and appreciative. His tone conveys power and control over what is happening. Deathly pale face hides face men and he turns to his interlocutor. Where is he now? His grip on the metal ball expresses determination and strength. A woman in a luxurious outfit enters the room with determination on her face. Where did she go? She's clearly not happy happening. Her voice sounds commandingly. Light penetrated through window into the corridor, creating islands of shadow and light on the floor. Gray-blue hair girls glowed reflections when underscore she stopped at the door, where was number 1308. Oh, God. Burst out from her when she I remembered the words of my friends. This is number 1308. Her reflections interrupted someone's appearance. I saw him somewhere, she whispered to herself. Nose trying underscore. Remember where I could see this person underscore. Suddenly, from around the corner came out other a girl with bright black hair, on whose face read lung irritation underscore. Ah, found it, didn't I tell you to stay put? She said, approaching closer. Sorry, I was looking room. She justified herself first, her eyes sliding along the numbers on the doors, looking for correct. A man dressed in black appeared in the corridor with a phone to his ear. I managed to get in, he said quietly but confidently. He seemed tense, like every step he took was calculated. The phrase flashed on the screen of his phone, Black Mamba, I class. As planned, we kidnap Khan Cheyen and we will hold the ceremony, he continued, his voice deprived emotions like underscore. This was ordinary task. Meanwhile, on the roof of one of the buildings, a woman in an elegant dress looked at the stars. Mrs. Sierra, I have a question for you. May I know why underscore do you care so much about Lee Ken Ho? Said Silhouette next to her. She turned and the light moon reflected in her eyes underscore. Because he's an interesting guy, she said softly, and a mysterious look appeared on her face, smile. Among darkness nights where underscore only the stars served as a source light, on the surface it was only visible floating a creature that looks like a cute but mysterious pet underscore. Don't you think this funny? He asked with a note irony in the voice. Yes, it's fun, answered a woman with a serene look, her face illuminated soft the light emanating from her own phone. Yards made by men, she added, as if thinking out loud about the meaning their words underscore. Somewhere in the distance, against the backdrop of a majestic night sky, a man stood, his silhouette silhouetted against the background of sparkling stars underscore. In his hand, the sword glittered. In exchange for life, a boy who uses the souls of the dead, he began, his voice sounding solemnly and mysteriously. He turned around, his gaze was full of determination and hidden pain. Stay in the dark, he whispered and the red god's cow on his collar seemed the only one speck colors in this monochrome picture. He concluded an agreement with the god of death to find his mother. He finished his a story wrapped in mysticism and secrets. Girl in a cap with the inscription Beauty with Surprise watched forward. Her eyes were full expectations and a little anxiety. Also, he met a girl who sees souls, said Invisible the narrator, and her sight seemed piercing, like she saw through surface of the world. A man with a sword stood in front of a gathering of people in the dark clothes. Find the mother's soul during completing tasks, meeting a lot of different snake on its way, he continued, and his stance was full determination, despite the obvious threat underscore. In crowd there was one who stood out his posture and look, full intentions underscore how the more he fought, the deeper found hints. Narrator's voice sounded more mysteriously, hinting at complexity the story that was to come to uncover. And then a snake appeared before them, an organization as dark and powerful as the night sky behind them. Underscore. Snake organization that underscore wants get Han Che En, concluded narrator. And a tense pause hung in the air, foreshadowing inevitable conflict underscore. Woman with determination glance and precise movement rushes into battle. And a masked man sounds in the air like the call that she throws unknown, standing in front of her. Her opponent, a man with silver hair, reflects offensive with ice calmness. Heart these battles. His quiet voice carries weight, for he is the key to the solution this stories. In the shadows hidden from view stands the other is mysterious masked man, his face hidden, but his intentions clear underscore catch man in a mask, sounds how mission that underscore to come execute. And so, among flowing rain and sparkling blades, history reaches its peak.
And then answer to question will open up, he promises the narrator, emphasizing that every fight brings you closer to the solution this multifaceted story. Man with sword faces face to face with opponents. Snakes connected to the soul mother, his words resonate echoes, showing that the fight is wearing deep personal character. And for him, this is not just another battle. Every moment it becomes clear that their presence here, this is no longer a coincidence, this part of his journey, a test that predetermined fate. There are 202 days left, he says to himself, reminding himself of the deadline he has there is to complete your mission and solve the mystery. And so, after cruel battle, the surrounding world is consumed silence. Now, he pauses for a moment to gather your strength first, how continue leaving your way behind defeated opponents underscore. A man picks up a fragment of a mask, a reflection of his broken hope underscore time for revenge. His words take on weight in silence after the storm. Chess the board is already full figures, indicating new stage in this game underscore. Power gaps underscore become all more and more. The world seems to be on the verge of changes brought about not only by battles, but also by intrigues behind the scenes. All due to creation drug TX. These words illuminate the essence of the conflict, making it clear that the stakes in this game higher than underscore ever. The snakes have become better than 10 years ago and much stronger. Them influence growing, them power threatens established order. The moment when underscore. They kidnapped girl, that's it, Will, it's over. Now needed more strong players to turn the tide events and perhaps make underscore unexpected move into this party where underscore every choice. Maybe change Exodus stories. In the flooded cold highlight corridor technological building, a man in a business suit with gray hair and determined glance ordered to his interlocutor to come in. Come in, he said briefly, as if every word was weighed and measured. Door closed behind the visitor, and the man with with silver hair continued, We came report the matter Japanese shipping company. His voice was quiet, but in it you could feel the steel. When trusted face gone, the man is alone with himself said, I'll later all I'll check. He was the person who didn't trust work intelligence officers, preferring to conduct business personally. Who is this? He asked when he was shown a photograph. It was on depicts a man with a tiger mask, and something in his gaze said that this, this was no ordinary opponent. A man with gray hair was holding photographs in his hands. His face reflected concentration and determination. I'm Wu Jin, the leader group's bodyguards, he introduced himself, and in his voice one could feel confidence leader underscore. The next shot showed him standing back to a group of people in traditional Japanese clothes, weapons which was directed at someone outside the frame. Surround them, Wu Jin ordered, and his command was instantly put into action. In the forest between trees, one of bodyguards moved with incredible agility and speed. I have urgent mission, need catch them and find out why they were collected here, he thought, maneuvering between the branches. He's fast coped with his task. This snakes that underscore were collected in advance, they have no idea, no danger, he said, already holding defeated opponents underscore. I will catch them and hand them over to you, he concluded, emphasizing his efficiency and loyalty. Silhouette's bodyguards lined up behind Wu Jin, creating feeling irresistible walls protection underscore. This were yours guys, he said, addressing the prisoners, revealing traitors in their ranks. One of prisoners, a man in red, asked with a challenge in his voice. Your target is a girl, right? His look was piercing and in his stance felt confidence and strength. No, Wu Jin replied, his tone remaining imperturbable, but in his eyes dawned shadow doubts. His silence indicated that the game became more and more confused. I'm here to deal with those who me annoys more everyone underscore some kind of murder plan 10 alone. So plans changed, said captive, slow and steady pulling out the sword. New chapter of the conflict only began underscore. The man in red, despite the situation, laughed. Wear a man in a mask he asked mockingly, without losing his conceit even in captivity. Wu Jin did not retreat. His gaze was cool and focused. You're right, understood? You surrounded, he said, pointing to the outnumbered bodyguards, armed and ready for action. Bodyguards aimed at the prisoner and Wu Jin warned, if you move, we let's open fire. His tone was calm but decisive was undeniable. You think some kind of fruit you can stop us? Asked the man in red. His self-confidence did not waver even when Trunk's pistols were directed at him. Suddenly the sound of gunfire broke the silence of the forest. They run away! Kill everyone! Don't touch one! Commanded Wu Jin. At that time how his men carried out orders with perfection accuracy underscore. Voltage increased, as did the speed events underscore. They really think that underscore will be able run away? Thought one of the bodyguards, 
dodging bullets and returning fire. The one who was in red, quickly moved, dodging shots. Underscore, get caught in a moving the goal is not a problem for me, he shouted, demonstrating their exceptional combat skills and precision. Wu Jin, despite the chaos around him, remained concentrated. Cut out a bullet, this acute sight. He could not help but admit outstanding capabilities your opponent. Are his skills improved to this extent degree? He asked himself a question, feeling how confrontation reaches a new level. Enemy in red was how a whirlwind unshakable in its desire for victory. In many battles, he began, as if every fight he fought left on him indelible trace. He moved with such speed that underscore weapon bodyguards became useless in close combat. They fell one after another, unable to compete with his agility and skill. Do not shoot! Wu Jin cried, realizing that the tactics should be changed. Everyone, take your swords and change form in close combat, he ordered his men, realizing that they were facing no ordinary enemy. You see, I'm not the same anymore, before. I'm stronger, said the man in red, confidently smiling. He knew that underscore each of his fights has only increased his strength and experience. Cry of pain rang out in the forest, reflecting sharp turn of the battle. Ah! What happened? In despair, one of them shouted bodyguards when underscore situation came out out of control. Wu Jin, spot on maneuvering with his sword, repelled attacks. His movements were precise and decisive. He was ready fight to the end, defending their beliefs and their people. The enemy in red, noticing the blocking blow, just chuckled. Blocked? His confidence did not waver, not for a second. He was ready continue the fight. He narrowed eyes, focusing on the next thing progress. I will kill you, he whispered as if this was a promise given to himself, a confirmation of his unbending will to win. Wu Jin is surprised notice that his rival, a snake with red hair, was wielding dagger underscore. Wait, a snake with red hair, he mused. His weapon was dagger. Why is he using a katana? Question remained unanswered because underscore underscore battle continued. Wu Jin understood that he had never used a stake before. Rival adapted to circumstances and changed your fighting style. Jin's gaze said, that's it has changed. He realized that situation demanded new strategies and what Exodus battles was unpredictable. All the snakes here, he thought, watching his opponent. The situation demanded instant decisions and actions and he was ready except call. The enemy with red hair demonstrated something more than underscore excellent possession cold weapons. His style was unpredictable and dangerous. This absolutely different fighting style, Wu Jin realized, seeing how his opponent easily defeats one after another. Wait. Wu Jin tried rethink situation, looking for strategic advantage. Now, on my side, total five man, he calculated, preparing for the next move in this dangerous chess party's underscore. He was ready for brutal reality of battle, where every bodyguard could be the last obstacle underscore. And bodyguards, he continued, knowing that his team is his strength. But the question remained open, they there will prevail? Deep down, Wu Jin knew that the upcoming fight will be test their dedication and skill. One of bodyguards, confused by the unexpected resistance, exclaimed on the radio, The enemies are so far away! He was shocked by how much quickly the balance of power changed. I'll be there soon. Win more a little time, he shouted into the radio, trying coordinate efforts and gain support. Wu Jin understood that their enemies were ready for them arrival, waiting them at every step. These guys already in advance prepared for our arrival, he thought, wondering next step. How they got stronger in just one month? They develop new drug? Wu Jin tried unravel their mystery sudden gain, suspecting that behind this underscore cost something more than just training. Underscore underscore. Strength and skill. The snake with red hair was something other than underscore ever before. Underscore snakes that have become stronger. Really they are about it specially prepared? Wu Jin thought about the possibility preliminary preparation their enemies. Situation escalated and now he lay on the ground, realizing that his opponents had acted coordinated and efficient. Five kites, and they everyone, they took it out? There was bewilderment and alarm in his voice. He remembered the words of the man who warned him of the danger. That man, he said. In his memory started pieces of the past emerge conversations, warnings and advice. And now he appeared before him mysterious man in a mask. What to him needed masked man? Wu Jin tried connect the puzzle pieces, realizing that collided deeply underscore planned and mysterious enemy. Masked the warrior standing in the forest began a conversation. I'm here to tell you something. His presence and words were full mystery. The next scene showed a girl sitting on the ground in bewilderment and horror. This was a trap for you, because Han Shei Ben has already been kidnapped. Open she was the truth. 
which shed light on the situation. Mysterious Warrior continued, The power that they use? Fargo Ao Father Lee Ken Ho User Ticket This explanation revealed Source their new power. Situation escalated and one of bodyguards clutching their heads shouted, Cheyong kidnapped? Suddenly, all the pieces of the puzzle started fold up, painting a big picture games that underscore they were drawn in. Dissatisfaction became obvious. Why bodyguards can't handle underscore his task? For what them are they paying? Angrily asked the boss, expecting from his subordinates results. Find her now. His command sounded like an urgent order, and in his voice one could hear urgency and demand immediate actions. The next frame showed a man's hands shaking from an uncertain feelings. Which strange feeling? The monologue expressed mixing sensations, perhaps foreshadowing underscore something unexpected. Underscore. And suddenly, in Wu Jin's reasoning, the thought of his own mortality, I thought I was already dead. Words that emphasized the depth of his experiences and perhaps new understanding reality in which he found himself. Swift step and ringing broken glass. Wu Jin runs out from sick leave chambers, movable urgency. Patient where you let's go, exclaims a voice outside the frame, but his concern inferior place determination patient. They lured us and kidnapped us, girl, says one of the bodyguards, sharing information about what happened and existing threat underscore. It's obvious that necessary immediate actions. We need how can quicker bring her back, he continues, emphasizing urgency situations underscore time is running against them and every second counts. Mrs. Kidnapped. Wu Jin's thoughts are focused on the task at hand. His gaze through the door opening to a row of bodyguards suggests that he is already developing a plan. Mysterious figure enters the room with an important person message. That's why I brought you someone, he says. She, turning attention everyone on themselves. This Li Shin. He is a benefactor who destroyed Snake and saved us, represents she. His satellite underscore Li Shin seemed to have key information and power needed for their underscore missions underscore. And he will lead rescue mission underscore madam, continues she. Everybody in the room understand what stands in front of them, a person who might know underscore underscore more than underscore any of them. However, doubt's inevitable. How difficult it is. How we can trust someone stranger about whom we don't know anything, muses one of the bodyguards underscore. Trust is a luxury that they cannot afford it in such circumstances. Li Xin stands in front of the group. His appearance expresses determination underscore. He's not just new a player in their ranks, he contributes to the game own rules. Moreover, he's kind of flimsy. They doubt his abilities, fearing that he could become a burden. However, one of bodyguards stands decisively against this approach underscore. I will not obey some fool. Underscore instead of this, I ask you to act on your own and with your own brains. His distrust of Li Xin fuels his desire act whatever. Li Xin, meanwhile, stands unwaveringly, emitting an aura of confidence. Too much self-confident, someone throws out. Perhaps seeing his self-confidence potential weakness or problem. But Li Xin is good, understands the risks and complexity situations underscore. Just because I look weak doesn't mean I really am. Matter. His words warn that appearance can be misleading, and the real power is hidden inside. With bewilderment and distrust of the new face in the team, one of doesn't hide bodyguards his skepticism. Commander-in-chief, I can't swallow it. It's too high opinions about yourself, he says, suggesting Li Xin to prove his competence. Why shouldn't I show you your skills? Sarcastic answer should immediately. Well, I think so you fast you'll get there. The words radiate challenge and doubt in abilities Li Shin. I'll break this guy's neck and question will closed. He continues, preparing for action. His determination show what underscore the old order cannot to be so easily disturbed is obvious. So let me show you what fighters here for real in fact. His words carry challenge and promise revelations any claims without actual grounds. Colliding face to face with the unknown, he decidedly ready prove your worth actions, not words. Suddenly, situation changing, Li Xin shows his true self power. With fast and powerful with his movement, he plunges his doubting opponent to the floor, leaving him in shock from the unexpected strength underscore. Shows a figure that seems to exude underscore invisible energy, demonstrating splendor and strength. The text reads, Si Ran, Si Song Sond, and the dates that can symbolize his lifespan underscore or service. 1916 to 1983, best fighter Zhang Xian. Li Xin humbly but confidently says, this that a level that not everyone can reach may be resist, and for this needed ticket. His words hint at the need a specific key or ability to reach this level skill. His eyes suddenly sparkle red, questioning and defiant. Will you stand and watch? It's not only a challenge, but also an invitation join him and find out what power is behind these words. 
On the wrist, someone looks at their watch, noting time, 23 minutes. This emphasizes importance each second in the current position affairs. Words full confidence and strength follow underscore after. So, no claims no more? Says Li Xin standing among defeated bodyguards, emphasizing his dominance and control over the situation. You all more looks like a spy. It's not, he says when confronted with a new challenge presented underscore the remaining opponents. His words suggest deep understanding true nature conflict. Otherwise would you all died by my hands. Li Xin concludes your statement without leaving doubts in their skills and determination. His words are not just a threat. This is a fact confirmed by his actions. Li Xin addresses the crowd with a serious statement underscore, Han Cheyong was kidnapped and you don't have time for idle chatter. His tone emphasizes critical situation and need actions. He continues, revealing the seriousness of the situation. They preparing for the ceremony with Han Cheyong. When the ritual is completed, there will be many victims. His words ring, how warning about what's coming danger that underscore necessary prevent. Necessary hurry up and get her back, Li Xin states, indicating the urgency rescue operation and their role in it. Weapons doesn't work against them. He shares knowledge about opponents, emphasizing that ordinary methods here inappropriate and what required special measures. So I'll tell you the basics abilities that underscore they use. Li Xin is ready share their knowledge to underscore give team advantage in the upcoming fight. His determination and willingness help hint at something deep understanding the threat with which they collide underscore. Image shows the bodyguard headquarters Cian group, strict and technological advanced building representing underscore their power and influence. In the next shot, someone doubts the accepted decision underscore. Commander, despite this, there is no meaning. Words expressing bewilderment and anxiety. You just decided trust this to a stranger? Question emphasizes mistrust of Li Xin and potential the danger that his presence carries for the group. Put him in charge operations too much risky. Conclusion situations emphasizes serious fears and doubts about the accepted decision, emphasizing interior conflict and potential disagreement in the team. Man in white shirt with confidence says about his role, Rescue madam, this is my job. I will do it all possible. His determination and commitment to face tasks unquestioning. The frame then pans to Li Xin, who addresses the team. So I ask you, trust me. His tone is serious, and he asks for the trust necessary for successful execution missions underscore. I will not give up my mission, he continues, emphasizing his commitment and readiness go till the end. Returning to the man in the shirt who acknowledges necessity changes. That's why I decided change leader. His words confirm that new circumstances require a new approach. Li Xin is ready. Reveal the truth about the past events underscore. I'll tell you everything that happened then when underscore you lost consciousness, he promises, foreshadowing important revelations underscore. Next words are full heavy reality. Actually, in fact, you've already died once. This statement forces think and reevaluate everything that it seemed famous underscore. Huh? This impossible. A confused person cannot believe in what you hear. His world suddenly turns out turned upside down. And finally, among shadows and anger sounds accusation. He killed everyone, my people. These are the words of a man overwhelmed pain and thirst for revenge, faced with loss and betrayal. Among gloomy environment, Li Xin does decisive statement. Now is not the time shed tears. Eat way, save them, he says, hinting at the presence plan or a method that maybe change move events underscore. Character in white shirt, apparently a leader, with surprise and hope responds, you can save them? His reaction shows that underscore even in despair, he searches opportunity for salvation. Li Xin simply replies, Yes, its short answer seems complete confidence and readiness except call. The next shot shows a mountain of skulls. Harsh enemy target reminder. There the goal is kill countless number of people. This emphasizes scary the threat behind them underscore actions.